that's going to be hard. I think that this will just be hard. We'll see. But uh, let's give it a try. We're probably not going to do this today. In fact, I know we're not going to do it today. Even if I don't fuck it up today, I'm probably not going to be able to complete the entire bug collection today. So we'll see. Three, two, uh, shut the fuck up. One. Go. Good luck. Thank you. At least you can't scare fleas away. Yeah, that's true. You can't scare fleas away, can you? I think I have all the notes written down, right? Yeah, I think so. I got all the damn notes written down. Yeah, I got it. Can villagers scare away bugs? Um, I think so. But that's not really me scaring them away, is it? So I wouldn't count that as, uh... I, I wouldn't count that as me scaring him away, so I think that that would be all good. I think that if a bug, like, jumps into the water, but, like, I... Like, if it jumps into the water, but it wasn't my fault, I don't really know if that can happen. If, like, I can scare away... If I can, like, make, like, a locust jump into the river. I don't know. Like, should that count? Because I, like, if I... If they just did it on their own and I didn't do it at all... I think that, um, you know what? I'm diagonal. You know, I'm putting my foot down. Happy Victory Sunday, Dag. Tired Hope of being- you're doing well. Merry Christmas. Tired of being one. I'm diagonal. I'm tired of being one. Happy Victory Sunday. Yeah, this fucking Steelers one. Best game from them I've seen in fucking years, probably. Yeah, I'm a bloke. Are you a lass or are you a bloke? That's what that's asking. Yeah, happy uh, six months, bird binge. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. All right, there we go. I'm diagonal. Nice to see you. Hello, chat, and happy holidays. Yeah, I hope everyone's Christmas is doing well. I think in Europe, today is your guys' Christmas, right? Like, there is Christmas Eve, but I think that you guys celebrate Christmas Eve as Christmas proper, right? So, which is actually funny. I think that that's what I'm doing today. I have no plans for tomorrow, Christmas Day. I think all my plans are for today. Because after I get done streaming, I'm going to go to family's house. Uh, 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 I don't care. Like, does it really matter? I mean, yeah, it kind of does. Like, I think the simplest island would be the best one. They're all, like, weirdly complicated, though. For me, it's tomorrow. I thought that, I thought that, I thought that, um, I thought that, like, Europe celebrated it today, right? Yeah, it's today. BF and I are watching Christmas movies later and decorating cookies. I have not watched a single Christmas movie. I have not put up a tree. I have not played a Christmas song. But this isn't flexing. This is just to really drive home the point that I don't feel Christmassy this year, and it sucks. I don't feel Christmassy this year. Like, not at all. I, I, I wish I did. I really, truly wish I felt Christmassy. But I, I, I'm the Grinch. I'm turning green as we speak. Yeah, I'm getting, like, hairs, like, just giant white hairs popping out of my face. I'm miserable. I've never felt Christmassy. I, even in my cynical adulthood, I've always felt like a little bit, just a teensy bit, Christmassy during this time of year. Not an ounce this year. Not an ounce. Whoa, Renee. Lyman. I've been trying really hard, but I just hate Christmas. I guess that's fair. I don't hate Christmas. I'm just not feeling it. Just for one reason or another, I'm just not fucking feeling it. We had a tree up and then we moved. Well, at least you did something, you know? I, I'm kind of like... I'm kind of like, why would I do anything, you know? This is not like, oh, woe is me, but like, when you live alone... Is there really, like, much motivation to, like, put lights up, decorate, put a tree up, and, like, I don't talk to him, talk to the rat. Is it, like, there's not, there's a lot less motivation to actually do that stuff when you kind of, like, live alone. 
You don't really, like, have other people over. You know? There's a lot less motivation to, like, put up a tree, put up lights, hey, get Mr. in the spirit. Streamer, I've been missing a lot of streams because I found a job. So I'll be a lot more absent, but that means the streams I can catch will be a lot more special now. Also, Feliz Navidad para todos. Okay, I know what Feliz Navidad is. Para, para todos? Is that... That better not be a... That better not be a bad word. Alright? That better not be a bad word in German or whatever your language is. He's facing a tree. Hey, thanks though, 25 months, Hector. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Merry Christmas for everyone, man. Dude, I don't know what fucking Paratotos is. I don't even think Brian, TTS guy, even said it right. Alright? I can't I can't read the message. I just hear the message, alright? I don't know. Jeez, I'm just trying to make sure that you're not calling us, like, horse cocks or something like that. I don't know. Thanks, though, for the 25 months. Appreciate it. Merry Christmas for everyone. Feliz Navidad para todos. Did I do it? He did in his accent, at least. Okay. Okay. I'm just making sure. Sure, it sounds way more authentic something from someone who speaks Spanish, like, fluently. Yeah, it most certainly didn't say para correctly. Oh, whatever. He's he's Brian. He's an AI. He doesn't feel nothing, dude. You can't insult him. You can insult me, and it would hurt me deeply. All right? It would stick with me for years, and it would make me develop like trust issues in others. But Brian, he you can't get to that guy. My dad had two trees, and one of them in a small one, and I got the other one. But that's about it. I should get a tree. I should at least get, like, one of them fake plastic trees that you can just prop up every year, and it takes, like, five seconds. I should at least do that. Do you want me to get sticks? Yeah, okay. Best sisterly, Renee. Yeah, probably true. Unfortunately, we had to get paired with a... Oh, we gotta be careful here, because I can actually scare bugs away now, because bugs exist. You know, I actually, like, I forgot entirely. It's amazing, the human brain. I forgot entirely what I was doing. I, like, forgot what I was doing. I forgot that, like, hey, I can scare fish away, no problem, though. <laughs> I forgot entirely what I was doing. I, I completely forgot. I forgot that I was, like, trying to, like, do this without scaring bugs away. Basically, I can't, like, run. Because, like, running, you always run the risk of scaring a bug away. I, like, I have to walk this entire time. I have to walk this entire time. God forbid I scare a bug away. Alright, let's get like 30 sticks, 6 fruits, and, thir and 3 rocks. Does scaring bugs away at this stage count? Yeah, I think. Why wouldn't it? Is scaring a bug away? Ha! <laughs> Run the risk? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, I don't get it. I, uh, uh, I, I don't get it. Ha! <laughs> See, scare- I don't get it. Somebody explain. What if you shake out a bagworm or a spider? Um, well, I'm not scaring it away. It'll just retreat back into its little tree. I think that that's fine. If I shake out a bagworm or a spider and I, like, don't catch it, it's I didn't scare it away. Because you can shake the tree again after it retracted into the tree, and it will pop out again. So it's really, like, it's still there. I think that that's fine. I guess it's all up to the committee of... I don't want to call you guys a committee. I feel like that's going to like really like make you think highly of yourselves. And that's the last thing I would want to do. I feel like it's up to like the... Ugh, that was close. I feel like it's like up to the... Um, the poindexters of chat as to whether or not I, I by definition scared a bug away. You got to be careful when you're like walking down to a tree because you don't really notice a bug on the tree until you're like a little too close to it to where you're pretty close to scaring it away anyway. I should have another rock here somewhere. I should have another rock here somewhere. I got I need 3 rocks. The consensus. Yeah, maybe like the consensus of chat. Yeah. Excuse me. I don't mean to scare you away here. Should have a third rock. You can't scare butterflies away. They're fine. 
You just gotta, like, check the trees. Is that my third rock, and it's in a place where I can't get the rock that's next to it? That's really me That's really evil. How many more sticks do I need, anyway? Two more sticks. Mosquito. Does a mosquito biting you count? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thanks, Dragon Queen, for the six months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Yeah, I guess a mosquito biting you would count because it does fly away after it bites you. Yeah, I think it kind of does. No, because it's not scared of you, technically. It does take a bite out of you. Well, we already determined, I already determined, that a tarantula biting you or a scorpion biting you and then, you know, fluttering away. Not really a fluttering creature. And scurrying away does count as scaring it away, so would the logic not apply to a mosquito as well? Where it bites you and then it flies away and, and then it got away without you catching it. Like, that does kind of count, right? Oy vey, this is miserable. I hate walking so slow. There's my third rock. I was looking for that. Alright, we're good though, right? Yeah. Alright, mission successful. I did not scare away a bug in the first 10 minutes of the challenge. Good. But the Skeeter wants your sweet juice. Alright, don't call it that. Um, yeah, I think that that's really it. Don't call it that. Skeeter on... Skeeter on my Peter, whack it off. Why'd you say that? But you don't scare a mosquito, it flies towards you. Well, yeah, and we, but we are, again, we already established, though, that if a tarantula or scorpion stings you, that counts because it gets away without you catching it. I think it counts. I, I'm the guy who's making the rules here, and I think it counts, all right? I think it counts. If anything, it makes the challenge more miserable. So, isn't that what you guys want? That's what you like. You like when I'm miserable. Alright? You love it. You get your rocks off to that shit. Kind of weird. But, like, whatever. Also, um, I might, like, just completely, like, just instinctually scare a bug away. Like, without even noticing. And it's kind of, like, on you guys to, you know, I'll call it what attempt number it is. Which, this is one. It might be on you guys to, like, yell at me if I catch... Um, or if I scare something away, and I'm just, like, yapping about whatever. You guys are gonna have to be vigilant. You have to, like, call me out. You have to call me out, because I'll probably do it without even, like, thinking. That probably definitely might happen. Are you restarting Animal Crossing, Mr. Dagnall? Well, yeah, it, it sure looks like it, doesn't it? Trust me, we will. Yeah, that's true. You guys rarely ever let me make a mistake without letting me know about it. That's true. You guys rarely make a mistake without letting me know about it. Don't you just want to, like, eat them sometimes? Sometimes I want to, like, hold it in my mouth like a dog with a bone and just go, like, Arr. You know... Is that... I don't know if it's that male fantasy. I don't want to make it like a like a dude thing. But, like, sometimes I just get the temptation to, like... Just have, like, a mean, like, bone in my mouth. And just... And just, like, shake it around. You know? Shut up. Not you. Not beating the eating dog food allegations. Dude! I said that I have tried dog food before. I have said that I've eaten it before. I'm not beating nothing because I said that I did it. It's just not, like, part of my, like, diet, you know what I mean? It's just not part of my diet. Alright, careful, careful. It basically, honestly, I should just remove my button, my sprint button, on my controller. Because I really just shouldn't use it if I want to, like, not... If I want to just, like, not, you know? I, I should really just not, right? You know? You guys understand? I should just, like, not. Like, it's that easy. Oh, camo! Ha <laughs> ha! Dude, what? Dude, what's he sleeping on, man? He's just floating there, bro. Oh, funniest joke of 2015. 
was pretending that you can't see anything that's camouflaged. <laughs> Funniest joke of 2015. It's not allegations if you admit to it. Yeah, exactly. If you're proving the allegations right, they're not really allegations anymore, right? Are they? Should I, like, hold my water like this and take a sip? Just like a little sippy? <laughs> you know what was the greatest... I'm gonna tell you guys a story. You you probably remember. Um, there was a meme. I, I feel like I started seeing it around 2015, and it was of it. It was like a classic meme, really. It's caption and then image, and it said, "I hate where I hate how people ask me where I'll be in five years. Come on, guys, I don't have 2020 vision." And then it's a guy going like. Do you know the one? Because every year, I saw that meme every year up until it actually was 2020, and we were actually finally able to, like, properly retire a meme because it ran its course. It ran its course. I remember every year I would see it. I hate where people ask me where I'm going to be in four years because they crossed out the five, and now it's four. Come on, guys. I don't have 2020 vision. Where I'm going to be in three years. Where I'm going to be in two years. Where I'm going to be in one year. And then there was, then the meme was complete. We hit 2020, and then the meme was complete. About the only good thing that happened in 2020. About the only good thing that happened in 2020. I think that that might have been it. And then it sucked. A guy? That's Patty McGinnis from Take Me Out. Dude, you couldn't have thought of a more fucking Irish name. If you're gonna make up a guy from Ireland, you can't just call him Patty McGinnis, dude. That's like calling an American John McHamburger. That's- you can't just do that, dude. Alright, I think I'm supposed to take all my clothes off. Take off my pants and take off my socks. Um, AC and H? What's the problem? Oh, wait, you're saying, oh, AC and H was the best thing that happened in 2020? Uh, did I stutter? This game sucks. That is like JK Rowling ass name. Yeah, that's like German guy. I don't even want to start there. How about we go, um, yeah, like Spanish guy called like Jose... De La Carloco, or something like that. I don't know. The- the gag is he's actually English. Still, though. My beautiful son, John McHamburger, who has every disease. De La Carloco? Dude, it's a JK Rowling-ass name. It doesn't make any sense in any way whatsoever. There's a fucking guy! In Harry Potter, his name's called Neville Longbottom, dude. Yeah, ain't no one in UK called Longbottom, man. They just made it up. There ain't no one in Spain called De La Carloco. All right? It makes it, it's even further to the point that it's just fucking ridiculous. I have never seen that starting shirt. Really? I mean, I've started a lot of times, so like, honestly, I think I've seen them all at this point. We love Neville in this household. Yeah, but, like, it's a ridiculous name, right? You know, it's not even, like, the most culturally significant Neville that exists. Because I think that that goes to the, uh, the guy from iCarly, right? The, the antagonist of iCarly, Neville. And when they would all see him on screen, they'd all go, like, Neville. What's it called when you got, like, boogers in your eyes? Eye boogers? I completely forgot about him. I think I kind of, like, forgot about iCarly, to be honest with you. That's a time of my life that I don't really care to remember. Then again, what is a time of my life that I care to remember? Oh, 
Are you counting only bugs that you scare away while catching? What do you mean? I- I can't scare anything away. Like, if- if I scare anything away, I reset. What was Neville from iCarly's catchphrase? I only know it in Spanish, damn it. I have- I didn't even know he had a catchphrase, to be honest with you. I didn't even know he had a catchphrase. Do y'all remember the pear phone? Ah, the pear phone. Yeah, dude, classic. And then didn't, like, GTA 5 sort of rip off the pear phone? I don't know. Anyway, alright, here we go. Make sure- Ah! Careful. Careful! 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 Alright, create a post. There we go. Uh, take a picture. There we go. Uh, update your comment in your passport. That was disgusting. I'm sorry. I, but you know, you gotta give me credit. You have to give me credit. You know, really, you gotta give me credit. I'm telling you right now, you gotta give me credit. I could have opened my mouth and made that 10 times as loud and disgusting as it was. I could have made that. I could have opened my mouth and made that 10 times worse than it actually was. All right. I could have made that so much worse. People tried to claim iCarly was good. It was dog shit upon rewatch. Hack show focused on recreating the funny parts of Drake and Josh without any of the good writing. I think iCarly... I have a lot of shows like this. I have a lot of shows and I have a lot of movies like this. I have a lot of shows and movies like this where I like them. I remember liking them when I was young. I would never rewatch them as an adult because I know for a fact that I'm far too cynical as an adult to enjoy them in the same sense that I enjoyed them when I was younger. You want to know an example? Spy Kids 1, Spy Kids 2, Spy Kids 3D. I loved Spy Kids when I was a kid. I loved them. I loved them so much. I would never ever i will never ever 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 rewatch them because i know that i'm just going to sit there purple on my couch the entire time being like oh my god i liked this what the fuck this is ridiculous what the fuck this is absurd this is ridiculous they're singing about like finger people the thumb people i can't taint those memories because i know that if i rewatch those i will fucking be i will die of my i will die of cringe I, I, I hate the c-word, dude, but I'll die of cringe. I'll actually, like, puke in my mouth out of embarrassment. I can't do it. I'm so- and iCarly's just another one of those. If I go back and I watch iCarly, I'm gonna be, like, sad. I'm just gonna be like, I should have left this in my memory banks in the positive manner that I remember it as. I should have just let it be, instead of trying to- Go back and see what I liked so much about this show, or trying to relive the nostalgia. It's just... It's not good. I liked iCarly as a kid, I'd find it obnoxious and loud now. Yeah! Cause when you're a kid, you love obnoxious and loud. Right? That's why everyone always graduates from like... That's why everyone always graduates from like... I don't know... Minecraft YouTubers to, like, Markiplier, PewDiePie, and Jacksepticeye, who themselves used to be loud YouTubers, but they've sort of mellowed out in the years. I feel like that's why people always, like, graduate to, like, uh, different YouTubers, because eventually the whole, like, shtick of just being loud and obnoxious sort of wears out, you know? And that's, I think, like, where people start to maybe come to me a little bit, you know? They're kind of like, hey, this guy is a little chill, you know? Yeah, he gets a little stirred up every once in a while, but, you know, I think overall he's pretty chill. Loud equals funny? Alright. Make three nets, shake trees to get 15 sticks for wasps, furniture, and spoiler. Got it. Uh, don't worry about your nook files yet. Once I tried to watch Zack and Cody again, worst mistake, now I'm sad. Yeah, I don't think I'd- I don't- I never watched Zack and Cody, though, to be honest with you. I- I never did. I'm a- like, everyone my age did. I was kind of weird. I was kind of like the weird kid for that. I wasn't a big, um... No, I kind of was a big Disney Channel kid. I kind of was. 
I liked The Emperor's New School. I liked uh, the Lilo and Stitch spinoff. I liked... Um, I don't know. I guess I just never watched Zack and Cody. I guess I just missed that one. The Sweet Life, and then they were on like a cruise ship, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember. I only watched PBS. Okay, but PBS had Arthur. It had um, Clifford. It had... Um, there was some bangers on there. PBS had some bangers. Acting like PBS was like knockoff Nickelodeon. Nah, man, it could hold its own. In the cage match of child cartoon channels, PBS, Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon. Oh, dude, Cartoon Network's doing this thing that I really like. Nice. Cartoon Network is doing this thing that I really like. Sid the Science Kid on PBS, yeah. It's called Checkered Past, where, like, week weekdays, so, like, Monday through Friday in the evening, they'll show, like, Dexter's Lab, Courage the Cowardly Dog, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. And I didn't watch those when I was a kid. I didn't watch those. I, uh, I miss those. Because I was never a Cartoon Network kid. And so, like, I'm now watching, like, those cartoons that I missed as a kid, and I'm like, damn, these are good. I like these. These are fucking awesome. You guys should watch it. Check it out. It's, like, Cartoon Network from, like, 5 to, like, whenever Adult Swim comes on. Sesame Street, PBS, yeah. Hey, Off-Brand Valerie, thanks for the 16 months. Enjoy your emotes, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thank you. Cool, that's some Nook Miles. A microwave. Dude, y'all parents ever tell you not look at the microwave when it's going? Otherwise, you're gonna get, like, ass cancer or something? I didn't know what that was, and it freaked me out. It's a cricket, dude. Calm down. It freaked me out, though. Bill, Bill, Bill. I never watched Bill Nye, except when... <clears throat> clearing my throat, because this is a cultural... This is a cultural memory of, I assume, a lot of you. The only time I watched Bill Nye was when I was when the teacher would roll out the TV, the cart, the cart. Y'all know the cart with the giant CRT TV strapped down on it, <clears throat> VHS player hooked up, the cart. Only time I ever watched Bill Nye was when the cart came out. When the cart came out. Hey, pop on some Bill Nye, it was a good day. That's the only time I watched it, though. I don't think I ever watched Bill Nye outside of, uh, school. Kinda, kinda weird, I guess. I don't know. Just missed it. Just missed it. Do they still have the cart? Oh, no chance, right? They probably got... They probably got fucking flat-screen TVs, smart boards, HD projectors. Dude, we didn't even have fucking... The, uh, we had, we had those fucking projectors with the clear sheets on them, and you, like, drew on them with Sharpie marker. Is that five bugs, by the way? I think so, right? We did, we had the fucking clear sheets in the projectors, and they would, like, beam it up to the board. It was, oh my god, it was absurd. Ridiculous. We used to eat good, man. Smart boards in elementary school? Oh my god, dude. I didn't see a smart board ever. I didn't see a smart board ever. I think that they must have been, like, more commonplace, like, a couple of years after I graduated. Because I didn't- I've never seen a smart board before. We didn't even have, like, Kahoot! We had something like Kahoot, but I'm pretty sure that's another, like, luxury of the modern-day school child. I didn't have that. I also went to a pretty poor high school, so I don't know. I think that might have been a them problem. One-to-one -one Chromebooks? I kind of hate it as a teacher because it's so distracting to students and they don't develop fine motor skills. What motor skills? We had smart boards as early as like 08, 09. Obviously, I'm fucking stupid then, because I I was in school in 08, 09. Do we donate to Blathers? Just these five. Just these five. 
And then we'll set up the museum, and then, yeah. Remember when people came in to teach us about safety? Yeah, and it was awesome because it meant that you didn't learn anything. It meant that, like, it was basically a free class. Dude, this reminds me. This time of year, when you're in- if there's not- if there's nothing good about school, this time of year, if you're a student, was awesome. I mean, obviously you have Christmas break, right? Christmas break was awesome. But I remember every year, we would go down to the auditorium on the last day of school before Christmas break, and we would watch a movie. They would play a movie for the entire school in the auditorium. It was awesome. A Christmas movie, of course. A, it could be a Christmas story. I think one year it was unaccompanied minors. Which, if we're talking about Christmas movies, I see a lot of discourse around everyone's favorite Christmas movie, and I don't see enough love for unaccompanied minors, alright? Is all I'm saying. I don't see enough love for unaccompanied minors. Just saying it. I'm not seeing it. And I'd like to see it. The Polar Express can go fuck itself. It can take its weird... Trying way too hard to be realistic CGI, and it can shove it up its own asshole. Gotta be BoJack Horseman Christmas special. I watched one episode of BoJack Horseman, and I was like, this shit sucks. And I never watched it again. That's right. I watched season one, episode one of BoJack Horseman, and decided that the whole series sucks ass. I decided that the whole series sucks ass. There's nothing good about BoJack Horseman. I think it's terrible. And I'm deciding that off of one episode. It sucks. I'm never watching it. Watch the rest. Season one is so ass. Oh, dude, 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 dude. No, 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 dude, dude, dude. No, 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 dude. It's so good. It's so good. If you just ignore the first season and the first five episodes of season two and also the season two finale and then also the first four and a half episodes of season three, but also the season three finale kind of sucks. But season four, that's where it gets good. Okay, now season four. Now season five, it kind of takes a dip in season five. Now you can just skip that entire season, except you can't. You can't skip episode four and six. So there's very critical details to the story. But then in season six, is where it picks it back up. No, I'm not doing that shit. I'm not doing fucking rocket science to watch your television show. Dude, 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 dude please, please, you just gotta, you gotta stick with it. Please, it gets so good. What is bro yapping about? Dude, don't act like you haven't heard a person try to do that to you before. Now, I took what they said to the logical extreme, but you can't act like you ain't never heard a person try to tell you that a show is good if you just ignore this, that, this, that, everything. Like, here, there, ah, uh, ah, uh, no, 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 that's good, no, no, I gotta ignore all that, but dude, it's really good, promise. No, people do that, of course they do that, and what, what does that tell me? First of all, your show is probably shit, second of all, I'm not going through the effort of avoiding everything, but only the good episodes. If I'm gonna watch a show, I'm watching the show. You ever watch Twin Peaks? Nope. No, there's a lot of great shows out there, I'm sure, that I would very much enjoy. A lot of great movies and TV shows that I'm sure I would love. But if you want to buy me a subscription to every streaming service out there, and you want to, like, stream for me, so that, like, you are- so that, like, I'm still making money while, like, I'm watching shows out there, like, so that, like, I got all the time in the world to watch all these shows that everyone says that I should watch, and movies that I should watch, then please, ah, please, be my guest. Please. I, I, I would love it. Avatar. I, I watched the movie, the first movie, not the second one. I don't suppose you're talking about The Last Airbender, though. Kind of, kind of infernal of them to, uh... Make Avatar the last airbender, and then Avatar the movie, and then for the next, like, 15 years, make it so that it's confusing, and I don't know who's talking about what when they say Avatar. Kind of fucked up, James Cameron. You little bastard. Futurama's good? Yeah, I've watched some Futurama. It's, it's pretty good. I like shows where you don't... Like, I like shows that don't do this, to be clear, but I really like shows... Where you don't have to watch it in any order. You could pop on an episode of Futurama, any episode, any season. And it's funny. It's good. You don't need to understand. Like, maybe you just need to know the names of characters, but like, that's it. 
I should have got the Joy-Cons before I did that. Before I sold. You don't need to know the names. Like, basically, the only thing you need to know is the names of characters. You don't need, like, I love Breaking Bad. I love Breaking Bad. It's probably, like, my favorite TV show of all time. But you can't, like, just pop on an episode of Breaking Bad and, like, pick up what's going on. No, you kind of, like, need to have, like, watched everything before that. It's a, what would you call that? A linear show? Instead of one of those ones where you can just, you know, pop on an episode and be like, Haha, it's funny, I like it. Usually sitcoms are like that, where you can just pop them on and be like, ah, they're funny. You know? Alright, let's put down this tent. If you want to poindexter me and say, Oh, you put down the tent, there could have been, you know what, I, just to avoid the controversy... Alright, there's no spider in this tree, so by putting the museum tent down on this tree, I'm not scaring anything away. So, you can't get mad at me. I proved that there was nothing in the tree. The Big Bang Theory. Yeah, but I said it had to be funny, though. And I know that it's so easy to knock the Big Bang Theory for being unfunny, but goodness me, it's just not very funny. Uh, right. I also need to get the DIY from my mailbox as well. I think that's this, right? Serialized watch in order versus episodic watch any order. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Learn that, and then let's sell the Joy-Cons by... I like being indoors in this challenge, because I there's never a risk of me scaring anything away. Opinions on a Christmas vacation? Like, is that a movie? Is that a TV show? What the hell is that? Is, is that like, are you talking about like going on vacation for Christmas? Have you ever watched a YouTube series? Yeah? Oh, you know what I watched? And I tweeted about it. I watched that like four hour video by H Bomber guy about plagiarism on YouTube. Merry Christmas to all the little chatters snug in their beds, and to the big man ho 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 Dagnal Claws. Thanks Daniele for the 30 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. Yeah, you can pop on an episode of Seinfeld and it's quality, exactly. That's what I'm saying with like shows that you can just put on a random episode, season and episode and it's good. That's what I'm saying. Such stuff like Seinfeld, it's great for that. I'm gonna watch it. Is it worth the four-hour watch? Yes. It's really good. It's very, very good. You should totally watch it. Everyone in this stream right now should... Okay, after I'm done streaming, of course, should go watch the 8 H-Bomber guy four-hour-long video called Plagiarism and YouTube. You should absolutely do that. Because, I mean, you know, you don't... Okay. You don't have to, like, sit and watch it for four hours. I'm not asking you to do that. But, I, you know, break it up into, like, maybe hour-long segments over the course of four days. And I think you will have... I mean, I watched it in one day because, you know, I got nothing but time on my hands. But it's really good. You should watch it. I think it's it's video of the year for me. I think it's... It, you want... Like, dude, I should do, like, on New Year's Eve. Like, diagonal top... 10 videos of the year songs of the year um games of the year etc etc i should i should do something like that because i guess like people really care what i think right <laughs> i'm sure people really care what i think <laughs> konichiwa i mean it literally just buy anything right I'm good, bro. I'll stick to my one piece. Alright. Um, donate five bugs. Sell extra stuff. Yeah, I gotta sell my fishing rod. Buy a net and an axe. Okay. We love a dag rant channel. I don't really want to be a rant YouTuber, though. Like, I'm not, I don't want to rant about things. I want to praise things, you know? It's so much more fun to praise things rather than bitch about them, you know? Even though that's never stopped me from bitching about things. 
sell the fishing rod, and then buy a net and an axe. I just had a very, I just had a very unfortunate realization. Um, I had a very unfortunate realization. I'm gonna have to get a lot of wood. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get a lot of wood in this challenge, which means I'm gonna have to hit a lot of trees, which means I'm gonna like have a lot of bees. Um, and if they sting me, then they're gonna get away. And like, you don't really have much time to react when you knock bees out of a tree with an ax. So, like, I'm gonna have to, like, shake every tree for the bees before I hit them with an axe. And that's gonna be really annoying. Alright, whatever. Um, let's buy a... buy an axe. And then let's buy flowers that can turn into purple, black, or blue hybrid flowers. So, that could be red mums, white lilies, yellow cosmos, oy vey, um, can white lilies turn into purple lilies? I should know this. Red mums? There's no black mums. Do I have any flowers that can turn... I think white lilies can make black lilies, right? Two white lilies make black lilies, correct? Or do they make purple lilies? Either way, that's fine, because black or purple's fine. Right? When you hit a tree and a wasp falls open, falls, open your phone and enter design portal. And what you're saying is they'll be gone when I get back? Because that counts as scaring them away, I think, right? And also, I don't have the design portal. Isn't that something that you only get when you do the DLC? I think it's lily- for lilies, it's black lilies turn into purple. There's no purple lilies. Red lilies make black. Do I have no flowers here that can make black, blue, or purple flowers? Like, without going through a fucking bunch of steps? This is fucked. Really? I don't- Yeah, because red lilies make black. Whites usually make purple. But there is no purple lilies. I completely made that up. Red mums... Probably just make more red mums, if I had to guess. Yellow cosmos? I don't think yellows make much of anything, like, just in the game. Can't you just time travel? I mean, yeah, it looks like that might be what I have to do, because flowers rotate seasonally. So... <clears throat> But, like, it's kind of important that I be in September right now. So, I guess what I could do is I could go back to, like, a month and then go back forward a month to this date. That's fucked, man. That's really messed up. Well, um... You have flowers on your island, but you don't know the genetics of your flowers on your island. Like, there's no... I think the flowers on your island have, like, not random genetics, but they're... Okay, I explained this in my videos where I've done a lot of flower breeding. But also, it's about to roll over to five. I should knock that back. I've d I explained this in videos where my flowers breed, or where I breed flowers. When you plant a flower from a seed, you know its genes. If a flower spawns naturally on your island or on a Nook Miles island, you don't know its genes, so you don't know what it's gonna make. It, it's a white flower. For, it's like it's like a white lily, for example. But you don't know what its genetics have, in order to know what it would make if you put a white lily, if they put that white lily together with another white lily. If you crossbreed two red lilies, it makes a black lily. Okay, that's fantastic. I didn't have red lily seeds in that stock there. You need the stock of flowers that can make you black, blue, or purple flowers. And I didn't have any, from my understanding. So, since flowers rotate, I think, every month, or every season, then if we go back a month, we should have different flowers in here. And then we'll go back forward to September, because, you know, I'm supposed to be in September, according to my notes. I'm not supposed to be in August, but this is just something I have to do temporarily to hopefully get some flowers that can make black, blue, or purple flowers okay 
Also, that got me more Nook Miles, apparently. Great news. I, I want to go get that common blue bottle, but uh, my boy here is in the way, so I don't want to scare him. There we go. I'm 99% sure that red flowers from seeds make always black. Yes, but what if there is no black flower of a certain type, like mums? First bug? No. Alright. Black flowers are kind of the easiest to breed, so I think you should focus on black flowers. Thanks. I will, uh, I will, I will keep that in my, in my mental log. What's for sale? What do we got here? We got melon ball. All right, red rose I know makes black rose, so if nothing else, that will work. Yeah, red roses. Why did I back out? Red roses, let's buy 20 of those. And then let's buy, after that, five saplings. And then that should be a certain amount of money that we spent to where we get, should get some nook miles for that. Hey, Dag, question about the challenge. Do you have to reset if you scare one away that you already caught? Yes. Any bug that I scare away will be a reset, even if I already caught it. Like that earth-boring dung beetle that I just caught. I already caught one, but I, uh, I couldn't scare it away. All right, five saplings, and then let's make three axes. And then after that, we can go back to September, I think. Should we go back to shouting at you over TV shows? Yeah, because when you guys try to shout at me over the game, you're usually wrong. Three axes. Ah! I don't have enough sticks? I guess I don't have enough sticks. Oh yeah, I didn't get enough sticks, did I? Alright, we can fix that though. This video is an hour long. What? When this video is done, it will be an hour? I don't know, pit stains, do I? No, yeah, when this video is done, it'll be an hour long? Yeah, maybe. Hey guys, new video uh, on my channel in four minutes. Are you guys excited? Are you pumped? Are you like, let's fucking go, new video on the Dagnal YouTube channel in five minutes. Four minutes. Dag, do you like when we're wrong? Because we like you when you are. Oh, well, I'm never wrong, so that really doesn't matter. Like, I'm not wrong. Like, do I like you guys when you're wrong? Yeah, I mean, I guess I got to, right? You know, or, you know, it's it's okay to be wrong. Like, I'm never wrong, but, like, it's okay to be wrong. I'm shaking with excitement. You're like a dog when you're, like, holding, like, a, a, a milk bone over them. They're like... <laughs> they're just, like, fucking shaking, dude. You know what I love about, like, little dogs? Little teeny tiny little fellas? They're always shaking. They're always, like, shaking. They, they could just be, like, sitting there and they're shaking. What are you shaking for, man? What's going on? Excited? Scared? Cold? I don't think you're cold. You got a bunch of fur and it's, like, 72 in the apartment. What are you shaking about? They just shake. They're just... They're just always shaking. What are you shaking about? Calm down. Chill out. Do you like Studio Ghibli? What's that? You like it when we're wrong because you can correct us. You think I feel good about correcting you guys? I actually feel really bad. I feel really bad when I correct you guys. I want you guys to be right. Because in a way... Oh, I bought too many flowers. Oh, I know I didn't. They just gave me those ones straight up. Oh, they gave me Red Cosmos. Oh. Avocado! Thanks. All right, we made three axes. Place Blathers is tent. Yep, I already did that. Gather iron and wood. Don't let axes die. Okay, all right, all right. so now we can go back to September. <clears throat> I like it when they get up in your lap, man. It means they don't fuck with anyone else, but they fuck with you. Yeah, exactly, dude. I thought we... I forgot we were talking about dogs for a second, and I was wondering what you were talking about. But yeah, no, 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 you're right. You're right. Studio Ghibli is a movie company, and they make really pretty movies. Like what? Like what movies have they made? Maybe I've heard of the movies that they make, but I haven't heard of Studio Ghibli. Y'all remember this stretch? 
good tricep stretch right here. Warming up before a ball game. Hold this one for 30 seconds. Ah. Other arm. Oh, yeah, that's good. That stretches right there. Right there. That's a good stretch. You can feel it. Pretty sure that's the shit you put on your Crocs? What, Studio Ghibli? Like, giblets? Ponyo. Never heard of it. Farm up on Poppy Hill. Never heard of it. Spirited Away, Howl's Moving Castle, Ponyo, My Neighbor, Totoro? No, I haven't heard of any of these, I'm sorry. No, I haven't heard of them. What? Oh, he trawling? Like the gummy worms. I went... The... I want the Raymond from Ponyo so bad. Okay. Like, is that like a character? Oh, man, I gotta burp. I'm too focused on AC and H to watch more movies. Yeah, that's kind of true, right? You guys want me to watch all these movies, but like, you know that break I took over the last week? Well, that's gonna have to be, like, a permanent thing if you guys want me to watch all these movies that you're damn suggesting. It's gonna have to, like, be a long-ass time away to, like, watch all these. Alright, okay, anyway. Goodbye. Gather iron and wood. Don't let axes die. Okay. Every flimsy axe takes 40 hits, so we should, like... Alright, I got it. Problem is, though, like I said, um... Bees are in trees, and if we hit a tree with an axe, it's going to... First of all... Hmm. When do we... Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I got it, I got it. Thing is, we have to basically shake every tree for bees before we hit them with an axe, because... I don't want to hit it with an axe, have bees fall out, and let the bees sting me, and then get away. And then I'm like, fruit trees will be okay, they don't have bees in them, so we don't have to hit fruit trees. But we have to shake every tree on our, like, starting island area over here. To get the bees out of them before I hit them with an axe. Because it'd be harder to catch them if... Yeah, like this. If I had an axe out in my hand, I'd have to pull the net out and catch them before they sting me. And that would be really hard. And we sort of settled on if they sting me, that counts as scaring them away. Because they fly away after they're done. So... I, I count as that anyway. Just shake and then chop directly after? I mean, I could, but, like, I'd rather, like, shake them all in advance and then, like, not have to worry about it. You know, kind of like knocking your homework out before you play video games, right? You'd rather just get it out of the way, right? So that you can enjoy the video game stress-free. That bird flying away casted a shadow, and I thought it was a bug getting scared away, and I was going to puke. Like, into my pants, out of anger. I was going to puke my pants. The video came out. Yo, that's actually a good reminder. I need to, um... I need to... I, I, I have a tweet automatically scheduled to go live because I'm fucking insane with it. With my efficiency of running my own YouTube channel. Uh, but let me post it in the Discord as well here. Because as far as I'm aware, unless you have like a plug-in or a little bot helper in your Discord, I don't think you can like schedule a Discord post, can you? Minecraft all blocks number 15, colon smiles. There we go. If you just got a ping in Discord, I'm telling you right now it's me. I'm telling you right now it's me. I added everyone. I'm a bastard. I should be executed, hung, shot. Old Yeller style. Thanks for the heads up. Just making sure you guys know before you get really mad at me. Because I know people get really, really just ungodly upset at getting Discord pings. Like, people get really, really mad at Discord pings. By the way... Let me set- let me- let me draw a line right now. Where are you going? 
I mean, he's not going to get scared away. As long as he doesn't jump in the river, it's fine. I'm, I'm drawing a line right now. Releasing a bug is not scaring it away. It's releasing it. It's a consensual, you can fly away. I caught the bug. I did what I needed to do. That I'm drawing the line right now. I'm drawing the line right now. That's perfectly fine. It's my challenge. I'll make the fucking rules, all right? Releasing a bug. If I couldn't release bugs, that would be so fucking annoying. All right? I can release bugs. That's allowed. I've, I've declared it as so. All right? What are the pings for if, if they just get mad? I don't know. This is what I'm saying. Why do people get so fucking mad at Discord pings? It, like, it's, it's weird. People get so mad at Discord pings. They be like, reacting to the post with like, P emoji, I emoji, N emoji, G emoji. Because they're mad that they got in an angry emoji. Like a snarling face or a frowning ass or something like that. They get really mad. And I'm like... I don't want to use that, like, Subway meme, but, like, people be like, I hate getting Discord pings. My brother in Christ, you joined the Discord. What'd you expect, man? I don't know. It's one of them things I never really understood. People getting so fucking mad at Discord pings. I get it. Maybe if a server, like, always unnecessarily pings people for, like, no reason whatsoever. So that's why I made it so that you need to have a role in the Discord to be notified of when I go live, because I, I go live, like, you know, multiple times a week. I could see why somebody who doesn't care about my streams would get mad that I ping every time I go live. Then again, if you don't like my streams, why are you in my Discord? I don't really get that. But anyway, people get really mad, and I, I don't really understand. I don't really get it. It's fine. Just don't jump in the water, Cricket. You'll be all right. Just don't jump in the water. All right, every tree on the main little area here that I have access to right now is, um, good. We, we can hit it. They're all cleared of bees. Okay, so it's kind of like everything that I do, I just have to, like, think about it before I do it. It's, it's so... It takes too much brain power. Let's try to get 15 of each wood. Okay. I don't mind pings, TBH, unless they're, like, for every little thing. Yeah, and, like, I don't do that. I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. I don't do that. I do it for my, like, streams, but then that's why I made the at Andy roll. So that if you want to be notified of when I go live for streams specifically, you need the roll. Or at least, like, update, schedule updates and shit like that. I'm eating a delicious apple. You all wish you were me. Yeah, that actually does sound kind of good right now. Sometimes I just want to live mindlessly. Yeah, that's me right now. I want to be able to play the video game without having to worry about scaring bugs away. Streamer, you should stream when I want. You just made me spit on my fucking keyboard. Alright, you're fine. Just don't jump in the water. Yeah, just don't jump in the water, good fella. Don't, you'll be alright. Alright, 15 of each wood. How many things have I hit? Oh, shit. Because each axe is... Alright, 9, 15. Alright, alright, 15 hits. 15 hits. Don't go in the ocean. Look, if he jumps into the ocean, but it's not on my screen, did it really happen? You can't prove it. 18. 21. Remember when the funniest thing was to uh, say... Uh, <laughs> 21? Remember that? You guys remember that? <laughs> 24. If the bug despawns, does that not count? Dude, I can't prevent bugs despawning. That's a thing that happens that the game does that I literally can't control. It's probably despawning like five bugs right now. That's literally not something I can control. I wish you didn't remind me. Dude, it was so funny back in like 2016. Dude, 2016, it was a good time. No, it wasn't. That was actually probably, like, the worst year of my life. I gotta do, like, a year tier list. Dude, that's actually a great idea. Year tier list. Alright, shit, I lost count again. Hang on. What's 9 plus 10? 21! 
15, 26, 36. All right, so one more tree, and that'll be 39. And then we'll switch off to another axe. There we go. All right, new axe. What's A tier for you? Uh, has there been an A tier year, man? <laughs> I don't know if there's been an A tier year in my entire life. Like, 1997. I was... All my needs were provided to me. Like, I probably cried the most in 1997 than, like, any other year. So, like, you could argue that that was, like, pretty shitty. But, like, looking back on it, I cried for some pretty stupid reasons back in 1997. Like, ah, I just shit my pants. Oh, I'm hungry. Ah, I'm just crying for, like, no reason. Like, it's a little cold in here or something. Oopsie. Like, I cried for some pretty stupid-ass reasons. I think nowadays, I cry for some very legitimate and well-meaning reasons. So, while I may have cried more in 1997... I think that my reasons for crying were not as legitimate as they might have been, like, today, for example. Alright, 15 of every wood. Plant five saplings on the beach. Oh, right, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 2021 was F, straight into A tier, 2022. Hey, that's pretty good. Would you cry if you shit your pants in 2023? No, I'd probably be like... Shit. Shit my pants. That kind of really sucks. I don't know. Maybe if I was having a bad day and, like, that was something that, like, on top of an already bad day that I was having, like, happened on top of it, and I'd be like, this is the fucking worst, dude. And, yeah, I might just, like, break down a little bit. We also have to plant all the flowers. Already? Let's do... Not red cosmos. Let's do those somewhere else. These are the flowers that we want to plant with which to, uh, breed to, in this case, black roses. Let's do it like that. Sure, that's a good black rose breeding pattern. Okay, that's not, but it's okay. That's not exactly how I wanted to do that, but that's, that's okay. We'll do it like that. Happy crisis. I'm with my grandma's for Christmas. Have a fun stream. Y'all poopy pants. Yeah, have a good time. All right, you're fine. This is just so stressful, man. I have to think about everything that I do. Big man, ain't this attempt number one? Oh, yeah, did I change it? Whoops. How long has it been like that? No, that's not how I wanted to do it. Whatever, it's fine. Who cares? Literally, who cares? It's fine. And then let's find a nice, another little open area here for another set. We need a medic on site. This guy had a stroke. Who had a stroke? Like, in my stream? Dude, I'm not medically liable for that. You better, like, get right. I don't want, like, fucking ambulance showing up. Y'all ever rode in an ambulance? That kind of seems fun. Uh, you're, like, a little close to the river there, pally. It kind of scaring me. I could catch you, but, like, I got bigger and better things to do. Yeah, this is fine. Yep, part of my F tier 2021. But, like, the actual ambulance ride sounds kind of fun. I don't know. Whenever I see an ambulance go by, I'm like, man, wouldn't that be fun to, like, be in that? All right. Plant all flowers, buy item from Nook Shopping, take a picture, edit, comment, change design. Oh, yeah, I forgot to change the design. Yeah, I forgot about that. Change design. The Cuban link will turn the diamond tester into a pipe bomb. Daga hates Serbo... Dude, you can't fucking use words like this while I'm streaming, man. Cerebrovascular accidents. Daga hates cerebral vac... Daga... Shut up. I can't read that. You can't fucking do that to me, alright? Alright, and now we gotta pay our miles, right? Should have five grand here, hopefully. Should have more than five grand at this point. That line is cold as shit, dude, it is.
fun when you're not in pain. Well, yeah, of course. Like, why would you be in pain when you're in an ambulance, dude? You're in an ambulance. Yeah, it's kind of like an expensive roller coaster, dude. What about driving one? Well, I've only ever driven an ambulance in, like, Grand Theft Auto and Beam NG Drive, but that's about it. Hello, Dag. Hello, chat. Hope you had a nice break and happy holidays when it comes to... Yeah, no, I, I think my holidays is today, honestly, because, like, I don't have any plans for tomorrow, the 25th. Uh, I just got, like, I, 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 like, visit, like, a couple family members today, and, like, I, I think that's when I'm going to give them their gifts, and, you know, if they got me anything, then that's probably when they'll give me their gifts or my gifts. So I think, like, my holiday celebration's happening today. So I might even, like, stream tomorrow because, like, fuck, like, I, I got no plans. I got nothing I, I need to do. You ever ride the Intimidator 305 roller coaster when you were in the South? No, where's that at? Is that like heroines or something? What did you ask Santa for this year? I, I, I don't want to say. I, I, I don't want to say. I, I, I don't want to say. This is kind of strictly private information. I'm pretty sure you're not, not supposed to say what you asked Santa for, because then it's not going to come true, right? Then you're just not going to come true. I, no. No, that's fucked up, dude. That's fucked up. You guys are trying to egg my fucking Santa request out of me. It's not going to happen. No, that's a birthday wish. No, you're not getting it out of me. No. You're not getting it out of me. I will never say what I asked Santa for this year. Unless Santa's in the chat. <laughs> but I think he's a little busy right now. His ass is already in, like, Tuvalu, man. It's already, like, 2 in the morning. Like, in... Shit, he might be in, like, Indonesia right now. Damn, Jakarta, it's probably, like... What is it? It's probably, like... Midnight in Jakarta, man. He's busy, man. He ain't in stream. He's busy. No, you can't ho ho ho. Nice try, dude. I know you're not fucking Santa Claus. Alright? You're probably like over Jakarta, Indonesia right now. Alright? Alright. Pay for his debt. Time rolls over to 5 a.m. Well, I still got 10 minutes before that happens. So. Kinda. Oh. You know what we could do, I think? I think Blathers' tent might be built, so we can get a little head start on that. Santa is in Pakistan, according to NORAD. Oh, okay. So he's, like, ahead of schedule. Shoot. Bro, Santa got his ass in the North Pole. He can't hear you. If Santa's ass is in the North Pole right now, he's running late, all right? He's running late. He should have got a head start like 12 hours ago. Any of Santa's elves in chat? See, that could be... You know, this is probably the best day for elves. Probably the most st stressful day for old Santa Claus. Probably a great day for his elves. They're like, are they working now? I think they're done. They're probably done until the new year. You guys done until the new year with, like, your jobs and shit? Or school? Like, what's the next day of work for you guys? Probably, like, the second, right? You guys are probably done for a little while. January 3rd. What day is the second? If it's on a weekend, then yeah, it might be the third. Oh, no, the second's on a Tuesday. Shit! I went back to college January 7th? What the fuck? Wednesday the 27th? You don't get the whole... What's nice is that usually with Christmas break, you get all the way until New Year's. It's like, yeah, the 7th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th aren't exactly like holidays, but, you know, still get them off usually. Guess not always, though. Alright. Alright, let's skip... I could wait, like, nine minutes, but I could also just do this. Could also just go to 58. Save, like, five minutes. Speaking of January 2nd, I started testosterone on January 2nd. Or you start testosterone on January 2nd. Hey, there you go. Is that what you asked Santa for? 
Trying to get your canonical height and call you an elf man. Don't fall for it. Is that what you guys are trying to do? You guys are trying to get my canonical height and call you an elf? You're trying to call me an elf? What did you ask Santa for? Dude, I'm not fucking saying! I'm not fucking saying what I asked Santa for. You're not going to get it out of me. All right? It's very private. You guys go on sharing on your little Instagrams. <clears throat> you guys share, like, you guys overshare. A lot of people oversharing on social media these days. You guys tell everything. Alright? I don't do that. I don't tell nothing. Mm-mm. I don't, I don't go sharing my personal private life, including what I ask Santa for. It's been a rough holiday, so it's nice to see you around. Yeah, I'm around. That's about the best I've been doing. I'm sorry, our little Instagrams? Yeah! People have these days be posting everything on Instagram, TikTok, Discord. You guys be posting way too much. You do on here? We overshare? You do on here? I do not overshare on this website. No. Actually... Pump the brakes. I do not over... I make a specific effort to not overshare on this website, alright? Unless it's for a joke. And then it's funny. And it's not oversharing. It might not even be true. I don't use Insta or TikTok. Yeah, I don't either. You're not special. Your snap face, your Insta chats, your book face. Yeah. It's fucked up. Not me, I'm secretive as the Men in Black from the 1980s film The Princess Bride. I, I thought the Men in Black film was Men in Black. Is that just, What's his name? What was the guy's name? I don't remember. I, I actually, I got a picture in my head. I, I don't remember his name. What the fuck's the guy's name? Dude, this is great because actually, yeah, Will Smith, that's it. This is great. There's a there's a game out there. Tommy Lee? No, it's Will Smith. There's a game out there called Cine 2 Nerdle. And if I knew anything about movies, it would be really fun. Because what you do is you get a movie. By the way, happy birthday. Me? You get a movie prompt. Okay? It's you versus another person. It's you versus another person. Okay? And you get a movie prompt. It, the game starts you out with one. And you have to name another movie that shares an actor or actress with that movie that was previously played. So if they play um, Puss in Boots, uh, what was the last, pu well, any Puss in Boots movie for that matter. So if they play Puss in Boots, you can play Spy Kids 2. Because the link there is Antonio Banderas, okay? And then you keep doing that until you stump the other person by playing a movie that they don't know the cast of. And you can only play every actor and actress three times. It's actually really fun. It's like Sports Grid, sort of, except I think it's like PvP. It's not like, you know, you're just playing by yourself. Alright, so now we got... Buy Better Tools and Tool Ring. Do I have enough miles for that? I hope I do. I would be amazing at that. It's called Cine 2 Nerdle. C-I-N-E 2 Nerdle. Movies got me through school. Well, there you go. Play it. Show your show your worth. Alright. We can PvP if I don't tell me what you asked Santa for. Dude, drop it. Thanks for the hydrate. At Diagonal, I need your wisdom. Okay. I want to start a cross-stitch project, but I need colored markers to mark out the pattern. Do I text my mom asking if we have markers and thus alerting her to my awake status so she can make me clean for Christmas, or do I just hunt for them by myself? You're, like, hiding from your mom? What are you... You're like hiding 
your awake status from your mom. What are you doing, man? Just... Oh, I didn't upgrade my house, you dumb dingus. I forgot to actually... Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I do this all the fucking time. Why are you, like, hiding the fact that you're awake from your mom? Help your mom, man. And also, like, yeah, it would also have the added effect of probably getting the colored markers that you need. Why don't you help your mom? It's not my wisdom, really. It's hardly my wisdom. That's kind of common sense. Motherfucker playing Binding of Isaac. People think they slick. I'm just saying, y'all think you slick sometimes. Y'all think you slick. Be playing like, be offline on Discord. Uh, oh man, I guess they're not around right now. Motherfucker playing The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Acting like, yeah, I'm not on my computer right now. I'm busy. What the fuck are you doing? Trying to lie to me. Steam say, Steam tell on you. Steam got receipts. Merry Christmas from Germany. Is it Christmas Happy in Germany? Happy holidays, everyone. Smile. It's not Christmas in Germany yet. Well, whatever. Th have, have a Merry Christmas. And thanks, Galaxy Nina, for the three months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. King, that's literally you? I never claim to not be at my computer. I never claim to not be at my computer. If I don't see something that you posted, then that's because I saw it and I didn't say nothing. I don't ever claim to not be at my computer. Alright, my house is upgraded, though. Yeah, Germans celebrate on the 24th because, among other reasons, you guys are kind of like, uh, backwards. There we go. You guys, like, do things weird. Kind of just Europe in general, but, you know, whatever. Dag wants a perfect run for Christmas. It's going pretty well. Excuse me? Would you fart? When stream ends, Dag just powers down and sits in front of the computer till the next stream. Yeah, basically. No, like... I just did the fucking Eminem fucking pose. I just did the fucking Eminem pose. I just did the... Okay, but yeah, kinda. Yeah, like, I edit videos and, like, I do work, but, like, you know... Hey, it's Ems. Thanks for the six months. Appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. No, I don't want to be Eminem. I don't want to be Eminem. I just like... Yeah, I just... Whatever. Here in the Netherlands, we celebrate two days of Christmas? Oh! You guys... Oh, yeah, you, you know what? You guys, you guys are really fucking stressed out. Being like the tallest country per capita. Having like some of the highest quality of living in life. Yeah, you guys, you guys really, like, need a second day of Christmas. You guys, you guys are really hurting over there in the Netherlands. Yeah, you know what? You, 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 you deserve it. You deserve two days of Christmas. You guys really live a tough life out there. Tallest country per capita. Highest, among the highest quality of life. One of the best Formula One drivers of all time. Oh, dude, we really need two days of Christmas, man. It's really tough being fucking Dutch. Yeah, it's really fucking tough. I bet. I bet. I don't want to hear it. That's right, we do deserve it. Yeah, whatever. Okay, but for real, Just Don't Give a Fuck is one of the best crafted hip-hop songs. We really drunk packing it played- We really drunk packing and played it the whole time. I was like, dude, what happened? Why he rap about coffee pots now? You changed, man. You changed. You changed, Nem. In Poland, Christmas is also celebrated. I think in Europe, you guys just celebrate on the 24th. You're weird. Alright, whatever. Someone's feisty today? Dude, I'm not feisty, okay? You guys just provoke me. You guys... You guys do this thing where you, like... You take, like, those, you know those things that you, like, those, you, you, like, brand, like, some cattle with? You, like, tss, you, like, branding cattle. You're, like, doing that. You're, like, sticking a bunch of, like, hot branding irons on my, like, asshole. 
and then getting mad at me when I go like, hoo, 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 and I'm like tapping on it to like put out the fire. You're like, look at him. Look at him dancing. Look at him. Well, yeah, you're provoking me, man. You're, you're, you're fucking provoking me. Of course I'm gonna snap at you. You're fucking, you're branding my asshole, man. What do you expect? I can't just sit there and take it. I'm going, y you do it, dude. You fucking poke my ass with a hot branding iron, and I say, and I jump 10 feet out of my chair, a plume of smoke shoots out from underneath my ass, and I'm like, and, and I land, and then I like start like tapping on like my butt to like put the fire out. I'm like, dude, I'm like actually doing that shit right now. You, you do that to me. And then you get, and then you wonder like why I'm like get feisty, cause you guys be fucking poking my ass with hot needles, Tom and Jerry type shit. Yeah, Tom had more good points. Tom was more right than you guys give him credit for. All right, Tom was fucking right. In many ways, Tom was actually like I I sympathize a lot with him. Jerry was a bitch. He was. He was. He's a little ass. You'd be a good voice actor. Thanks. If you guys have any gigs that you think I would be good for, make sure to, like, send them to me. Or my agent, who's also me. Because I'm not important enough. Redeem Nook Miles. Tool ring. And pretty good tools, yeah. I think you'd be a good streamer. Huh. <laughs> Okay. Alright. Better tools, tool ring, agree to the shop proposal, buy a net, a watering can, and a shovel. We don't need a water today, because it's raining, but we should get a watering can still. Make vaulting pole, better can, iron axes. Okay, 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 I gotta slow down. I'm like twisting my own self. Or even a YouTuber. Yeah, you know, I was talking about that video. That four-hour H-Bomber guy plagiarism video, I talked about it on Twitter. You know, that made me feel a little bit better about my place on YouTube, because... Basically, that video was talking about a bunch of YouTubers who, as the name of the video would imply, uh, heavily plagiarized their content. Um... How- how- you guys have seen that video, right? Or, like, you know it's coming around? Or, like, you've seen it around? I don't know, man. Like, that, that was a good video. I know it's four hours. It's a, lost, it's a lot to ask you guys to watch that video, but, like, it is very good. Not yet. Seen the first half? Well, the whole, like, twist of the video happens about, like, halfway through. The whole, like, point of the video... Not the whole point of the video, but, like, a lot of, like, the main parts of the video happens around halfway through. It's kind of crazy because a four-hour video... Two, the first two hours of it isn't even, like, the main point. It's still really good, but it's not even, like, the main point, really. No spoilers? Y'all know a guy called James Summerton? Y'all know James Summerton? Anyone a big James Summerton fan? So good a video, they brought out the soy allegations against him immediately, like, yeah, he won, man. He was beating the soy allegations before they even started. Alright, anyway, now we have to... Agree to shop proposal, buy net, watering can, and shovel. Okie dokie. Well, what, we probably gotta sell some stuff first, right? You know they'd be making Wojaks and shit. Yeah, dude, oh, totally. They probably already had him loaded up. Absolutely. Stealing gameplay and dubbing over it, does that count as... <laughs> Whoa, jeez. Okay, that's... That's, uh... That, that's a rough... Oh, that that's... That's... Okay. Let me, let me see if I can parse this here. Does that count as... Palagirism? Does that count as... Palagirism. Am I Pregante? Am I Gregnant? Am I Paragantane?
I was subscribed to James before the whole video and didn't know that all that was plagiarist. I felt so betrayed. Yeah, doesn't it make you feel like real silly? The palagirism goes crazy. All right. Sell, buy, net water and can shovel. I just found out I'm pregnart today. No, not a fucking oil barrel. The dubbing would be you adding to the video fair use. Yeah, I don't know where the line is drawn between, like, fair use, plagiarism. I don't know. Look, I'm not gonna act like I haven't, like, you know, used someone else's video as, like, an example. Like, a Nintendo's video from... Of their, like, Animal Crossing footage when I didn't, like, want to go do it myself, you know? But, like, if you credit it, it, which is not hard to do, it's fine. And, of course, like, I'm doing my own words and script on top of it. Like, I don't know, man. It's just, it's not hard. It, it like, takes time. But, like, of course, that's what people, you know, that's, they don't want to hear that. That's the hard part about it is that it takes time, right? That's the thing that that's, like, making them do it in the first place, you know? But I get it, man. It is, like, a lot of time and effort to, like, write your own shit on YouTube, but I would never, like, stoop to the levels of doing what some of the people in that, like, video did. I don't know. It made me feel a lot better about myself, despite doing nothing differently, that it, at least all my shit is my own, you know? At least all my shit is my own. Make a vaulting pole. Oh, you know what? I never got iron. I gotta go get some iron. Dag, what do you have against Europeans, by the way? Nothing. Here's some iron. Aaron earned an iron urn. 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 Still got it. Still got it. All right, where's my rocks? Luckily, on a rainy day, it shouldn't be as many bugs around, so less chance of scaring them away. He hates us. No, I don't. Relax. Y'all just funny. Y'all just funny. Here. Alright, I need iron. Can you do Peter Piper picked? Okay, but you guys have to type out the whole thing. I know the Peter Piper... Peter Piper picked a bunch... Peter... Fuck. You have to write it out. Because honestly, I'm stumbling because I don't know the full thing. You guys are going to have to write it out. It's like, Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peppers, right? Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peppers. Pe <laughs> Peter Piper picked a... Uh, Peter Piper... Uh, Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peppers. Hey, thanks, Taste the Rainbow, for the three months of Tier 1. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. Thank you. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peppers. A peck of oh, fuck, dude. I can't. I don't. I only know the first line. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper, Peter Piper picked a a pe what's a peck? I thought it was a pack. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pick pickled pi peppers? Peter Piper picked. Stupid. Make it make sense. Whatever. Good for you. Thanks. I appreciate that. Peck is one-fourth of a bushel. Dude, I don't know what a fucking bushel is either, okay? I don't make my living picking strawberries for a living. Nine months with my favorite streamer. Hey, I appreciate Formerly that. Formerly Arlie underscore 163. Well, thanks G Galileo's Neptune for the nine months. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes. And enjoy your ad-free viewing. Really intelligent gameplay of me to put flowers next to a rock when I need to harvest that rock. I actually gotta fucking move the flowers. My dumb ass. Dag, what do you think of Australians? Dude, why are you asking me what I think of different nationalities? They're fine. They're people. I don't know, what do you want me to say? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck wood if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Got it. Fucking nailed it. You think that that's, that shit ain't nothing to me, man? Haters and shambles, they stay picking the corn out of my shit. That shit ain't nothing to me, man. Come on. 
You have to test me. I got a weed. Australians aren't people. Real people don't sound like that. Not even the British? Yeah, they're fine. You know, I clown on them. I goof on them. As if they don't clown and goof on me too. Y'all is. Y'all trying... This is what I'm saying. Y'all provoke me. You guys provoke me. You're trying to get a reaction out of me. You're trying to put me in your cringe compilations. It ain't happening. Why do I always come in and it's something somewhat out of pocket? Because that's my entire stream, is me saying things out of pocket. You'll be surprised, yeah, if you turn into a random episode of Seinfeld, they're talking about, like, Junior Mints or something like that. And you're like, wow, how the fuck did they talk about Junior Mints? Because you missed the whole context of the entire episode. Of course you're going to be confused. Of course you're going to be confused. You tuned in halfway. Which mod approved that? I'll give you a little kiss on the mouth. Right here, big boy. Ops wanted some initiative. Blew up their entire quadrant. I'm moving like Oppenheimer. Yeah, I mod my own stream and I stream at the same time. Yeah, that's right. I'm him. I've been him. I will continue to be him. Himon and Pumbaa. All right, now I can make my shit. Shoot! Say Sally sells she... Fuck you. Say Sally sells seashells by the seashore five times fast. Is this all I am? Is just people's puppet? Is this all I am is people's puppet? This is all I am is people's puppet? That's kind of a tongue twister. It also, it, I thought it was she sells seashells, because the she and the sea is supposed to fuck you up. I feel like Sally makes it easier. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. That's easier than saying she sells seashells by the seashore. Because you have to enunciate the, sh the she, and then the sea, and then you're gonna get really fucked up when you do it. Alright. Better shovel, better watering can, and then axes. Yeah, dance monkey. That's all I am to you guys. That's all I am to you guys. You know what saddens me? I'm sorry, this might hit a little too close to home for some of you. I think a lot of you guys are germa fans, right? Germaphobes? Or germophiles, I guess you'd call it? Germs. They... That is one of the... In the sense of... Entitlement? That is one of the worst fandoms on the internet, as far as, like, entitlement. That dude announces that he's going into, like, soft retirement. The entire fucking community loses their mind. They're like, I don't like this new era of Germa. I don't like this retirement era. He's not streaming no more, which he does, still. I saw a post on the Germa985 subreddit. Oh, okay, browsing Reddit's your first problem. Yeah, okay, I know. And people were, like, genuinely mad when he announced his, like, retirement. I'm like, this dude been streaming pretty much consistently for, like, 13 years? 12, 13 years? And you have the audacity to say that he's... Oh, how could he do this? There's still Jenna Marbles fans begging for her to come back. Makes you wonder, like, I don't think I have... I, 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 I don't know. I don't think people would do that for me. But, like, you get to that level of fandom and, like, you know... Would that would, like, people... Would, like, people not take too kindly to, like, me peacing out when it's my time to go? I don't know, man. Which may be sooner than you think. Vaulting pole, better can, iron axes, and a crafting table. Right, 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 crafting table. Isn't like 30-something? He has a whole life. Yeah! People feel so entitled to access to streamers. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know. I, uh... I think people have, like, a disconnect between... How much, like, streamers are people, too, you know? Wink, wink. 
place crafting table, chop trees and pick up all the wood, and hit rocks. Alright, well, I already hit my rocks for today. Chop trees, pick up all the wood, and hit rocks. 30 plus 4 of every wood. Okay. Right, we gotta do the thing again, though, where we scare the bees out of the trees before we chop the trees, though. Okay. Got it. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Yep. I think so. Let me sell all my unnecessary bullshit, though. Crafting table. I made a crafting table. Also, I don't want to build a shop. I think people forget that. Oh boy, I wish X would stream does not automatically mean, therefore, X must stream. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Oh no, but they were saying, like, no, like, there's entitlement there. No, I do know the difference. The people I watch, I like just as people. I mean, you don't even know me. <laughs> You don't even know me! Can I get the inventory expansion? That's like, nah, it's gonna be too many miles. That'd just be so annoying to do over again. I haven't, I really fear, like, I scared away a bug and, like, nobody caught it. And I'm not gonna notice till editing. That's kind of like... A fear, alright, I gotta, I gotta get the bees first, gotta get the bees. Oh, I never upgraded my... Well, I don't have any more iron anyway, so whatever. Who cares? All right, we gotta shake all the trees before we cut them down, because there could be bees in them. Could be bees in them. Then again, well, no, 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 they have the fruits. They have the fruits at the bottom, but I did that the day before, so no, they could totally still have wasps in them. What's the challenge anyway? Uh, it's in the title of the stream. Foreshadowing. What am I foreshadowing? I hope I'm not. I hope I haven't done that. Uh-oh. Okay, good. I was worried, like, being right on top of them means I wouldn't catch them. I hope it's not foreshadowing. I don't think I have. I trust you guys to be, you know, you guys are always ever vigilant about anything that I do wrong in my streams. So I figure you guys would definitely tell me if I have. I figure you guys would definitely tell me if I, like, fucked something up. You guys are pretty quick to do that most of the time. Hey, Professional Gaslighter, thanks for the 500 bits. Why didn't an alert play? Well, I appreciate it either way. I guess you got scammed. I guess you got scammed. Are the tags auto-generated or chosen by mods? Tags for uh, my stream are automatically generated by Twitch. Um, they, like, read me. Like, they gather data on my stream and they... Uh, they, like, make tags according to my stream that are relevant to my stream, of course. I don't know. What are the tags, though? I'm, like, curious every time I stream, like, what Twitch, like, thinks of my stream, you know? You are literally trawling. Uh, what do you mean? Get out of here, you little devil. Oh, for sure they do. Yeah, as I just said. I just said. Got here. So the tags are AI then. Yeah, I mean, really, like... You know. I mean, like, I could be AI, right? Why am I picking up the peaches? Gonna go down, down to Georgia. Gonna eat myself some peaches. I don't even know. Handsome. Penguins fan. Cool guy for me right now. Oh, okay. That's pretty nice. Wow, an acorn. I didn't know that could happen. Blink three times if you need assistance. Dude, I'm going to be blinking like probably a thousand times again over the course of this stream. By the way, chat, you're all breathing and blinking manually now. And you're going to for like the next two minutes until you forget that I said that. You're all blinking and breathing manually. Fuck you. Why would you say that? I don't think I deserve that. Okay. F you, man. Stop? What's the matter, dude? Relax. Why would you do that? I don't know. I just... I don't know. I just thought it was funny. Are you guys actually mad? Are you guys actually mad at me? Are you guys actually mad at me? 
You guys aren't mad at me, right? <laughs> Right? Alright, I think every tree on the main part of the island here is bee-less, wasp-less. Let's make sure that we don't cut down, like, a grove of trees. Let's leave, like, ten trees. That was really fucking sneaky of you to hide in the flowers there, Buster. Is this the best Christmas you guys have ever had? Press 1 in chat. Type 1 in chat if today or this holiday as a whole, is the best Christmas that you've ever had. Is this, like, the best Christmas you've ever had? Two, 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 one, two, one, two, zero, one, two. And so, like, some of you, that's a pretty good ratio, honestly. That's a pretty good ratio. That's like, dude, like, half of you guys are having the best Christmas that you ever had. Which is pretty great. That's pretty remarkable, actually. Alright, I need a grove. What's a good grove? Is Christmas? I lied? Dude, that's kind of fucked up. Why would you do that? Well, you just lie. I need, like, a nice... Nice little pack of, like, ten trees all nice and close together. These guys look pretty good. So, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10. And then, like, everything outside of here can go. Okay. Okay. This is epic. Yeah. Alright, we're good, right? Not gonna knock any... Let's make sure that we don't, like, spam the A button when we're cutting them down, because, like, a spider could pop out, and then... <clears throat> If I cut down a tree with a spider in there, I think that that would count, probably. Anyway. Time to wrap some dinner presents. Bro, are you, like, gonna wrap a stew? What are you doing? You know, like, wrap some, like, cookies or something? The fuck? And I think we leave the stumps. I don't think we bother with the stumps. <clears throat> I'm Jewish. Today is just another day. Well, I'm daggish. Like, I'm, like, kind of dag today, but, you know, just a little. Happy Chrysler. Yo, dag, how's life? Look, you might be, like, okay, but, <laughs> like, you're probably fine. I, I don't think you're, like, hang on, let me show you guys something here. Let me show you guys a little something here. I don't I don't know like why it says this. It, it must be a reason. I don't know why it says this, but it says when they say yo dag how's life? You're a possible ban evader? What the fuck? I don't know if I can trust you. I don't know if I should tell you how my life's going. I don't know. I'm kind of scared. The audit? I'm not auditing. I'm just like, why does it say that? Why are you a possible ban evader? Is there anything you need to tell us? I don't know if I can trust you to tell you how my life's going right now. Anyway, I just thought that was funny. I guess ops want some initiative. I don't know, man. That's really weird. I've never been banned? I, I definitely don't remember doing so. No, I guess you have been now. Maybe they have another account on the same IP. Oh, did your, like, little bro, like, log on and, like, start cursing at me? And I, like, ban them? Oh, yeah, that could actually happen. That could actually happen. Y'all, like, little bro can, like, log on to your Twitch account. Come on to my stream and be like, nice nose, fuckboy. And I time them out. Or I, like, ban them. And then your IP banned. I think... Well, no. If you were IP banned, you wouldn't be able to, like, chat at all. I don't know, man. That's what they all say. Eyebrow raise goes crazy.
Nah, I trust you. I think they're all right. I think they're all right. Um, you're a little close to the tree. I just want to, like, I just, I just don't. I just don't even want to chance it. Dag is the rock confirmed. Yeah, dude, I'm like this jacked former WWE wrestler. Dude, would you guys, like, be surprised if I, like, ripped off my shirt and I was, like, fucking jacked? Like, would you, like, be like, holy shit, he's jacked? I wouldn't do that, because that's not allowed on Twitch anymore. But, like, that'd be kind of funny, right? I can see that. You guys Honestly, think I'm jacked? People laugh at toilet paper hoarders, but they really don't have enough toilet paper themselves. The average person uses one roll per day. If you have a family of four, that's 28 rolls a week. Over 130 rolls a month. What are you doing where you use one whole ass- Bro, you got damn diarrhea. You're literally on the toilet having damn diarrhea 18 hours a day. If you use one roll of toilet paper every day. Get a bidet, man. Thanks for the- Dude, you must have like no feeling in your asshole at that point. Your like asshole has lost all of its sense of feel. If you're using damn a roll of toilet paper a day. How big your damn rolls? Anyway, thanks for the, uh, 18 months, Dizzy. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate it. Alright, so we left just that grove, right? We got this as well. Alright, got that. And I think all the remaining trees are part of the grove that I want to keep. Okay. Y'all only using one? Uh, dude, I did make a mistake, though. Can I, like, if I tell you guys my mistake, it will perhaps prevent you guys from doing the same thing. So, I'm gonna tell you guys a mistake that I made. So, when I moved into my apartment in August, I... I needed all the essentials, right? Like, I, I needed, like, cleaning supplies, I needed, you know, kitchen supplies, I needed other things, like, toilet paper, among other things. So I bought a giant ass thing of toilet paper. All right, I bought a giant ass thing of toilet paper. It's the shittiest toilet paper I've ever used though. It's terrible. It's like this one ply flimsy ass bullshit. It's this one ply flimsy ass bullshit. And because I bought so much of it, I'm still using it in now December. And I moved in in August. It's December now, and I'm still going through it, man. I'm suffering months of repercussions for my shitty, shitty purchase of terrible quality toilet paper. So if you ever, like, move into a new place, and you're buying, like, a big old giant roll of toilet paper, like, giant 48 rolls of toilet paper, make sure that it's the good stuff, because you're stuck with that stuff for months. You're stuck with it for months. Make sure that it's the good stuff and you don't end up regretting it months after moving into your new place. Never get... No, don't get... No, it's not scratchy. It's just like... is one ply and I have to use like so much of it for it to be like a comfortable amount of toilet paper. And I have a bidet, man. I don't use it very quickly because the bidet does most of the work. I'm making that shit last even if I didn't... Even if it wasn't the good stuff. Do I have 30... I have 30 hardwood. Mm. You know what? I'll give that and then donate my snail. Or not donate, but sell it. I hate the toilet paper which doesn't flush. That's kind of like the whole point of the toilet paper, dude. As a non-American, I'm scared of what you guys call giant. Because your small is usually the rest of the world's giant. You can get toilet paper. Like, packs of toilet paper that are like this wide and this tall i'm talking about like that bitch has like 48 rolls of toilet paper in there that's what i consider like a giant pack of toilet paper that's what i consider like a giant pack of toilet paper the cam yeah it's probably like it's too wide for the camera to even see pardon me 48 dude First of all, if you buy that many, then you're good for a while, and, you know, 
if you weigh like the amount that you paid per roll, you're probably getting a really good deal. All right. So it's smart. It's it's an objectively smart thing to do because you're always going to need toilet paper. And so if you just buy a shit ton that will last you months, you're saving money and you're going to use it all because it's not perishable. You know, it's not like it's going to expire. Like if I bought like a shit ton of like beans... Well, that's not a good example, because those are non-perishables as well. If I buy, like, a shit ton of bread, and I, like, was like, oh, hell yeah, I saved a bunch of money by buying a bunch of bread in bulk instead of, like, individual loaves. Well, yeah, that's great, until you realize you can't eat all that bread. You're gonna use all that toilet paper. Here at home, we buy, like, 16 pack for three people? I mean, that'll last you, like, a little bit, but, like, not long enough, honestly. I don't know, man. Costco shoppers be crazy. You guys would lose your mind at the prospect of someone who, like, only shops at, like, Sam's Club and Costco, man. Those people buy, like, fucking 96 packs of paper towels, last them, like, two years. Them, like, damn doomsday prepper ass closets. They buy beans for the next 15 millenniums. Because they're like, oh, you never know. <laughs> You never know. I've seen those kinds of people. They're smart. If you got like a family that's big enough and you're gonna like use all that shit before it goes bad, it's smart to like shop at Costco and shit. Plus that quarter pound beef franc and a sodi with free refills for a buck fifty? Shoo, how could you not? We all need beans, Dag. That's another British thing. Y'all love beans over there, don't you? There's a 10 millennia limit at Costco. I mean, if the apocalypse happens, the one thing that I trust will still be around is Costco. That old soda pop, yeah. You go to Costco when you need bulk of something. Exactly. Alright, I think it's all the trees on my main area. Okay, we got 30 of every kind of wood. And then we just need the iron for the shop. Okay. 30 plus 4 of every kind of wood. Yeah, we'll have that. And then... Leave one grove of trees. We did that. Redeem Nook Miles and time travel to September at noon. Water flowers if it's not raining. Well, it is, so we're good. So donate this wood. And then we already hit all of our rocks, so we have all the iron we can get from our island anyway. And then we're good. Which is nothing, because we used it all to upgrade our tools. Eating beans right now and potato waffles. Are you talking about waffle cut fries or are you talking about potato waffles? There's a word for those, like lat, lat, latkes, latkes. There's something like that. It's like a Jewish food, right? Potato waffles are good. Waffles made of potato flour. I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Just smoked some weed. Time to chill with Dag. Woo. Dude. You don't just go around admitting to, like, crimes in, like, public Twitch chats, dude. There could be, like, cops watching. Bro got that 420. Top shelf Zaza disrupted my circadian rhythm. Hello, Merry Christmas from France. Yeah, Merry Christmas. How would you say that in France? Everyone loves marine land. That's not how you'd say it in France. That's just a commercial. Lay Merry Christmas. Oh, okay. There we go. Weed is legal in many places. Yeah, name one. I think I'm gonna believe that. Alright, here we go. Um, Yep, got all my wood. Got all my... Right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Got it. I think we are... Yep. I understand. Yes, chef. I'm sorry, chef. Yes, chef. Did he say I was carrying iron nuggets? No. Weed is legal here in the Netherlands. Yeah, okay, buddy. Dude, weed is a class A drug, man. That's, like, on the same level of, like, cocaine. 
heroin and shit like that. Dude, that stuff's dangerous, man. Just going around admitting that I'm doing heroin. You don't see me doing that. All right. Team Nook Miles, time travel to September at noon. Water flowers if it's not raining. Hit rocks again until all are hit. Redeem miles. Hit rocks again until all are hit. Redeem miles. Time travel to December at 8 p.m. Okay. Dag, weed is legal on Twitch. No, 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 no. Okay, actually, Happy though. Happy holidays, Dagnall. Okay, but... Hope you had a good and restful break from stream. Thank you. I didn't. But thanks for the 22 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Okay, but no. I don't think you can smoke weed on Twitch. No, like, actually, though. I don't think that if I pulled out a giant freaking... I, I think if I pulled out a giant fronto leaf on stream and rolled some wacky tobacco in it and smoked that, I don't think that... I don't think Twitch would like that very much. But you do? No, I don't. I don't smoke nothing. If you reside in a state where it's legal, it's allowed. Dude, you want to pull up the part of the Twitch Terms of Service where it says, if weed is legal in your state, you can smoke it on stream? Because I don't recall reading that. I also don't read it biblically, though, you know? Do you be eating it, though? Dude, I'm not- I don't answer to cops, alright? I don't respect them. Alright, everything's watered because it's raining again. So, that's great. I gotta be careful because now it's daytime and there's much more bugs around that I could potentially scare. Alright, what am I doing? We're gonna hit rocks. Okay, right, got it. I'm gonna hit rocks. I think I want to cut down all the other trees as well. Oh, and, like, cicadas on trees as well. God, I'm, like, nervous. I'm, like, scared to even, like, walk around. I feel like if you did it in a legal state and used a pen and it didn't look like weed, then maybe. I mean, dude, people break rules on Twitch all the time. I'm sure you would be fine, but, you know. I, is it explicitly allowed? I have no idea. I'm not the guy that makes the rules. I try to just follow them. Thanks, Jess, for the 500 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes. Wait, that's bits. Thanks. Is Twitch still doing the thing where they, like, match bit donations up to a certain amount? I guess not, because I think they would have done it just then and there. Can you make a safe path to run around on? Well, no, because, like, bugs, like, on the ground, for example, can spawn anywhere. So, you're never going to guarantee that they don't spawn in certain places. So, that's why I like, got to be really careful. Like, there could be... I, really, I really shouldn't even be watching so close to the beach because there could be, like, a locust on the beach and then I, like, scare them and make them jump in the water. And I just... Everything's... I got to reset. Whole challenge is... Is this yoinked? Me getting loud-ass ads and temporarily muting the stream, I'll remember to turn it back on. He did not, in fact, remember. Ah, I get that all the time. Can we talk about weed some more? No, man. A lot worse on Twitch right now than some weed. I love this site. Yeah, I mean... <clears throat> there's been a lot of discussion lately about... People pushing the rules of what is and is not allowed on Twitch. If you guys go to the just chatting category, I don't browse just chatting. I don't really browse Twitch outside of my followed streamers. Is it still bad? Like, is it still like... Is it still nasty? Is it still like... Is it still... Ooh, shit. Is it still bad? Yes? Bro, you see Boogie2988? No, what happened to uh, Boogie2988? What happened to him? I mean, I, I'm going to assume that, uh, given the context of what we were talking about, he got banned. Oh my god. Nude people with sensor bars. Wait. So wait, that's all you have to do? Wait, 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 wait. That's all you have to do, is you just gotta move the sensor bar? Wait a minute. So what you're saying is... 
what I could do is I could do this. I could do this. Hit it with a little, uh... Hit it with a little of that. And then I could just be like, nay nay. But as long as I got this here, it's alright? Wait, really? Got paper? Oh, thank you. I, if you want to drop that off, I'd appreciate it. So, like, as long as I got, like, that here, it's all good? Filth. Well, no, because it's got the sensor bar, dude. There's no nudity here. So, like, I could, like, rip off my shirt right now, and it'd be all right. <clears throat> Interesting. All right. Well, good to know. Um, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to use the bathroom, actually. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. If a bug uh, happens to wander into my vicinity while I'm not at my computer, that does not count as me scaring away because I didn't do anything to do it. So I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. See you in a minute. Crackhawk sound like game seven. <clears throat> Anyone else low-key prefer one-ply toilet paper? You're an honest-to-god maniac if you prefer one-ply toilet paper. What, what about it would you prefer over, like, a nice, thick, soft, like, four-ply? I don't know, four-ply is a bit rich for my blood, but, like, a nice two-ply or something like that. Oh, I have mums. I didn't even realize. Um, okay. We gotta hit all of our rocks. Did I not make a vaulting pole? My dumbass never done made a vaulting pole. It's alright. My stupid ass. Happy Christmas Eve. Yeah, happy Christmas. You guys say Merry Christmas or Happy Christmas? Do you guys say... You guys say, uh, Happy Holidays? I, there's a whole controversy about saying Merry Christmas. Or rather, the, uh... There's a lot of, like, made-up controversy about how liberals get mad when you say Merry Christmas. Which I don't think anyone like, actually does. I say Happy Holidays when I'm working. I guess it's like... I, I, I guess. I don't know. Was anyone, like, actually ever really mad when you say Merry Christmas? I think that that was always, like, this, like, pretend outrage where people think that people get mad when they say Merry Christmas, but I don't think anyone actually does, right? That only exists in the U.S. Maybe. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, someone stabbed me because I said Merry Christmas. That actually, like, sucks. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. That actually, like, kind of sucks ass. I'm sorry to hear that. Alright, I gotta do the bees thing first. I gotta check for bees. See? That would've bit me. A few customers just seemed annoyed when I said it to them. But I think that's probably because they... They're probably because, like, they're cynical. Like, if anyone's genuinely mad because you said Merry Christmas, they're probably just, like, cynical. I don't think it's the actual act of saying Merry Christmas to them. Ooh, a cute... Dude, I could have used the cute DIY table, saved ever having to make the regular DIY table. Oh, well, that's kind of fucked. Now I gotta just... Well, you know what? Fine. We'll just leave this one here. Dude, that's kind of a flex in a speedrun to use a cute DIY table instead of that DIY table. That's kind of a flex. Yeah, I don't need that fucking regular boring-ass crafting table. I got a cute DIY table. The libs canceling Christmas. I'm done. They canceled Snoopy. I'm sure it's not as bad as the internet makes it seem, but the people who post about and legit get mad are always Americans. Yeah. These stack, right? Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, probably. 
It definitely does seem like one of those things that... Like, you would never actually find someone in real life getting mad at that. It's only, like, an outrage that exists because it happened, like, a few times, and we kind of assume that, like, everyone gets mad about it now. But that's just not the case. I have a lot of people roll their eyes at me for saying happy holidays for sure. I don't know, like, why you'd roll your eyes at them. Just try, trying to be nice, you know? Many people just try to be nice. I don't know. I never understood. One time working in retail on Christmas Eve, a customer got mad at my coworker for saying Happy Holidays instead of Merry Christmas. When my coworker said it, it was not because it was because not everyone celebrates Christmas. This Karen was like, "Well, then why are they in a mall on Christmas Eve?" That's actually pretty funny. It's not funny at all. Pretty annoying, but like definitely one of those things where you can look at and be like, you just kind of have to like laugh. You just kind of have to laugh. People are idiots. Yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you meant Nook Miles. It is offensive to say Merry Christmas to someone who doesn't celebrate it. Is it though? I don't know. I speak as someone who does celebrate Christmas, so I guess I can't really be the one to tell that. Ah, I thought it was a beehive. I don't know. I guess I can't really say whether it's annoying or not, because I celebrate Christmas. Oh no, I asked if it was. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Is it? I don't know. You're asking the wrong person. You should ask someone who doesn't celebrate Christmas if it's if they're truly annoyed or offended by the fact. Ah, I gotta catch that. I gotta catch that before it goes away. I gotta catch that before it goes away. Yup. Got it. Also, I don't need money. Uh, you can let it go. Is that ten bugs? I've only got ten bugs? That's sad. Hmm. Or is that ten... That's not 10 total bugs. No, I've caught 24 total, 10 unique. Okay, I guess that's not terrible then. One minute ads! Streamer! Why are you running ads for me? I don't know. I, You know what? I'm actually like... You in particular are the only person getting an ad right now. You're the only person. I'm sorry to say, you're the only person right now getting an ad. I specifically targeted an ad for you and you only. Nobody else right now is getting an ad, only you. I did it because I handpicked you because I hate you. And not because Twitch just runs ads on streams, because it's not up to the streamer at all whether or not they can run ads. No, I picked you out. You got ad- yeah, that's right, I said you got ads for Christmas. What you want for Christmas? I hope it's ads. I gotta get out of here. Um, I gotta fucking get the man inventory management. This is ridiculous. Whatever, just leave it. Even though I'm probably definitely going to think that it's a fucking walking leaf at some point later in the run. I already know that I'm gonna do that. You can already tell me that I'm gonna do that, because I know I'm gonna do that. I don't think they can hear you. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's why it's fine to say something. Because they can't hear me. No repercussions. Now I'm hungry for Butterfingers. <clears throat> I'm not saying worst candy because, um... Surely is the worst candy that I can think of. I'm not saying worst candy because... Ah. Butterfingers are ass, though. It's not the worst, though. There is something worse. I will think of something. It's hard, though, because they're pretty bad. Maybe, like... Well, licorice exists. Catch that before it goes into the river. Licorice exists, so that's pretty unfortunate. Tootsie roll! Great. Thank you. Tootsie rolls. Why is it when you, like, have bowls of candy that you can, like, reach into and grab? There's always Tootsie rolls in them. The fuck, who the fuck wants a Tootsie roll? You're right. Tootsie Rolls exist. Butterfingers aren't the worst because Tootsie Rolls, licorice, 
all exist. Unfortunately, and I hate to say it, they all exist. And I, I think that that's terrible, personally. Really, all I need is just regular wood, and then I think one more soft wood to get four, right? And then, literally from here on out, just only pick up regular wood. Tootsie Rolls are so good. They're not. They're terrible. They're like, there's not even anything special about them. They're just chocolate. Like, bad chocolate. Hershey's Kisses, while I'm at it, while I'm snatching the wigs of some candies, Hershey Kisses, not that good. Um, what else? I feel like I gotta, like, I feel like I gotta, like, try to make as many people mad as possible with my candy opinions. Ah. Another controversial bad opinion stream. Come on, man. It's not... I'm not trying to make people... Well, okay, I think I did just say that I'm trying to make people mad. But, like, that's not really the goal of every stream. That's just kind of like a side effect of it all. I'm sorry, they're not good. Whoppers? I don't know if... I think Whoppers are okay. Ah, that actually is a walking leaf. That scared the fucking shit out of me. That actually scared the fucking shit out of me. I thought that, that was the fucking piece of furniture that I, that I dropped. Snow caps? Snow caps are pretty bad. Yeah, you're right. Also, like, only a uh, candy that you would eat at, like, the movie theater. I think snow caps, and the only opportunities that I've ever had with which to have them, have been at, like, movie theaters. So, yeah, snow caps are pretty bad, too. I've never had snow caps. They're just, like, shitty chocolate. I don't know if I shook these trees up here. I don't know if I- I don't know if I shook all these. I'm gonna be careful here. They're just like shitty chocolate capped with like this white sugar bead coating at the top. They're not good. And like the only times I've ever actually seen them available to purchase and to consume is at like the movie theater. Nowhere else. Do you like grape flavored medicine? Dude! Do I have a syrup? Now, I, I talked about this recently, but yeah, I kind of do because, like, when I'm sick, my go-tos are, like, DayQuil and NyQuil. DayQuil is ass. Terrible. It's like this, like, citrus-flavored daytime medicine. It's ass. It's terrible. NyQuil, though? NyQuil's great. And NyQuil's, like, the grape stuff. I like... I Look, I wouldn't, like consume it like casually just like out of leisure but like when i have to take like my nyquil when i'm sick i'm kind of like excited for it i'm like oh i get my little treat it's kind of like a little treat for me you know it's good i kind of like it it's like it's oh it's my own little treat i get kind of excited i do like a little dance and shit i had chugged that whole bottle what do you mean bro it's good Dayquil's ass. Dayquil, I have to, like, take the little cup. Ugh. That I have to, like, really, really, like, work that down because it's not good. Nyquil, though? Sh oh, Jesus Christ. Dude, I mean, how can I get one without scaring... I, I gotta get that. 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 Please don't go away. Please don't go away. Please don't go away. Thank God. Jesus. Stop lying to yourself, man. I wouldn't lie to myself. I would lie to you guys. I wouldn't lie to myself. Yeah, that was, that was pretty clutch right there that I caught that. That was pretty clutch. I hope you guys appreciate how clutch that was. You gotta pinch your nose? No, I don't pinch my nose. I just, like, try to swallow it before I even get the chance to taste it, really. That's what I do. I just, like... And I, like, put it down my gullet before I even got the chance for, like, my tongue to register the flavor of it. That's what I do. If I, like, need to swallow something that I really don't like, that's what I do. Alright, that's every tree over here, right? Good. I love Mike and Ikes. Mike and Ikes are, like... Dude, okay, here's a candy that's shit. 
But I don't think that this should be an unpopular opinion, because I think a lot of people don't like this. Any, like, cinnamon or, like, hot candy. You guys know, like, hot tamales? <clears throat> Terrible. Absolutely a, an affront to God. Hot tamales are terrible. Um, like, cinnamon-flavored, like, gum, if you've ever had it? Terrible. Wrong? No, I'm right, actually. Absolutely awful. Cinnamon candies are so good. No, they're not. That's like that shit, like, your grandma would eat. Cinnamon jelly beans? Ugh. Jelly beans, just in general, are pretty good. Dag has already said he's never wrong. Yeah, you guys obviously didn't hear, hear me when I said that. I can't be wrong, because I'm the streamer and I'm saying it. Werther's Original is what grandmas eat. I'd eat a hundred Werther's Originals before I eat a single cinnamon-flavored jelly bean. I'd eat a hundred of them. I'd puke them all up. Before I eat a singular cinnamon anything. Butters yeah, I don't like butterscotch. That's another one I'm not a big fan of. Butterscotch. Yeah. Really, not like butter anything, but I don't know. I don't want something tasting like butter. Werther's, oh my god, I was never allowed to have those as a kid, and I still crave them to this day. You don't know what my favorite piece of candy is, and it's sort of seasonal. It's sort of like a holiday candy. Those Ferrero Rochers with, like, the nuts on the outside, the hazelnut filling, and then a big old hazelnut in the middle of them. Oh, those are... If you put me around, like, a 12-pack of those, they're gone. They're already gone. Before you even had the chance to think, they're already gone. Before you even had the chance to say, Where'd I leave those Ferrero Rochers? They're gone. They're out of here. They're already... They're already down here. The chocolate nut balls? Yeah, I guess you could describe them as that. The little chocolates with, like, the Nutella and then the, the hazelnut in the middle. Yeah. Oh my god, those are so good. Urgh. I want one right now. I I want one right now, actually. Careful. Strawberry bonbons. I don't think I've had even, like, a regular bonbon, to be honest. I'll take Reese's Take 5 is also so good. I had a bunch of those. Okay. I had a bunch of those to give out on Halloween, and nobody came trick-or-treating, because I live in an apartment. I kind of expected it. So when I bought them, I was like, okay, I might not get any trick-or-treaters, so let me make sure that I get a shit ton of candy that I like. So if I don't get any trick-or-treaters, I can just eat all the fucking candy that I bought. And I bought a shit ton of Reese's Take Fives, and just Reese's in general. And for like a month, I like just, I don't know. I had, like, a few every day until, like, a month later, they were all gone. Uh-oh. Okay, good. Pond skaters don't get scared away. Thank God. Turkish delights, but I did- I always crave the texture of Turkish delights. I think that Turkish delights- I don't think I've had Turkish delights. I've had Big Turks, the candy bar. 20 months of emotes and ad-free viewing. Thanks, Miss Jenna Lee, for the 20 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I've had the Big Turk candy bar, which I think is kind of like a Turkish delight, and it was pretty bad. I don't think I would like Turkish delight very much. All I know is Edmund from the Chronicles of Narnia went apeshit over that shit. And it looked really good in the movie, but I don't think I'd actually like it very much in real life. Nerd ropes? No, I never had them. Oh, Turkish Delight with the chocolate coating? Love. Yeah, I, I don't think I'd like it very much. I've seen it described to me, and I'm like, mm, doesn't sound very good. Doesn't sound very good. Alright, is that all the trees? Alright, that's all my first level trees outside of my grove cut down. That's good. 
Okie dokie. Um, what's my next step? I mean, I haven't got a ladder yet because I haven't done the plots, but we can do that after we get the shop. And then I think... Now we time traveled to December. At 8 p.m. for the dung beetle, I think. Dung beetle and damselfly. Okay. I think we're good up to this point, though. Let's maybe go and, like, sell all my unnecessary bullshit before I do that, though. Paper delivery complete. Thank you. Ooh, cicada as well. I only need one. Tree bugs are... I've definitely, I feel like, fucked up many times. The catching of tree bugs by getting too close to them. So, we gotta be very careful with doing that this challenge. Oh, I got a pink. I didn't get a black, though. Son of a bitch. Let's get this out of here. Let's dig up this stump so that it has plenty of chances to make a hybrid. Oh, man. Can you swap it with the bug I just caught? Yeah, there you go. This is a Narnia game for the Game Boy Advance? Dude, my sister had um, Narnia for the PlayStation 2. I remember it being really fucking hard. I remember, like, she couldn't beat, like, a boss or whatever. It might have been, like, the final level. And, like, I, like, tried to do it for her, and I, like, couldn't do it either. So, you know, like, if I couldn't do it, and I'm pretty sure, like, nobody could have done it. That, that. Don't need a light switch. Do need the cute DIY tip. I'll just carry it on me. It's fine. We're good. Alright. And then December at 8 p.m. Right. If Dag can't do something, then no one can. Yeah, that's true. Especially in a video game context. <laughs> Alright. We want a dung beetle and a damselfly. December 8. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm, ah, uh, ooh, e. I'm fighting demons right now. Ugh, I'm fighting demons. What is it about saying banana and pineapple makes you, like, not need to sneeze? Is that true? Like, what is it about that? I don't feel like that's helping me at all to think about bananas and pineapples. I feel like it's only making it worse, really. Oi. I think I fought it off. Successfully fought the demon. They thought they could stop a demon, I'm back. I mean, you didn't sneeze? Well, that's because, like, I put in the work. Don't try to take credit for me successfully beating my sneeze demon because you said pineapple. Oh shit, I have to do it when it's snowing, you fucking dumbass. You absolute moron. Nah, bro, credit me. Dude, I fucking threw hands with a demon in my head, and I'm supposed to credit you because you typed pineapple in the chat? No. That ain't how it works, man. Sorry. No, don't update it, you fucking dumb shit! <laughs> it's fine. It's the effect thing, per chance. I forgot the word. Something about your brain? You say pineapple, and it, like, makes you not want to sneeze? I don't know, man. No, nah, it's fine. It's just kind of annoying. Wastes time. Now Suica wants to fucking update. Fuck out of here, man. I ain't played that game since November. I made a watermelon in that game, and I said, I'm done. I made a fucking watermelon in that game, and I said, I'm good. I'm out. I ain't doing no better than that. I like to annoy my husband by saying pineapples when he's trying to sneeze. Dude, just let it out. Sneezing is good. It's good for you. Pretty sure you're like... I'm pretty sure you can like... No, like, and I'm actually serious here. Not to like ingrain some like anxiety in you guys. But I'm pretty sure if you like try to do the thing where you like hold in a sneeze. Like you don't like... But chew. You don't like expel it. And you, like, hold it in. And I used to do this all the time because I tried not to make an ass of myself by going, like, bleh, bleh. But if you do that, you could, like, actually hurt yourself, right? You'll explode. 
You got just let it out, man. Let just do it. It's fine. It's okay to sneeze. You'll actually like explode. Your head might puff up like a balloon and you'll explode. You could rupture your eardrums. You could pop a blood vessel. Yeah. Brain doctor here. You should let it happen. Yeah, there you go. That's a brain doctor. Okay, but if I eat the watermelon seeds, will watermelon grow in my belly? If you also eat dirt? That's actually fucked up. If you eat a shit ton of dirt and you also like... Okay, dude. You eat some like gardening soil. You eat a bunch of watermelon seeds. And then you drink some water to water it. Could like... Now, I know that it'll, like, start digesting eventually, but, like, in that, like, little time that it's in your stomach, could, like, a watermelon start growing? But no sunlight? What if you also swallowed a sun lamp? No, it's too acidic. Okay. But, like, what if you swallowed a bunch of, like, um, like, toilet cleaner? That's really basic, right? All right, fuck you then. I don't care. Fuck you. I don't care. I lit. I literally. I don't care. I, I. I. I actually don't care. It's whatever. It is shit. Ain't nothing to me, man. You would die. Okay, but like, what if you didn't though? Like, you're thinking like way too in the box. Yeah, I need iron, by the way. Good hustle. Can I have some iron? Yeah, big man. Let's go. Thanks for the hydrate. Will you swallow a ton of soap? Yeah, swallow a ton of soap. Exactly. Really, like, even out the acidity levels of your insides. Yeah, dude. You guys not thinking outside the box enough. Where's my snowballs at? I, I don't... I think I should just get that pink rose out of there. It's just kind of like wasting space. Also, water, now that we got our first, like, not rainy day in fucking forever. Who needs a bidet when you just swallow soap? Are you implying that when the soap, like, exits your body, it will, like, clean your asshole? I guess, yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I can't deny that. That's irrefutable logic. Also, back to the lamp. How am I supposed to swallow that? I'm currently already swallowed the dirt, and now I don't know what to do. Well, oh, I hear a mole cricket, by the way. Um, which I can get later on, but whatever. Might as well. Uh, pfft, I don't know. I didn't say you should eat dirt. I'm just saying, like, I'm not saying you should do any of the things that I'm saying. Just, like, you know, in theory, right? Okay, I think I'm, like, right on top of it. Right. Right. Right here. Yep, got it. Oh, no, but I've, like, boxed myself out now. Okay, there we go. No, you eat dirt for infinite watermelons. Dude, if... I'm saying I think I'm more right than you guys give me credit for, is all I'm saying. I wonder what the life expectancy of the average diagonal chatter. Well, wouldn't you need to, like, die to, like, have, a, like, a life expectancy? Wouldn't you have had to have, like, died already? It's kind of, like, hard to calculate life expectancy when, like, you're alive. Ah, centipede. Are any of your followers dead? You know, I was just about to ask that. I'm like, I wonder if there are people... Like, who- I mean, I have 175,000 people on YouTube. I got, like, 40-something thousand on Twitch. Like, I mean, the odds are, like, yeah, a few of them have passed- Oh, God, I gotta catch it. I gotta catch it! That sucks so bad! That sucks, because now I'm not gonna be able to get the fucking iron! Oh, that sucks. Because I have to catch it, because it's- it, I'd have, I wouldn't have scared it away, technically, but, like, it would have went away, and, like, I think that it would have counted. I actually think about that a lot. 
I mean, that's kind of weird that you think about it, like, a lot. Like, but I've thought about it before, and I guess I'm thinking about it now. Yeah, like, how many of the people that are subscribed to me right now are dead? It's, like, statistically, gotta be a few, right? 175,000 people. He's got heebie-jeebies, though, right? I hope that they're all alive and well. I mean, some of them are bots, so some of them were never alive. Surely I got, like, a lot of bot followers, because, you know, it's just the state of the internet these days. Surely I got some, like, bot followers who were never even alive. Does that count? I'm not subscribed to you. Well, you're alive. It was a blue Pikachu. Yeah, I guess especially after COVID as well. That's very true. And I think that, like, around that time is when I gained a lot of my subscribers. Yeah. Yeah, no. That's, that's like, yeah, freaky. Alright, we're good. I was, I'm worried about it. I stroll through my grove there, but I don't think anything could be on the trees at this time. How do you know my consciousness was not uploaded to the cloud? I guess that's a good point, but like, I trust that you're alive. I trust that, like, you're here. It's kind of like a trust-based system. Violate my trust if I was talking to an AI. Insurance companies do it all day. You can calculate life expectancy when someone is alive. So somebody could, like, look at my DNA and be like, Yeah, you're probably gonna be, like, 80 when you die. If you don't get, like, ass cancer or something like that before that. That's kind of freaky. I don't really want, like, an insurance company doing that. How's the attempt going? I just joined, so catch me up. Well, I'm still going, so... Okay enough, I guess. Could just, like, it's kind of me mean, but, like, it could just, like, die at any time. Because I just, like, forgot for a second that I need to, like, not scare away bugs. So, I guess, like, that's why I'm, like, not sprinting or anything. Because I'm just, like, worried that, like, I could just make a misstep and scare away a bug that I need. Ugh. My neighbor likes to talk to my cat when my cat sits in the window, and I heard it for the first time just now. That's kind of cute. Ow. Did you hear that? I just stubbed it. Ooh. Oh. Owie. Ooh. Youch. Oh. I'm fine. Stubbed the shit out of my toe. I like it wasn't like a twitch, but like my like leg kind of like kicked forward, and like my toe clobbered the corner of like one of the legs of my desk. And youch! Ow! That smarts. That smarts. Ooh! All right, I'm fine though. If anything, that sort of like woke me up a little bit. Alright, where's my snowballs at? I mean, I almost got 30 iron, which is good, but I need some snowballs. There we go. Alright, there's no dung beetle on that, though, right? Like, if I kick that to a more convenient place, I'm not gonna scare one away. There's my other one. Okay. Um, well... I mean, that one's in an okay spot. This one, I'm just like... It's just a little close to the water for me. Get it to, like, a nicer spot. I'm not an idiot, man. You just stub your toe. Don't make you a fool. Yeah, maybe like right there. All right. Any more rocks? They might have hit all my rocks. Sure. Ah, oh, shooting stars. Oh, cute. I might just fucking shoot myself. When you see people's skin, it is actually dense skin cells. New skin cells are hidden in the lower layers. Oh, I burned myself. That's some dead skin cells right there. See that? I fucking burned my damn self. They needed a stealth soldier. 
so I put my hands on the hibachi hot plate at Benihana and burned my fucking fingerprints off. They will not find me. Yeah, that one's smart. I was making banana bread. You want a little Dagnal lore? I made a little banana bread the other day. A couple times, actually. I'm getting pretty good. Burn my damn self. Uh, thanks, Periwinkle Winter, for the 11 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. Appreciate it. Thank you. What do we got? That's the DIY table. Hmm. I need to do a little inventory management. It's stressing me out. Heatway's been stressing me out. Songs that make white people go crazy. MC Hammer can't touch this. Kevin Rudolph, let it rock. Um. Pompeii by Bastille. Dagnal Karaoke Night? I was trying to think of, like, songs that, like, make white people go crazy. YMCA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do they buy? I forget. Who makes that song? The Village People. Sweet Home Alabama. Yeah. Radioactive by Imagine Dragons. Yeah. Yeah, th 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 yeah people go crazy for that. Sweet Care. Okay, but actually, Sweet Caroline does get me going, kind of. Because we have a hockey team here, and our rivals are the London Knights. And when I go to a hockey game and they play the London Knights, they play Sweet Caroline. And in the bum, bum, bum part of Sweet Caroline, we say, London sucks. So that one actually does kind of get me, like, kind of hype. So I, I'll admit to that one. California girls? Dude, California girls. That gets everyone hype, right? Copacabana? Coconut Mall for Mario Kart. That gets the gamers going. I don't know if you can generalize all white people getting going from Coconut Mall. But yeah, no, that definitely... I don't know why that one gets people going as much as it does, but it does. Nothing? All right. California Girls is the whitest song? What? No. No way. Dude, it has Snoop Dogg in it. How's it going to be the whitest song? It's got Snoop Dogg in it. Don't Stop Believing. That and Sweet Home Alabama might be the whitest song. Party in the USA is up there, too. Party in the USA is up there, too. You know what um, I got recommended the other day and, like, I listened to? And I'm like, oh, wow, I haven't... I don't think I heard this song before it got recommended to me, and it's, like, completion, but the, um, Barbie Girl. I got fucking Barbie Girl recommended to me, and it has a lyric in it. I'm pretty sure they're, like, Dutch, the people who made it, or Danish. I don't know, man. That's a weird song. That's, that's a weird song. I am a Barbie Girl, yeah. Because it goes, like... I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. <clears throat> Life in plastic. It's fantastic. You can brush my hair. Undress me anywhere. Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. And then the guy interjects with like, uh... Oh, man, I can't remember. He says some like shit like hanky panky in it, though. And I'm like, man, we were singing that song in like the third grade, man. I don't know. Imagination, life is your creation. Oh yeah, dude. That's a song that makes white people go crazy. Danish Norwegian. Ed Sheeran? Do white people go crazy over Ed Sheeran or is it just like, oh, it's Ed Sheeran. Ha, huh. okay. Oh. Hmm. I think I hit all my rocks. It's just a matter of waiting on a damn dung beetle now. I need Damselfly, which we got. Dung Beetle. Mole Cricket was optional, but we got it. And just waiting on Dung Beetle now. We smoking Dung Beetle. All Star? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I'd count that. It's so weird, man. Hang on. Barbie Girl Lyrics. Here's some lyrics from Barbie Girl. <clears throat> I'm a blonde bimbo girl in a fantasy world. Dress me tight, dress me up, make it tight. I'm your dolly. You're my doll, rock and roll, feel the glamour in pink. Kiss me here, touch me there, hanky-panky. 
I'm not exaggerating when I say that those are the lyrics. They're a verse of Barbie Girl. It's just the strangest thing. Yeah. John fucking fought his way out of prison just so he could spit the coldest fucking verses. Is that who sang that? Well, John? Thanks out of ducks for the 17 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Oh, what a ridiculous song. I get recommended a lot of TikTok songs. I think that must be like, what a big TikTok song. I get recommended a bunch of TikTok songs. Uh... Ugh. Eek. Ugh. No. Maybe I should, like, separate them? Like, put them on opposite sides of the island? Get hydrated? Thanks. You can touch. You can play. You can say, I'm always yours. Uh, it's not scared away if I just ignore it. Yeah, that's a... yeah. My school had another version. If you touch my hair, I'll hit you with a chair. I don't know why. Well, if somebody did that, if somebody touched my hair... I wouldn't feel the temptation with which to hit him with a chair, but I'd also be like, What are you doing? Why'd you do that? It wasn't necessary, was it? Hey, I gotta check something real quick. When's my uh, Christmas family get-together? Is it at 3? It's one fifty-three. Oh, around four. Okay, I got time. Y'all remember, I believe I can fly. I got shot by the FBI. Yes, I do. Um, I feel like there was multiple versions of that that we sung in school. There was like, yeah, I believe I can fly. I got shot by the FBI. I don't remember how it continues after that, but I remember. Um, I feel like there was more. I feel like there was more. I feel like there was more. I believe that I'm gonna die? No, what? All I wanted was a chicken wing that I stole from Burger King. Oh my god, you're right. That is how it went. Wow. That's crazy, dude. I gotta, like, let me try moving this somewhere else. I don't know. Dung beetle spawning's weird. Dung beetle spawning's weird. I'm not... I mean, I'm not in a rush, necessarily. Try it, like, over here, maybe? I don't know. I don't want to have it too close to the pond, though. Bill Nye the Russian Spy. Yeah, I definitely don't remember that one. What was this version of the Barney song that was hilarious? Oh, um... Uh, I love you, or uh, I think it's I hate you, you hate me. Let's get together and kill Barney. I don't remember how it proceeds from that. It goes with a bat and a na and a bat and a na. Now we know that Bar Barney's dead. I almost said Barbie. Yeah, that was good to sing in, like, third grade about the bloodshed of a purple dinosaur. Dude, I don't know. Like, you look back on it and be like, that's fucked up. But, like, really, it's just, I don't know. It's just banter. It's just banter with the blokes back in the day. It wasn't nothing, man. I think I turned out to be an okay person, despite the fact that I was talking about killing a purple dinosaur. Alright? I think I'm fine. With a baseball bat and a 2x4... No more stupid dinosaur. I don't think that was the version we sung, but I think I do remember that one. They need to write a dissertation on the amount of renditions of the Barney song and how each version is, like, based on the region of America. Yeah, that'd be fascinating. If you look past the absurd, inherent topic of it all, that is, like, a pretty fascinating, like, dissertation. I'm always very interested in, like, how different parts of, like, America say different words, you know? You ever take that New York Times dialect quiz before the frickin' infernal bastards made you pay for New York Times? You ever play that? And, like, it, like, actually is pretty accurate to, like, where you grew up? Because it's like, oh, because I say pop instead of soda, and because... Oh, shit, I need that. Don't go into the water. 
No! I... Oh. I knew it as well. As soon as as soon as his ass started going towards the rock, I knew I was fucked. I don't As soon as he went towards the rock, I knew I was done. I just thought maybe he'll turn around. Well, all that work, at least I'll get faster at doing all that shit every time. All that prep work, all that setup and shit, at least I'll get better at doing it every time. Ha, it's a Binding of Isaac joke. Alright, here we go. We already set up. I already deleted the save file out of... A Fit of rage yesterday, so we're good to go again. Attempt number two of catching every bug in the game, but if I scare one away, I reset. I've already done it once, I highly anticipate doing it again, but we'll see. Let me get my notes up here, too. Bro, why are you streaming on Christmas? Bro, why are you watching on Christmas? If it's sad to stream on Christmas, I don't know how much better it is to watch. We're all on our computers or our mobile devices right now. None of us are, like, hanging out with our family right now. Some of us are 27 years old, and they're sort of, you know, past the days of Christmas being this whole, like, day event where, like, we get presents and we hang out with family, you know? I did that yesterday. I got my presents. Christmas is a chill day. It's a day where I don't work too much, but, you know, I decided that, hey, I'd stream because I feel like it. I don't really have nothing else going on. Can't do shit today. Family got RSV? Yeah. Merry Christmas. We all have our reasons why we're not with our family right now. Some of them are legitimate, and some of them are just like, well, I'm just a little lonely on Christmas Day. Holy shit. First of all, Jenna Halasia, thanks for the two months. Merry Christmas. And Santa Claus, thanks for the 25 bucks. Did that even show up on stream? Well, if it didn't, then I, I guess I gotta, like... Kinda sucks. But thanks for the 25 bucks from Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. I'll read it out here since it didn't decide to do so. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas to my favorite little boy, Dagnall. Oh, you did get me something! Oh, goody. I thought Santa forgot all about me. Oh, he was just running a little late. Thanks for the 25 bucks, Santa. Well, I appreciate that. No, I know why it didn't, because I, I do my alerts through Twitch, and Twitch doesn't handle my donations. That's PayPal and stream elements. So that's why it didn't show up. I'm gonna have to find a way to get them both working. But anyway, thanks, Santa. I'm sorry your alert didn't show up. I hope you don't feel too scammed. That dude's got money. 25 ain't nothing to him, man. 25 freaking wing-wangs ain't nothing to him. He'll be all right. Thanks. Appreciate it. Big man, big man upstairs. That's God. That's not Santa Claus. That's God. God's the big man upstairs. Santa gave him a pity present? Dude, if my pity present is 25 big ones, that's alright. Did I tell you guys? Guys, at bowling... Okay, so it's the end of the first half of the season at bowling. Um, the season, the first half, it's kind of like the semesters at school. Um, first semester ends around Christmas time. Our first half of our season ended uh, the last Thursday before Christmas. And at the end of the semester, or the end of the half... They gave away a bunch of, like, prizes. We had a potluck, we had prizes. Um... I, I don't know. I guess, like, uh, whatever has, like, the fucking... These all kind of stink. I guess this one. I don't know. It seems like the most simple, maybe. Anyway, they gave out prizes. So, like, you buy- you can buy a ticket. They give you one complimentary ticket. But you could also buy, like, one ticket, uh, in, like, a raffle. I didn't buy any. I just- I had the one ticket that I had that they gave me. There were people who bought, like, 
tens, twenties amounts of tickets, spent like a bunch of money on them, I won with my one singular ticket in like a giant like miniature trash can full of tickets. I won, got 95 bucks, got 95 bucks. How are your bowling elderly lady friends? All right, well, first of all, they're, I wouldn't call them my friends. Second of all, I'm sure they're fine. Like, you acting like I know what they got going on right now. I'm sure that they're okay. Thanks, Brypaws. Hi, streamer. Hope you're doing well. I'm not. Thanks for the 11 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I'm streaming on Christmas. How good could I be doing right now? But thank you. I appreciate that. I have elderly bowling friends. Well, I have friends at bowling. Okay, like, I don't, like, go to their... I don't know. Like, the, the, the echelon of friendship is... The pyramid of friendship is, like, bottom tier, where, like, I'm casual acquaintances with them, which is where I would call most people at, um, bowling. There's... Like, we know, we, then the tier above that is, like, we know each other by name, and we know, like, a decent amount about each other. The tier above that is, like, I go over to their house, and, like, we hang out sometimes. The highest tier friend at the tippy top of the pyramid is, like, that's my boy, or that's my girl. That's my non-binary acquaintance. More than acquaintance. Like, we know everything about each other. We indulge each other. We like talk to each other about everything if we're talking about like the friendship pyramid i'm at like the bottom with like a lot of people at bowling but not any higher with any of them you know so like would i call them my friends no i think i call them my acquaintances who know my name and know like a little bit about me but we don't really indulge each other any further than that you know and yeah there's a lot of old people there so i have a lot of like old people like acquaintances that's it. They're not my girlfriend. Stop. I gotta talk to the rat. I hope I didn't scare away a bug in the process of doing this. I actually have not been paying attention at all. Yeah, like club friends. Exactly. You only see them when you're at the club and you don't know anything about them. You know how people joke like boys don't even know e like each other's names. Like they don't know anything about each other. Dude, that's true. It's true. Sometimes... Like, I just got my dog. Alright, before I put a tent down on top of this tree, make sure there's nothing in there. Dude, like... Y'all got, like, a homie? And, like, you don't even know their name or, like, nothing about them? But, like, that's your, that's your dog, man. Like, that's your guy. I got that. I think we all have that, right? No? What do you mean, no? Alright, alright, alright. I gotta find where the other two are. Anyway, what's up, B-Boy? That's my dog. Yeah, that's my dog. I don't know a damn thing about you. Yeah, got that in the gym. Yeah, dude. See so your boy at the gym, you're like, oh, big dog. And they're like married and they have kids and you don't know their wife or their kids' names. You're like, that's just my dog. I don't need to know anything else about him. That's my boy, Gladys. Close. Ooh, so close. That is Agnes. That was me with this girl in my college algebra class, but that's my stink now, and I know her name. Wait, that's your stink now? What the fuck does that mean? Some newfangled term I never heard of? Oh, careful. Alright. Dagby like, yo, that's my bowling wizened acquaintance lady. Yeah, that's what I- but like, everyone who goes bowling, they're like, old as fuck. I don't know, it's not really a young people game. I like doing it, and I'm, I'm happy that I have been doing it. It's just, I found out that over the course of bowling, it's maybe not the best place to meet, like, young people, you know? People that I can relate to, you know what I mean? What's up, Dag Boy? Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope everyone's having a jolly good Christmas. But any, anyone, like... <sighs> Got like New Year's plans. You know what I'm doing on the t on the 28th this Thursday? Bowling is golf for broke people. Dude, I think I'd much rather bowl than golf personally. I don't know if it's like an issue of how much money I have, although I do I do know golfing's expensive. And I do like golfing. I went once. 
Merry Christmas, Dag. Merry Christmas. I do like golfing. I've went once. And I honestly would do it. But, like, it's it's sort of, like, way more of a committal than bowling is, you know? Bowling's cheap, yes, but it's also, like, easy, you know? You don't gotta, like, get a bunch of equipment. You can literally use the house balls, the house shoes that they have in there, and you're good. Like, it don't matter. That shit ain't nothing to me, man. Golf, you gotta get your own clubs, you gotta, like, of course, get a membership. Like, that is expensive, but it's also, like, just more hoops to jump through, really. I like bowling. Yeah, it's cheap, but it's also simple, and I appreciate that. Bowling's for the people. Golf's for the elite. At least some of them, like, do you ever, like, see what some of the prices of them, like, memberships for them clubhouses are? Don't go in the water? If he didn't go into the water, or if he went into the water, but it wasn't on screen, did it actually happen? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think he did, though. I don't. Th I think their AI says, like, don't go into the water unless you, like, have to. Yeah, bowling's a vibe. Golf is... It's a little much for me. Like, if I went to golf every Thursday, I feel like I would get, like, tired of it, you know? I feel like that's not something you can do every Thursday. Every Thursday, I go bowling, and I'm like, Yes, bowling. I love bowling. I need my bowling fix. Anyway, thanks, Moonwalking Bella, for the, uh... Nine months. Enjoy your emotes, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Merry Christmas. What's up, Tamar? How are you doing? Golfing is bowling for privileged people. Yeah! How would we look at it like that? Shun the golfers, because golf courses apparently take up like a shit ton of water. I mean, I need... Yeah, okay, I got it. Golf courses are a lot of water to maintain, okay? So really, we should be canceling golf. Don't cancel bowling. It don't, it don't cost shit to keep a bowling alley in line. You just need a lot of beer. And like a lot of oil, because they oil up the lanes. It's nothing. Golf, that shit's like a... It's a water sucker. We hate golf culture. Yeah, that's right. And also, you know who goes golfing? Rich people. Do you know who's rich? Elon Musk. Checkmate, atheists. Concerning. Looking into this. Boo! Yeah, bowling sweeps. You would never find Elon Musk at a bowling alley, because he would, like shun those who go bowling. Elon Musk, hang on. Okay, I was worried that that might scare that bug away, but it's all right, it's all right. Elon Musk, would you'd not catch his ass at a bowling alley. You wouldn't. If you go golf, you run the admittedly very small risk of seeing him at your local golf course, but you definitely probably more likely see him there than at a, at a freaking bowling. Golf is bad, mini golf better. Yeah, mini golf's pretty good. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, Keekers. Thanks for the nine months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Yeah, I guess so. Trump also golfs. Yeah. That's two. Now, that's two uh, less than desirable people. You know, that old Trump guy. That guy really gets my goose sometimes, you know? I know, folks, I know. That that Elon guy, that Donald fella, they really get my goose sometimes. I, I tell you, let me tell you about this guy. Really gets my goose. I really thought it was gets my goat. Oh, I don't have a goat. Let's go. Is your goose okay? Yeah, I think so. Wow, speak your mind, man. That's bold. I know. I speak for the people. I speak for the people. Mini golf, if it was an option, would be my first choice. I have arthritis in my hands and bowling is painful. Yeah, no, that kind of sucks. I mean, it's not for everyone, right? I don't need an excuse to not go bowling. I understand. Somebody could be like, I don't like bowling. I'd be like, okay. Oh, you know what I'm doing on Thursday? Not bowling, but I'm going to pub trivia with um, somebody who reached out. It's actually incredible. Somebody who watches my streams uh, reached out to me, and they're like, Hey, I live nearby. You want to like, hang out? We'll go like pub trivia. It's pretty cool. I'm excited for it. I enjoy bowling, though. I went with my fam. It hurt, but it's worth it. Yeah, it's fun. 
Even if nothing else, you can just kick it down the lane. Nobody's gonna yell at you. Well, they probably will. I worked in a kitchen at a millionaire's golf course slash country club out here, and man, that was the worst, racist, and entitled old piece of shit. Yeah? Hopefully they tipped you well. Probably not. Throw it at the ceiling and run. What do you thought? Oh, the fuck? Dude, no, I actually do bowl with- I don't bowl with them, but they're in my league. Somebody- there is somebody who legit will throw the ball halfway down the lane before it actually makes contact with the lane. And it's- you can always tell where they're bowling in that alley, because- Boom. It fucking, it's loud when that thing lands. I don't know how the hell, and he bowls like pretty good, pretty accurately. And I guess it's okay, because nobody's yelled at him and told him to stop doing it. There's a guy, he'll throw it damn halfway down the lane before it hits the damn wood. That doesn't sound legal. It's perfectly fine, because nobody yells at him. We're in a league, so somebody would have told him don't do that, you know? But I guess it's okay. Whatever works, I guess. And they bowl pretty good. They're, like, accurate. I don't know. That's... Whatever. I'm not... I'm not the fucking guy who's gonna tell him to stop doing it. Good luck with this challenge. Thanks, Moss Moth. For the five months and for the good luck, enjoy your emotes, enjoy your ad-free viewing. Forgot we are on attempt number two. Yeah, I fucked it up. I did, honestly, did I really fuck it up yesterday? Like, that hermit crab really just kind of didn't cooperate. Do you not count scaring bugs that you've already caught? Yep, any bug that I scare is a fail. An epic fail! Wow, my jaw just cracked. Ooh, owie. Ooh. Oh, my jaw just fucking snapped. Is it like dangling down? Is it my like jaw like dangling off my face? No, I'm all right. Did you hear that? Dude, is that TMJ? What's it called? And like, I actually want like a serious answer. I want like a medical professional in here. All right. This is the privilege of being a streamer is I can beckon upon any professional that I need and get free, like get it like a free evaluation. Do you count getting stung by wasps? I do, yes. What's it called when you eat something and, like, the flavor on your tongue is, like, so intense that it, like, radiates up to your jaw and it makes your jaw hurt? Is that what TMJD is or TMJ? Is that what that is? Because it fucking sucks. And it's happening... It used to happen more often than it does now, but it still happens. And I don't remember it happening when I was younger. That's not TMJ. Oh, okay. Well, I was just told that it's TMJ. No, it's not allergies. TMJ is a disc slip in the joint. Well, I don't think my disc slipped because I feel like I would notice that. That was just like it popped, like, you know, in the same way that, like, that is a pop. That happens to me sometimes and it sucks. That seems like a salivary gland issue. Take off your pants. Take off your socks. Put them down. Yes, sir. I don't know what it is, but it didn't always happen to me. But now it, like, kind of does, and it kind of, like, stinks. But, like, it doesn't happen. It's not, like, terrible. It's just, like, you know, a little annoying sometimes. All right, let's go. I slept that long? I know exactly what you're talking about, though. I have it happen, too. I don't know. And, like, some foods do it. I feel like, like, a, like a sauce. Like, a really... Really good, like, intense sauce. Something that's excessively sweet or sour or, like, maybe not spicy, I don't think, does it. But, like, I don't know. It's really weird. I wouldn't eat sour stuff for that reason. Yeah, like, sour would do it. I just remove my jaw to stop it. Oh, okay. I'll keep that in mind. You are a medical professional, right? Sure have. I don't know what it's called, and I don't think, um... Google came up with, like, any results. I think it, Google came up with, like, other people's experiences with it, but I don't think it actually, like, was able to say what it was. I think it was just a bunch of people being like, yeah, that happens to me, too. So, I don't know. Sometimes when I eat potatoes fast, my chest hurts. Alright. 
That's a that's a weird one. Was Google kind of, Google got anything for that one? Google says first bite syndrome, whatever that is. See, that's true because it's always on the first bite of what I eat. It's always on the first bite. Once you get that first bite down, you're fine. Like it doesn't happen again. So that I I, I think I've seen that before, and yeah, it's accurate. Same thing with noodles. What? Where it makes your chest hurt? I don't know, man. It's a potential side effect of a parotidectomy that causes pain in the parotid gland or jaw area when a patient takes a first bite of food. It typically occurs when patients have tumors removed from the lower part of the parotid gland, deep lobe. I haven't had a tumor removed, nor do I know what parotidectomy is. I think dectomy is like the removal of something, and in this case, like a tumor in your jaw. No, I don't think I have that. Um, I guess that's- I guess I'm just fucking weird. I guess I'm just fucking weird. Well, alright. Good we- glad that we've established that. I get headaches if I eat honey. I don't know why, because I'm not allergic. Yeah, I had no idea. Alright, let's go. They're alive and in your mouth. Dude, don't give me- no, 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 you can't say that. No, no, no. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay. Because at, like, my worst levels of anxiety, I will, like, convince myself that I'm, like, deathly ill, alright? Okay, because at my, like, worst anxiety, when I'm in my most anxious, I will convince myself that every little thing that's wrong with me is, like, a terminal illness, I am going to die. I just sneezed, like, five times too hard, and I feel lightheaded, I'm going to die. I've been, like, really gassy today, it's because I'm going to die. I have an ear-splitting headache that I know is a result of me not having caffeine, and I'm getting, like, too much blood into my brain. Nope, Buster, you're going to die. Okay? Like, I will convince myself. Also, with noodles, after I've eaten them, I feel more hungry afterwards if they're a hole in your stomach. It could be a, uh, tapeworm. Those also freak me out. Those also freak me out. Damn, like, tapeworm inside of you. Could be that, but probably not. If my nose is runny too long, I'm convinced I'm leaking brain fluid out of my nose. Well, you get, like, a little stupider when it happens, too? And, like, you, like, start, like, forgetting shit? Then it might be. All your, like, knowledge is getting out your nose. You gotta get that back in there. I'm allergic to soy and vinegar. Everything is my deathbed. I'm sorry. Couldn't imagine vinegar. Soy, maybe, but I need my salt and vinegar potato chips. I need those. Like, I need my next breath. I have a question. Is... Okay. Pound for pound. I'm not saying you would get these if you had the choice of any food in the world, because they're so... Okay. I need to start with making my point before I go on this tangent. Are nacho cheese Doritos the tastiest thing per pound that there is in this world? Because think about it. You wouldn't go to a fancy restaurant and get nacho cheese Doritos. No, of course. You'd go and get, like, a steak or something. But the accessibility of them, like, how you could just get so many of them, plus the fact that they are fucking delicious, are they, like, pound for pound, the most tasty and accessible food that, that exists? Corn chips are not it. What do you mean they're not it? Shake trees for 15 sticks, wasps, furniture, and a spoiler. Got it. They're, they're, honest to God, what do you mean no? They're so good, man. And the fact that you can just buy, like, 1,500 bags of them at the store when you go means that not only are they, like, the tastiest thing, but they're also the most accessible. You might like steak better than you like nacho cheese Doritos, but you can't have steak every day. You could very easily have nacho cheese Doritos every day. You could. It wouldn't even be that hard. Unfortunately, I agree with Dag here. Okay, but why do you say unfortunately? Like, it's a bad thing. It's a good thing. I'm smart, and you're supposed to agree with me. I don't know. I'm just... Just saying, like, I make more points than... I make more good points than I do bad. Nah, I mean... I bet, yeah, I scared away a bird on top of the billboard, but that's fine. It's not a bug. I don't think so, anyway. 
Alright, and then our last bug that we need should be a wasp. Nacho cheese Doritos when lactose intolerant. Is there lactose in nacho cheese Doritos? I think there's like lactose in like kind of everything, right? So maybe. But I don't know. That's a price worth paying. There's a lot of people who are like lactose intolerant, but then they see like... Well, I guess they are nacho cheese, right? So yeah, I guess that makes sense. But I don't know. I feel like there's no actual cheese in the process of getting those. All right, you're not going to jump in the water. You'll be all right. I don't know. But a lot of people, like, with lactose intolerance will be like, yeah, I'm lactose intolerant, so, like, I can't eat cheese, but, like, I'll eat pizza because it's worth, like, shitting myself. That's what everyone who has, like, lactose intolerance sounds like. They're like, yeah, like, I might shit myself, but I'm absolutely going to eat, like, a cheese pizza. So if I ever get lactose intolerance, I think that's just the cost of doing business. Shit yourself occasionally, like a 5% chance to shit yourself every day. It's like a debuff in a video game. You have like a 5% chance to shit yourself every day, but you get to enjoy the luxuries of cheese and other lactose products. I'm lactose intolerant, I love cheese. Yeah, it's worth shitting yourself sometimes, you know? Ooh, that was really close. I like strolled up on that guy, like a little close. Jesus. I can't believe I didn't scare that thing away. Walking down on something is always very scary, like a tree or a bug. Yeah, and then like, I hear like lactose-free things like suck ass to like a great extent. So you either stick with eating lactose and like shit your pants, or you eat lactose-free things and suffer from the poor taste of it all. Whoop, 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 whoop. Flo folding floor lamp. Also, I gotta get that uh, DIY from my mailbox. Let's get that. And my Joy-Cons. That, DIY. Lactose-free milk is ew sweet. I've made the mistake before of eating, not eating, but drinking uh, buttermilk from the fridge, thinking that it was regular milk, and I've also done the mistake where I get soy milk instead of regular milk, and I'm like, oh, it's okay, how much different can it be? Soy milk is disgusting. I don't think there's any, like, alternative kind of milk that I actually think I like. They're all, like, too sickeningly sweet, or just gross, straight up. My grandma used to drink buttermilk. It's disgusting. Oh, it's, it's putrid. How many sticks am I at? Four. Not nearly enough. How about a milk made of chocolate? Chocolate milk is good. It's just like, I find that chocolate milk, if you like buy it from the store, is like sickeningly like thick and like, I don't know, like gross and kind of, I don't know. There's another one I almost scared away. It's like so thick and like, I don't know, it's like drinking pure like chocolate syrup. And uh, it's just not a big fan. On the milk tier list, white milk, chocolate milk, and then, like, a few tiers down, strawberry milk. I used to have the option at school of getting either chocolate milk, regular milk, or strawberry milk. And I remember, like, a couple of times I was just like, I'm gonna give strawberry milk a chance. And I never liked it. Ne I mean, like, it's drinkable, but, like, I never really liked it. It, it kind of just didn't really do anything. Vanilla milk? I don't even know what that is. But I like vanilla, so maybe I'd like it. Alright, just get sticks now. No, I never had banana milk. Never had banana milk. Walmart chocolate milk is mid. Ingles has better chocolate milk. What the fuck is Ingles? What's y'all's, like, grocery store? Right now, for me, is Wegmans. When I lived on the West Coast, it was Safeway. Or if I, like, needed a lot, I'd go to Costco. But a Costco trip is, like, all of my mental and physical energy. If I needed something, like, low-key, I'd just go to Safeway. Yeah, Wegmans, dude. Wegmans, that's the shit. Shout out to all my mid-Atlantic slash uh, northeast United States Wegmans shoppers. You, you keep it real. In Germany, you can buy banana milk, vanilla milk, chocolate milk, or strawberry milk. Well, yeah, we can do all that here. It's just like I never buy anything but regular milk anymore. Although I did buy buttermilk to make some banana bread. Alright, check the mail. Donate five bugs. Got it. A store here in South Carolina. It's also in North Carolina, too. I lived in North Carolina. I ain't heard of... What the fuck was it called? Ingles? I ain't never heard of Ingles. 
I knew, oh, when I was in North Carolina, it was Food Lion. If you were real fancy, you go to Harris Teeter. Or if you're feeling real not fancy and you risk, you want to run the risk, like the little, like, if you want, if you were in North Carolina and you just want some groceries, you can go to Food Lion. If you're feeling real fancy, you can go to Harris Teeter. Or if you like the adrenaline of having a small chance of being shot or stabbed, you would go to Piggly Wiggly. Those were your three options where I lived in North Carolina. But, you know, your mileage may vary. Thanks, Red Tag. No, we didn't have Publix. Isn't that like a Florida thing? We've also got- oh, that's true. We had Walmart, too. And in fact, like, Walmart, I didn't even consider it a grocery store because in my fucking one-horse-ass town that I lived in in North Carolina, Walmart was not the grocery store. Walmart was where you hung out with others. Like, Walmart was where, like, you'd meet up with your blokes if you wanted to, like, hang out somewhere. You'd meet at the damn Walmart. It was the cultural center of where I used to live. It's kind of sad. I shop at Publix in North Carolina. Why the fuck didn't I have a Publix? It sounds nice. Merry Christmas? Where the hell is the snow? Dude, it's like 50 degrees outside. I don't know what's going on. 2017. December 25th, 2017. Got fucking pounded with 60 inches of snow in like two days where I lived. Now, 50 degrees. I'm wearing a t-shirt. I wore a t-shirt outside. You live in Texas? No. It's like Pennsylvania. I know it makes it sound like I live in, like, Florida or some shit, but no, I'm in damn Pennsylvania. 50 degrees. This weather thing, I'm gonna figure it out one day. It's climate change. You know, on one hand, I'm like, yeah, it's climate change. On the other hand, I'm like, you know, this has been happening since the dawn of, like, human history. Like, getting warm days in winter and getting cold days in summer. It, it just happens sometimes, you know? It's 67 here. Ugh? What do you ugh that comment? Why are you ugh? That's perfect. 67, 66 to like 74 is the perfect temperature for it to be. It's the perfect temperature. Let me think what that is for you Celsius heads out there. Um, that's probably like... That's probably like... That's like mid-20s, maybe? I don't know, mid to high 20s? Something like that? I don't know. Fucking do your. Do, I hate how people assume that we're the ones who have to do the math, us Fahrenheit blokes. Ah, oh, what's that in not freedom units? First of all, if you ever say the words freedom units in my chat, I'm going to actually like ban you. Like, I'll, I'll actually like time you out for the rest of human history. Second of all, why is the onus on me to translate it for you when you're the one who has Google? Like, at your disposal. I do too, but I'm very busy, I'm streaming. Why is the onus always on me to translate it for you Celsius freaks? 67 in F is 19? Oh shit, I like really overestimated that. Whoops. I was about to say it jokingly, but I won't now. I fucking hate the words freedom units. It pisses me the fuck off. I don't know, it's just one of those things. It's just one of those words. Just one of those words that really gets my grundle. My fucking gundle, grundle got got, dude. Is that all the- no, no, he's still got to call Blathers. I lived, bitch. Yeah, but like, you know, it's because you got privilege. I don't know about Fahrenheit, I'm from Europe, we have Celsius. Yeah, I know, because we're the only country, along with like Madagascar, to use Fahrenheit. No, I know, unless y'all Madagascar heads out there, which I don't think you are. I gotta check my Madagascar viewership, I wonder how many people I got from Madagascar. I gotta check that on, like, YouTube or something. Because I'm a sub? Yeah, exactly. You got the privilege. Speaking as someone who uses Celsius, it makes so much more sense to use Fahrenheit for temperature, doesn't it? Maybe it's just me, haha. -ha. Yes. For ambient, like, outdoor temperature, yes, I agree. Fahrenheit is better. For the sake of zero being freezing and 32, or no, sorry, for the sake of zero being freezing and 100 being boiling, yeah, that's simpler, but it's never going to be 100 degrees outside, so when the hell are you ever going to use 100 degrees unless you're talking about shit that's like boiling, you know? So Fahrenheit for like ambient outdoor temperature, and I'm sorry, it's just, you're right, it is better. I should have sold my stuff. Sell extra stuff, yep. 
Buy a net and an axe. Buy... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I totally should have done more things in there. Celsius is how it feels for water, and Fahrenheit is how it feels for people. That's right, for the fucking people. Unless you're water in my chat, then use Fahrenheit, bozo. And if you are water, then I just swallowed you. Nah, let's use Kelvin. Dude, it's like... That's like some, like, nerd shit, using Kelvin. That's like you trying to be different in, like, the most obnoxious way possible. You just use Kelvin. I don't fucking believe in Fahrenheit and Celsius. I'm gonna use Kelvin. I refuse. Uh, I wanna sell. Humans are, like, 70% water? Yeah, so, do you guys like water? Like, are we, like, pretty positive about water in this chat room? AC and H Nintendo Switch, that Earth Boring Dung Beetle. Red Cosmos can't make black, blue, or purple hybrids. I, I shouldn't sell them, but like, I think I will because just to keep it simple. Love water. Water's alright. I'm pro water. Yeah. Well, if we're all 70% water, then you like me 70% if you like water. I lost my phone in my bed. Oh, okay. Wow, so true. Yeah, I thought that was pretty good, right? Uh, yeah, I gotta buy some shit now. Dag is 70% too wet for my liking. 71, bitch. Fuck you for that joke. Calm down, man. You, you liked that joke 70%. What's for sale? That's kind of fucked up, to think that, like, I could be, like, 71% water, take, like, a sip, and be, like, 72. I wonder what the highest percentage of water I've ever been is. White mums can make purple mums, so I'll buy 20 of those, I guess. 20 of those. That was pretty cool, Dag. Thanks. I think I consider myself a pretty cool fella. Wet boy. Remember when, um, like, 2018 happened, and, um, like, a do you'd see a picture of, like, a dog, and it was wet, and you'd type W space E space T space B space O space Y space E space. It just, wet boy, and that was the funniest thing in the fucking world. I miss that. I, I actually do kind of miss that. I need to buy a net, and I need to buy an axe. Yeah, wet boy. That was the funniest thing. I missed that. I, I like genuinely. Um, five saplings, and then we gotta make three axes. Is it the fish where you caught like 40 bugs before the rare bugs? Is it like fish where you have to catch 40 bugs before the rare bugs? Yes. Yes, that works for bugs as well. Um, generally, the rarer the bug, the higher total catch requirement that you need. Uh, three axes. Why don't I remember this? I don't know, maybe you weren't, like, active online in 2018. It was, like... What was the memes that were going around when you guys, like, first indulged the internet? Like, what was, like, the memes? What was, like, the hot shit? Because for me, it was, like, sticking a funny cat picture and then sticking an impact font, uh... Like, text below it. It says, I can has cheeseburger. Ah, and that was the funniest thing, dude. It's the funniest shit in the world. And it kind of was, you know? People say that ain't funny no more. I don't know. People say that ain't funny. Fuck you mean. I forgot to sell my fishing rod. Make three axes. Anything else I have to do in here? Yeah. Yeah, just sell the fishing rod. Lay rage. Impact font was God? Bro, it's still alive. What do you mean was? You can still use it. I use it for thumbnails occasionally, but I don't know. I find that it's a little tacky. I try not to use it too much. Deep fried memes always make me cry tears of joy. Well, that probably wasn't like the first thing on the internet when you were around, right? Deep fried memes were only like a few years ago, right? I don't know, but it, like I do kind of miss like that picture of... Uh, uh, okay, I think I'm going to describe this picture. And I think most of you guys are going to know what I mean when I describe this picture, despite how just insanely just 
strange it's going to sound. Y'all know that picture of Markiplier with his face photoshopped onto Lord Farquaad? And it's got a, like a fucking shit ton of deep fried filters on it and it just says E? Yeah, I kind of miss that, honestly. I, I, I kind of miss that shit. I, I, I do kind of miss that shit. You know what? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. It just says E. If you don't know, you don't know. But if you know, you know. And, you know, like, I kind of... The kids those days were all right. Know what I mean? The kids those days were all right. This is the spot. That was the year memes just kind of imploded into nonsense. I don't think we ever, like, left that, though. I think that it's still kind of like, there's remnants of that even today. Gather iron and wood. Don't let the axes die. Fifteen of each wood. Got it. So, 40 hits per axe. Three. Do you know eSports, where it's just E, 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 E? No, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't keep up too much no more. I'm sorry. Oh, are you talking about the EA? Oh, no, no, no. I do know what you're talking about, where it goes like E, 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 instead of the EA Sports. It's in the game. Oh, dude, yeah. No, I, I do know what you mean, actually. Yeah, that one. Skibbity Toilet's the beginning of the downfall of memes? Dude, I, I, I don't know Skibbity Toilet. I don't keep up with it. But, like, it's... A lot of things that have signaled the downfall of memes, and nothing has actually managed to stop them yet. So, you may not like it. It doesn't mean it's the downfall of memes, okay? Growing up is realizing that just because kids find it funny and you don't doesn't mean that it's bad. You know what I mean? That's something that you kind of have to learn, like, growing up. Just because we don't like it doesn't mean that it's bad. It just means that we're, like... It, I think that we, we're, we've outgrown it, you know? I think that's it. Skibbity Toilet's the downfall of every nine-year-old, like my nephew. I mean, I don't understand it. I don't really find it funny. But, you know, it's still not bad. I, I guess. I, I don't fucking know. I, I, I lost count, but I think I have something in here that'll keep count, right? 24? Okay. 24. Alright. Got it. 25, 26, 27. I don't even know what it is. No, I don't even really know either. Isn't it like... Um, it's like G-Man from Half-Life, like, coming out of a toilet. Can you guys, like, get away so that I don't... It's like G-Man from fucking... There's three Earth-Boring Dung Beetles around me. And they're... Merry Christmas. I'm in, like, the fucking Bermuda Triangle here, dude. It's like popping out of a toilet and, like, some skibbity. I don't know, man. The dab was the start of the downfall? Y'all all fucking mad about the dab. Where were you when planking was around? 12, 15, um, 20, 20. 12, 13 is 25, dumbass. And then 8, that's 33. So two more trees. Bro, y'all even weren't around for planking. Fuck out of here with dabs. That was the original. I think I already hit that. God damn it. Alright. Hello, Dag. How are you? Yeah, I'm pretty good. And thanks, Carolyn, for the 40 months. Merry Christmas. Do you think Jesus would be okay with you bastardizing his name by calling it Christmas? I don't think he'd like that. But, you know, I'm... Who am I, really? I don't speak for Jesus. Thanks for the 40 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Pandora's box was opened. Oh god, I'd forgotten about planking. How did you forget about the cultural phenomenon that was planking and planking on everything that you saw? I mean, look, I wasn't like... Ugh. I wasn't so, like, intelligent when I was a kid, but even, like, I, when planking was going around, was kind of like, I don't really get it. It's kind of silly. You Basically, you didn't catch me planking on nothing. You weren't catching me planking on nothing. Do you remember the Andy's coming trend? No, I don't remember the Andy's coming. Is this where you're going to tell me to like Andy's come in my mouth and like suck my nuts or something like that? Because I'm going to warn you right now. Uh, I got a trigger finger. I got, I got a trigger finger on that band button. Lightning quick. Fuck boy. I'm sorry. 
Oh god. No, dude, I'm just like... I don't know, man. I've been told to suck a lot of people's nuts in the day. And I'm tired of falling for it, is all I'm saying. I'm a little tired of falling for it. I got a GTA 6 ad? What the fuck? They're already running ads for GTA 6? I didn't think that they were running ads, just releasing trailers. Hang on a minute. We're at 39. Not DIY recipes, you fucking dolt. Where are we here? We're at 39. If we double 39, what's that? 70, 70, 78, 78, so 13 more hits with this axe. All right, got it. Do I have 15 of each wood? I do, but, you know, a little more won't hurt, I suppose. Two, three. We'll do a couple more trees. Happy Crimus. Happy Crimus. Thanks, Jordy, for the 13 months. Enjoy your emotes and your ad reviewing. Thank you. Appreciate it. Time check. 455. Day's about to roll over, and I don't think I... Let's see. Yeah, I think I gotta, like, get a move on here. I gotta start, like, getting some miles. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Definitely should not run. So, let's go create post. Do this. Here. Done. Take a picture. Merry Crisis. Merry Crisis, and hear me, Jess. Thanks for the four months. Appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and your ad free viewing as well. Thank you. Appreciate it. Edit the design, and then hope... No, don't display on the ground. And then hopefully, after making the comment in the uh, thing as well, we'll have enough for 5,000 miles in our first home loan. We'll see. I might be short, and I might have to time travel back, but no big deal if I do. Merry Chrysler. What time is it for you? It's 9.54? Yeah, it's 3.54 over here. Tis, but the, the, the Christmas day is but young still. Plant all flowers, plant five saplings on the beach. Right, I've got to plant the stupid flowers. Do it just like this. Five flowers. Did I buy enough flowers? I think it told me to buy... Yeah, it's fine. Do you like cake? Actually, like, kind of a hot take. I'm not a big cake guy. If you gave me the choice between, like, cake, cookies, brownies, I don't know, something else, I'd probably take, like, anything but cake. I'm not, like, a big... I don't, I don't know. I like the actual cake part of cake. I don't like the frosting very much. I'm sorry. I'm not a big, like... I'm not, I don't know. It's not a big cake guy. You know what I really don't like? The one thing I would choose cake over is pie. I don't like pie. Pie is for the win? No. I, I don't like pie. I'm sorry. Pie? I don't know. Never liked it. I like a hamburger pie, but that's like not really like a dessert. That's more like a whole ass meal. Frosting is nasty. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like it could be like actually like too sweet. Buy item from Nook Shopping, take picture. Okay, okay. So we make it into the tent. I think we should have enough. We make it into the tent. Henrietta, thank you. Merry Christmas. I hope you're doing well. My friend once described a, ca a sh cake as a sugar cube covered in cough syrup, and I was like, girl? A sugar cube covered in cough syrup is not even accurate. If they're, if they're using that as a way to call cake gross... You can do that without calling it that. It's nothing like that, but I agree. It's not, like, great. It's... I don't know. It's okay. I won't say it's gross, but it's not great. What? No pie? Nope. I don't know. Apple pie, pumpkin pie, cherry pie. I like all those fruits. Okay, maybe not cherries, but I like all those. Just when you stick it in a pie, doesn't do it for me. What's your favorite flavor of cake? I'm not going to say you're going to yell at me. I, I, I'm not going to say. You're, you're just going to get mad at me. Everyone's just going to get mad at me. Everyone's just going to get mad at me. There's no point. There's no There's no point. Everyone's just going to get mad at me. This is, it, it, like, there's actually just, like, no point. Alright. We've done everything we need to, right? I think so. Now redeem all of our miles. It's vanilla, and I don't care that it's basic, I don't care that it's boring. I'm basic and I'm boring, and you are watching me, so you must like me, like, a little bit, enough. You must find me a little not basic and boring enough. 
to, like, you'd be watching me right now. So, like, you know. Vanilla's really, yeah, I know vanilla's good. It's just, it's the best. Thanks, Jacksoge, for the tier one. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. There's a reason it's a classic. And people use vanilla to describe things that are, like, basic and boring. Like, if you say that you're vanilla, you, like, I don't know. You, like, go to the coffee shop every morning and get, like, a big old giant Starbucks mocha latte with a bunch of fucking syrups and shit in it. And then you go to your little office job, you type on your little computer, and you have, like, a... Oh, you're like, oh, man, what should I, like, plan for this Friday's potluck? Hmm, it's also casual Friday, what should I wear? And then you go home, and then you play, like, Stardew Valley or some shit like that. And then maybe have, like, your little HelloFresh, like, uh, meal delivery service meal. And then you go to bed in, your, like, your giant queen-size bed and cry yourself to sleep at night. And, like, apparently that's, like, a vanilla person. But vanilla is so much more than, like, that person, you know what I mean? Oh, Dag, guess what? If you chicken butt me, I'm going to time you out for a long time. If you hit me with a chicken butt, I'm going to time you out for a long time. About my moving fees. I'm ready to pay. So, did you get what you asked Santa for? No, Santa didn't give me what I asked him for. I must have been on the naughty list today. Or this year. I got a job? Congratulations. No, I guess I must have been on the naughty list this year, folks. Because I didn't get anything that I wanted. From old Santa Claus. What did you ask him for? Dude, I can't tell you. It's a secret. We went over this yesterday, dude. I can't tell you what I asked Santa for because it's a secret. What's up, Daymare? What does I call my life? About my home. All right, then we're going to walk out of the tent and then the day's going to roll over and then we'll be good to go. All right. I'm going to go to Blathers. Uh, I'm feeling pink today. But you didn't get it, so it's not a secret anymore. Yeah, but it's still what I asked him for Christmas. So, like, it's... I don't know. And also, it's it's just private. And if I want to keep an aspect of my life private, I think I'm entitled to do so. I think I'm entitled to keep a life aspect of my life private. So if I say, I don't want to tell you guys what I got for Christmas, I think that that's well within my right to do so. All right? I think that's well within my right to do so. Quit speaking German, I don't understand. I see American in there, and I don't like it. It's because he got bad dragon. What is that? I'll get you to tell us one day, Dagnol Kappa. Yeah, no, I don't think you will. Oh no? Oh dear? Yeah, what is that? What's Bad Dragon? Don't Google Bad Dragon, please. Well, I'm not. I'm asking you guys what it is. I want to just explain to me what it is. Toys. Oh, like Legos. And like choo-choo trains. It's a brand of special toys. Like, yeah, like Lego. Of the adult variety? Oh, well, I mean, some of them Lego sets do say, like, 14 and up, because they're kind of difficult. At least, don't pull it up on stream. Why not? Like, a cool Lego set. It'd be kind of cool, actually. It's a pleasure toy company. Well, I get pleasure from doing some, like, Legos. Like, when I finish, like, a Lego project, that's quite pleasurable. I like it. You kind of build with, up with them, like Legos, I guess. Yeah, that seems kind of fun. Maybe I'll ask Santa for some of that next year. See what we get. Maybe they'll be in my stockings. <clears throat> They're sexy toys. I mean, I wouldn't describe, like, Buzz Lightyear as sexy, but I guess that's up to you. Okie dokie, here we go. <clears throat> go to Blathers. Don't scare any bugs away. The bird's fine, it's not a bug. It doesn't have feelings. Eh. You just gotta be, like, way too careful. Hey, there's my rock. I think that's my new rock. They're pieces of art. I'd unironically display one on a shelf. I, I'm gonna look these fucking things up here. What were they called? Dragon something, right? 
I'm gonna look them fucking up. Dragon... What was it called? Bad Dragon. Bad Dragon. Bad Dragon. Hoodie. Custom Handmade Fantasy... Oh. Carrot cake coloration? But why is it like... It's got like ribs. Okay. Kind of weird that like you would even bring that up like in my stream. Like kind of really strange. Behavior. 07 to the Twitch channel. That didn't show it on stream. Relax. Dude, you need to calm down. If you think that of all the things that are going on on this website right now, me looking up Bad Dragon in a Google tab that you are not seeing right now, and I'm only vaguely describing what I'm seeing is the worst thing that's going on on this website right now, you're crazy. You're wild if you think that that is the most NSFW thing that is going on on this website. That ain't even the worst thing that's going on in this, like, Animal Crossing category right now, okay? The glare of your glasses, I bet, showed it. If Twitch bans me because they saw a bad dragon horsecock on the reflection of my glasses in that Google tab, I will just stand there and applaud them for being able to catch that. Bro, Boogie2988 pulled his schlong out on stream the other day. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. Alright, go to the tent and buy better tools and tool ring. Okie dokie. I'm gonna see Lego's new collection that's coming out on the first. It's the Animal Crossing series. Yeah, I saw them infernal Animal Crossing Legos. They look like shit. I'm gonna be honest with you, they look like shit. They look stupid. People are probably looking at them and they're like, Oh my god, it's so cute! It's got Bunny! She's my favorite villager! They look like shit. They look stupid. I don't know. That's just me. I think they look kind of dumb. I, I wasn't impressed with them at all. I don't even like Legos, so I wouldn't have gotten them in the first place, but I, I think they kind of look stupid. Kind of like the Tom Nook Build-A-Bear. Do you guys ever see the Tom Nook Build-A-Bear? Like, that's kind of cool that, like, they're collabing, but it looks dumb. It looks, like, stupid. His model is very specific to where, like, if you got it, like, slightly wrong, he looks, like, dumb. It, I don't know. Looks very silly. Isabelle's looks a little bit weird, too. Who? I don't know. They all look kind of just, like, weird. Just, like, uncanny. Like, nothing that they look like in-game, you know? I'm sick and tired of only the cute villagers getting merch rep. Where the fuck is my boy Rodney? Bro, ain't no one buying Rodney. Nintendo knows what they're doing when they make it so that the Lego sets involve, like, Bunny and Marshall and, of course, Isabel Tom Nook and, like, Raymond or whoever the fuck else was in it. They know what the fuck they're doing when they make it so that they're not including fucking Rodney and Gruff and, like, Renee the Rhino, not the horse. They know what the fuck they're doing. There no, ain't no one buying no damn gruff Lego set, alright? They know. Buy better tools and tool ring. Right, I gotta redeem my birthday miles. Hey, fuck Rodney, where's my boy Hopper in his highs? Bro, give me the stone from Animal Crossing as a possible action figure. Raymond is overrated? Oh, <laughs> I can't believe you said that. I'm really offended right now. Holy shit, you gotta calm down, man. Like, you actually, like, really gonna hurt someone's feelings. Gosh. You should be an actor. Thanks. If you got any roles for me, send them my way. I had my Raymond phase. I really did. I re I'm doing a lot of drugs. A lot. That scared me. That did sound like a scream where somebody's, like, tied up. And, like, there's someone with a gun, like, single-handedly, like... 
like shooting all my friends right in front of me. Like that is like kind of like one of them like fucked up like movie screams, isn't it? Yeah, that kind of like actually scared me. I didn't know I was capable of that. Who's your top five villagers? I don't fucking know. Cube and Kid Cat are the only ones I know for sure in my top two. Everyone else after that? I don't know. It's just a shuffle of all a bunch of various villagers. Can you do a villager tier list? Bro, I got one on my YouTube channel. It was like the very first thing that I did. I don't have enough miles for the tool ring. What the hell? It was the very first channel video I put on my channel. You just go to my videos and sort by oldest first, and then it'll be there. Of course, that was before New Horizons characters were released, so it doesn't have them. Or the ones from the 2.0 update, but still like most of them. Yeah, a new one? Dude, that took like three hours to do that one. I'm not doing three hours of that again. I'm not doing that again. Agree to the shop proposal, right. Nothing's changed, why do a new one? No, there has been villagers added since I did that one. But if I was going to do that, I would put the villagers all back where I had them. And then I would just add on to the new ones. It wouldn't really be that interesting, I promise you. Four hours of me sorting various villagers into like different tiers, like it's fucking Harry Potter. Sorting them into the right schools would not be very fun. Is Punchy still S+. Plus? Yes, he is. Actually, you know what? My top three are Kid Cat, Cube, Punchy. In no particular order. Except for the fact that Kid Cat and Cube is one and two, but I don't have an order for them. Punchy's probably number three. Did I agree to the shop proposal? Buy a net, watering can, and shovel. Got it. What's for sale? Net, watering can, shovel. Why did I get iron? Let's go get iron. Alright. Make vaulting pole, better can, iron axes. Oh, I didn't get iron, so I guess I gotta go do that. Julian's my favorite. Bro, people went ape shit over Julian back in the New Leaf days. Julian and Marshall, people went fucking crazy. I guess this will also help me maybe get the last miles that I need to get the tool ring. Can I have my shovel, please? I just... Man, remember the days where they didn't have tool ring and this is how you had to scroll through your damn tools? Good times. People clown on New Horizons, but it did, like, you know, it helped in some regards with quality of life. It's a common complaint of this game is that it doesn't have enough quality of life things, months. but I don't know. Also, I can't get up because my dog is asleep on my lap. Oh, thanks, Tamar, for the 28 months. I wish you the best of luck with your dog problem, but other than that, enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. I got a gold nugget. New Leaf was peak? I would argue. But, yeah, you know, like, you know, it was kind of inconvenient to scroll through all your tools. I guess you didn't have to. You could, like, go into your pockets and, like, you know, pick it out manually, but, I don't know, it's still kind of annoying. Tool ring, one of those things that you definitely miss when you're going back to older Animal Crossing games. Put it that way. Yeah, I can always use more sticks. Eh. What do you think about my favorite villager, Marshall? We have such a good friendship because he's been on my island since basically the start. Yeah, Marshall's pretty cool. But it sounds like you have... It sounds like you shouldn't care what I think because it sounds like you... All, you have a wonderful friendship with your favorite Animal Crossing villager, and you shouldn't let me get in the way of that, no matter what I think about your favorite villager. It sounds like you got a good thing going. Don't let me ruin it, even if I didn't like him. I just joined. What attempt number are we on? I'm not pointing to my genitals either, by the way. I'm just pointing to the number two on the screen. Like, without the number two down there, like, honestly, if the webcam was, like, at its full full size and wasn't, like, cut off, it probably looked like I was, like, pointing at my, like, genitals, but I wasn't trying to do that. I was trying to point at the number two. The text on the screen is small? Is it? I don't think so. 
Maybe, like, the outline needs to be a little bit bolder, but I think that's it. I think it's okay. Maybe make it bolder and or flashing. Well, no, I'm not going to make it flashing. I don't want to have someone have, a, like, a seizure in my stream because my text on my screen is flashing. There is caps attempt number two for the ones who can't read it. I think, uh, no, it's not in the title of the stream. I guess I could put it there, too, but I, I don't know. I thought that that would be good enough. I miss the new leaf snow people. Dude, that was fucking awesome. Why did they not bring that back? Where you can have the snow family. That was one of the biggest disappointments of this game for me. Call it weird, but like that, I don't know. That sort of like told me that they kind of really did lose the plot of what made this, or what makes Animal Crossing so good is, I don't know, they kind of skimped out on like the simple things like the snow family from New Leaf. That was awesome. Why'd they do that? Maybe a big red circle and an arrow. Alright, actually. Um, that's a good idea. And put like... Image... Browse... Hang on. I can do that. Alright, can I like stretch it? Where like... How do you like stretch it in like the like a hmm. there we go and then maybe get that like hey what it, what the fuck it messed it up all right here and then we'll go add image here and I got my big red arrow here that I use for YouTube thumbnails because no uh, self-respecting uh, a YouTuber would not have a PNG of a giant red arrow saved on their computer. So here we go. I, I called it Jesus dot, Jesus 2 dot PNG is apparently what this image is called. I don't know why I called it that. Um, but there you go. We can go here and we can go flip horizontal so that it's going this way. And then we'll even go like a little here. And then... That's pretty good, right? Now we can all see like what attempt number it is. Like with no, no confusion, no more about what attempt number it is. We we got it. People make fun of red arrows, but they work. Yeah, why do you think people do it, right? They wouldn't do it if it didn't do something, right? People clown on, like, YouTubers, and for very good reason a lot of the time. I'm not going to say that, you know, there isn't, like, an obnoxious, like, level of, uh, of thumbnail, like, obscenities that you can have that makes you immune. No, like, like, I get it. But I would argue more so you should blame YouTube rather than blame the creators as far as, like, that stuff. Because that's, they're kind of just playing the game that's laid out for them, you know? Myself included, of course. Kind of, you know, they're playing the same game as every other YouTuber, and when there's so many people doing it, you gotta, like, make yourself stand out in some way, right? Thanks for improving my access to this stream. Now, hang on. I could even do... I could even do one better, and, like, put some, like, Family Guy, like, clips up there in, like, maybe the top left corner there. Maybe, like, some Temple Run gameplay, like, maybe down there somewhere. And then, is that gonna, like, really boost the accessibility of my stream? Are you guys gonna be, like, way more engaged with what I got going on? Or if, like, perhaps, and I don't know why you do this, but if you perhaps were, like, a little bit... Man, I don't really know if I have a good place to hit this rock. I guess I could do it like this, but I hate doing this with the two holes. I always fuck it up somehow. I could, like, you know, in case you guys ever get tired of, like, what I got talking about, you could always, like, you know, pay a little attention to the Family Guy clip compilation that I got going on up there, and then once you're tired of that, you get back to the Temple Run, and then maybe once you're tired of that, you'll tune back into what I'm talking about. Just really trying to make the stream more accessible for everybody. Just trying to make sure all my folks can watch my stream. Yeah, there you go. That's some Family Guy clip compilation videos. I should have one more rock, right? 
Also, do I have enough softwood to make a vaulting pole? I do. All right, don't jump in the water, please. I guess I don't have another rock. Okay. Well, whatever. I got four iron, which is like putrid, but whatever. It's fine. Cashing in on the skibbity toilet crowd. Does it make sense that I don't really want the skibbity toilet crowd? I don't know if I want people who enjoy skibbity toilet to watch my stream. Not because, like, they're too young, but I don't think that they are the types of people who would enjoy the what I do here, you know? I don't think they're the types of people that would really enjoy what I do here. Which, that's fine. It's not for everyone. But, you know, especially not for people who enjoy skibbity toilet. Poor Axnew, man. You're calling him out. Axnew likes me for reasons other than the fact that I'm funny. Uh, also, Nook Miles. Hopefully this will get me enough for the tool ring. Yeah? I think it was 800 exactly? I think? Yeah. Alright, good. I genuinely don't get Skibbity Toilet. That's okay. It's called growing up. You start to not understand other what younger people like. It's just part of growing up. I, it happened to me, like, years ago, where I didn't really understand, like... It was, like, the first, like, meme trend that I, like, truly didn't understand, didn't find funny, didn't see the appeal of at all. And I was like, man, I think the times have just passed me by. It'll happen to you, and it happens to everyone. Alright. Um... I don't have enough fucking iron to upgrade all the shit that I want. I gotta upgrade- I, I literally have just enough, I think. Alright, upgrade the watering can. I got the fucking King Tut mask now. Upgrade the watering can. And then upgrade all of our axes. Already has been happening. Yeah, uh, it definitely has happened for most of you. I like it better with the minimap isn't right there, but maybe it's because of the red circle and arrow. Yeah, maybe the minimap makes the attempt number hard to read. You know, you actually can. I, this is something that I forget exists in this game. Let me give one second and I'll show you. Something that I forget exists, but you can actually... No, don't keep crafting. You can go into your map here, and there's actually a setting right here where it's always off. Always on or off while moving. That's a, that's a thing in this game that I forget exists, like, a lot. So, I guess I could turn it off, but I also like having it on when I'm not moving, so I think I'll keep it as it is. I remember I discovered that, like, day one of playing this game, and I don't think I messed with it at all after that. Alright, I got all my axes but one upgraded, but that's because I got, like, no fucking iron, so don't yell at me about that. I wish when you put something on the tool... This is still something I wished for. Day one of playing this game, and I still wish it. Day, like, 1000 playing this game. Is when you put something on your tool ring, it takes it out of your inventory. Because this is a fucking mess. Because this is a fucking mess. I also need to make a vaulting pole and more shit to take up my fucking inventory. And a crafting table, but I don't have any iron for a crafting table. I think you need iron... Yeah, you need one fucking iron. It's alright, I guess I got access to more rocks with this. Helpful tricks and tips you probably didn't know in Anna. Dude, did you guys see that tweet? I saw a fucking YouTube short recommended to me that was like, Helpful tips and tricks you probably didn't know in the Animal Crossing series. And the preview of the thumbnail... Well, you know, first of all, can I just say props to whoever made that, because the thumbnail definitely got my attention. Uh, and that's exactly what a thumbnail is supposed to do. But the thumbnail was like, hold down B to sprint. And I'm like, who didn't know that? Who, who didn't know that? What are you talking, who? Isn't that the case in like every video game where you can walk around? That's not even an Animal Crossing tip. That's like, every video game does that. What do you mean? You'd be surprised how many people don't know you can run in Animal Crossing. Would I? Would I actually? That's kind of... Like, dude, if that's the case, man, I can teach you guys a whole fucking lot of things. Y'all know how to sprint? Shoot, buckle down. I'll teach you a bunch of shit about this game. I just taught you guys the minimap thing. I mean, maybe some of you didn't know that. 
I don't know, man. That's sort of like a basic functionality in like a lot of video games. What's up, Chris Rot? Common sense is not always common. I, I, I don't know. Maybe some people just aren't gamers and like they... I don't know, man. I guess maybe I'm assuming that the average person who plays Animal Crossing is like a seasoned gamer veteran. But maybe they're not. And so maybe they don't know the common tactic of, oh, when you can walk in a video game, usually there's a button where you can hold it down and you start running too. Maybe that's my problem. Unironically, should make a trolling video for YouTube where you go over the most things in AC and put them down as tips and tricks that people don't know. See, the thing is that if I made that video with the intent of trolling, I think that most people would take it seriously and they'd be like, Oh, I didn't learn anything from this, but thanks for trying to teach people a new way to play Animal Crossing. And I'd be like, Oh, you're welcome, I guess. I, I guess you're welcome. Alright, now let's upgrade, I guess, all the other shit that we have. Like, all of our nets and stuff. Alright, I gotta make a crafting table as well. April Fool's video? Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe. I should do something for, like, an April Fool's video. I feel like, again, though, like, if I made an April Fool's video, people might take it seriously, even though it clearly, I don't know, if not the tone of the video would make it serious that I'm not serious. Um, I mean, the fact that it's on April Fool's as well might remind them, but I don't know. You'd be surprised. Some people are a little dense on the internet. I'm not biting the hand that feeds me, I'm just saying. I remember AC and H was a lot of people's first AC game slash game in general during COVID. I suppose so. But even still, like, I don't know. Maybe this is gamer instincts. But if this is the first video game I ever played, I think my curiosity would eventually teach me that pretty quickly. Like, I'm talking like within the first hour of playing the game that you can hold down a button that lets you sprint. If nothing else, my curiosity of just, what are all the buttons on this little doohickey does, you know? I feel like, I, but maybe that's just me. I, I, I guess I shouldn't speak for everybody, right? Some people aren't as curious to test all of the buttons. What, do you think it's gonna like shock them or something? Dude, that actually scared the shit out of me one time. You wanna know what's like the, one of the most traumatic things that ever happened to me? Is my controller, not this one, but a controller that I was using, just slap the microphone. A controller that I was using, what attempt is this? One time, a controller that I was using... That's actually really handy. I'm gonna- I'm not gonna get rid of those scenes now. I'm not gonna get rid of those scenes now, because now I- I know that people might actually- I might actually be able to use them. My controller that I was using shocked the shit out of me one time. I don't know what I did, but there was some, like, faulty wiring. I think it was, like, a shitty third-party controller. Shocked the shit out of me. Like, fucking got my ass. It fucking yoinked me, dude. If I was, like, 80, it probably would have killed me. And I never used it again. And every time I, like, touched it, I was like, Ugh, it's, it's. I, I didn't want to even, like, fucking mess with it. Gave me trust issues for, like, years after that with controllers. Like, actually made me scared to, like, use controllers for, like, years after that. It gave me a big ol' owie. Thanks, Oddest Fox, for the Prime. Appreciate it. Thank you for the three months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. Chop trees and pick up all the wood and hit rocks. All right, well, I've already hit the rocks, so we just got to chop trees and pick up all the wood. 30 plus 4 of every wood. I got to do some fucking inventory management, man. I can't fucking handle all this. That is awful. I know, man. It's terrible. You should really feel bad for me. You guys should really, like, be crying right now, actually. That really ruined my, like, gaming ability for, like, years. Okay. Being shocked is less the pain and more the surprise. Y'all friends ever hit you with that, um... Y'all friends ever hit you with that, um... That, uh, stick of gum? That fake stick of gum? Well, butterflies don't get scared away, and I already caught a tiger butterfly, right? Y'all friends ever hit you with that motherfucker, um, stick of gum? That fake stick of gum shocks the shit out of you? Yep. That gave me trust issues. 
Every time someone offered me a piece of gum for like years after that, I got trust issues. That sucked. I never got got by it, but they tried. Still, like, even the prospect of, like, trying to betray your trust is, like, fucked up. And it doesn't hurt, yeah, but it's like, ah! Why'd you do that? Why'd you betray my trust like that? But, you know, in the fifth grade, they don't really understand that. I got got by a cockroach one. A cockroach one? What the hell do you mean? Whoa! Hey, oddest fox. Thanks for the ten gift subs. Appreciate that. What do you mean the bug one? What the fuck is that? Anyway, if you got a gift sub courtesy of Oddest Fox, say thank you. And enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you. Have you seen the Animal Crossing anime movie? Nah, I haven't, actually. That's, uh, I guess that kind of makes me a fake fan, I think. I've never seen the Animal Crossing movie. I think they watched it in my Discord once. Exclamation point Discord. Um, but I didn't tune in. But I think people like it. It was made like when Wild World was coming out. I'll enjoy my emotes and ad free viewing. Well, thank you, Unbridled Carnage. And I guess I don't need to say it anymore. Thanks for the sub. Two months in a row. Appreciate it. Thank you. It's. I think it's good. People like it. It was made when, like, Wild World was, like, the most recent Animal Crossing game. So, it's a little dated as far as, like, the villagers and, like, it, of course, those villagers are all still in the game. But, you know. There's not gonna be Raymond. There's not gonna be Marshall. There's not gonna be Julian in them. But, I don't know. It's still good. Very mid-2000s anime vibe. Do you guys know what I mean when I say that? Do you guys remember when... Maybe this is too specific. I hope this isn't too specific. And, like, a good chunk of people in my chat can, like, remember these times. Do you guys remember when, like, popular songs had Nightcore mixes on YouTube? And they would always just be, like, you know, popular song, Nightcore mix. And it would just be an anime girl. Like, a mid-2000s anime girl. Like, that's the only thing in the video. I still live- Dude, some of them are good. Like, just because they're, like, not new and, like, trendy anymore doesn't mean they're once still good. Alvin and the Chipmunks version. Well, that's the- That's still fucking happening with, like, TikTok, dude. I always hear TikToks with, like, fucking Alvin and the Chipmunk-ass versions of songs. That still happens. Nightcore mix, anime, girl, picture, thumbnail, background of the video. Oh, my God. It's- it almost brings a tear to my eye. Alright, I gotta choose, like, the grove of trees that I need to leave! Fuck! I tried to turn around! I tried to fucking turn around. I tried to... I tried to turn around and catch the earth-boring dung beetle, but I think my hand didn't listen to my brain, and so I pressed A to shake the tree before I turned around to press A to catch the bug. I did the order of operations wrong in my head, and now I have to restart from zero. Well, I have to pee anyway, so I guess it's okay. Well, I guess it's attempt number three, folks. All right, well, I'm going to use the bathroom, and I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I hope we all enjoy seeing uh, me restart the game over and over and over again. I hope that's really fun for everyone. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Let me play some uh, tunes. Should I play... Uh... Oh, God, I just pressed... <laughs> okay, so I wanted to pull up the tab of me playing Animal Crossing music that I wanted that I played at the beginning of the stream. Oh, they just remixed it. They knew that they had a good thing with Animal Crossing GameCube Toy Day song, so they kind of never changed it. Well, that's good. That's admirable. Know when you got a good thing and just don't ruin it. I guess that's admirable. Alright, attempt number three. Three, two, one. Go. Poor Dag. Gotta feel bad for him. Yeah, you, you, you really do have to feel bad for me. Like, actually, I feel pretty terrible right now. I But, 
You know, there's always something that gets me just right back in the mood. So if you guys really feel bad for me, you know, there really is, like, just one thing that really, really just perks me right up. And that's um, 100 gift subs. That's about, like, 100 gift subs. Really always just perks me right up. So if you really feel bad for... Okay, I'm not gonna say... I, I'm done. Because somebody will actually believe me. Somebody will actually believe me. See grimacing emoji. Somebody's like, wow, I'm gonna put that in my cringe compilation of greedy streamers. See, so I don't even let me I'm not even gonna indulge. I didn't even fucking change the stupid time. I mean, yeah, I'm not lying. Like it would like make me pretty happy, but I don't actually wanna like have people believe that I would want that. You know? I forgot to change you know what I I gotta actually start over. I should like change the time. Sorry, man, I'm broke. I'm not actually asking anyone. Here's a burger. Thanks. I appreciate that. You know how, um, three, two, one. Okay, hang on. That was not an attempt, by the way. That's just, it's still attempt number three. You know how, um, hey, Chris Rot. Thanks for the tier one. That, you know, that kind of helps. <laughs> I feel one hundredth of a little bit better. Here's at least one sub. I appreciate that. Thanks. Enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, you know how, like, Chinese food is, like, the only thing that's, like, open on Christmas? I was thinking about it, and I was like, should I get Chinese food later? Because, like, oh, hey, Elizabeth, thanks for the gift sub. The B is not okay with this. Thanks. Enjoy your emotes, B, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. Thanks, Elizabeth. What is the best Christmas movie? It's a Christmas story. We did a whole tier list yesterday. I literally just got Chinese with my mom. Yeah, I was thinking about it, but I don't know, man. Because, like, none of the Chinese places around me deliver through, like, the restaurant. They all deliver through Uber Eats or DoorDash, and, I mean, we all know the grievances of using those, so... I'm like, I want to go get Chinese, but I'm also like, I don't want to have to fucking spend DoorDash money. We're getting Arab money! I don't want to have to spend DoorDash money, you know what I mean? Hey, I got my eyes. No! My nose. And my ooh face. Go pick it up! I don't got a car! I don't got a car! Dude, it's a tough life when you don't have a car in a city where, like, you can't fucking walk everywhere. Or anywhere, for that matter. That fucking song is ridiculous. Get a snail chariot. What's that mean with, like, the snail that, like, chases you, and if it ever touches you, you die? But, like, you get, like, a million dollars or something like that? I think I'd do that. Uh, this one's pretty simple. Let's do this one. Ah, uh, Bulba. That fucking emote. I don't know, though. I don't know. Isn't your New Year's resolution to learn to drive slash get a car? Well, yes, but that can't start that till New Year's, right? Otherwise, it wouldn't be a New Year's resolution. Actually, there is a reason why I can't do that until the New Year, because in order to apply for a permit, you need to have the signature of a medical... I guess just your doctor to fill out in the form. And I can't get a doctor until the new year because that's when my insurance starts. And so I, it is kind of something I can't start until the new year. Cars are expensive and pollute the earth. Yeah, that's why we should all like stop driving and like really neutralize our carbon footprint. Because like really it's us, right? It's us. It, it, we're doing it. We're, we're, we're fucking the planet over. By being so selfish as to driving our cars everywhere. Yeah, you know, you're actually really right. That's a crazy plane color? Well, color plane. I've never heard of that. Well, in Pennsylvania, that's what it is. So, you guys who are all driving your little cars everywhere you need to go, you're not putting your nose to the grindstone, you're not strapping yourself up by your bootstraps, and just walking everywhere you go, are single-handedly killing this planet. What's that? Taylor Swift just took her private jet across the state of Nebraska for the 15th time in the last week? 
pool. Well, I mean, she has places to go. She's a very busy woman. Listen, I have a 20-mile commute to college. Sounds like a bunch of excuses to me, you selfish prick. I don't know, it's kind of bad boy of me to destroy the Earth. Kind of. Like, if, if... Ladies, if you like a bad dude, let me tell you something. I put 100,000 miles on my 2004 Honda Civic. Yeah, that's right. I've polluted... Calculate the amount of CO, carbon monoxide emissions, that that has produced, and... You, you know what comes out on the calculator? Bad boy. Rrr. Yeah, that's right. You're right. Only logical solution is to drop out. You know, if you did drop out, that would definitely, like, make the entire planet, like, carbon neutral. I think that you're the sole reason keeping us from being a carbon neutral species. Nice ASMR, Dag. Thanks. That's, uh, bad boy purring in your ear ASMR. Bad boy who owns a 2004 Civic with 100,000 miles, purring in your ear ASMR. It's, it's, it's a hot commodity right now. Um, I guess here. Do I have room for it? Yeah. Bad boy. Modern American trucks are physically larger than military tanks from multiple countries. I'm not surprised. Those things are, like, just unnecessarily huge. Look at, like, a... Ford Ranger from 1997, and then look at the fucking new GMC or a fucking Chevrolet Silverado from today. It's fucking ridiculous. They were fine. They carried all my shit when I was a kid. I just zoned out and came into this conversation. I'm so confused. Well, then don't zone out. Larger and more useless. Hey, dude, it's got a bunch of nice bells and whistles on it. Yeah, it falls apart, but like, you know. It's got fucking Pandora integrated into it. What do you mean nobody uses Pandora anymore? No, but you know what's a luxury of like a modern car that I need? And it's not even modern. There's These are in like 10-year-old cars at this point. A backup camera. And I need seat warmers. I need seat warmers. My little butt gets cold. I need seat warmers. And a backup camera is like a standard safety feature that should be in like every car if it's not already. I need my seat warmers though. I can't drive with a cold butt. I need some warm my butt. Frida kind of bad. Like bad like or like bad like I hate her. No, I don't want to find you a fucking spot. I have backseat seat warmers, but have no friends, so they go unused. Well, maybe there'd be some, like, radiant heat from, like, a seat warmer. Maybe if your car is cold, put on the seat warmers, and maybe that'll heat it up without having to blast the hot-ass air from your vents into your face. Because it makes you, like, sick. This is the spot. Bad like Rizzler. Yeah, I don't comprehend that sentence. Speak, um, 27 for me, please. My sister and I have the same car, little Fiat Pandas. Oh, that's kind of cute. It's cute little cars. What's up, Riffian Wizard? We both take them to our grandparents today in order to fit the three of us in the presents. We would fit everything and the three of us in my dad's car, which is not in use. Yeah, probably not great on a little storage space, huh? Got my sound off because I'm with my family. Oh, so why do I even bother reading your comment? No, I'm just kidding. I wanted to stop by and say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all the besties. Thanks for always bringing us joy at Dagnall. I can't imagine life without your goofy little community. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the year. I just shit my pants because I ate so much apple pie. I don't know why you included the last part of that comment, Ricking Angel. Can you, like, explain yourself? Can you, like, explain yourself? I... Why did you say that? Alright, kind of weird. I don't, I really wasn't necessary to say that, but, you know, whatever, it was your comment, you wrote it. Okay, whatever. Bad, like, yeah! Oh, okay, I got it, I got it, yeah, yeah, she kind of, like, bad, you mean. Yeah, kind of weird. Kind of weird. Alright. At least we know his bowels are working. I, I guess, still, like, not really information I needed to know. 
Gotta ruin a cute sentiment? Dude, if I'm good for nothing, it's for... It's, it's... If I'm good for nothing, it's like breaking the mold, you know? I'm good for breaking the mold. I'm good for, like, jazzing up a conversation, for better or for worse. What do you mean Biff is mid? Biff is good. Probably best damn hippo in the game. I'm good for, like, jazzing up a conversation one way or the other, okay? I might make it really weird, but I'm, I'll definitely make it more interesting. And you can't knock me for that, because it's true. You can't knock me for that. He's not mid, dude. Biff, as far as jocks go, is pretty good. And Frida, for Sister Lee's, not bad either. It's good starters. Might even be the best ones I've had so far. Although, I feel like my last ones were good. Like, I had Poncho and someone else. Dag, opinion on pizza? Dude, what the fuck do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? You want to, like, are you baiting, like, a I hate pizza out of me so that you can, like, verbally, like, clown on me? No, I love pizza. It's good. I mean, what are you expecting? You can go to ask a hundred streamers what their opinion on pizza is, and all of them will tell you it's good. Why do I... Why do you think I would be any different? I hate pizza. No, you don't. Nobody hates pizza. What bug are you most worried about? I'm not worried about catching any of them. I'm worried about scaring some of them away. Like those palm tree bugs, where if you, like, even, like, breathe too hard, they'll fly away. But I haven't even gotten to that point in this challenge, so I'm not really worried about that. Earth-boring dung beetles I've found to be really annoying. Hermit crabs have fucked one of my runs. But... Other than that, I don't know. To be seen, because I haven't gotten too far into any attempts yet to really see what is going to screw me over or not. Eh. Or, like, cicadas on trees when I'm, like, walking down on them and, like, I don't react quick enough to there being a bug on the tree. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'll just... I'll just keep pressing B. It's fine. This is what I wanted for Christmas, was just to sit here all day pressing B and not getting anything from it. There we go. Finally start spitting them out. Piece of shit. How long do you think this will take you? I don't know. Could take me... Five hours? Five more hours? Could be, take me, uh, five IRL days. Alright, don't even mess with that tree. Don't even mess with it. I need two more sticks. You must be a masochist to do this challenge. No, I just like making YouTube videos. Or, well, I like, you know, it's, it's for you. I wouldn't do this casually. That'd be a masochist thing to do, is to do it casually without, like, making a video out of it. No, I just like making videos. It's like my job. Alright, let's see. Six cherries, three rocks. I actually got 31 sticks. Would you play The Sims 4 again at some point? Uh, I have played The Sims 4, like, a uh, couple weeks ago. I played it for, like, one stream, because the thing with Sims 4 is, like, I don't kind of, like, get it. <laughs> Like, I get it. I've played a lot of Sims in my life. It's just that, like, a lot of people do a lot of really interesting things with Sims. A lot of, like, challenges and stuff. A lot of, like, interesting stuff. And I do, like, the same five things in The Sims. Because it's, like, all I know how to do. Or it's all I, like, care to do. So, I, I don't really think I'm a good Sims streamer. So, I think that, um, I'm not gonna play too much Sims. Also, I kind of don't like supporting The Sims because of its fucked up monetary practices. Thanks for the hydrate. Yeah, the masochism is lessened when in the frame of being done for content. Exactly. The Sims is goofy? Well, yeah, it's goofy, but like... I know you can do a shit ton of things. It's just like, I either... A, don't know how to do it, or B, I like, don't make it very funny. Because, I don't know, I just don't know it well enough, you know? Uh, this is three. My partner says you would be a cranky villager, and I think she's right. Why do I seem like a cranky villager? I think I'm quite nice, actually. I think I would be a new type of villager. Like, good. I'd be like a good type villager. I think I'd just be like, nice. 
silly villager. No, I'm not. I'm not very silly. I'm. I'm kind of like just normal. Yeah, I'm just good. Like smiley face, maybe. Yeah. I think I'd be perfect type villager. Yeah. No, that's actually kind of true. I have fifteen hundred plus hours on The Sims. I have um on The Sims Four, like probably ten. I spent a thousand dollars on all them DLCs, and I done put ten hours into that bitch. No, I probably put like twenty. I spent like a grand on all the Sims base game and all the DLCs. That's right, I bought it when the base game wasn't even free. And then I bought all the DLCs. Cost me damn one thousand dollars. Put twenty hours into that shit. It, youch! Yeah, no, that's a big youch right there. LMAO, can you imagine? I don't have to imagine, I did it. I have over 100,000 hours? Dude, you haven't even been alive 100,000 hours. Because you'd have to be like... 100, right? Because I'm a, I've am i been alive for like 10,000 and like 30 days. Times 24, and that's... What? 200... Wait. Yeah, yeah actually you might have been alive for 100,000. Yeah. No, I know, yeah, yeah, but that'd be like a third or like a half of your life. There's no way, because that'd be like a third of your life, and The Sims 4 probably hasn't even been out a third of your life. Get out of here. I had a liar, liar, pants on fire. I'm being a math teacher? I was thinking. What was your Christmas wish? Getting Sims 4 refunded? No, I didn't actually pay for it. I'm just joking. I would never pay $1,000 on any game. I, guess, I really hope you guys don't think so low of me to actually think that I would spend $1,000 on any video game. Please, God. Think more highly of me, I beg of you. I kind of hate The Sims because of all the DLC. Like, it sucks because you kind of need the DLC to make it like a game that's worth playing. But... I fuck, fuck if I'm going to spend a thousand bucks on it. Surely they know that like half the people who play it must pirate it. I thought you did. Well, please think a l just a little bit higher of me. I promise I wouldn't spend a thousand dollars on any video game. Even like Animal Crossing, you know? I don't think I'm at the liberty of being able to share how much money I've made from Animal Crossing in the sense of all the videos that I've made, all the streams that I've done, every way that I've monetized this game. But let's put it this way. I've definitely made more than $1,000 off of Animal Crossing in my life. So if you were to ask me, Dagnum, would you have spent $1,000 on Animal Crossing? No, I wouldn't have. Because A, I couldn't have predicted that I've been able to, you know, make my living off of this game. And B, no, I wouldn't pay $1,000 for anything, I just said. No, I wouldn't pay a th if 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 GTA 6 came out and it cost $1,000, I would wait until I pirated it. If GTA 6 came out, came out, and I and it cost 1000 I would fucking pirate that shit. Are you kidding me? No, I don't care how excited I am for the game. I'm not supporting that. Nintendo as a corp isn't much nicer than EA, unfortunately. No, of course not. I'm not saying, oh, Nintendo, the ever-wise and generous, thank you for not making Animal Crossing a thousand dollars. No, that's, like, kind of, like, normal, and, like, sort of, like, it's not exactly, like, a selling point for them, you know? It's not really exactly a selling point for them. Which bugs ruined your last two attempts? Hermit Crab? Not a bug. Earthboring Dung Beetle? Bug. But the hours also include time I didn't play, but I was just on. Yeah, I mean, that's, like, a lot of, like, my time in Animal Crossing. Like, how much am I at? 1700 I mean, that's kind of crazy to think that if I did spend a grand on this game, I would have gotten better value out of it than spending, like, $60 on a game that I only put, like, 20 hours into. Because that's, like, $3 per hour. If I spent a grand on this game, I'd be at, like, $1.74 per hour. Which is pretty good compared to spending twenty bucks on a or uh, sixty bucks on a twenty-hour game. So even if I did spend a grand on it, I would have gotten better playtime out of some. Like, what's the worst game that you guys have purchased as far as like the amount of time that you got out of it versus the amount of money that you spent? 
Because I've definitely bought like $60 games before and only ended up putting like five hours into it because I just didn't like them. Gary's mod? That's not that expensive. And also it has like infinite possibilities of what you could do with it. Sims 4 for sure. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, it's kind of hard to make up for like $1,000 worth of base game and DLC content. So I kind of not surprised. All the Saints Row titles. What? Saints Row's great. I mean, I, I know you might not like it. I'm not gonna say you should think what I think, but Saints Row Three was fantastic. I thought Saints Row Four kind of sucked. If you said Saints Row Four specifically, I'd have been like, okay, understandable. That game kind of stunk. Hey, at least I didn't like it that much. I I know Two is good as well. People love Two. I never played Two. You spent four cents for each hour if you purchased it for sixty dollars. Yeah, so I purchased this game for sixty bucks, and I got point zero four cents or four cents. I don't know what you mean by that. Weirdly enough, stray five point four hours for a thirty dollar game. Really good, just not much content. And I'm pretty sure like you beat it in that five point four hours. I think you could totally beat that in like five and a half hours. That is a lot for a game that's five and a half hours. And, you know, you're not exactly speedrunning it, I assume, either. That's four cents. Yeah, that's pretty good value for this. I'd say that's pretty good value. Considering I've definitely made up more than the $60 that I spent playing the game as well. Which is definitely not the case with most games that I buy. Yeah, that's also true. Imagine how many of those hours that I've... And that's the thing, is that, like, putting a thousand hours in one game versus another... Like, putting a thousand hours into Animal Crossing versus putting a thousand hours into Minecraft. The Minecraft hours were probably a lot better because just less loading screens versus the Animal Crossing hours where God knows how many of those hours were loading screens. So there's also, like, the quality of the hours that you put into the game as well. So, like, I put in a lot of hours of this game, but, you know, again, yeah, how much of that was loading screens, you know? All right, anyway, um, we're good. Dark Viper AU has over 11,000 hours in GTA 5, which is insane. It's not, because he made his living off of that game for, like, years. He's probably made more money playing that game than, like, all of us are going to make in our lifetime doing our, like, jobs, you know? So, yeah, I'd play a game for 11,000 hours as well if I was going to make the money he does. I would, yeah, my god, you think I wouldn't? Not to mention GTA 5 is a very open-ended game where you can definitely find enough things to do for 11,000 hours. Definitely a game where you can do that. Yeah, Sims 4 has a lot of loading screens too, but I don't know. I don't think they're worse than Animal Crossing. Also depends on the system that you play on. Maybe if you play on console, it's even worse than on PC. So anyway, you can check how many hours you've spent in AC and H. Yep, you can do that with any Switch game in your profile. 260 on... What's my second most played game on Switch? Is it... Um, Ignore this, by the way. I didn't buy this. I, I think that got, like, hacked onto my Switch. Um, Might be Legend of... Yeah, Breath of the Wild. 265, and what was... Wow, I put 45 hours in the show, even though it sucks on the Switch? Shoot. 265, I think Mario Kart 8 has it beat. Oh no, 260. It's actually very close. But I guess I played Breath of the Wild more. Hmm. What do you mean, sure, dude? It just popped up on my fucking Switch one day. Sakura Neko Calculator. 11,000 hours over 10 years is only like 3 hours daily. Yeah, only 3 hours of your time for 10 years. I mean, when you extrapolate, like, your job, like, you go to your job eight hours a day, five days a week, and, like, it's definitely less work than you've done at, like, your job, but that's still, like, not only, you know? That's still not only. Give Me Toilet Paper was iconic. Yeah, that was a fun game. Fun concept. Friend requests. What? I got friend requests? Who's sending me friend requests? How many of these things I got? 99? Alright, fine. I'll pick a random person. Or maybe not a random person. I'll pick a trusted chat member. But I also have to, like, recognize your name. Alright, well, that's Hank Hill. We all know he's a 
Tr I don't know if I trust this guy. I don't like the look he's given me. I don't like the look he's given me. Hank Hill's a trustworthy guy. Um, but like, I don't recognize any of these names. Y'all, y'all's names be like Shrek Pussy on like Twitch, but then you're like. Switch name is Jordan, and I'm like, how do I tell who the hell you are? Oh, Jen. Oh, I'll accept Jen. I'll accept Jen. Too bad it takes fucking forever, which Merry is why Christmas. I haven't answered them. Hey, thanks, Nebraska Jones, for the six months. Yeah, Shrek pussy. I, I remember they, they were chatting earlier. Dude, I don't know. I'm just saying, you understand what I mean. Like, your names are nothing like... Your names are nothing like... Thank you. Your Switch names, because you'll use, like, your real Switch name, your user real name on the Switch, and then your username is, like, something else entirely. How the hell am I supposed to be able to tell who you are? Alright, that was a fishing rod. No, come on, I'm Junebug! No, please, I'm Junebug, please! <laughs> you know me! Dude, I can't fucking sit here and make an entire stream. I could make an entire stream out of accepting, like, a hundred friend requests, but you saw how long it takes to accept one. I'm not doing that a hundred times. It would take, like, an hour. I'm not doing that. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm close to my Switch friends limit. I gotta be getting close anyway. If you scroll down far enough, you'll find mine. Yeah, dude, I'll probably find one from, like, 2020 if I scroll down far enough. I haven't answered those things since, like... Yeah, probably around 2020. Probably around the last time I answered one of those. Oh, yo, 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 Make three nets, shake trees, got it. Two dollars per accepted request, easy bank. Dude, fucking 200 bucks to answer all those friend requests? Yeah, okay, I'd make a stream out of that. Yeah, I could make a stream out of that. The easiest 200 bucks I've made. Well... I don't know, I've made some pretty easy 200 bucks in my day. <laughs> What's he winking at? What is he implying? <laughs> I don't get it. What's he winking at? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Oh, you'll never know. What do you mean by that? I just said you'll never know. Nah, I'm just trying to stir you up. I, I know you guys get... Re I, know, I know I can, like, mess with you guys like that. I know I can, like, send you guys into a frenzy by, like, saying some shit like that. And then you go, like, what? What? Oh, what did you mean by that? I, I I know how to rile you guys up. Just trying to rile up the dog. Yeah. Woof, woof. Yeah, no. Yeah, I, I know how to work you guys up. I know how to work a crowd. Did you leak your code or something? Because that's a lot of requests. It's not leaked. Exclamation point FC. It's a public, it's a publicly usable command. It's just that, you know, if you're going to send me a friend request, fully expect that I ignore it until the heat death of the universe. You know what I mean? Until the Great Squeeze? What's the next Big Bang going to be called? Like the Great Plunge or something? I don't know. But anyway, that's probably when I'll answer my friend requests. Unless there is a specific reason as to why you're friend requesting me instead of being like, ooh, 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 I got to be on screen for a second. Oh, you can send a friend request? I just don't want to be friends. Well, hey, no, that hurts my feelers! Well, hey, no, that hurts my feelers! And Dag will audit your game history. Well, that's how I determine whether or not I want to be your friend or not, is I audit your game history. I look at the games that you've played, and if you played like a bunch of shit like Sakura Neko Calculator for 500 hours, then I don't friend you. It's that simple, really. It's not so much an audit, it's more like a judge of your character. Like, to see whether or not, like, I would want to be friends with you. Because the last thing I want is me playing, like, on stream, and then I see fucking... I'm gonna pick someone out here. Irobean. Go in the top left corner, it says, Irobean is now playing Dragon Dating Simulator 5 DX. And I'm like, well, that's really a little Ako Taco right there, you know? I, that's a little Ako Taco, you know what I mean? I think it's smart, really. Is it smart? Maybe. I guess it does uh, get people stirred up. They'd be like, what? What? What are they playing? Get you know, some, like, chat engagement going for those slow days. 
Can I have a... I already got a B. I need, like, other bugs. I need five bugs. Hey, thanks. Sacred Dusk for the four months. Prime. Appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing, by golly. Appreciate it. A streamer can't be associated with unsavory individuals. It's not that. It's just, you know... First of all, I'm goofing. I would never, like, judge someone based on... Okay, that's not true. I would judge someone based on what games they play. But, um... I wouldn't do it, like, out loud. I would, like, reserve judgment in my... my head. You know what I mean? I would- I would reserve judgment in my head, but not out loud. I definitely see people, like, on Steam, for example, that I have added. Playing, like... Hell Girls, or... Um, I, I don't know. I can't think of any examples specifically, but I don't know, man. All I'm saying is there's definitely some people I see go live on Honey Pop. Thank you. There you go. Now, if I did see someone go live or X is now playing Honey Pop on Steam, I, I would definitely judge them. Yes. You, how, how would you not? But, you know, I wouldn't message them and be like, um, what are you doing? Why are you playing that? Why are you such a fucking loser? I wouldn't do that. That's 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 not cool. But in my head, I'd be like, hmm. I at least go offline if you're gonna do that, you know? Uh, it's one, two, three, four. Oh, I got five bugs. I got five on it. All right, I need four more sticks. Which AC video is most annoying to make? Uh, Probably the one with all the HHA scores. Just, like, too much data to put together. But I did it. And it's probably one of my most favorite videos. So it was annoying, but it was worth it. When Judgment Day comes, we will all be equals in the eyes of twitch.tv slash diagonal. Uh, no you won't. <clears throat> no you won't. That badge next to your name already unequalizes you. So much work and furniture. Respect. Thanks. You really respect me? Well, thanks. I really appreciate that. And I didn't get any furniture. That kind of sucks. Oh, I gotta check the mail for Joy-Cons and DIY as well. I'm not gonna have enough fucking miles if I didn't get furniture from a tree. What's up, Alphabet Soup? Merry Christmas, Dagger AirPods. Oh, well, that's cool. What'd you guys get for me? Did you guys get me anything? Okay, how about this? You may not have gotten me anything, but if you knew me in real life, okay? And that's a big if. But if you did, what would you get me? Based on what you know about me, what would you get me? If you said, I gotta get, I gotta get Daniel, cause you know me, you know my real name. What do I get Daniel for Christmas this year? A bowling ball. Dude, a good bowling ball? That's gonna run you a pretty penny. Like, a good bowling ball? That that would actually, like, run you a pretty penny. Them, them not cheap. Good bowling ball ain't cheap. Also, you don't know my size. You don't know, like, my... You don't know, like, what, what like, size of the finger holes that I like. You don't know, like, what weight I like. I would probably want to do that myself. I get all the ball sizes, don't worry. Bro, you'd buy the whole ass bowling alley. Um, eh, I don't know what to do if I'm not gonna get the fucking furniture from a tree. How did I not get the furniture from a tree? Hmm. A really nice sweater. Well, I appreciate that, so that would be a good gift. I'd get you a card with money inside because I'm a lazy git. That's okay. Dude, you fucking... Be fucking awesome. That don't matter. Um... E... Mail for Joy-Cons and DIYs. I did get that, right? Yeah, I got the DIY. I got the Joy-Cons. Uh, I got... Donate five bucks, sell extra stuff, fishing rods. I just never got the fucking furniture. I guess I can sell weeds to make up for that? I guess. A shirt with Psy on it, and a text that says, Opa Diagonal Style. Uh, 
Yeah, that'd be good. I would, uh, yeah, that, 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 uh, that would have a special spot in my closet. And some edibles. Yeah, there you go. Get you some baseball cards and something techie. That'd actually be like, that would be fucking awesome. That would be fucking awesome. I found a creature. Are the rules you have to restart if you scare any bug or if it's any bug you're trying to catch? Nope, any bug. Any old bug. How about a perfect run? Would that make a good gift? Yeah, unfortunately that's the gift that must come from within though. I don't think any of you guys can do that for me. I think that's kind of up to me. Damn, you really hate yourself then. Yeah, you just figuring that out? That shirt would be better than the prison orange shirt. You guys really hate me. <laughs> you do. You, you just hate me. You hate everything I do. You hate my guts. You must. You hate me. Oh, you hate me. You hate what I wear. You hate what I look like. You hate what I play. You hate everything about me. Why are you here? Get out. I don't want you here. Get out of here, you big stupid animal! Oh my god, again with the shirt. This is what I'm fucking saying, man. People be like, why aren't you wearing the orange shirt? Because this is what happens, it stirs everyone up. Everyone gets mad at me. We can all look away when you scare one, so you can basically scare a bug free card. Yeah, that's gonna be tough to explain, though, on the unedited YouTube second channel stream that I put up, though. Well, hi, by the way, everyone on the second channel. I haven't scared away a bug yet. I'm gonna start putting motherfuckers in the timeout corner. That's right, we need a bad cop in here. All my mods are good cops. I need a bad cop here. Anyone volunteering for the bad cop position of my mods? Anyone anyone wanna be like the bad mod? I got too many I got too many like mods that are like, oh and this is I love all my mods by the way. I got too many mods that are like, Oh, honey, that's, oh, that is not self-promotion in this stream. By golly, that's just, that's not allowed. That's, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete that message. And if you do it again, I'm going to unfortunately have to time you out for just a minute. Hopefully that will send the message. Y'all want to be the bad mod? Say, hey, motherfucker, self-promotion, instant ban. Instant ban. Also, here's your exact address. The cops are on the way. I need a mod to do that. I'm just kidding. I'm not actually- not serious. Me? Well, you're not- yeah, I can already tell you're not bad cop material. I'm gonna start wild now slash ban Margo please reason nerd. Yeah, you should do that actually. That'd be kind of cool. I don't need mods, though, so, um, just, you know, this is all for future reference. I need someone who's, like, cutthroat, you know what I mean? I don't think any of you guys got the cojones, which, if you don't know what that means, <laughs> ask your parents. Why? Axnu got- yeah, Axnu, that's true. Axnu is my bad cop mod, but Axnu isn't around enough, so. Oh, shit, I already donated a stupid infernal wasp. God damn it. If I knew what's good for you, then you would pick me. Why do you say that? Do your mods get paid? No, they don't get paid. Oh, I'm not like 10,000 viewer Andy who can afford to pay their mods because, you know, they have to manage a chat that's scrolling faster than they can even read. He pays me by allowing me to see sunlight. Yeah, if you consider, like, getting paid, allowing them, like, one hour of recess time outside the prison yards every, like, you know, morning, then, yeah, I guess they get paid. Now, like, if I was a big streamer, and I made enough money on Twitch to justify paying my mods, like, I would, because, of course, like, when you're that big of a streamer, like, mods do- mods got a hard job, you know? Like, I wish I could, but not really something I can do. Uh, donate five bucks, sell extra stuff, buy a net and an axe. I should really get this whole process down. 
you have to do something specific? Um, not really. I don't need mods. If and the, and the mod Discord discourse needs to end because I don't need mods. So like, it's all a moot point. If you guys are like vying for like a moderating position, then like I don't need one right now. Uh, I want to sell. So like, just don't worry about it. You, 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 and you. Geez, you'd think this bozo would get it by now. Well, I don't have to follow the speedrunning route, but I try to because it's like, you know, obviously like pretty a pretty efficient way of doing it. Of course, I don't have to, but I'm trying to anyway. It's just like I have to do everything like a lot slower because of course I can't like run around all willy-nilly scaring away everything I see. So like, you know, it's sort of rich to try to do this fast when it's like an inherently very slow thing to do. Have I caught a common butterfly yet? I don't think I have. I don't think I have. Do you play Animal Crossing in your free time or only on stream? Nope, only on stream. I don't think I've played this game in my free time without, like, the intent of making, like, a video or something out of it in probably two years. It's probably been two years since I've played this game in my free time. It's not really something I very much enjoy playing if there isn't, like, a purpose or a goal in mind. Not really something I enjoy playing without a purpose or a goal in mind. And if I do have a purpose or a goal in mind and I'm not making a video out of it, well, what are you doing? There's money that needs to be made. The content mills will run dry. People will die. Alright, that's done. Place down, museum. I was supposed to buy a net and an axe when I was in there. I actually forgot to do a lot of things when I was in there. Do I have an axe? No, I don't. What time is it? 15, okay. Time's a ticking, money down the drain. Yeah, any time that I play this game not on camera is kind of money down the drain, isn't it? Alright, cool. Yes. I always wanted to be a mod for someone, but I don't have that much time, unfortunately. It's, like, not... A, I don't know. <laughs> I guess if you want to, like, help someone out, but it's... Yeah, it's I, I do mod for, like, one other person, but it's not, like... It's not... It, it's, it's, like, whatever. I'm glad I can help out, I guess, but it's, it's not, like, a glorious, like, entitlement that I have. White Cosmos, Yellow Lily... Red Mum? Shit. White Cosmos? Do those make... Black, Blue, or Purple? I don't think they do. I don't think they make Black, Blue, or Purple. What the fuck? Do I not have any flowers that make Black, Blue, or Purple? Red Mums? No, I didn't think so. Yeah, Black Cosmos are weird. They take Orange Cosmos, but those are in itself a hybrid. Well, that fucking stinks. Waz up. Waz Merry up. Merry Christmas. Are you torturing yourself again, Dag? Yeah, but I'm doing it for money, so I guess it's okay. Thanks for the 28 months, Romy. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Well, I guess I got a time travel to a time where I have flowers that can make uh, black, blue, or purple flowers. Tell you what. We'll go back a month, and we'll also roll the time back a little bit so the time doesn't roll over. Sort of, like, fucks the whole process up, but it's fine. And then while the loading screens are going, I have to use the bathroom again. Yeah, I know white mums make purple. There's white mums that make purple. There's, um... Also, I shouldn't let the stupid fucking game save. White mums make purple. White lilies make purple lilies. No, purple lilies don't exist. Red lilies make black lilies. Um, I think orange windflowers might make blue windflowers? I don't know. Yeah, let's go back like 40, maybe. Alright, and while that's loading... Actually, I gotta close the game entirely. While that's loading, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'll make it quick this time. Wow, speed ran that. Smell the hands. Soap. Clean. 
I don't understand people who are like, wow, that was a quick bathroom break when I took like two minutes. How slow are your bathroom breaks? Y'all bathroom breaks slow as hell if you think that that was fast. If two minutes isn't enough time to do your business, wash your hands, and return to what you were doing, I think you're just a slow pisser. That's true. I'm also like a guy, you know? We just like whip it out. We don't gotta like sit down and think about life while we do it. I mean, you could. Makes less of a mess. What's for sale? Your bathroom breaks usually take five minutes, dude. Yeah, but that one I said I would be fast. Yellow Cosmos, yellow lilies, yellow mums. Dude, this is fucked. I can't fucking get flowers that make black, blue, or purple. Unless they do? Do any of those make black, blue, or purple? I don't remember every combination of every hybrid. For something reason, for some reason, someone's telling me that yellow mums make purple. But I don't think that that's true. I think I'm trying to fool myself into thinking that it's true. I don't know, though. I think if I go back another month, I'll get different options, though. Yellow, yeah, that's right, yellow hybrid, hybrid yellows make it, not seed yellows. I think that's what I'm thinking. Thanks for the hydrate, even though I just did. That's what I'm saying, you guys don't make me hydrate when I need to hydrate. You make you hydrate when it's, like, inconvenient for me. I, I'm gonna get rid of it. The only redemption I'm gonna have is, um, the first one. The only, the only redemption, the only custom one that I'm going to have is the first one, which is honestly my best one. Oh, it's raining. Beautiful. Oops, all yellow. Should make a 10 million point redemption for hitting the gritty. I should have some, like... What are you doing after stream? Um, crying, probably? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can't cry. Uh, I should have some, like, stretch goal, like, channel point redemption, shouldn't I? Or, like, 10 million. What's, like, if y'all have a lot of channel points in my stream, like, what are you at? I'm kind of curious. I, like, somebody's gonna be like, I got, like, 500,000. I'm probably, like, number one. But then someone's gonna come in and say, like, I got a million. Any millionaires out there? Any Diagonal Stream Channel Point millionaires out there? Some of you gotta be close, right? White Mums. Alright, good. Buy 20 of those. 411k. That's pretty respectable. That's pretty respectable. 136k. 209k. 230k. 123k. 17.5k. I'm at my one stream, the one that I mod for. I'm at 1.4 M. Does Russo have everyone beat? 411. I don't, yeah, I think I don't. 392 by Beko Bean's pretty good. Yeah, I think Russo might be number one. Maybe I should have like a 1 million channel point. Damn, you be putting in the wank? Oh, the work. Oh, I read that as wank. I'm like, excuse you. Goodness. Um, I bought an axe already, right? And I gotta make three axes, yeah. Alright. Yeah, I bought an axe. Alright, cool. Work and wank, same thing? For you, maybe. And for a lot of the people in the just chatting category, <laughs> ayo, high five. I fucking love when you say wank. Yeah, it doesn't sound right, right? It doesn't sound right when an American with my vile tongue says wank. Like, oh, oh, you fucking wanker. No, it doesn't sound right. Very nasally? It's not nasally, it's just like it doesn't sound right. It don't sound right. All right. Now let's go back to September. Just don't sound right. Wank. Yeah, no. 
It, it's it's not good, right? It's it's a little embarrassing. I'm a little embarrassed by it, to be honest with you. You vile wank. Like a duck. Oh, not like a duck. I'm sure you guys say fucking weird things, too. It doesn't sound right when you say it. Are you a smart fella or a fart smeller? I love that. That's so good. Makes it funny, though. What's like a British word that I that like doesn't sound right me saying? Like honestly, it really pisses me off when Americans say mate. I, and I'm like I'm an American. I feel like it shouldn't make me mad. Like people from the UK, does it make you mad when like Americans try to say like mate? Like hey mate. Like I don't like that. It makes me mad. I can only imagine what it does to you. Geezer. I, I love geezer. Because it means something else over there. I think like a geezer in the UK is just like a bloke. Which is another weird word it's not coming from me. It's just like a just a just a just a, a guy. But over here, like a geezer is like an old person. Specifically an old person. I don't know. It makes me mad when, like, an American says mate. Like, what do you think you are? You're trying to be something that you're not. Yeah, geezer's the ultimate bloke. No, it doesn't sound right, though, right? I'm French-Canadian. I say mate all the time. Well, maybe it sounds right off of your fucked-up tongue. Your Quebec tongue. Would you saying bruv makes you mad? Would you saying bruv makes you mad? Well, I, the, the makeup of that sentence sort of like makes me mad. But that's okay. I'll, I'll get over it. Um, Like if an American said bruv? I don't know. I think like bruv is like such an unserious word. Like they're not trying to sound like British. They're just trying to sound stupid. I don't know. That's just me anyway. Quebec Quebecois? Quebecois? Is that how you say it? I don't know. PK Suban. I hear a cricket, but it's fine. You don't you guys don't get scared that easily anyway. I'm gonna get some iron before the day rolls over, I think would be smart. Quebecois. Quebecois. Yeah, but like that's a lot, and I don't wanna say that. I'll call you someone from Quebec. How about that? I actually should have more rocks here since I've done so much time traveling. So I should have more than three than I usually have. Do you think you'll complete this challenge today? Or do you think you'll do... Oh, no. Definitely not today. It'll take another stream. At least. Get, get to your net. Get to your net. Get to your net. I fucking hate how this makes it so that I can't get all the iron from that rock. But I mean, I can't let it get away, so... Gotta get the pill bug. Have I gotten a bell cricket, actually? I might not even have gotten a bell cricket. I might need that. Yeah, okay. What about a regular cricket? Goodbye. Uh, no, I need a regular cricket, too. Okie dokie. Guys, don't bully me. Would you guys judge me if I told you my mobile network was cricket wireless? It's not, but, like, it's not much better than that. Like, would you guys bully me? Would you guys, like, make fun of me? No, it's okay. Is it, though? Like, it's kind of... I I, I I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Would it be, though? I don't know. Bruh? Uh, see, this is what I'm saying. Like, bruh. Like, seriously? Yeah. Alright, good. No bug. I have consumer cellular? That's okay. I think that's fine. Look, I'm not gonna judge someone on their wireless carrier. You use a phone. Ha! <laughs> Idiot. Help. Walking near water gives me anxiety. I need my seasickness magnets. I don't need money. Better than what the... What?
Are you straight talk? Isn't that the Walmart brand one? I don't know. Maybe it's good. It might be all right. All right. All right. I got to plant all the five saplings. I got to plant all the flowers that I got. Hang on. Did I actually do the flowers? You know, fuck it. We'll do the flowers in like a actual manner that I think might be kind of efficient. We'll do like a plus, a plus, a plus, uh, pattern. I use virgin media. Dude, I got so much shit as a kid. I got so much shit as a kid. This is actually kind of a fun story. I didn't have virgin media, but I had a phone from virgin mobile, which it has to be the same thing. I had a virgin mobile flip phone when I was in like, the, this is like the sixth to eighth grade. And boy, howdy, if I wasn't the butt of a lot of jokes. Boy, howdy, if I wasn't the fucking butt of a lot of jokes for that one. It was, uh, not a good time to be me. Then again, I think about it, and I'm like, when is a good time to be me? Like, I genuinely, I try to think about it sometimes, and I'm like, man. It's like, it's not been a good year for me. And then I try to think about it, I'm like, when was the last time I genuinely had, like, a good year? Oh... It's not good that it starts with O. So, o, to start that prompt with O is not exactly a good sign. And I'm trying to, like, think, like, O, like, 8 or something like that. I think it might have been, like, O, 8. It's, like, the last time in my life where I was, like, I'm content with where I'm at in my life. Probably, like, O, 8. Can only go up from here? Yeah, I think I've been saying that since, like, about O, 8 as well. No, maybe 09. I think 09 was a pretty good year. But, you know, ha right. It's only going to get better, right? 2023 has been a shocking year. I don't know. In many ways, I think that I have a... I don't know. You'll want to get real for a second? Y'all want to get real? Y'all want some real talk? Can you handle it? Are you mature enough? I think 2023 has been a terrible year. Um, just like the worst mental state that I've been in, like recently, since probably like my days of college, which was just terrible. Um, but I have a good foundation, I think. I, ha I think I have a really good foundation, like laid for the following years to come, you know? I think I have, like, a lot of good, like, foundation for the years to come. I think I got, like... I got some good shit on the horizon, which I like to joke and say, like, ah ha yeah, right, buddy. But, like, no, I think I got some, like, good shit on the horizon, you know? I'm, like... I mean, I've obviously been doing, like, a dream job for, like, three years, and I've been saving money pretty well for these, like, past few years, ever since I've been able to do this job that I love and has been able to, you know, financially support me to the extent that it has. I have a good, like, financial foundation built around me. I, like, basically, essentially restarted my life when I moved across the country. I sort of, like, restart my life, you know? I don't really know anyone where I live outside of my family, so I'm kind of, like, starting from zero in the social sense. Which sucks really badly, like, right about now. But, you know, that can- you can fix that, and I'm making steps with which to fix that. And, you know, social stability, with, like, a friend group that you enjoy being around. Financial stability, and then, you know, from there... You, you know, it might take a while to manifest those things, but you know, we're working on it. Things are going in the right direction, even if right now is a not great time to be alive um, and have a brain that feels things. It's, you know, it could be a lot worse. I think that, you know, it's not good right now, but it, it, it's, I, I do think it's on the upwards trend. I don't know about 2024. That might be a bad year, too, because, you know, all the things that I mentioned take a long time to, like, you know, work their way into fruition. It could happen in 2024, but, you know, basically, I don't know when good things will happen, but I think good things will happen eventually within the next couple of years for me. I hope they do, because, goodness gracious, I need it.
I need a good year. I need a, I need a year, finally, for like the first time in like fucking 10 years where I can say, you know what? That was a good one. That was a good one. I can only hope that my next year was as good as that one. I don't know. And again, I think everyone enters the new year with a sense of optimism, whether it's justified or not. So maybe I'm just deluding myself. Maybe I'm just a little, I think the kids like to call it Delulu. Did something happen? Ah, just like big life changes, you know? Big life changes that are for the better, but are in the immediate, in like the, in like the immediate context, sort of make my life a little bit worse and stressful, but in the long run will pay off and, you know, work out, sort of, if that makes sense. Is not the Lulu to be positive? I don't think so, but, you know, who knows? I can't predict the future. All right, now we got to get the wood. Do I have enough space for the wood? No, it's all these bugs. Still need a new extrovert that will adopt me and take me places so I actually experience stuff. Dude, I'm telling you, I think we all need a friend like that. Is there any extroverts in chat that, like, uh, want to, like, take me places? Like, I'll pay you. I'm just kidding. That sort of makes you, like... No. Uh, anyone, like, extrovert in chat want to, like, take me places? Be like, yeah, I know it's, like, weird to, like, eat by yourself. So, like, I want to, like, go to, like, the restaurant with you and we can, like, hang out. And, like, make you just feel less weird. Or, like, I'll take you go to the video game store with you. So you just feel, like, a little bit less lonely when you do so. That would be really... I think... I Dude, do you understand how many, like, opportunities that would open up for me? That would be so awesome. Yeah, like, and I sort of made it sound like an escort, didn't I? But that's not what I meant. All right? I don't mean it that way. Come to Ireland, pal. I'm not doing that. You didn't talk to me, but I... No. <laughs> Election year in the U.S. is next year. Yeah, that can be um, terrible. I'm already seeing ads for it, which is always fun. All right. Fuck it. Just who cares if you break the axes? Just go crazy. Go crazy. Make sure that you go into the tent before it hits five. I find comfort in doing things alone. Yeah, you can do that. You can find comfort in it, or you could find great, like, stress in doing things alone. I usually, the latter. I don't know, it's just weird. Like, it's not, like, at all weird to, like, go out and, like, eat at a restaurant by yourself. But, like, so why is it then that I feel so awkward doing so? I don't know, I just do. I don't know, it just gets boring. It just gets boring. If nothing else, it just gets kind of boring. I just wish that sometimes I got a lot of things to say and sometimes when I don't have an outlet with which to say those things I like start like going crazy in my head like this is why I like stream because everything that I'm saying to you in stream is like all things of course that I'm saying in my head if I didn't have the outlet with which to say all these things I'd go nuts I'd go bonkers dude I'd go fucking bonkers my introverted self could never. It's hard, but, you know, unfortunately, being a extrovert that's alone, you sort of have to get over the awkwardness of doing everything alone. It sucks, though. Yeah, and exactly, another good point. People have an established friend group, and there's not often space for a new person anywhere. Or if you, like, want to be in that friend group, you kind of have to, like, stick your nose in there and be like, hey, you looking for a friend? Which is not really something that people just kind of do, you know? Sort of tough. I'm 100% an introvert, which is why I'm so comfy being alone. I mean, I think I'm an introvert, too. It doesn't mean I like being alone. It just means that, like, you know, I can't be social for too long of a time before being like, okay, I gotta take, like, a step back and, like, uh... Recharge, you know? The old social battery sort of thing. That's all. Um, just don't go in the water. You'll be alright. The insanity builds up and becomes normal. Then I go out with my with others, and they're like, "What?" Okay, I mean, I, I'm not like crazy, but yeah, no, I think I understand what you mean. I 
Um, do I have 15 of every kind? I need more softwood. I don't need 15, but you know what I mean. Yeah, that's pretty good. What about bowling? Do you have friends that ask there? Ask to hang out outside of bowling? No, but I've only been going for like a few months, so... It's not something that... It takes time for those things, you know? Those things take time. It's not something that you can just manifest one day. Maybe someone can. Maybe somebody who has the social IQ of like, uh... I don't know, it's like uh, someone who has like the uh, like social IQ of like uh, a Big Brother contestant or something like that can do that, but not me. That's it's just it's harder for people like me, you know. It doesn't just happen. All right, that's good enough. It's not five o'clock. Got five minutes still. Fifteen of every wood. Plant five saplings. Buy an item from Nook Shopping. Take a picture. I wonder how long this challenge will take. Well, if everything goes right, it might only be a few hours. But that is, of course, if this attempt succeeds. Really, catching every bug in the game you can do in like two and a half hours. Just, of course, I have to do it slowly because I can't be like running around and shit. Run the risk of scaring bugs away. Edit command. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. Edit that. Comment. Right, this is the map, stupid ass. What are you doing? What time is it where you live? It's 541. I should set up a command to do that. A lot of people are curious what time it is where I live. But I'm in Eastern Standard Time for future reference. Alright, I think that's 5,000 miles after I... Ooh, that's a cricket. Alright, good. I thought that was a fucking earth-boring dung beetle. Alright, it's fine. That scared the fucking shit out of me. You probably saw my, like, eyes roll into the back of my head. Start freaking turning purple. Steam coming out of my ears. Jesus. Y'all take the weirdest, like, freeze frames of me. I, I said it in a tweet one time, but whenever I see a picture of me on, like, somebody's screen, it always looks like I'm about to, like, jump out of the screen. I'm just a weird, like, gangly-looking guy. I, I'm just so weird, strange-looking guy. Look shopping. Buy, like, the cheapest thing we got. Hola! No, I, I, I do want that. I'm just a strange-looking fella. Alright, hopefully that is 5,000 miles. I hope. Should be. God, you're like six hours behind where I live. Dude, there's places in the world right now where, like, it's dinner time for them. In, like, Japan right now, it's, like, their lunchtime. There's people, like, getting off work in Japan. It's not that weird. You tend to stream in the middle of the night for me? Well, that's why I've been trying to diversify my stream times a lot. I've been trying to do, like... I did a fucking 9 a.m. stream before, like, a few streams ago. And now I started streaming at, like, what, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock today. I'm trying to diversify it so that everyone can get a little piece of the pie, you know what I mean? I can't, like, you know, accommodate everyone, but I can try. I can try. A silly little cryptid. You guys think I'm like an SCP? Is that what they are? Those guys? A little diagonal for everyone. I try. Oh, I try. All right, that's good. Oh, I actually have more. Oh, yeah, because the active island resident as well, because I've time traveled. Like, what is the optimal stream time for, like, okay, if right now is 5.44 p.m. Eastern time for me... What is, like, the optimal stream time for you? Would it be, like, 9 in the morning for me? Or is it, like, right around now? Because, I don't know. I'm not gonna, like, make a schedule, because I already just got out of, like, having a schedule, and I like doing just whenever I like streaming, but I don't know. I guess I would, if I had to, like, pick a time, choose one that, like, most people enjoy, but, you know, you're never gonna be everyone, right? As a fellow EST, it does not matter. Yeah, I suppose. But, like, if you got school or work, I don't know. But there is always VODs. 5 p.m. Eastern? That is pretty late for, like, people in Europe. But, like, I don't know. Some people in Europe just stay up really late. So, I guess that's okay. Yes, 
this. I'd say now, since most people are on it this time. See, like, are they, though? I don't know. Maybe. I gotta... Hang on. I just got, like, one of the... Hang on. I just got... Oh my god, I just got one of those fucking itches. And it just begs. And it just begs to be scratched. Ooh. I just got one of them itches in my ear, and it is like one of those ones where you must grab a Q-tip right this minute and get it. Otherwise, it will go away, and you will never experience the pleasure of just nailing that itch when it comes. I knew that if I didn't get like a Q-tip this moment, you're like, why is he cleaning his ear on stream? I'm not cleaning my ear. I'm itching an itch. I'm doing this with purpose. That was one of those itches where you get it and you grab a Q- you run- you sprint to where you have the Q-tips and you go and get one as soon as you can. Oh, was that the one for opening my phone ten times? Did I not do that? Oh, wow. Okay. Dang, Cleason's ears on- Dude, it's not even got a single- Y'all wanna do like a wax reveal here? There ain't shit on there. I do- I, like, shove a Q-tip in my ear, like, once a day because it itches, and as a result, there ain't never any damn earwax in my ear. First world problems. My ears are always so fucking clean. Squeaky. It, uh, you literally- I hear it in my head. When I put a Q-tip in my ear. Alright, time rolls over to 5am, which it will as soon as I leave, so that's good. Why do I feel like only guys do that? Because my ear never itches. You never have an ear itch? It does. It sounds like the SpongeBob boots. It's not just a guy thing. It's not a guy thing. Shit, you got ears. My ear itchy, a woman? I got you. Here, let me, let me get that for you. There you go. This is lighting. I just looked at my webcam for the first time. Why am I like... This is like dramatic ass light. I gotta get better lighting. I should have asked for Christmas a giant light that I can like hang on my wall. I gotta get this lighting sitch fixed. Stat! Alright. Ooh, that was disgusting. I'm sorry. Yeah, I look like I'm, like, emerging from the shadows. I do. Alright, birthday miles. It's more than enough for the tool ring. Okie dokie, visit Blathers. Visit Blathers, don't scare any bugs on your way. Ah, I've, like, fucked up my entire computer. Alright, we're good. I think the lighting is good, is it? It's very yellow, I feel. I need like a bright white light in here. I got like a nice warm yellow light. It's not good. I feel like... I don't know, like this wall... You, you might like look at this wall and you think like that's a, like a beige wall. That's a white wall, dude. It might have like a little bit of beige to it. That's a white wall. Looks like everything's like off color here. I don't know. A little bit warm light is so good. Yeah, not for a streaming context, though. Not for, like, a... I need lighting for, like, my broadcast. I am. Alright, maybe we'll be able to end stream today with an attempt still going. That would be nice. Compared to the green screen from before, you're not as crisp and clear to see. Yeah, okay, when I had the green screen, my room that I streamed in was, like, this, like tiny box room. Like, literally, I reach out both ways, and I can touch each wall with my hand. It was basically, well, it was very cramped, but it was, like, a perfect room for streaming, because it made it so that the audio was really, like, easy. Like, to put up a bunch of foam, you don't need very much, because it was such a tiny room, so, like, all the audio was nice and crisp. It made it so that, like, I had one big light here, and then, like, a desk light as well, and the lighting was always perfect. 
It was really easy to manage. Now I'm in like a fucking bedroom where it's a little bit harder for both audio and visual purposes. It's not really a good streaming room. I would have to do a lot of work in it, but I don't really care for having like insane production value on my stream. I think that it's okay as it is. I feel like a lot of people go streamers, and this is fine. I feel like a lot of people go for like high production value with like their streams, but failing to realize that production value comes from being a good streamer rather than just having a bunch of flashy lights everywhere. Which is not like, I'm not dissing my fellow streamers. It's hard to put a good product out there, but you know, having a nice layout, having nice lighting and all that stuff is all good, but it don't really mean much if you're not very funny. You know what I mean? But it's, you know, it takes time. It's practice. Not, I'm just saying, you know what I mean, all right? You know what I mean. <clears throat> uh, okay. Blathers, get DIY, tent, buy tool ring, and better tools. Got it. Already on it, boss. It helps with the vibe, but doesn't make up for you if you're a shit streamer. Yeah, see? You know, you put it in a much more brash way than I did. The standard wall color in American homes is weird as fuck. I always see that light beige color. Is that weird? What's weird about it? Is it like... Is, is that strange? I've never heard a complaint like that. American homes are weird because we all have the same like off-white beige. More like belongs in the trash. It's boring? Well, what would you rather have it? Look, dude, if it was my apartment, and it is, but, like, I don't own it, like, yeah, I might choose to paint. I don't know. I don't want, like, a bright, flashy colored wall. I want something that's relatively neutral. Like, it's not. It's, it's boring because I don't have, like, shit hung up on the wall. Like, if I hung a bunch of shit up, it'd probably look a lot better. I'm American, and I had beige walls. And they're boring. I painted my walls pink? Well, I guess, but like, I don't know. I, I don't really think that you should be painting the walls of your apartment. I think you might be allowed to, but to have to like paint them back to what they were after you're gone would be like annoying. It'd be kind of annoying. Buy better tools and tool ring. Green wall so you don't need a green screen. And that'd be kind of clever, but like, I don't only use this room for streaming. Like, I wouldn't want to have a bright green, lime green wall to stare at when I'm not streaming. I can see that wall, like, from where I, like, sleep at night. I don't really want to have, like, a green wall staring me in the eye as I'm trying to sleep. Yeah, like, I'd paint them, but it's kind of like, what's the point, you know? When I move out of here in a few years, probably anyway, it's just going to be gone. I'm going to have to paint it back to what it was. It's going to be annoying. Or they're going to charge me a shit ton out of my security deposit to paint them themselves. I don't know. Really, if you want to unboring this wall, just hang up a bunch of stuff, you know? That'll make it not boring, and if anything, it'll have like a nice neutral color to balance out all the flashy stuff that you hung up on the wall. That's the way I see it, anyway. Do you even use a green screen? No, I used to, but honestly, while the production value of a green screen makes it look all professional and stuff, I don't really like it. I like- I, I think people have talked about it before on my stream. Having, like, a natural background sort of is, like, is it, like, homier? Is it, like, make it, like, feel more, like, authentic and genuine and, like, not, like, a... I don't know. Not, like... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It feels more authentic, maybe. Yeah, not like a, not like a production. Like, you're actually just, like, chilling out with a friend, you know? <laughs> Streamer's my friend. <laughs> What's up, Moon Chico? How are you doing? Agree to the shop proposal. Parasocial! Yeah! Same vibe as being on a Discord call with friends. It feels more human. Yeah, I think that those are the points that people brought up when I was debating whether or not I want to get rid of it or not. But it does allow, like, you to do some creative stuff. Like, for a video, if I wanted to, like, stand in front of a green screen and, like, pop up on it and be like, I don't know, do some, like, funny shit with it. You could do that. I, re I regret getting rid of my green screen. 
I don't regret not using it for streams, but I regret maybe not having like a little air green screen area set up, maybe. Maybe I'll do that at some point. Or have one of those ones where you can like pull it down like a projector and like, or, you know, put it up if you don't want to use it. I, I've seen those before where you can like pull it down if you want to. I could do something like that. Yeah, a green screen projector or something would be kind of nice. Buy a net, a watering can, and a shovel. So net. Uh. Watering can. Shovel. Okay. Diagonal green screen stream when? No, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't, personally. In green screen bodysuit, but only your head sticks out, so the only thing we see is your head. Would that, like, would that be funny, or would that be, like, boring after, like, five minutes of doing it? I don't know. Maybe I could do it, like, and, like, draw some, like, bones and shit on it. Make it look like I'm a skeleton. Do, like, a skeleton PNG tuber, except it's a real person. Net, watering can, shovel. Or shovel watering can, in this case. What's up, stupid idiot? I'm sorry, that sounds really bad, but, like, that's what someone's... For those of you who are, like... Not looking at chat right now. I did not just call someone a stupid idiot. That's like literally their username. Like a lot of you are probably like tabbed out and you're like, wow, that was really mean. But like, no, that's that's like their name. I'm sorry. I that probably sounded really mean. No, that's, that's your name though. Bye. Okay. Make vaulting pole, better can, iron axes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Vaulting pole. It was a diagonal fan. That's also a real name. That's not just me being like, oh, yo, what's up, man? I accept your apology. Oh, that's good. Better axes. I thought a chatter said it and you were reading it out loud. Oh, like someone's calling me stupid idiot. Well, that's happened before, but, you know. I guess it's justified. He doesn't trust us to be Switch friends. I don't think he would give us green screen footage. It's more just like, if you're gonna do a green screen stream, you should probably have like an audience that you know will do some like wacky shit with it. Like, dude, I know like Jerma's audience. I know Jerma's audience is gonna do some wild shit with like a green screen stream. I don't know, I don't have like 10,000 people watching me that are gonna make like hours worth of edits with a green screen stream where I can like watch them all together with you guys. Like that would be a fun concept, but let's wait until I'm a 10K viewer Andy before we do that. All right, I gotta make a crafting table, too. Uh, eh, eh, there we go. Oh, there's green screen eye contacts. Yeah, there is. I think, actually, my eyes, if I didn't have the green screen set up, like, a uh, chroma key set up correctly, it would actually, like, green screen my eyes. Because I don't know if you guys can tell, but, like, Do I have green eyes? Or are they like... That sounds gross. Oh god, are they gross? Are they like nasty? They got like eye boogers? Not blue? I don't think so. I think they're green. Dude, back up! I hope you didn't see like a bunch of fucking eye boogers and shit. That would be so embarrassing. Oh my god. That would be so fucking embarrassing if you just saw, like, a shit ton of eye boogers. Do I have, like, bags? Oh my god. Do I have, like, crow feet? And bags? Oh my god. Dude, the only thing I have going on for me in my life is the fact that, like, I have, like, a... Like... I have, like, no wrinkles and shit, and, like, no gray hair, and, like, I still look so much younger than my age. Oh my god, if I start getting, like, crow's feet and shit, it's over for me. Dude, it's, like, fucking over for me. Is it crusty, dusty? Oh, I'm fine, okay. The only thing I got going on for me in my life right now is people think I'm like 23, 24. If I lose that, like, special power, I'm done. Like, I, it's literally, it's over for me. Crow's feet and beautiful. This guy smiled so much, you can see it. Awesome. Oh, well, I'm definitely not getting crow's feet then. I thought crow's feet is like when you squint your eyes like a bunch. Because I'm a big squinter. I squint my eyes, like, a lot. So, if that is, like, what causes crow feet, then I'm totally going to get crow feet. 
Dude, we're getting old, it's gonna eventually happen. Yeah, but like, you know, before I've secured my soulmate, you know? After I've secured my soulmate, then I can look as old as I want. And thanks, Pink Hater, for the six months. Appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. Thank you. Alright. Let's shake all the trees, make sure there's no bees in them before I chop them down. I think this is where I, um. This is where I scared away the dung beetle last time, so hopefully we're gonna get a little further this time. A little bit. Anyway. I have crow's feet and I don't mind them. Oh, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't judge anyone if they had crow's feet, wrinkles, gray hair, or anything like that. Because I understand, and I'm not a judgmental person in that regard. Uh, so, I'm just saying, you know. But, like, I think we're always very self-conscious. Not all of us, I suppose. I won't speak for everyone, but, you know, I think we're all a little... We all notice when our first gray hair rolls around. We all notice when... You know, the, fur the wrinkles start to develop, and, uh, you know... The, in the case of some of us, the, the hair starts falling out. We all notice. And I think that's fine. I've been getting gray hair since I was 10. Gray hair, honestly, would not bother me. You know what? Gray hair... Not a good example, because I don't think gray hair would bother me at all. If I had, like, a silver fox-looking thing going on, I think that that would be kind of cool. I think people would even respect me more. They'd be like, oh, he's, like, young and hip, but he's, like, old and wise and, you know? Like, he's matured. I think people would like it, actually. Kind of like racing stripes, really, yeah. Like, yeah, I've spun the block. That's right. Which I think means you did a drive-by shooting. Um, so I haven't spun the block, but, you know, I've been around the block. That's what I meant. I hear a cricket, but I don't see it. But luckily, you can't scare crickets away, so it's okay. You'd suit gray hair. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. I need not fruit trees. Give me that. Would you grow a beard like a viking? Dude, if I could, I would. If I had the ability to grow like a full giant and not, like, scraggly, messed-up teenager beard, I would. But it's for the reason that I cannot, that I do not. Because otherwise, I you'd, you'd see my ass fully bearded. I'd have a giant mustache, and I'd curl it like Waluigi, if only I could do such a thing. It's not, sadly, something that's within my genetic wheelhouse. I wish. It's fucked up, because every dude in my family can grow a fucking beard. I'm the only one who can't. I'm fucked up. Then again, they're all balding, and I'm not. So I guess that's the trade-off. So. I guess that's the trade-off. Shave every day, even if there's no hair, it'll encourage growth. I don't want to. I don't want to have to, like, work for it. I want to be one of those guys who just wakes up and has, like, a full beard, you know? I don't want to have to work for my look. Do you guys think that I, like, doll myself up? Before a stream, do you? Do you think that I, like, do my hair? Maybe, like, moisturize my face a little bit? Trim my eyebrows? Shave? Do you guys think I do that? I don't. I was born this way, baby. I crawled out of bed looking like this. And trust me when I say, I'm gonna, like, that might make some people mad. The people who have to, like, comb their hair, put up a bunch of makeup, shave, shower, and do all that before you go to your, like, daily job. No, you're probably, like, really mad because you're like, oh, well, it must be fucking nice. Trust me when I say that you are all beautiful in your own sense. And you'd be surprised at how little you have to do to make yourself look presentable. You think that you have to do the makeup and the shaving and all that, but, you know, you, 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 you probably don't. You probably look just fine when you crawl out of bed, too. But, you know, it's another thing is that you guys can't smell me. You can't smell me. So, if I don't, like, put on deodorant before stream, it's not affecting anyone except for me. So, I guess that is one luxury. It's like the physical, oh, you can't see or smell that I just crawled out of bed. That's another luxury I have, I suppose. Icky. I know. I do. 
But, you know, just saying, like, I could get away with not. Alright, now we can chop down everything. But our grove of trees. What grove of trees dare we not cut down? Let's get this guy out of here before he fucks me up. I got zits. I need makeup, bro. No, I understand. But, like, I, I, like, I don't envy people who, you know, have to put on a bunch of makeup before they get... Basically, anyone who has, like, a big daily like morning routine that you have to go through i i really i i i'm so sorry i i i've been there where like i've worked jobs where like i gotta like shower in the morning i gotta like you know make myself look presentable i have been there I, it's one of the best parts of this job is that i don't have to do that i i but i've been there you know i ain't acting like i've never worked a real job in my life i have or quote unquote real job you know I slap on eyeliner because I look gross without it. Like, everyone who thinks that way, you probably don't. You probably look just fine. But, like, I don't know. Maybe you've just seen yourself that way long enough to where, like, that's you. You are you with eyeliner and you're not you without it. Like, I don't know, man. You'd be surprised. Also, a lot of people who, like, are not wearing makeup or probably have, like, blush or foundation or something like that. So, if you see someone who looks good without makeup, they probably do have a little makeup. That's what I've learned anyway. But you don't even need that. I think vaulting pool, place crafting table, chop trees. Alright, so I should have all the trees on my main area here without bees. So let's leave let's let's decide an area where we can leave like a grove of trees. I take exception. I look great all the time. And you know what's the best part about you is you're very humble. That's the best part about you. Alright, let's leave, like, a grove of ten trees. We got one, two, three, four, five here. Six. Seven. That's seven. Eight with the cherry tree. Nine, ten. Okay, how about starting with this? Alright. And I don't remember. You don't have to dig up the stumps. I mean, we're going to need stump bugs anyway, so no point. Or if it's a filter? Oh my god, dude, yes. I've seen, like, people with, like, so many... I... Okay, you want to know, like, a personal thing? Um, you ever been on, like, Tinder or something like that? Or, like, some dating app? And somebody's, like, pictures on Tinder or whatever are, like, them with, like, a shit ton of filters? I just want to, like, reach through the phone screen and be, like... Grab them by the shoulder. Just shake them. Shake some sense into them. Like, dude, if I'm going to meet you, like, in real life, I'm going to see your ass without filters. Why are you putting on this front of what you look like by putting a bunch of filters on your pictures? And it's like, dude, if you care enough about me and I care enough about you, I'm going to see you without all these filters. Why do you do it? I don't understand it. I, I, I get, like, wanting to feel good about yourself, but when you're going to, like... When the whole point of it is, like, meet other people... Like, why are, you, why are you lying How about how you look like, you know? I, I don't get it. I just want to shake them, you know? Just be like, you motherfucker, put the fucking dog nose on yourself one more time, I'm going to scream. I hate the dog nose filter. I hate the dog nose and ears filter. It, it actually, like, makes my blood boil. I'm sorry. It's, it's petty, and it's stupid, and it's, it's not right, but it's how I feel. The dog nose, man. Pisses me off. They don't have dog noses IRL? You don't got little ears? Oh man. I thought I knew you. Right, that was part of the five that I wanted to keep, right? It was five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it was those ten that I wanted to keep. Okay. Dating profiles have them like 200 feet from the camera with big sunglasses and a hat on. Oh, dude, it's not a fucking like women only issue. No, I understand. I'm not saying I'm perfect either. But no, like, if you make yourself out to look like how you look like, you know, there's no, like, oh, you don't look anything like how you did in your pictures later on. It just saves a whole lot of confusion. Happy holidays all the Mary way cries from... Ladagnol and chat to anyone who celebrates. Belgium. What's up, sweet Lily May? And thanks, Screened Adam, for the 22 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. 
No, I know dudes on dating apps probably got like them and all their blokes at the pub and like you don't know which one's them because it's like a group of four of them and you're like oh which one's you and then you swipe to the next picture and you're like oh okay this is a picture of you like standing at the top of a mountain uh you take up about 10 total pixels of the image and i can't decipher at all what you look like okay let's swipe for the next image oh you're out of images those are literally the only two pictures of you no i understand i i've i've spun the block Again, I gotta stop saying that, because that's not what that means. No, I've been around the block. Man. I do have a picture of me with my fraternity. I think, if anything, if you have that, and then maybe if like you like circled yourself, and like pointed like a big red arrow at you, that would A, obviously make it so clear so that who is you, but B, it would also be like kind of funny. It would show me that you have, like, a sense of humor to be like, hey, this is me. I'd be like, ah, oh, you know, kind of funny, right? But, I don't know. I don't know Tinder meta. There, and there is Tinder meta, in case you're wondering. It's kind of sad, but it, there is, like, a whole, like, meta game to it. It's kind of sad. People actually fucking use that shit? What, Tinder? Dude! If you can monetize loneliness, they will do it. Do you guys see how Tinder introduced, like, a $500 a month fucking subscription tier? Do you guys see that? Dude, if they can monetize loneliness, they'll absolutely do it. Oh my gosh, do people actually use that shit? Are there people lonely in the world? Oh my gosh, yes. There's a bear shit in the woods, man. I just realized palm tree beetles are going to be annoying for this challenge. The two most annoying things that I've run into so far, earthborn dung beetles, because they're tangy, and you can scare them away very easily, and a hermit crab fucked me w once, and an earthborn dung beetle fucked me once. Palm tree beetles, yeah, because of the fact that you can't just scare things away to make them despawn and hopefully have other things respawn, yeah, but I haven't even gotten to that stage yet, so... I kind of have to just deal with that when we get to it. Also, wasps are annoying. They haven't screwed me over, but every tree that I cut down with this axe, I have to check for bees before I do. With a net. So that's really annoying. There's just a lot of annoyance to this. There's just a lot of annoyance to this. It's just an annoying challenge, but I guess that's all my challenges, really. Probably gonna scare away a tree stump bug and he's not gonna realize it. No, I, I, first of all, if I don't realize that I scared away something, I would absolutely expect the Twitch chat, who, if I fucking pick my nose the wrong way, will tell me about it, will absolutely let me know that I scared away a bug. Alright? Nothing gets past you motherfuckers, alright? So if I scared something away and I didn't notice it, I know you guys will. I know you guys got me. There's a lot of annoyance to all your challenges. Yeah, what's the line between annoyance and curiosity of whether or not you can do something? I don't know if there is one. It's a- it's an ambiguous line. I don't think I've hit my rocks yet today, have I? Nothing gets past these watchful eyes, these old peepers. We're just nice like that to remind you. Yeah, you're right. Oh, how's he doing this with one hand? Huh, he must be really talented. Huh? I should probably give him all my money. How long are you planning on streaming today? Not much longer. I've already gone past three hours, which is usually around when I end. But... Um, I'd like to get to a point in the challenge where I can, like, stop and be like, Okay, I can pick this up again tomorrow and, like, not forget what I was just doing. So, I guess that. I got sick for both Christmas and Christmas Eve, so instead of getting my family sick, I'm watching your stream. Oh, I appreciate the sacrifice that you make to watch my stream. That's... I, I really appreciate that. Thank you. And hey, thanks for not getting your family sick, either. I'm sorry that this must be the punishment that you have for getting sick, but uh, you're really sac you're taking one for the team, and I think we all appreciate that. Yeah, Papa's here to keep you company. Oh, speaking of, uh, Twitch chat, backseat driving? No. Speaking of driving, I was- I have a fun stream idea. Um, but I won't say what it is, but I guess I already kind of gave away that it has something to do with driving. 
I was thinking about pulling out the old, uh, the old, uh, steering wheel. And maybe doing a, a fun... I know what it is. Yes, dude. You don't know what it is. What is it, then? You don't know nothing. You don't know what the fuck it is. American Truck Sim? No. Not American Truck Sim. I had a fun stream idea, though. Involving the wheel and pedals. Might bust those out again. Forklift Sim? No, I already did that. Euro truck? No, is not any truck simulator. Is it Mario Kart Wii with the plastic wheel? No, that thing was shit. I'd rather use the Wii Pro controller. All right, we're good. We got our we got it all cleared out except for our Grove, right? Grove Street, home. At least it was before I fucked everything up. Oh shit, I didn't even notice that earth boring dung beetle. That's what I'm saying. These things are the most fucking annoying thing. That was peak tech at the time. Yeah! It totally wasn't like a pretty janky novelty that... Uh, you know, I was gonna say it. The Wii was a novelty. And the only reason it was as popular as it was is because motion controls were in a very infantile state. And everyone was just kind of curious how it worked. In reality, not many games were made better by the fact that motion control existed. Okay? I think it was just, like, a novelty that everyone wanted to try. Especially, like, Wii Sports and shit. Like, that was fun. But then so many games tried so hard to, like, implement the motion control in their game, and it just made it worse. I'm just saying it. The Wii Wheel was so inadequate. You're right. What's up, Ebony Dollies? And Mecha Doge, how are you doing? Hey, Dad, just stopping in real quick to say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, son. I, I hope it's a good one. Um, yeah, I think I don't, I don't think I've hit my rocks yet. I also didn't upgrade my shovel because I don't have any iron. That's why. Well, I can fix that. Wii Party was my favorite. Which one was that? That wasn't Wii Play. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Blitzobite. Hope you're doing well. It was literally a piece of plastic. It didn't do anything. No, the Wii wheel was stupid. You just shove the Wii remote. Wii remote's doing all the work. The wheel just makes it feel like you're actually driving a car. It doesn't. It doesn't, like, in the slightest. But, you know. I mean, look, dude. I fucked with the Wii wheel back in the day. But I can see through its plastic lies now. You know? I know it's just like a, it's just a, a means with which to shove the Wii remote in there and, you know, make it feel more authentic like you're actually driving a car. I gotta get that, I gotta get that, I gotta get that, I get that before it goes away, I gotta get that before it goes away. Alright, good. It was great for, that's true, it was great for fucking doing this and then when you want to do a trick off of like a jump in Mario Kart Wii going like, ow! Yeah, it was great for doing that. It wasn't great for much else. Trying to catch some tandems on a Seto Corsa on the wheel, homie, on some FD shit. Godspeed. I gotta... I don't have a Seto Corsa. That wasn't the, uh, stream idea I had either. Stream idea I had... Well, no, I won't say. Because I'm, I'm not at the liberty with which to do so. I have an NDA. Dude, I will never tell you guys if I have a non-disclosure agreement with anyone because you guys will just fucking egg it out of me. Oh my god, you guys will just egg me until I tell you. Like, if I ever, like, work on, like, GTA 6, which, you know, I don't have worked on GTA 6 because I wouldn't be able to talk about it, all right? So, you know I haven't worked with GTA 6. But if I did and, like, I said, oh, guys, I got, like, a big thing going on, but, like, I can't tell you guys about it because I have an NDA. Oh my god, you guys would never leave me alone about it. I would never tell you guys. I would never tell you guys. Violin Beetle. Four dollars for a Seto Corsa? Wait, really? Oh, that was way more than that. Don't come near me, rat. Get yourself locked away in the nut house if you really wanted to spill. That's... Dude! That kid who leaked footage of GTA 6 got life or... An indefinite, like, oh my god, fuck you, dude, I need the fucking iron so bad. But I can't let the bug get away. 
It's just stupid. That's another really annoying bug. That guy got a... Like, life in a... Not jail, but like... It wasn't good. Hey, little rat dude. Thanks for the raid. I'm sorry, I think I'm about to wrap it up here in a second, but I appreciate the raid, and I hope your stream was good. Thank you. Yeah, but I think I am about to wrap it up here because I find myself in a good place. To where I think I could probably afford to leave off here and be able to pick it up seamlessly tomorrow or whenever I decide to stream next. So I'm sorry, but I probably will get it wrapped up here. Let me sell all this shit and then I will, yeah, come back tomorrow. So thanks, I guess, everyone for being here today. If you enjoyed the stream, what the fuck is that emote? What the fuck is that emote? The Abe 7, Mommy Please. What the fuck is that? All right. Well, I, I think I'm going to sell my stuff now. The fuck? It, that is the weirdest shit I've ever seen. Happy Chrysler. Happy Subaru Share the Love event. Happy Ford Truck Month. Happy Honda Days. Hope everyone's holiday season went well. I hope you had a... Oh, eh, I don't need to redeem Nook Miles. I hope everyone had a good Christmas today. I hope everyone had a good stream. I hope you enjoyed stream today. If you did, you should drop a follow. Thanks, everyone, by the way, for... Um, for 20, 92 followers. What did we need at the start? Of, I think we needed 30, and we ended up getting, like, 50. I think, uh, I think we exceeded our follower goal. Let's see here. Yeah, we exceeded our follower goal of 42069. 42092. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. Next up, um... I guess 69420 would be the next one, right? Another 17,000 followers to go. Yippee! Hey, what's up, Toasty Joe? Merry Christmas. I hope everyone had a good Christmas. Hope everyone had a good time on stream today. If you did, drop a follow, join the Discord. Exclamation point Discord. Exclamation point Discord. Exclamation point Discord. It's the best way to keep up with me on and off the stream. Exclamation point Discord. Best way to get notified when I go live. Exclamation point Discord. Um... Have a good rest of your day. We'll also pause the timer at 147.12. If you can see, there we go, 147.12. And we'll come back tomorrow. That's better. Very niche joke. Well, that's what's good, is that if you tell a niche joke, not many people will get it, but the people who do get it really like it, you know? That's the thing about niche jokes. Is when you have your niche... It, it's it's it uh, it just it hits extra hard it hits extra hard also that was big news that is hardly a niche joke that was pretty big news wasn't it thanks elizabeth for the 27 months enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing like, i'm not saying canada is a is a worldwide superpower but like you know that prime minister of a pretty decently sized country uh i got a p b r b oh okay um thanks for letting us know Anyway, where'd we leave off at? We got our house. We, um... We put blathers down. We have we have agreed to the shop proposal. I know that because, uh, Biff, my jock, gave me iron when I started my game. So I have five more iron, mysteriously. Uh, I put blathers down, did I? Oh, shit. Yeah, it looks like it. I don't have the plot. Um, I have five more iron mysteriously from where I last left, but that's why. Um, made vaulting pole, better can, iron axes, and crafting table. Yeah, yeah, and I put them all down outside. Chomp trees, pick up all the wood, and hit rocks. Until I have... Ha okay, how much of the store have I donated? I think I might have donated all the woods. I think I might just need iron, right? Yeah, okay, we only need iron. Oh, by the way, I gotta get the timer up. Silly old me. Ha, I'm such a silly bitch. Hi, Dag. I am moving houses today. What? Well, hang on. Why is it when I type in live split on my computer, it best matches Epic Games Launcher? What the fuck, man? Live split. What the fuck? Live split. Where's my live split? I don't want fucking Epic Game Launcher. What's up, Nikki Poo, by the way? You're moving houses? It must have a big truck. 
Thanks so much for the, uh, year. Appreciate it. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Who the fuck, man? Come on. Where's live split at? I'm gonna start fucking panicking. I'm gonna have a panic attack on stream. Uh, I'm gonna do it. This is seriously stupid. Are you the first to play this game? Well, it's funny you should say that. I might have been one of the first on Twitch because I did play this bitch as soon as it dropped. Yeah. I seriously don't know what's going on. Yeah, I just need iron. Well, um... I hate to say it, but y'all fuck with no timer today because, um... I don't know where the fuck it's at. I'm actually, like, going through my files to see, like, where I have it installed, and... And I, I ain't seeing nothing. Wait, live split? Basic timer? Oh, there we go. Okay, hang on. There might still be hope yet. Yeah, it's just like, it's a little fucked up, but it works. And then we can go... Oh, fucking basic timer two. <laughs> sure, there we go. And then we left off at... 147.12. 147.12. Alright, there we go. Alright. Saved. Timer returned from getting milk. <laughs> uh, I don't get it. Uh, Alright, let's go. We need iron. Uh, just I, The reason why I hung out in here during the intro sequence is because I'm like, oh, you can't scare away bugs when you're inside. It's like my one reprieve is like being inside where I'm not like stressed out about scaring something away. What's up, Margo? Good morning. Uh, did I miss anything while I was gone? Nope. Thanks, Nikki Poo, for the year. I appreciate it. This is why you create folders on your PC so you don't lose your stuff. Yeah, how do you think I found it? Through a folder on my PC. I, I, I usually open it via just typing in on my Windows search. Oh, I actually cut down most of the trees. Okay, I see. And this is my grove that I left over here. Okay, so that's my grove that I left over here. I left 10, right? Also, be careful. The flowers are grown. They can have bugs on them now. I should have left 10 trees, right? I'm just trying to, like, mentally get back to where I was. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, yes, I left 10 trees. Hey, Grim Ki Grimmelkin! Grimmelkin! Grimmel... Grimmelkin! Thanks for the five gift subs. Holy shit, thank you. Or Grim Malkin. Like, Evgeny. Thanks for the five gift subs to Sakura, Ghosty, Joker's Rose... Uh, Y-Z-Y-S-Z-N, sounding like a damn Canadian airport. Sherlinsky and Girl Boy Supreme. Thanks so much for the five gift subs. And if you got a gift sub, say thank you. And enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. Alright, well, if we need iron, then, uh, as long as there's no bugs anywhere here, we can whack this rock around. I also didn't upgrade my shovel. And Amber Spooky. Hope you had a lovely holiday. Santa gave me tonsillitis. That's a shit gift. Thanks so much for the 23 months. I don't know why you'd ask for that, but enjoy- I mean, it only gets you things that you ask for, dude. I- I feel like as though the answer will come from within, as far as your problem here. It's a big shit thing to ask for. Either that, or you- uh, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. But, it sounds like you might have not made the nice list this year. Oh! Oh! Did he just accuse someone of being on the naughty list? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Ooh, Tiger Beetle, I need that. And they're also very easy to scare away, so, um... Frida- If Frida scares it away, it's not me scaring it away, so, like, I don't give a shit. I mean, I would give a shit, because I need it, but, like, if she get If she scared it away, I think that the Supreme Court of Animal Crossing will find me to be innocent in that matter. I think that the overruling governing judicial body of Animal Crossing will find me to be quite innocent in that regard. Alright, good. Wild vibes this morning? This is the most milk toast stream I've ever done. Like, so far. This is the most milk toast stream I've ever done. I got no nets! Rats. I actually didn't upgrade my nets either. I guess I have been, like, kind of scavenging for iron, but, like, come on, man. Treat yourself some good nets. 
I got Legos for Christmas. I'm very happy. Shit, wait, have I streamed since Christmas? Did I tell you guys what I got for Christmas? I, I think I did. I think I streamed on Christmas, didn't I? Yeah, and then my celebration was December 24th, so I already told you guys about everything that I got, which wasn't much, but that's okay, because that's the norm when you're 27. You don't really get much for Christmas. What's up, Diagonal? Wait, hi. Uh, yeah, actually, you want to give me an upgraded shovel? I think it's the other guy, Bozo, gave me iron, so you're going to give me a shovel, right? Having sassy diagonal is an honor? I'm not a sassy. I'm normal. I'm not a sassy. Where'd my shovel? She gave me a shovel. Did she? Or, no, she gave me a stone axe. I thought she gave you a shovel. I don't want a fucking stone axe. Stupid. I need the big boy axes, the iron ones. Alright, where's my all my other rocks at? Um, okay, the coast is clear, chef. Normal diagonal is an honor. Yeah, that's right. You guys should really just be honored for the the accompaniment of me for a few hours today. She gives a shovel if you didn't learn better tools. Wait, son of a bitch, really? God damn it, man. I need this, and now I can't get iron. Diagonal is complaining about a free gift. What am I complaining about? I, I don't even remember what I'm complaining about. I do it so goddamn much, I forgot what I'm complaining about. Oh, about the stone axe. Yeah, I'm complaining about a free gift. I don't need it. I wouldn't do that in real life, to be like very, 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 very clear. I would never complain about a free gift in real life. Unless it was like a turd, then that's not really a gift. If somebody gifted me a turd, I'd be like, yeah, this is a shit gift. Because this is just like a total sign of disrespect. But if somebody gave me a gift with an attempt at trying to, like, fuck off, man. If somebody gave me a gift with the intention of me liking it and not just, like, a dastardly troll such as to gift me a turd, I would I, appreciate it. I wouldn't pretend that I, like, don't need it and it's useless and I hate them. I wouldn't. Centipede any percent run. It's fucking feeling like it. Alright, I swear to god if there's a centipede in here too, I might just shit my pants on the spot. I can't do that. I actually took a shit before stream. Well, that's not much better because I don't need money. My cat gives me a turd every time I clean her litter box. Dude, that's that shit that cats do. I've never not had a cat where you clean their litter box and they don't immediately use it right as soon as you're done. I've never had a cat that didn't do that. Sons of bitches. They know what the fuck they're doing as well. They know what the fuck they're doing. Motherfucker just manifested a turd in your asshole. As soon as you saw me cleaning this litter box, I don't fucking buy it. I don't fucking buy it. It's fucking horse shit. That's that shit a cat be doing. And I don't care who your cat is. You'll all say like, oh yeah, my cat does that too. Because it's just something that they all do. Right? So sad school is starting again. Is it? Dude, school, my Christmas break would start, like, the 23rd, and I wouldn't go back until, like, the 2nd. Like, minimum. No way it goes back so soon, right? No way. I gotta be careful. I don't like being up here. Being close to water scares me, because God knows there's, like, all this fucking grass, man. I can't tell if there's a bug that's gonna jump into the fucking water. But I need to find my rocks. I guess I can go to a Nook Miles Island, but I don't think I can afford a Nook Miles ticket yet. Gulp. I gotta, like, artificially manifest this shit. I don't have any doubt in the world I've already caught one of these, but I don't want to scare it away. What's up, Tandems? How you doing? Oh, that's my break right now. Got off the 18th. Go back the second, because I'm taking winter classes. Yeah, I think that that's... Well, 18 is actually really early. Uh, for, like, work and school. I've never gotten off that early, but... I mean, yeah, that's kind of fair otherwise, right? That's my break? Shit! Also, I actually, my last job, I didn't get off, um... I got off Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, but I was back the 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. I think you got off New Year's Day? But, like, I didn't get nearly that amount of shit off. I had to take my vacation for, like, the 26th to the 29th or something if I wanted to, like, not go to work those days. It kind of stunk, but, I don't know, at least you got Christmas and Christmas Eve off. 
Come on. There we go. Rock with iron and not having a fucking centipede in it. And it's not going to be enough, but that's okay. That's okay. There's a centipede in this one? No, there's not. Why would you Why would you wish such a thing? Why would you do that? It, it actually like hurts me a little in the inside. I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. Ah, I heard something. It's a fucking walking leaf. Calm down. Just catch it. Got it. Yo, Jesus. Dad, what's up? I hope you're having a great birthday. Thumbs up. It took 23 minutes of streaming for somebody to remember. It took 23 minutes of me streaming for somebody to remember that it's my birthday today. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I actually really appreciate that. Thank you. Man, Dag, shut the fuck up. Dude, calm down. Dude, imagine having to wait 23 minutes around, like, your group of buddies who all know you really well for them to say happy birthday. It's humiliating. It's like they don't even care. And you're gonna tell me to shut the fuck up? Oh my god, that's terrible. Wow, that's awful. Now seriously, thanks for the uh, nine months Diamond Star, and thanks for the happy birthday. Can't believe it took 23 minutes of streaming for somebody to finally remember, but hey, I appreciate it. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing, buddy. Stop moving from flower to flower, if you don't mind. Hey, I just got here. I came from YouTube. How would I know? Well, mark the date then. December 28th. That's my birthday. I accepting of all these birthday wishes for myself since my friends forgot mine on Tuesday. Thank you. Yeah, you can have them. I'm really nice that way because I give all my birthday wishes to you. Even though it's my birthday. I'm just, I'm just nice like that. They always, they all, they always, they call me Mr. Nice. They do that, like, a lot. Happy 10th birthday. Dude, I couldn't stream on this website if I was 10, alright? They wouldn't let me. They wouldn't let me stream on this fucking website. This, this website is very strict in regards to what it allows as far as content guidelines, alright? For live streamers. We have, we're held to a very high standard. If you think that I can log on to this platform as a 10-year-old and start streaming Animal Crossing or anything for that matter, you're sorely mistaken, alright? Especially now if my shirt was like fucking this. Alright? I, I just gave myself a fucking bacon neck for that fucking joke, alright? Anyone else get clowned on for bacon neck when they were younger? I'm sorry, like, my clothes had, like, wrinkles and shit. Like, jeez, man. We can't all be buying, like, fucking Michael Jordan clothes, alright? Well, I would hope a 10-year-old couldn't stream on Twitch. Well, good, they can. Like, like, allow- in the guidelines, they are, like, not allowed. Uh, you better damn well believe that there are definitely some 10-year-olds who have and will continue to stream on this platform, though. Okie dokie, are all my tools upgraded? Chauvel, watering can, axe, axe, axe. I don't want that, I'm gonna sell it. Um, right, now I just need more iron. Oh, dude, you know what I found out, but you can't see? You, you Like, I'm sorry, it's a double-edged sword. You know what I found out I can do the other day, but you are not allowed to look at me while I do it? I found out I can do a Joe Swanson saying, Hey, Peter. Check this out. Hey, Peter. No, that wasn't very good. I think I could do a lot better than that. I have to contort my face so much to do it, where you are not allowed to look at me while I do it. Hey, Pete. No. Man, I lost it. What the hell happened? Hey. Hey, Peter. No. Hey. Hey, Peter. No, I, I can't do it. I'll have to, like, try it again when I can do it. I'll have to try it again when I can do it. You can see, like... You can, you can hear it in there somewhere, but it's definitely not there. Like, that's not me. That's not my best. You didn't get my best there. You, 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 you didn't get my best there, but you can see, like, you, you can, like, see, you, you're, you're kind of, like, you're, you're kind of, like, okay, I see it, you just need to work on it a little bit. Try Lois. Peter! 
I don't know, man. What's she sound like these days? I don't think I've watched the Family Guy episode um, in 10 years. That's sort of a comfort show for me. Like, I know it's bad, but, like, I got a lot of, like, bad shows that are, like, comfort shows for me. Like, I don't, I don't know. I just find, like, mostly, like, um... Mostly. That was a fucked up Marge. I, um... Like, 90s sitcoms are a big comfort show for me. Like, Seinfeld, which is not bad. These aren't, like, bad shows. Like, these are... These are not the ones I was talking about when I said, like, bad shows. But, like... Seinfeld, Frasier, The King of Queens, like, Everybody Loves Raymond. Those are, like, I don't know why. They're so comfy. They're so, like, comfy to me. I think it's the way that, like, the sets are designed, where they actually feel like real homes, you know? Like, they actually, like, they're comfy. Like, would you look at, like, Seinfeld's apartment and tell me that, like, you wouldn't live in that? Like, I know it's a set. But, like, still, it's, it's fucking, it's cozy. I love it. I don't know why, it's just so, like, warm and happy. What's up, Dev Official and Meryl? Do you like Brooklyn Nine-Nine? No, but I heard good things, and I love, um, Terry Crews, who I know is in it. Andy Samberg, University of California, Santa Cruz fucking alumni legend. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I'd probably like it. There's a lot of shows I'd probably like. I just... You know, I ain't got enough time to, like, really discover them all. Alright, stop sprinting, you dumb shit. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna water our flowers, and then we're going to, um, go to December. And then we're going to try to get a dung beetle and a damselfly. Alright. That's what we're gonna do. You watch Community? No. Community Access Television? Oh, yeah. But Community? No. I'm infected with the anime virus. Uh, I mean, there's a cure for everything these days. Alright, just be careful there's no stink bugs on these flowers before I wa water them. I was gonna say wash them. Before I scrub them. Ah! My sink is full of dirty dishes. I just realized, and it, like, kind of freaked me out. The weather is so horrible in the UK, I've been stuck at home. Oh, it's another day in the UK, then. It's not one of your, like, ten allocated sunny days of the year. Well, I guess it's a bad day, then. I can't tell if this flower's a stink bug on it. Get out of the way, mini-map. No, it looks good. Because we're looking for a purple, uh, mum from this. Yeah, British issue. It's snowing in Wisconsin? Dude, it was, like, 50 degrees and, like, rainy this entire, like, Christmas weekend. It was kind of crazy. I liked it, personally. But not the rain part, just like the 50 degrees and not like fucking brutally honest to god cold. That's the part I liked. Hey, I can get a Nook Miles ticket now. Um, let's save it. Let's go to winter and let's get a dung beetle and a uh, hermit crab, maybe. Because last time, this is where we fucked up the first attempt, which is the one that we've gotten the furthest on. Uh, where a hermit crab got scared away and fucked us. So... Maybe we can get a hermit crab, but, like, it's not required. We'll see. I'm in the waiting room for online therapy, so I'll be here until my counselor comes. Oh, bye. Bye. Have fun. That was quick. Which favorite bug in Animal Crossing for chat? Oh, okay. Well, I guess, why did I even read it then? Lurk, need to concentrate on Miku. That's understandable. It's going to be like minus 33C here tonight. Like minus 27F according to Google over here next week. I really appreciate the effort to translate that into Fahrenheit, even though I don't know much about what minus 33C is other than um, it's fucking cold. But I'm glad that you took the effort to translate it. Not necessarily, however. Um, I do know that that is fucking cold. And I think that that's all I really need to know. Good morning. I'm reading it by St I'm reading it by Stephen King, and I'm loving it. What's it? Like, what are you reading it? Well, like, what's it? Did you like establish already? Minus thirty three C is not minus twenty seven F. What do you mean? Because they converge at minus forty, where they're both minus forty. So the fact that they're really close to each other seems accurate. What do you mean? That seems pretty accurate. Like, if it's, like, a couple degrees off, I don't think that that's a horrible mistranslation. 
what's it though i don't get it like reading it like you're in like the silence of the lambs what are you doing i don't know pennywise dag oh like the clown okay that doesn't really answer my question though like that's the book called all right, all right, relax, calm down. I gotta focus, all right? Ooh, a hot mama. Humana, 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 humana. Oh, wooga, oh, wooga. Look at that. First try. Haha, <laughs> he's so funny. Thanks. I appreciate that, actually. Long time YouTube viewer, first time catching a stream live. Ay, ay, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, just checking the other ones in case I got a in case I got another one, I got another white one, and another white one. Okay, uh, that's pretty good. Tell you what, we're gonna plant this sucker not right outside my house, cause God knows that if I put it right outside my house, I will like fucking scare it away as soon as I walk out without even thinking about it. So you know, how about we um dig this up and put it here? It seems like a good place. There we go. Let you grow and fester. Long time fewer, first time enjoyer. I remember that comment. That was really mean. Thanks <sighs> the hydrate. You are the reason I started playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Wait, so you, what you're saying is I'm the reason I cost you 60 bucks? Wait, that's actually kind of fucked up when you look at it that way. Like, you'd be 60 bucks richer if it wasn't for me coming into your life. Damselfly. <laughs> Damselfly. Then we gotta find our snowballs as well. Alexa, play The Reason by Hoobastank. There's a fucking band called Hoobastank. You just reminded me. Oh my god. Jesus. Uh, Alexa, play a better song. Play Superman by Goldfinger. You're an advocate for Nintendo, though. Yeah, like, that sounds great until you phrase that as, you're an advocate for a multi-billion dollar game studio. And it doesn't sound, it sounds like cold and heartless, right? It doesn't really sound so warm and fuzzy as you make it out to sound. I'm sure it brought them immense joy. Yeah, but like, you know what brings me immense joy? $60. Like... I would, I would say, like, no more, no less, but, like, both more and less amounts of money can bring me joy. Mostly more. But, hey, a moth, too. Um, I guess, yeah. No, you're right. Nintendo deserves the cash. I mean, yeah, I mean, I definitely got my 60 bucks out of this. Alright, I, I'm going to look for a hermit crab vigilantly. As to not fuck it up again this time. Like, I am going to, um, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess there's no hermit crab. God, I'm a fucking psychopath. I swear to God, I'm, I'm not, like, actually that way. That's actually, like, not me at all. Did I hit this rock already? Sometimes I do, like, okay, this isn't fucked up. This isn't fucked up, and you're not going to convince me that it is fucked up. But, like, sometimes I do, like, fake laugh to myself. Sometimes I, I am just, like, alone, like, on my computer, and I'll, like, think of a not funny joke, and I'll go, like, <laughs> as a way to sarcastically laugh at it. That's not, like, fucked up, right? Because somebody, like, a, 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 a spirit is, like, in my room. I don't, like, notice them, of course, because they're a spirit. And they're just, like, observing me from, like, the immortal plane. And they're probably looking at me just, like, fake laughing at my computer, and they're like, Wow, this guy is a psychopath. Wow, this guy is messed up. From, like, an outsider's perspective, it's really, like, kind of... ...weird to, like, just laugh at nothing. What? Reactions? A festive wreath? I don't want this fucking shit. Fuck you, burger. Yo, Dag has the challenge going. Well, I'm still going. I'm still going till a hermit crab fucks me up again, at least. Or a dung beetle. I don't think a damselfly can get scared away, so I don't think that that can fuck me up. There's the iron. How much more iron? 12. Thanks for asking. Next question. I laugh with my cat like that sometimes. Yeah, but at least you have a cat, and, like, that's an excuse to, like... 
that's an ex- Dude, you understand how much, like, a pet and having a pet is, like, such an out for, like, doing shit that would otherwise be seen as weird? Like, baby talk. Y'all talk to your pets like, If you didn't have a pet, that'd be weird. If you do have a pet, everyone's like, oh, I get it. Oh, I understand. I do that, too, with Roxy, or wh whoever their pet's name is. Like, you get away with a lot of weird shit when you have a pet. Like, a lot of shit that, like, normally, if you didn't have a pet, you'd be seen as, like, a little bit, uh, ooh, ooh, for, you know. A little, a little crazy. A little funky up in the old house. Alright, there's one snowball that I get a, yeah, I did see the other snowball right through there. I don't know, I'm, like, ducking my head, like, it'll help me see it. But, um, okay. Let's, like, separate them a little bit, I guess. Have you heard of Froggy Crossing? She's an ACNH YouTuber. Yeah, I've heard of her. Isn't she like the biggest ACNH YouTuber? You know, I mean, that's kind of hard to ignore, really, when you're in the business. I don't know. She like does a whole different brand of stuff that I do, though. I think she's more like designing and like um, island tours. I don't, I don't, I don't do that shit. I don't know. I don't know if anyone really does the shit that I do in Animal Crossing. I don't think it's a great game choice to do, like, shit that I do. Unless you're already, like, established at doing it, which is what I am. So, I don't know. Other people can do it, and can do it better than me, even. I'm just saying, like, I, I don't know how many other people, like, do, you know? What's up, Quinn? How you doing? Like, eating dog food? Yeah, that's, like, completely normal, though. Like, whether- uh, No, it, it's not normal, because, like, why would you have dog food if you don't have a dog? Yeah, okay, I would say it's weird if you eat dog food, but you don't have a dog. If you do have a dog, it's normal, and, like, everyone's curious sometimes. Uh, but if you don't have a dog, and you're, like, buying dog food, then, yeah, that's a little strange. Uh, yeah, that's a little weird. It was, a uh, Windenast. You're a challenge player. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of YouTubers that are, like, challenge YouTubers, right? They'll take a video game and they'll do a challenge in it, right? A lot of YouTubers do that. I'm not, I'm hardly the most unique one. Um, I think I'm just, like, you know, one of the few, maybe the only guy who does it in Animal Crossing. Because it's, like, it's not really a game that I think lends itself well to challenges. It's slow. It's, you know, very limited as far as the things that you can do. And... Quite frankly, it's just kind of like jumped the shark a little bit. I don't really think too many people are like keen on New Horizons no more. I guess I can do that. That's kind of cute, <laughs> right? It really makes me, it really gets me jollied up, you know? I eat some cat food because some kids forced me when I was like eight. That's kind of fucked up. Was it good? She seems to be fond of frogs. Yeah, I'm not a big frog guy. And to be honest with you, I'm not calling you frog um, hose out. Sorry, I tried to think of a more appropriate word there, but I couldn't get anything. I'm not calling you frog hose out here. But if y'all saw a frog in real life, like if I gave you a frog, you'd probably be like, Ew! Ew! Sticky! Slimy! Weird! I know. I know y'all would like hate a frog if you saw it in real life. I, s I know y'all love the cute little kawaii frogs, like the frog hoodie in this game. It's so cute, right? It's so kawiwi. It really gets my goose, right? But if I get if I showed you like a fucking frog in real life, you'd try to ew, stinky. I know you would want to not fucking touch that thing. I love frogs, IRL coward. I love bugs. Why don't you eat them then? If you love bugs so much, why don't you fucking eat bugs? Hello, rat. I'm an open frog hater. I'm not a frog hater. I'm also not a frog enjoyer. I, I'm not a big, like... Like, I am that kind of person. If you showed me a frog... I, I, there, Really, it's an unrealistic scenario. Because I said, like, I'll hand you a frog. No, I wouldn't hand you a frog. I wouldn't touch the damn thing. I wouldn't touch the infernal frog. I wouldn't want to, like, get poisoned to death. Have you seen, like, what those frogs can do to you? Some of them, like, real poisonous ones? Oh my god, I wouldn't want to come ten feet of those things. Frogs are not cute. I'm sorry, but cute is very objective, and I don't find frogs cute at all. Alright? I find them, like... Look, I'm not gonna say, like, repulsive, but I've seen a lot of videos of frogs. Hang on. Uh, Jarvis, unshit my pants, please. Hang on. Where's this mole cricket? It's fucking behind my house. I'm not digging that up. It's gonna go into the water. 
No, I, that's way too close to the water. There's no way I'm digging that thing up. No, frogs are cute. That's a fact. No, it's not a fact, all right? If everything was either, like, yes or no as far as cute, and we all agreed on it, then, like, no. The world would be a much less interesting place. And every ugly thing would be hated because everyone hates it. No, no dung? No beetle? No dung? Okay, I'm just gonna turn my back, and if one of those snowballs just starts happening to move... <gasps> ah, I didn't fall for it, huh? Alright, well, I guess I'll, um... I guess I'll, like, cycle in and out of my house, like, 50 times, and then see if that does it. I'm not getting that fucking mole cricket. It's way too close to the water. I know I'm gonna dig it up, and before I can even pull out my net, it's gonna jump up the fucking river. I know it's going to. Do you think bears are cute? Um... Okay, let's establish a rule here. If I squash this cockroach, that's fine. It's not a catchable bug. That being said, I'm not going to, because I don't want to... I want to get the YouTube Andy stirred up, be like, Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. At, uh, four hours and 50 minutes of the stream, uh, you, uh, at two hours and 16 minutes and 30 seconds of attempt number three, you squashed a cockroach inside of your house. Now, by definition of your challenge, um, that counts as a bug that you scared away. I have never felt the touch of a woman. Alright, I was gonna cycle through my house like 10 times. Now, I know that the Poindexters are gonna tell me that that's scaring a bug away, so I'm not even gonna, like, I'm not even gonna humor the idea. They would do that. Oh, no, they definitely would do that. Wait, Jesus. I'm not Jesus. Although it is my birthday. And, like, it's kinda close. Australian green tree frogs and glass frogs are cute IMO. Okay, you named two frogs out of, like, probably the thousands that exist that are cute. So what you're saying is, like, 998 frogs are ugly. Two of them are cute. Yeah, dude, like, I like dogs, and I like, like, I, I, I love dogs. I love dogs. Dogs are fucking awesome. Do you think I think every dog is cute? Like, every dog species is cute? Some of them are kind of ugly. But, like, they're all dogs, you know? They're all dogs. Thanks for the hydrate. I'm sorry that, um... Like, those hairless cats? Ooh, they freak me out. They're not cute. They freak me out. Although, I'm coming around to Bingus. I know I'm, like, seven years too late. I'm really fucking with, like, Bingus memes. Y'all got any good, like, Bingus memes? I'm really fucking with Bingus lately. I'm a big Bingus guy. He's just a funny-looking guy. I wouldn't call him cute, but he's he's a funny guy, definitely. Praise Bingus. Yeah, I love Bingus. I, I've come around to Bingus. I still wouldn't get a hairless cat, though. They kind of scare me. I feel like if I, like, touched one, I'd, like... Mm, I don't know. Man, what the fuck? You know what I can do? Spiders are all year, and, um... Spiders are all year, and at night, like, and I haven't gotten one yet, so, like, maybe I could search for that while I wait for a dung beetle to spawn. Guess I could try. Maybe I should, like, cut down these trees after I shake them as well. Would that be smart? I mean, I'm gonna have to do it eventually. Right? So, yeah. Might as well get two birds stoned at once, right? I'm gonna have to cut them down eventually. I don't care that I'm doing it, like, out of order of, like, what the, like, speed run is. I, I don't really care. And I don't need all the wood, either. Don't pick up all the wood. I say as I'm picking up the wood. But that's it. I'm done. No more wood. I shook this tree, too, right? <clears throat> Makes them gross when you try to pet them after a nap. Hairless cats sweat? Well, I, I imagine so, right? They must have, like, some different functionalities to normal cats, right? Like, the reason, like, dogs don't sweat is because they pant, right? And, like, that's their sweating, sort of. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Hairless dogs? Thoughts? I just... Is it... Is it shallow of me to say, like, I don't really want, like, a hairless pet that, like, freak me out? I don't know. I... It, that's not shallow. I think that it's just knowing what I like, right? Hee-hee-hee-hee! <laughs> don't hee-hee-hee-hee <laughs> me, alright? That's devilish. I don't like the- that's how the devil laughs. The devil laughs like... <laughs> God would never. God stays winning. Hey, am I right? Can I get an amen? 
That's what like some that's what like a Gen Z pastor would say. They'd say some shit like God stays winning. Satan took the L again. They'd say some shit like that. Ah, that was really close. Jesus. That was really close. I think I actually did press it a third time to chop down that tree. My only saving grace being that my axe broke. And I wasn't able to hit it a third time. Good googly moogly. That was close. Jesus. I think my only saving grace there was the fact I might have saved it. I don't know. Even if it didn't break. But whew, that was close. Too close for comfort. Good God. Challenge just stresses you out. Every every move you make has to be like a calculated maneuver. You have to like think ten times before you do something. How fucking obnoxious. He scared it away. I didn't scare it away because if it retracts back into the tree, you can just shake it out again. So, no, you're fine. In fact, if I like walked away from it, that's not scaring it away, technically. Check these trees. Okay, are these three good? Okay, these three are good. No bees. What I'm checking for when I shake them is bees. Because if they have bees in them, bees sting me, they get away. God says, get to church. Gritty to pray on your knees. Pog champ Jesus, am I right, kids? I don't think you... I don't think anything of that made sense. So, yeah, probably. Yeah, it's, it's like Jesus was the original Rizzler, am I right? Haha. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He was a virgin. He had actually, like, zero Riz. You know, I think that, like, Gen Z pastors would have some self-awareness in regards to, like, how much Riz Jesus did not have. Like, my man, I don't think... He had no game. He had no game. Oh, is that a dung beetle? No, that's just a weed. He had no game. Jesus had no game. He had no Riz. A pastor can't even lie and say that, like, he had Riz. He didn't have Riz. He didn't have shit. He didn't get none. Nah, Jesus had so much riz. Well, he obviously didn't use it to feel the touch of a woman. He used it to, I guess, convince millions to join his religion. <laughs> yeah, like, I could do that too. It's easy. I, I already did it. I'm, I'm at 175,000. Just need another, uh, what is that? 825,000? I'm almost there, Jesus. I'm almost there, Big J. Think you're something special. Why is everything scary? Why is it like doing anything scary? Like I wanted I want bees to fall out of this just so I can be like, okay, good, there's no bees in here. I'm I'm afraid. And I was afraid. There we go. At least I know that one of the bees is gone. One of the bad things is gone. That's going in the quote book. You're not keeping a quote book of my shit. You're not keeping a quote book of my shit. Somebody actually like, keep a book, like, full of shit that I say? Anything good on there? Anything, like, inspirational? Anything, like, really make you feel something? I'm nervous. I'm so scared. Why is it just... I, just every step I take, I just... Like, I'm scared. I feel like I ate concrete last night. I feel like... I don't know. I woke up this morning, and I'm, like, usually peckish when I wake up. But I wasn't peckish, dude. I, I didn't eat anything. I think I already shook these, but I'm just, like, triple-checking. I didn't eat nothing, dude. I'm, like, always peckish when I wake up. I always want to eat something when I wake up. But, dude, I felt like I ate concrete last night, and I haven't, like, eaten anything since. And I was, like, fucking wicked zooted last night, too. I was, if I was going to eat something, I'd have ate something. I didn't. That's kind of crazy. I remember one time you said the voices, and that resonated with me. Yeah, the voices are just, like, normal now. Like, that's not even, like, a point of exclamation no more. That's just, like, normal. Voices are just another thing to me, man. Dagussy, Fortnite number one. I, I don't know what you mean by that. Hang on, Hermit Crab? Lucky. You're lucky. You're lucky you're just a shell. Alright. Okay, we're good. We can cut down every tree on... Um, like, this part of the island that I'm on. Right? Yeah, I think we can. Okay, good. We're gonna have to eventually, so we might as well now, right? Cement? Yeah, like, I feel like, like, I don't know. I just feel like, I don't, I just ate, like, a shit ton of cement yesterday. Like, last night. I had, can I be honest with you? I, I know we talked very highly about Wegmans, but I got some, um, 
pre-packaged fish? Like, not, like, frozen. Like, they fried the fish, and then they packaged it up, and then, like, set it out, and I bought it, like, the sucker I am. And, like, I mean, fried shit just doesn't, like, store well. If you don't eat something fried, like, pretty much as soon as it's out the damn fryer, it's not really very good. So they fried up a fish, put it in, like, some cling wrap, and set it out for a sucker like me to come along and buy it, thinking, like, ooh, it's good, it's better than that frozen crap. But really, like, it was just kind of, like, wet and soppy when I put it in the oven, and, like, it was kind of wet and soppy when I got it out of the oven. And I was kind of like, no amount of tartar sauce is gonna, like, really, you know, no amount of tartar sauce really is saving this. Maybe, like, that just didn't sit well with me, because it was, like, oily and, like, wet. I don't know, I don't think it was very good. What'd you ask Santa for for Christmas? Stop asking me what I, what I asked Santa for for Christmas. Stop. You'll never get it out of me. Because if I say, it's not a fucking secret no more, and I'm not gonna get it. And also, I already got it. Soggy breading. Yeah, like, it wasn't good. I, I, I think that they should reevaluate how they do that at Wegmans. Like, and I, trust me, you're talking to, like, number one Wegmans guy. You're talking to Mr. Wegman. I don't know if Danny Wegman would adopt me and make me, like, officially Mr. Wegman, but, like, I... I'm, like, kind of the guy. I'm the Wangman's defender. Snowballs? What's going on? How the fuck you get a dung beetle to spawn? I'm Mr. Wangman. I keep having violent full-body stretches, and I nearly threw up. What? You're, like, just completely unknowingly, like, just sitting at your chair. <gasps> and your whole body just starts stretching? And you almost puke? What are you talking about? I've never heard of such a disease. What is Wegman? It's a grocery store. Y'all in the mid-Atlantic slash northeast, y'all know, and it's only kind of like southeast. I think they're down to like North Carolina now. Y'all know, if you don't know, you don't know. You keep shopping at your little Kroger. You keep shopping at your little Publix. You keep shopping at your little Giant Eagles, your Safeways, your Ralphs, all right? Your Aldi, your Walmart, your... You just keep shopping at your little stores. I'll have my Wegmans, all right? What's your... What's y'all's grocery store? I think I literally asked this last stream. Like, what's y'all's grocery store? Like, where do you go? You say, I'm going to get groceries, which means you're going to this place. For me, that's Wegmans. I'm going to Wegmans. Meyer? That's made up. You'd have made that up. I'm going to Jewel. Hey, meet me in the French room. We'll take the L to Jewel. Y'all know what that means? We like, like y'all know what that means? If I say like, I'm meet you in the front room. We're gonna take the L to Jewel. Y'all know what that means, right? Tesco. Ugh. Meyer slaps. They have lemongrass. Dude, you have grass. Take a lemon. Tops or Aldi's? Tops. <laughs> Jesus, treat yourself, man. God, why would you why would you subject yourself to Tops? There's no way Tops is the only grocery store you have, all right? There's no way. You'd have to settle. Like if I go to Tops, man, I'm settling. I'm fully knowing that I could go somewhere better. I'm going to Tops. God, I couldn't imagine. But you can't get lemongrass at Wegmans. First of all, you don't know that. Second of all, so what? I don't ever buy lemongrass. Why would I want lemongrass? Why would I want lemongrass? What do you, what even is it? Is it like a spice? Tops is considered bougie in my area. Tops is bougie? That's Oh shit, I wasn't shaking those trees. That could have been bad. Tops is bougie? Tops is Tops ain't it over here. Tops ain't it over here. Like, it, when you have where I live, when you got Wegmans, when you got Giant Eagle, when you got Aldi, when you got, like, local places and Tops, and you're going to Tops of all those places? That's not, that's, I don't know. Hang on. Thanks for the 13th months, dude. Oh, you're Love very your welcome. Streams. Thanks, Fire Llama. Thanks for the 13 months. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. Thank you. 
when you got all them options around here, you got no excuse to go to tops. Mm -mm. You go into tops here. Maybe your tops is really nice. Ours, not really. Not really. I go to Walmart before I go to tops. Don't get me started on Aldi, bro. Shoo weesh. On oh, no, Aldi's nice. I just it's kind of a drive for me. I I would go to Aldi if I lived close, but I don't. Uh, I do like Aldi. I like it. I I I highly fuck with some Aldi. I'm just checking cuz like oh fuck when there's two next to each other though. Okay, good thing they're both fake. That's not a thing. All right, I guess no hermit crabs. All right, let's clear out all the trees on the first level of my island. Because I don't have the ladder yet. I can't get the other ones. They have the best avocados. I thought the best avocados come from Mexico. You know, like those commercials. Avocados from Mexico. They don't say avocados from Aldi. It doesn't really fit, you know? Like, syllable-wise. Just want to try a wee wee baguette. Anyone else? Bro, I'm pretty sure that that means penis, man. That's fucking disgusting. You can't say wee wee baguette, man. I don't even know what that means. Aldi is Mexico now? Oh shit, really? Oh, buenos noches, motherfucker. Ban that guy. That was actually like very foul and crass. Wee wee baguette. Yeah, alright, dude. Whatever you say. Fucking disgusting. Placed a big Dunkin' DoorDash order? Dude, do you guys see the fucking thing I posted in Discord? Somebody asked me what my Mr. Beast burger cost when I ordered it on stream like forever ago. Oh, right. I forgot that we had like 400 messages in the general chat last night because like five different people couldn't sleep, myself included. Um... Jesus Christ, how, how much you fucking, you guys were in my Discord? Like, there's like 500 messages in between, like, right now and when I posted my DoorDash receipt. Here we go. I was just sort of trying to go find it. Good googly moogly. No offense, by the way. I, I'm actually really happy for my Discord users. I, I'm glad that you guys like to use it. I'm glad that it's a safe space for you guys. This is my 875 Mr. Beast Burger that I got on DoorDash. Um, actually, Uber Eats, but whatever. Um, speaking of DoorDash, so this was a 875 burger, and it was terrible, by the way, in case you don't remember. Um, and for an 875, for for a burger that is 875. I ended up paying, holy shit, I gotta get that, holy shit, I gotta get that, holy shit, I gotta get that, I gotta get that, I gotta get that, fucking put your shit, sh put your fucking shit away, I gotta get that, I gotta get that, I gotta get that, whoop! Um, anyway. For an 875 burger, 2142 was the whole ass order, okay? The cheapest, if I hadn't tipped, I could have made it, what? What would that have been? 16, 1742? That's still fucking double the price of what the original burger was. Which is all this to say, where's the timer? Give it one second, I'm just demonstrating something. The timer had to be sacrificed for this. All right. For an 875 burger, I ended up paying that much, which is fucking absurd. So if you're gonna get something on DoorDash, it better be a big order is what I'm trying to say. Because for like a small order, you're gonna end up paying double, like in that example, almost triple what the original shit was. So if you're gonna get something on DoorDash, you might as well make it big is what my point is. You might as well make it big. It better be a big Dunkin' order because like you don't wanna get something small and having to deal with all those service charges for something like that was like $5 originally. You ended up paying like 20, it's ridiculous. Hey, thanks for the raid, Partytron. Appreciate that. Enjoy, uh, or rather, hope you enjoy the stream. Hope your stream was good. What'd you play? Delivery apps when $38 becomes 70? Well, okay, look at it this way. Okay, if you're gonna order something for eight seventy five, dollars as I did, let's round that up to 9 and you're gonna end up paying 20, 20, what was it? You're gonna end up paying 21 bucks? Okay, so that's a what? That's a $12 
extra on top of your order. All right? If you're going to get $12 of fees on top of your order, you might as well get like $200 worth of things, right? Instead of $9 worth of things, right? If you're going to get 12 bucks either way, you know what I mean when I say like, you might as well get something like a bit. You might as well get like a lot of shit, right? Like, you're spending money anyway, and it's sort of like sunk cost fallacy, I'm aware, but like, still. You'd feel a lot better about $12 in service charges if your original order was like 200 This versus like 9 you know? I don't know, that's just the way I see it anyway. When I DoorDash takeout, I get enough to feed me for multiple days. You kind of have to, right? It's, it's fucking ridiculous. I haven't DoorDashed since I got a, a $40 DoorDash gift card from Twitch. And then before that, it was when I was in New York and I didn't, like, have any food. Because, you know, I was in a fucking hotel in Secaucus, New Jersey, where my options around me were Applebee's, Olive Garden, Texas Steakhouse. Uh, that's about it, really. No balls. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And what the fuck is going on? What the fuck? Mm, homie. That's a Marge. I, I just Marged. Dung Beetle? I wish. Like. Um. I don't know. I don't know. All my trees are cleared out on the first level of the island, though. Except for my grove. But that's okay. We're by, by calculations. Um. Like. Save and restart? Like. Save and quit? Reload? I don't know. That was a good march. Thanks. I, I, I march pretty well. Thanks. I don't have a good Joe. Hang on. Should I try it again? You can't look at me. Hey, Peter. Now. Hey, Peter. Hey, that was all right. I think that one might have been my best one yet. I think that one was my best one yet. Yeah, that one was pretty good. No, I'm not gonna show you. Dude, I have to, like, fucking stick my jaw out. I'm not exaggerating when I say I have to stick my jaw out, like, four inches and, like, scrunch my entire face up to do that voice. I can't... No, I would never live down having somebody witness me doing that face. I'm Macedonian. I, I'm Dagnall. Uh, yeah, no, you're not gonna see me doing that fucking voice because it makes me do terrible shit to my head oh they're gone oh i thought oh okay well maybe that's a good thing we just gotta find him again right <laughs> we just gotta find him again while not scaring anything away it's really easy oh you know what just 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 stay calm cuz relax chill out it's okay calm down does that count as scaring away? No, because there was no dung beetle on it. That was the whole reason why we refreshed it in the first place. There's just snowballs. Um, ignore the moth. We already got one. I just gotta find the snowballs again. Just chill. Exactly. Just, just relax. Calm down. I, you're all freaking out right now. Really, if anyone should be freaking out, it's me. And I am. But it's fine. Because I have it under control. Okay, guys. I'm your pilot, okay? You don't know anything about me, all right? I'm not a Twitch streamer to you, all right? I'm just a guy. You don't know anything about me. But I am who I am still right now, okay? And I'm like the pilot of your airplane. Do you look at me and you're like, I'm safe. I'm safe. Like... You you look at me and you're like, that's a trust, trustworthy individual. I trust him with my life. Right? You don't know anything about me. You don't know that I'm a Twitch streamer who doesn't know how the fuck to fly a plane. You don't know that. You just look at me and you're like, yeah, that's a trust... Oh, there we go. You just look at me and you're like, that's a trustworthy guy. I trust him with my life. Right? Come on, come on, come on. These are always kind of tricky with their hitboxes, but good. All right, very good. Got a dung beetle. Whew. This species likes feces. Ha, <laughs> that's a good one. That's probably like A plus in like the pun tier ranking. Alrighty. 
got a dung beetle, we got a damselfly, we got a moth. Uh, we never ended up getting a uh, hermit crab. Do I need a permit crab? <laughs> See, that should be in the next game. Dude, I'm telling you, if I wrote all the puns for the next game, you guys would be like... Yeah, I think you guys would like them. I think that if you put me on fucking pun duty for the next Animal Crossing game, I think I'd do a good job. I think I would do a good job. I really do. The better question is why not trust you because there's no reason? Yeah, exactly. If somebody's piloting your airplane, they've gone through like 20 years of scrutinous testing to be able to be in the position to fly like a domestic jetliner. Okay? P pilots at like big airlines, like British Airways. If somebody's a pilot at British Airways, dude, they've trained their life to do that. Yeah, I trust. Dude, I, I don't like flying. I have a lot of flight anxiety. But... I am so... One thing that helps me is just knowing how, like, scrutinous the process is to become, like, a, a a pilot. I mean, at any level, really, but, like, especially at the level where, like, they're flying my flight from, like, Charlotte to Los Angeles. Like, knowing how scrutinous that is does help me feel better. They, they like... They, like... You know what pilots do, man? They make, like, planes fall out of the sky, and they tell them to, like, recover them. Like, that's kind of crazy. I I would never be a pilot. That would freak me out too much. When the plane hits, like, a little bit of turbulence, I start, like, ooh, I don't like it. I, I don't like it at all. Okay, anyway. Check snowballs and water flowers. We don't need to water flowers anymore. We got our flower. Gather iron. Right. Um, I didn't get enough iron today. So, I guess I gotta keep doing this. So, let's go to the next day until we have enough iron. Or go to a Nook Miles Island, but I fear being on Nook Miles Islands because, like, they're so small and there's so many bugs in, like, a condensed area where I feel like it's going to be, like, really tough to maneuver them without scaring something away. No, not TV settings, you dumb fucking shithead. Have you caught a Tarantula yet? Actually, no, but that's a really good, um, that's a really good... That's I'm really happy you said that because tarantula is right now. I'm doing the better call salt fingers and I have to stop. Right now, I'm still doing it. Tarantulas can spawn and they're gonna like come up to me and zap me if I have my net out. So like I really should not be walking around with my net out because I might freak one of them out and like have them bite me. So I'm glad that you reminded me that they exist. Yeah, like, surgeon training. I don't know, I haven't had surgery. I can't really tell you whether or not, like, I'd be... I mean, I who am I kidding? I'd totally be nervous if I was like, gonna have surgery. But yeah, I think it'd be the same thing, where it's like, yeah, I'm scared, but, like, I know that it's in the hands of professionals, you know? Surgeon training? You mean medical school? Are you being a poindexter for something that's completely irrelevant when we all knew what they were talking about? Surgeon training? You mean medical school? Yeah. Like, that was pretty obvious from when they said surgeon training. Yeah. How's it going, Dag? I'm taking a quick break from Miku. Yeah, dude, honestly, if you said, like, hey, Dag, I gotta go, I, I like, got Miku here. I'd be like, yeah, I, I get it. No, like, go for it, please. Don't let me hold you up. I'm glad that, really, I'm honored that you would take a break from Miku to even watch my stream. I really, I, I'm, I'm like shocked. Miku! Chad, is this real? Me pointing at Hatsune Miku. Chad, is this real? Live, laugh, love. Miku! Isn't it funny, like, everyone's Miku now? Everyone's like a VTuber? I know she's like not a VTuber, but like, you know, everyone's like, uh, like a virtual person now. <laughs> or like, I don't know. She was innovative, you know? I think that's what I'm trying to say. She was the blueprint, yeah. Everyone wants to be Miku. I mean, I want to be Miku. Like, I'm not going to be Miku, but, like, if you ask me, like, if you want it, sir... I'm gonna... Oh, hang on, I hear a mole. Sir, do you want to be Miku? I could take you out of your life right now and be Miku. I say, yeah, of course I want to be Miku. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't want to be Miku? Okay, two attempts, that's not bad. Good. Everyone would be Miku. You tell me you wouldn't leave your boring-ass office job to be Miku? I wouldn't believe it. I would not believe it. 
Yeah, I, I, no, I like being a fucking corporate drone. I like sitting in my cubicle. I wouldn't want to be Miku. Fuck you. Of course you would. Yes, you would. You'd want to be, you'd, you, oh my god, you're, you're actually mad. I can see you right now through my webcam. You're mad that you're not Miku. You're purple. You are like purple. You're like Barney purple. Haven't you heard, haven't you listened to the disappearance of Hatsune Miku? No, I haven't. I've seen the movie, The Disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya, and it was really good. But, um, no, not that one. I would marry Len. Who's Len? That sounds like your boy at, like, that sounds like the old, like, married guy, or guy, uh, married guy? That sounds like the old guy at, like, your office job, who always complains about, like, uh, the wife. And you're like, ah, Len, what you, what, what, oh, what's Len like? He's, like, gonna retire, like, any day now. He's just, like, waiting. He's just like, yeah, I don't know, I gotta figure out something to do after I retire. Is Len the twink? Not in my analogy. No. I hear those mole crickets never know where they're coming from. Now I know where I have to dig for them. Oh, yeah, no, you gotta dig for them. Yeah, no, they, that's probably really annoying. They, yeah, no, they're just, like, annoying. Most of the time, anyway. Yeah, you can dig them up, though. Or you can put something, like, down right on top of them, and it'll scare them away. Kind of a little cool trick I learned from watching the world record holder for this game, Hazel Newt. Uh, is if you drop something... Nice. If you drop something on top of the mole cricket, this is a tip for even, like, seasoned players here. But I can't do that, because that'll be scaring it away, so I can't even demonstrate that. Shit. I just realized, like, I was gonna demonstrate it next time I saw a mole cricket, but I'm like, wait, that's scaring it away. So I, like, can't. Alright, well, I guess I won't then. But anyway, picture I'm, like, right on top of a mole cricket right now. And I drop this. Boop! Right on top of it. Scare it away. It's gone. It's out of here. A little trick for you. I'm gonna sell this unne unnecessary bullshit. I can never locate them. You need to have... You need to have, like, stereo headphones. If you're using, like, mono headphones, like, you can't tell, like, the direction of them. I know a guy, I, I watch a streamer who refuses to use, like, stereo on his headset, and he only uses mono. And he says that, like, stereo and, like, hearing, like, which side sound is coming from, like, makes him sick. Like, is that something that, like, you guys deal with? Like, is that, I've never heard of that from anyone ever before. But I guess, like, I can honestly kind of see it. I can kind of see it. It might, like, make you dizzy or something. I was watching the Golden Tool speedrun recently, and I realized that it was done during the Bing Bong craze. Oh, fuck, no. Not the Bing Bong, dude. Oh, that was so funny for, like, two weeks. Fuck, why'd you have to remind me that I, like, said that? God, dude. In, like, three years from now, I'm gonna be, like, cringing at the shit that I laugh at now. That's kind of sad. But also, like, I'll be cringing at myself in three years because he'll be 30. What a freaking idiot. He's going to be 30. Who's the idiot, really? Okay. I'm not freaking out. You're freaking out. I'm not freaking out. You're freaking out. <laughs> I'm not freaking out. It's actually you, the one who's freaking out right now. Oh, the voices. Where's the rocks at? I don't remember. There's one. Dag, how old are you now anyway? Well, I did just say, in three years I'll be 30. So, I'm going to do some little mental math in my head. You feel free to follow along. Okay, so like 30. By the way, if I don't get an iron, thank you. Ah, that's fucking hilarious, by the way. A nice uh, seven stone, one iron. <clears throat> Let's see. If I do 30, and I take... Three. Carry the one. Three point one four one five nine two six five three. Ooh, he only knows pi up to like eight digits. What a freaking moron. I'm twenty seven. I'm twenty seven. You know it's kind of fucked up. Think of any okay, name like mash five numbers on your keyboard right now. Just mash five random numbers on your keyboard. Just and then type it. Enter. I mean fuck, you could do like ten if you want. Like five minimum. 
69420. You did not do that mashing. All right, that was a conscious effort to be funny. That was a conscious effort to be funny. What the fuck? <laughs> Why did one person's numbers... There was one person who posted numbers. There was one person who posted numbers, and it got held up by Automod. Why did 58,174 get held up by Automod? Is that, like, some, like, secret hate number code? What the fuck? Was that, like... What the fuck? Was that, like, Hitler's locker code or something? What the fuck? Anyway, all... All... Every single... What the fuck? It keeps getting held up! What the fuck is wrong with 58,174 where it keeps getting held up by Automod? What the hell? Everyone who types 58,174, the message gets held by Automod. What the hell is wrong with that number? Literally every single one. I'll take a screenshot. What the fuck? That's actually- that's insane. Every single one is getting held up by Automod. Why is it doing this? Look at this. Oh, it's black screen. Well, you're just gonna have to trust me then. I mean, you can probably see it when you type it. It's like saying that your message didn't go through, right? All of these are zip codes? Well, not all of them, right? Anyway, every single number string that you posted there is in Pi somewhere. Isn't that kind of crazy? Whoa, dude, bet your, like, 8th grade math teacher didn't teach you that one. Every single, like, string of those five numbers is in Pi somewhere. That's kind of fucked up, right? Isn't that kind of crazy? Like, you could type, like, 40 numbers in a row. It's gonna be in Pi somewhere. You can type, like, 999 numbers in a row. That combination of numbers is in Pi somewhere. Isn't that fucking, like, wild? Crazy? Ha, <laughs> wow. I don't know, I just think about that sometimes. Well, well, yeah, because infinity. Yeah, and then you're the kid that is, uh, yeah, uh, teacher, that's because infinity exists. And the teacher's like, haha, very good. Uh, uh, I think you're a little, like, smart guy, huh? Think you're so smart, think you're better than everyone else, huh? <laughs> it's because infinity. Yeah, I'm sure the teacher thinks you're very smart. Do I have 30 iron? I'm one short. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Careful! I'm hanging out. I'm in the base, killing all your dudes. Like, every single person's SSN is in Pi. That's what trips me out. Yeah, my SSN is in Pi somewhere. Ooh, I better go find it. Oh, I'm gonna dox him. <laughs> I'm gonna figure him out. That's kind of crazy, though. Yeah, no, like, my social security number's out there. It's just a matter of finding it within the confines of Pi and all the dreaded numbers. I think that I have another rock, but, um, I think that... I think it's gonna be my money rock, because I don't think I found my money rock yet today, so I think I go to the next day again. Did anyone's school celebrate Pi Day? Uh, yeah, I think we did, actually. I think we did. It's like one of the few days, like, we did celebrate. Y'all have senior skip day when you were in school? That was a- I was in a voice call with someone and they mentioned senior skip day. I'm like, holy shit, I forgot about senior skip day. That was so much fun. Nah? What do you mean, nah? Everyone had senior skip day. I really shouldn't even have asked that. I should have just assumed everyone did, because I did. Yes, it was after pr prom weekend. I, I did not read prom there at first. Whew. I was like, man, you got a whole weekend for that? Jesus. I did not read prom there. I slept my skip day? Well, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. What is that? It's just a day where 12th graders slash seniors in high school don't get to go to school. They don't have to go to school. Like, it's not against attendance to do so. But everyone else, junior, freshmen, sophomores, aka, um, well, I said it in the wrong order. But 9th graders, 10th graders, 11th graders have to go to school. But seniors don't. It's senior skip day because it's like their last year. It's usually, it usually happens like before, like, graduation, like towards the end of the year. As, like, a celebration, sort of. One of my kids went in for perfect attendance. What a 
fucking nerd. Dude, I had, I actually remember a kid, when I graduated, there was like, you know, random celebrations for things. And I remember a damn kid who got praised by the principal of our school for having perfect attendance, not for just the 12th grade, not for high school, but for his entire schooling life. He had perfect attendance from kindergarten to 12th grade. Perfect attendance. You didn't miss a single day? That's so embarrassing. That's embarrassing. You are such a fucking nerd. Seriously. First of all, that's irresponsible because there's no way statistically that you weren't sick some of those days. You had to have come in like multiple times when you were sick. Which is not responsible. There's a reason why you are, like, you know... There's a reason why you're not, like, shot if you don't go to school, right? You can take a day off if you're sick. What a fucking nerd. I, I couldn't believe that. It made me mad. And I was, like, embarrassed because I was, like... If I got publicly shamed, and that's what it is, it's shameful... For going to school every single day of my schooling career, I, I would be embarrassed. I, I would actually be purple in embarrassment. Alright, we have 30 iron, but I'd like to get one more. So that I don't lose my stack. Yeah, go ahead, Biff. Get it. Get it, boy. Get it. Um, I don't even need to make the holes. Just give me, like, one iron, please. Okay. Like, mission highly failed. So I have, like, Omega Focus right now. I kind of, like, never am not Omega-focused when I'm, like, outside in this challenge. Alright, that's good. Get as much as I can, though. Ah, that's funny. Haha, <laughs> oh, nice, you got me another one. Haha, <laughs> that's nice, okay. Fuck you. My mommy and daddy don't let me stay home when I'm sick, unless I have a fever over 101. Your mommy and daddy, huh? Yeah, I mean, like, why 101, though? Like, why is that the threshold? I guess, like, I'm not saying it's wrong, but, like, you're 100? Like, I think that's definitely a fever. I don't know, it depends on, like, your normal, like, body temperature. But, like, why they, like, look at the th thermometer and they're like, Oh, you're, like, 100 point, like, 8. So you're fine. Like, go to school. Dumbass. I faked being injured so much that when I broke my ankle in middle school, my mom didn't believe me for three days. I want to say, I, the, my, say, getting, calling somebody a nerd for having 100% perfect attendance throughout, like, their entire schooling career is coming from somebody who had, like, 99 point, like, 5% attendance throughout my entire schooling career. If, but, like... That 0. 0.5 is, like, 20 days. Probably more than that. Let's be honest. I've missed more than 20 days. It's probably, like, 99 flat percent. This is coming from someone who made, like, 99% of their school days. All right? You're a fucking nerd. If you can't take 1% of that off, you're, you're honest to God a nerd. You are an N-E-R-D nerd. And it's probably their parents forcing them. Like, I don't know... If you're, like, if my kid had perfect attendance for, like, up until the fifth grade, and they said, Daddy, I'm not feeling good today. They've built, like, the benefit of the doubt with me, <clears throat> where I believe them if they say they're not feeling good today. I would, ben I'd, I would, I would say, sure, son, stay home today. That's no problem. Maybe it is their parents forcing them. Because, I don't know. I, I don't know. If my parents, I, I like to think that... If I was genuinely sick, my parents never gave me grief. I also didn't lie to my parents, though. I didn't lie to my parents. If if I wasn't sick, I didn't tell them I was sick. I never did. Never did. If I said, Mom, I don't feel well today, it's because I don't feel well today. I never lied to my parents in, regard, in that regard. I never lied to my parents in that regard. Okay, we gotta put the shop down somewhere. Usually you'd put it over some trees, but I have cut down all my trees, so I guess just find a bunch of stumps and put them over that. But even that's not a big deal. I had a temp of 93.9 one day, and my parents were like, my child is fine. 
Oh, okay. 93.9 is like... Is that not like hospital? Considering I know everyone's different, but like 98.6 is like the standard? You're like five degrees off. Dude, if you were five degrees the other way, they'd be taking you to the hospital. Uh, yeah, that's the spot. Not scaring nothing away. Seems all right. Squash a few stumps while we're at it. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, shop is built. Goody, good, good. Um, get stuff, sell, get, give stuff, sell extra shit, buy three nets, two axes, and five medicine. Um, I, I'm not doing that. I'll just place the shop. June at 7 p.m. for Centipede, which we already got, and Firefly. Okay, June at 7 p.m. I assume forward so that the shop can get built. You scared me away. How dare you? Yeah, well, are you a bug? So, um, no big deal. If you're not a bug, then not my job. 7 p.m. Surely 6.56 is good. I, I think they don't start spawning till 7, but, like, I don't care. I can wait three minutes. <clears throat> I was super sick in the sixth grade one time. My mom still made me go to school because no one would take care of me, so I was suffering in class. Okay. Now, that's fucked up, and we all know it's wrong. Okay? But can we just say, if there's one good thing that COVID has done, it's made, I think, people, at least sensible people, a lot more aware of how not okay it is to, like, go to places when you're sick. Because when I was sick, I did not just fart, by the way. I scratched my mesh chair. I'm going to do it again just to prove it. That was not a fart. I If I'm able to do it like that much, whatever, it wasn't a fart. Fuck you. COVID has made it so that people have been a lot more aware of how, like, not good it is to go out to places when they're sick. I know people are, like, starting to come dumb again because history only lasts, like, three years in people's brains. But... Like, it definitely did it for me, because I would be like, I, I would find myself like, ah, I'm not feeling good. I, I'm not, like, going to go to the store today. I was going to go to the store, but I'm not feeling good. This is a beautiful sunset. Forget this game could be pretty. Um, Yeah, no, like, I definitely worked for me. I'm definitely, like, way more conscious about that stuff. And I think people in general kind of are. Which is great. That's great news. So, like, it wasn't, like, fucked up of your mom to send you to school when you were sick, but I feel like they wouldn't do that, like, nowadays, because I think we're a lot more aware of that now. Let me just check what I got, just like a reminder to myself. Looks good. I don't think saying, like, we're up to speed, but, like, we're, we're getting pretty close. I don't think I have a common blue ball yet, though. Don't think I do. Nice. If that got scared away, I would have been really mad. Been more weary due to the fact that my nephew's in my house five of seven days? Yeah, and the fact that, like, what if you go to school with, like, a kid that's, like, you know, immunocompromised? Then you're gonna feel, like, really bad if you end up sending him to the hospital because you gave him the flu. I think people don't take it as, like, a pride thing. Or at least, like, again, sensible people. People aren't, like, taking it as a pride thing to, like, go to work sick anymore. They're taking it as, like, a... Well, if they do it, then they're like, I don't know. I think it was like a pride thing. You know, you know what I mean? Dag hydrate? Calm down. I think it was more of a pride thing. Like, yeah, I'm sick today, but I still went to work anyway because I'm a tough guy. I hope that people have been pushing aside that tough guy allure to realize that it's kind of like good to not go to work when you're sick or school when you're sick, you know? I, I, I definitely have, although I never really took pride in it, because I don't really take pride in anything I do, because, yeah, I have, like, issues. Oh, look at him. Oh, and he just disappears. All right, well, I'll hang out till fireflies start to spawn. I've watched you fly your paper wings halfway around the world until they... <clears throat> I'm immunocompromised, and people don't care. I care. <laughs> Like, if I was sneezing, if I was sneezing Steven, I wouldn't be around you. I'd say, hey, uh, nah, uh-uh, no way, no way, Jose. Uh, you. Thank you, Dag. Oh, you're welcome. What's up, Thundergun? How are you doing? I never took a sick day until recently. Terrified my employer would sack me. Um, look, I know that employers aren't exactly the bastion of following the rules, but I'm pretty sure they can't sack you for taking a sick day. 
if you bring in like a doctor's note and everything trust me when i say i see all these like horror stories of like people on reddit the anti-work subreddit going on being like i got sacked for taking like a sick day i like i know it can happen but like I don't think that's too common, right? I know, but like, it's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. If you're an at-will employee, they just won't tell you it's because of a sick day. Yeah, that's true. Also, like, you don't need to tell them you're sick as well. Like, if you have, like, a personal day and you say, I'm taking a personal day today or I'm taking a vacation day today, really, they don't really ask questions further oh shoo weesh that's a huge find not to mention i found it without it stinging me which is kind of cool and by kind of cool i mean like i'm kind of like don't go in the little fucking water please here here get 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 your attention on me please get your attention on me good i was afraid he's gonna go into the water i'm gonna be like of course super careful about catching it i'm, I'm not gonna like test it Okay, good. Whew. Goody. You guys think I'd be the kind of guy to say like, oh, goody. And like do that. Have you restarted yet? Yeah. I say some shit like, oh, goody. And like clap my little fingers together or my hands. I would do that. It is a good reminder that Scorpion though, that like whenever you have your net out, you always got to be careful. All right. Fireflies, 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 fireflies. I think it is possible to scare away fireflies, so, like, be careful, I guess. Make sure that when I'm crossing the river here, crossing the River Kwai, it's not the River Kwai, that's a historic river, that I'm not scaring away any fireflies while I do so. Just, I, 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 it's so sad that I have to sneak up on fireflies, of all things. Alright, that's good, though, we got that done. Okie dokie. Fireflies. Centipede and Firefly, we already got them. Upgrade nets at DIY table, we already did. Drop extra stuff. Oh, 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 right, 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 right. Now Tom Nook is going to want us to do some shit for him. Yeah, 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 let's do that. Okay. We're good. As a society, we don't say fiddlesticks enough. That's actually really true. People are so quick to say the dreaded infernal F word. You know the one. No, 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 the other one. No, like, the other one. Like, fuck. We're all so quick to say fuck. But I bet if I, like... Maybe even just, like, one-fifth of the times that I say fuck, I said fiddlesticks instead. I bet, like, people would, like, find that, like, really funny. I guess I gotta get the shop actually built, huh? Before I can actually start helping Tom. Fire truck. I bet you, if I said fiddlesticks every time instead of saying fuck, I bet people would, like, like, half people think I'm, like, really weird, and I'm, like, anti-swearing for some reason. Half the people would be like, that's funny, you said fiddlesticks instead of fuck. That'd be kind of funny, right? I don't know. Life would be much more interesting, yeah, definitely. Fuck is such a classic? Yeah, but, like, fiddlesticks. Or fart. Or Jiminy Crickets. Shucks. Rats. I love rats. I love saying rats. And I like, I like, I go like this and I like stomp in the ground. Steam's coming out of my ears and I'm like the old drat. Rats. You stub your toe and yell, Fiddle dee dee. That will require a tetanus shot. I'm a heck gal. I'm a hecker. E-Gad. Oh, that's a good one. Gadzooks! Gadzooks! Oh, that's good. I like that. Stub my toe? Gadzooks! E-Gad! Dagnabbit. I like that. I think I'm gonna do that. I have a niece now, and so, like, I'm gonna have to, like, really watch my mouth when I'm around her. Of course, I could swear like a sailor, like, right now. She's, like, a month old. I could go into her ear and be like, fuck, 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 shit, piss. And, like, she wouldn't remember anything. I don't think she remembers nothing. The thing about, like, a one-month-old is, like, they're, like, nothing that they do is deliberate. Like, they don't, they, like, they, they, like, we ever see, like, their eyes? 
I'm learning a lot about kids ever since I had a niece. Like, you ever look at, like, their eyes? They're, like, looking around, like, taking in the world around them. Like, are they? I think they're just, like... I don't think they're, like, have control over themselves, really. Like, when does, like, a kid actually, like, smile for the first time? Because, like, sometimes she'll, like, move her mouth in, like, a smiling manner. But I'm like, you, you can't find anything funny. You don't even know what funny is yet. I don't know. Your sister and a baby doing okay? Yeah. I saw her, uh, yesterday. You don't remember passing through the labia skill issue? No, not me personally. I remember reading like a article one time about a lady who could allegedly remember like being born. And I'm like, I don't think you can because like, I don't think you're making memories that young. I don't think you're making memories that young. You're not like conscious at that age. And also, I don't want to remember that. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't want to remember that. You're, like, not even, like, consciously smiling, like, shitting, pissing. That all just, like, happens, you know? Your brain ain't done cooking. No, not at all. I mean, your brain ain't done cooking until you're 25, is what they say, anyway. Some of you are a little older. Those are Maya Hooten. There's a four-year-old at Thanksgiving kept saying fuck? Well, okay, that's, like... Look, that's funny if it happens, like, once, but if, like, they're gonna grow up and they're gonna start saying that shit in, like, kindergarten, then that's gonna be a problem. They should probably get told that that's not okay. Like, it's funny, like, once or twice. Like, when a kid says fuck, but, like, maybe, there gets to be a point, maybe. What should I do? Yeah. My two-year-old niece calls everyone a bitch. Okay. That's funny. But, like, make sure that they, like, stop at some point, is what I'm trying to say. That's really funny right now. Make sure that they stop. It's, it's, it's your niece, though, so it's, like, it's not in your control. But, like, you know, make sure that, like, they should stop at some point, right? Like, I don't know, am I, like, fucked up to say, like, yeah, that's funny, but, like, maybe, like, you know, try to, like, make them not do that. I don't know, am I, like, not funny? Am, am I, like, lame for saying that? I don't know. The awkwardness when you don't want to laugh to encourage the language, but it's also funny to hear the words coming from tiny mouths. It's like, I don't know. I feel like it's the parents' fault for, like, using those words so liberally around them. You know? Hey, Thundergun, thanks for the gift sub. So, let's Lala. Uh, let's Lala. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thanks, Thundergun. Appreciate it. I don't know. Maybe I'm the no-fun police. And even my kids, so I don't really... I, I don't really mind. They'll turn out bratty if you don't tell them to stop. Yeah, there's a lot of kids, and now adults, and now old people. And I mean, the fuck, this has been going on for generations, too. Like, honestly. Of, like, people that didn't get told no enough when they were a kid. There is a lot of people out there that did not get told no enough as a kid. You know what I mean? It's, it's a good thing to, like, be told. It's a really good thing to be told. I still don't curse around my parents, and I'm grown. I get it. It's, like, sort of, like, there's definitely some things, like, I'm more hesitant to say to, like, my parents than I would be to, like, my Twitch chat, which is kind of weird. Thanks for the latest Minecraft video. Love this series. Thanks. I appreciate that. Thanks, Snacks Pain, for the 10 months. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy it. It's for people like you. It's... The public broadcasting station is brought to you in part from people like you. Thank you. You ever remember that? Watching Arthur, you hear that, and you're like, oh, goody. Even though they're talking about, like, people who donate, not me. Well, it does say viewers like you, so I guess really the criteria of being thanked is just being a viewer. Not necessarily funding the public broadcasting station, but like, you know, like, it made you feel good, right? Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's probably about where I want it. Please don't crush this tree. Okay, good. They just got handed an iPad so they can shut up. Yeah, like, I mean, the iPad kids are like kind of growing up now, right? Like, they're, they might even be in this Twitch chat. 
but I mean, that's still a little bit down the line, I think. But there's been, for many, many, many generations, kids that just didn't get told no enough. And so, like, when they get told no as an adult, they're like, what? <laughs> they take it as, like, a personal attack on them, you know? They take it as a personal attack, when in reality, that's, that's fucking life, kid, you know? Alright, we got the bridge built. Gather more iron, water flowers, we don't need to. Make bridge, right, we don't need the clay anymore, now that we got the bridge built, so we're good on that, we can drop that. Drop it. Boom, 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 I heard a dubstep song the other day, it like really brought me back. I didn't like dubstep, I liked a couple, but like, I don't know, it sort of brought me back. Turn all flimsy axes into iron axes. I already did. Gather more iron. Make a bridge. Time travel to August Sunday at 9 a.m. After placing the bridge. Right. Buy turnips and split stacks and drop... Okay, right. I gotta go to a Sunday morning now. Okie dokie. Okay. Right. Let's do that. Do we need that butterfly? Nope. I already got that. It's a Monday at 9 a.m. I'm gonna... Hang on. Let me check that 8... What's a Sunday in August at 9 a.m. in the year 2023? August 25th, 2023 was a... Uh, oh, it's National Banana Split Day. Oh, it's a Friday. Okay, so Saturday, Sunday. And then a.m. Yeah, good. Happy National Banana Split Day, everyone. Honestly, look at the times and everyone's looking at their phones. It's scary, really. We've been consumed by technology these days. Yeah, I mean, like, it does sound like a boomer cartoon, doesn't it? But, like, I don't know. It, it, I think about it sometimes. And I'm guilty of it myself. It, really, I have... You want to know my red flag? You want to know my red flag? I, like, make fun of people for being on their phones and iPads, like, a lot. But then I, like, go on my computer and do the same thing. I'm like, yeah, I'm on the computer too much. But at least it's not those confounded phones and iPads. That's my toxic trait. I, I, I like, clown on how others are always on their phones sometimes. And then I am, like, the same thing, but just with my computer instead. Hey, what can I say? I'm a hypocrite, okay? I'm a bit of a hypocrite. But yeah, I think we're all hypocrites sometimes, in some regards, you know? I'm fully addicted to my phone. Yeah, and like, I can't watch, like, I can't, like, eat food without having a fucking YouTube video on anymore. We're all fucked up. It's almost like it's impossible to not be reliant on some form of technology these days because our lives just revolve around it. I'm getting addicted to Google Plus, man. I got Uvu addiction. Saying that while watching on my iPad. I mean, you're all watching this on something. Y'all gotta be watching it on something. I'm not saying that makes you addicted. I'm just saying it would be a little rich for you to say, Ah, oh, well, these kids are using their iPads too much. Ah, Locust. Oh, these can be so, so easily scared away. So dainty and tiny. Don't go anywhere. Don't even think about it. Me watching on my TV? Uh -huh. Not me. Uh -huh. Watching on my TV? Uh -huh. Silly. Uh -huh. Goofy. No, I get it. Alright, we gotta buy turnips. I also hear cicadas. That's a robust cicada. We have a lot of cicadas on trees now. We gotta be very careful. Because anything on trees can be scared away very easily. I gotta pee. Um... But I gotta, like, go inside so that, like, um... Oh, nice, he has a trash can out here. I think I can actually use that trash can. I'm gonna go inside so I don't, like, scare away a bug by proxy by just, like, standing outside. Alright, I'm gonna use the bathroom. Don't go anywhere. I'm gonna run some ads while I'm gone. And, uh, yeah, be right back. Knock, knock. Who's there? Little old lady. Little old lady who? Aha, nice yodeling. Oh, that's pretty funny, actually. I feel like, I think I've heard that one before, but that's actually pretty funny. Now, if I have a... No, 
Remember when someone earlier asked me, hey, tell me a joke, funny boy, and I couldn't think of one? Well, now I got one. You little old lady. It's funny. See, I'm laughing. I'm smiling. It means it's funny. Okay. Uh, let's go. Uh, ads are done? Alright, very good. I'm still mad. I did and you didn't. Well, hey, knock knock. I got like eye boogers, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm a fucking booger berry. I'm sorry, I'm exposed. I got fucking eye boogers. I'm sorry, I'm human, alright? Fucking don't cancel me. Too late? Well, then you didn't want to have fun in the first place. You, you, you okay, you're being closed-minded right now. I'm sorry, I have eye boogers. I'm so sorry. I, I'm, cancel me. I don't care. I don't care. I'm immune. Okie dokie. We gotta buy turnips. We gotta find old Daisy May. I gotta find old Daisy. Uh, Daisy? Wait, did that bridge get built because I time-traveled backwards? I bet it didn't, son of a bitch. I think it didn't. Also, what is that? Is that grasshopper right here? I can't tell the noises of bugs. Wait, that's a migratory locust. It's kind of huge, actually. Oh, it did get built. Nice. Good. These things can so easily jump into the fucking water. Is that a grasshopper? Yeah, it is a grasshopper. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. Why did I apologize? It's a grasshopper. Migratory locusts are devilish in regards to, like, uh, committing Suicune. By jumping into the water. They're devilish. What should I have for breakfast? Toast and Marmite. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, only if you want to drink like five cups of water. Isn't Marmite like, like super salty shit? No, I'm thinking Vegemite. But I think they're like very similar, right? Vegemite, Marmite. They're like... How much fucking salt can you pack into a spread? Essentially. Termites, I don't think those are related, but I wouldn't want to eat them. I might even prefer to eat those over Vegemite from the way people describe it. Isn't that like, let me make a spread for toast, like a, like a jam sort of thing. And like, let me put a little salt in there. Oh, salt cap came off. Well, fuck it, send it. Who cares? They needed to like turn in like an assignment for culinary school. They're like, I made a new spread. You can put it on like your toast and shit. And it's kind of like a savory spread. What you do is you just put a little yeah, salt cap came off. Oh shit. I gotta like turn this in in like 10 minutes. And so they just sent it. They're like, ah, fuck, whatever. It's like fucked up. There's a tweet one time that was like, culinary students are so funny. They'd be like, I have a spaghetti due at 11.59. And I'm like, yeah, that is pretty funny actually. Good tweet. Come here. Literally? Yeah, like, it's kind of gross. I don't think I have... I, I might be able to find it in, like, the foreign food section of Wegmans, but I don't think I want to try Vegemite. I don't think I want to. I, I really... That doesn't sound... It doesn't sound good from what people describe it as. Where the fuck is Daisy? Daisy! Hi, I'm Daisy! You guys like my Daisy impression? $5 donation if you hate my Daisy impression... Uh, five gifted subs if you love my Daisy impression. If you are indifferent, then a 500 bits, please. Let's, let's show, let's, let's, let's get some votes. Okay, I don't need that. No, Vegemite is awful, don't do it. Well, you're only making me want to do it more. Because I want to, I, I like to back up my shit talk with, like, knowledge, right? Ah, oh, shit, I gotta release something. I like to back up my shit talk with, like, knowledge. I want to tell you why Vegemite is shit. I want to tell you why Marmite is shit. I don't want to be like, oh, I hear down the grapevine that Vegemite sucks ass. I want to be able to, like, eat it and spit it out and tell you why exactly it's dog shit. I want to. No, don't tell me. I'll donate five gift subs if you try Vegemite on your next stream. I'm probably not making a trip to the grocery store in between my, this stream and next, but... 108? Girl, you're killing me. You are killing me. Fucking 3200 for this shit. What the fuck, man? Are you kidding me? Go to hell. No, I'm probably not going to the grocery store in between now and next stream. But, and I don't even know if I would have it there because it's not really something you see it. It's not really something you see. 
But like I, you say DoorDash again. I, I don't know if I have it though. Is the thing. I don't know if I have it. All right, so we're gonna drop. We're gonna drop. Um. We're going to drop two turnips on like different sides of the island. Oh, I really shouldn't have put my bridge here, man. Having to, like, come down the bridge and, like, walk down on these trees and, like, hope that there's nothing there. Oh, that's so stressful. I really shouldn't have put the bridge there. That was a big mistake. All right, I'm going to put, um, stink bug. I don't need a stink bug. I was so tempted to go over there and scare it away. Dangerous. Scary. Um, I'm going to drop one turnip on one side, one turnip on the other side. What's up, McMuffin? You try to convince yourself you don't need to go shopping, too. You try to convince yourself you don't need to go shopping. Bro, I literally went shopping yesterday. I don't need to go shopping again. Ah, don't go into the fucking water. I will shit my pants, like, on the spot. There will be a big old damn dookie in my pants if you jump into the fucking river. It was a E-train. Have you thought to try to get all the fake art? That's kind of silly. I've already gotten all the real art. Uh, hang on, I gotta split the stacks. Amazon order Vegemite. No, okay? I'm not doing that. I'm not Amazon ordering Vegemite, alright? Unless you guys want to offer up Amazon ordering Vegemite money, alright? Drop. Here. Which, like, it can't be that expensive, but, like, I just don't want to. Does that make sense? I just don't want to. I, if I see it at the grocery store, I might, might, if it's not too expensive. We probably have to import it, so it's probably, like, a little expensive. I might, might consider, might consider getting it. Eh, eh, eh. Maybe. But just to try it. Like, as a joke. Alright, um... I mean, like, yeah, I, I, before you, you just stand around, I gotta get inside. I'm panicking. Like, every second that I'm outside, I'm panicking. Just like real life. Alright. Split stacks and drop spread out. Upgrade nets, water, flowers, pick up medicine. No, I'm not doing that, because I don't need to do that. Get plots and place... Right, right, I gotta get the plots now. Right, 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 right. Okay, let's do that. I told you YouTube content lately. I was curious to know what ACNH video challenge took you the longest to complete. Yeah, probably the full museum speedrun. I, 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 yeah, I guess. What should I do? 10 gift subs if you do it next stream. Oh, I don't have room. Uh, can I eat a bug? I need to eat one of these bugs. I can't. You're not allowed to eat bugs in the game. Which is really, really fucked up. A lot of people eat bugs. Yeah, probably, like, the full museum speedrun. Like, by... Not only, like, the length that it took me to complete, which was 61 hours, but also... I already got a tiger beetle. Also, um, the editing took me, like, almost a month, probably. But I also work at the pace of, like... Dude, I need to get fucked up! I need to get fucked up, man! Or somebody needs to, like, punch me in the head, straighten my brain out. Because that is not a month worth of editing. I'm actually just so poor at, like, maintaining focus on anything that, like, it takes me a month to edit something like that. It's ridiculous, man. Do you think it feels silly when the bugs wiggle around in your mouth? Yeah, it's kind of, like, goofy. Like, ah, oh, wow, that's gonna be fucked up. Yeah, no, you're right. Dag, do you have ADHD? I, I've never been diagnosed, but I, like, pretty sure I do. <laughs> because, like, oh, I'm just, like, bouncing off the walls. I'm so silly. Uh, giraffe! <laughs> Am I right? Uh, that's what ADHD is, right? Uh, guys, why doesn't anyone love me? Uh, Barney! <laughs> that's what ADHD is, right? Uh, you just start, like, saying random words, <laughs> right? <laughs> I need to put these houses down. I think I have COVID. Yeah, all the villager interiors took a while, too. Yeah, I mean, I could probably scoot- I could probably squimmy one in here, right? 
Yeah, look at that. Look at that! Hey, who buzzed me? That's one of them phone buzzes where it's like, it's important. Yeah. Oh, somebody uh, offered one of my eBay things. I got an offer for something on eBay. Imagine if they added a romance element to AC and H, like all the other farming games. Um, well, it's animals. So, like, kind of strange. Yeah, I don't know. I never got ADHD diagnosis, but, like, I mean, I think I know myself. I know that, like, the dangers of self-diagnosing, because everyone thinks that they have everything anymore, because all these TikTok therapists, psychiatrists, whatever, try to convince them that they have every disease under the, you know, usually mental disease, like, under the planet. But, like, no, I'm pretty sure I know myself, like, well enough to say that, like, I got something going on that's wrong. I got something wrong upstairs, you know what I mean? What are you getting on eBay? Oh no, somebody bought something from me on eBay. How many hours do you have in Animal Crossing? I don't know, I haven't checked in a minute. Um, oh, I need that. I need that. Can you shut up? I need that. Like, I I, I, I need that dragonfly. Hi, like, I, okay, it's gone. Alright, cool. I mean, it's not scared away, it still exists, but like... I guess it's just gone. Um... I don't know, I probably have like... I don't know, I guess like two, three hundred. I don't know, should I check? What do you sell then? Hey! Chill out. I could tell you my whole business here. I don't know, I'm probably against like two, three hundred. I don't know, I haven't checked in like a while. Probably like a couple years, maybe. I don't think I don't think I've checked in like a couple years. I'm gonna guess though, my hours on AC. Probably like two, three, probably no more than 400. Probably no more than like 400. What? 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 No way. That's, dude, there's no way. Dude, there's no way, man. Somebody must have been playing on my shit. There's no way I put 1,700 hours into this. What? That's fucked up. That, that's fucked up. That's crazy. I couldn't see that coming. Oh, yuck. Um. Alright. It's, it's... Oh, oh, I gotta catch you because you're gonna jump in the water. Don't even think about it. Oh, yoy, yoy, yoy. Oy, yoy, yoy. Probably your niece? Dude, what's fucked up? I didn't even think my niece has been alive for 1700 hours. Hang on. 17. 1745 hours to days. Bro, she ain't even been alive 1700 hours. She's like a month old. That's 72 days. She ain't even been alive that long. That's fucked up. Boy, they. Alright. Well, house plots are down. I can make the ladder now. And then I can go and chop every tree that... Ooh, I see that orchid manis. I can go and chop every gosh darn tree up there that I have. These things can be kind of touchy. They can be kind of touchy. But we're good. Maybe it includes time travel. Oh no, I, I definitely have legitimately sunk 1700 hours into this game. No, like I, I know. I, I know. I, there's no like, there's nothing. No, I, I know that I've sunk 17... It's, it's, it's my job. It's my career. For fuck's sake, I hope I sunk 1700 hours into it, for goodness sakes. I'm like, I really, like, I owe it to myself to have sunk 1700 hours into this game. It's my damn career. I better have. My Steam account is older than her. That's not that impressive. She's only a month. My Steam account's probably older than some of you. No, I made mine in, like, 2011. Nah, I can't. I mean, if it is older than you, then you shouldn't be in my stream. Uh, okay. 
Which, that's not that old. Steam came out in like, 03 or something like that. Step 2, Denial. No, that's not, my name's Daniel. You've been playing this game double her life. Well, you know what's funny about that is that she'll, like, eventually be alive longer than I've played this game. In fact, it'll probably only be, like, a couple more months before she'll be, like, older than I have played this game. Kids, like, walk at, like, four, right? Kids walk at, like, four. So, by the time she's walking, she'll have, like, yeah. And they talk at, like, three. I think they talk before they walk. No? What? No. LMAO? Dude, they're definitely walking at four. I've seen plenty of four-year-olds walking. I didn't say that they start walking at four. I said that they're walking at four. That's super late? Well, you're super late to understanding the joke. Alright, I didn't say that they start walking at four. I just said that they're walking. You guys assuming things. You guys, you guys just automatically default to, oh, he said something stupid. Let me correct them. No, I actually said something really intelligent and correct. Give me that ladder. I actually said something completely correct, and you guys still feel the need to correct me. Quit gaslighting us? Dude, what I said, find anything that I said that was wrong there. You can't. It's impossible. I'm not gaslighting nothing. Alright, um... Yeah, okay. We're gonna chop down every tree that we have, except those in our grove. I'm gonna go through and get rid of the flowers first, though, because the last thing I want to do is chop down a tree to scare away a bug on a flower that I, like, just didn't see. So, you know what? I'm getting rid of the flowers first. I think we're good to get rid of all the flowers on the second and third layer, not the ones around where I, where I like, have the chop and shit, but everything else, yeah, we can get rid of. So, like, you know, I gotta run through everything in my head before I do it. And then make sure that we time travel only backwards from here on out so that we don't regrow the flowers is important as well. And then I have to go through and I'm gonna shake every single one of these trees, make sure it doesn't have fucking bees in it before I um, chop it down. And then, yeah. Alright, look, it's probably fine. Grasshopper, we're not near water, so I'm not too worried about that grasshopper. Tiger butterfly, they can't scare him away. Dude, just get away. Just get away, you big stupid animal. Alright, just get away. Just go away. Ignore ignore the fact that I exist, really. I hear a cicada. I don't think it's accessible on this level. It's not, so it's fine. I'm, like, so fucking stressed out right now. I'm so stressed. Like, I, I just have to, like, account for, like, everything going on around me. I have, like, 5,000 just noises in my ear. Like, if you were a bug, you'd be a stink bug. <laughs> That's really funny. You want to consider, like, rewording that so that you can, like, n avoid jail time? Do you want to consider, like, maybe calling me something a little bit nicer before I send you to the, like, fucking slammer? To the Dagnall County Jail? Because that's really funny, except, like, you insulted me. And so I think that that's, like, a timeout. Alright, let's drop all these flowers. I'll send you the slammer. That's what, In fact, that's what I should do. Every time I, like, time someone out, I should say, like, uh, I'm gonna taking you downtown, buster. You think I should say some shit like that? Say some shit like, you're going to the Dagnall County slammer. Or some shit like that. I think that'd be kind of funny. Oh my fucking god! I fogged up my fucking glasses. <sighs> I fucking knew I was going to do that as well. I knew that I was going to fucking... Uh, <clears throat> I shouldn't have been so fucking bold. I shouldn't have been so bold. I knew of running the risk of doing that. Every time you pole vault down a river, you always run the risk of fucking seeing a bug on a tree that you didn't see. <sighs> Goodbye.
Well, we uh, we go again, I guess. I guess we go again. I have to do all that again. <laughs> Fiddlesticks. Turn away, never mind. Please don't drown yourself. I was just having a little sippy. I was just having a little sippy, man. Can't just have a little sippy? I can't fucking, like, I already am so restricted in what I can do. I can't, like, run and, like, fucking exist without scaring a bug away. I can't take a little sippy now without being scrutinized. I just want to have a little sippy, man. Oh, I forgot to change the fucking stupid ass time. Whatever. I forgot to change the time. <sighs> okay, I guess I'll have to go back here and do this, this, and go back to like 4, like fucking 10 in the morning. 412, whatever, who cares? I don't care. 412, I like blaze it. Ha, ee, ooh, ee, ha, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. I don't care. I, I don't care. Probably leave for 30 minutes and you restart. Well, don't leave next time then. Uh, sounds like uh, lesson learned. <clears throat> like, kind of... So what you're saying is it's your fault. So what you're saying is it's your fault. Bro, I leave for 30 minutes and you restart. So you're taking responsibility for it then. So, like, it's your fault. Everyone spitball them. Four is your lucky number from now on, right? Um, no, you know what my lucky number is? Two. Two. If someone asked me, like, if you guys, if you were on a sports team, which is rich, all right, for you guys, but if you were on a sports team, what number would you choose? Like, what number would you wear on your jersey? Mine would be two. Always two. If I can't have two, I'll have seven. If I can't have seven or two, I'll have 72. If I can't have 72, I'll have 27. If I can't have 27, I execute myself on the spot. I, I will actually just say, no, I'm trade me. Trade me with a team that I can have two. 69. Yeah, you're really funny. I was 34. What sport did you play? I'm like trying to soul read you right now. Lacrosse. Mine is eight because it looks like a snowman. It actually kind of fucked up. It does look like a snowman. Lacrosse. Yeah, you must have said because I like I don't know why my like brain pulled that out. L A X. He's back, bitches. Well, it's just two times two, and it's also two plus two. So two is just the ult. Four is just the ultimate two. Therefore, this is the attempt. Ah, hang on. Two to the power of two is four. My fucking foot itches. I always forget lacrosse is a real sport. Dude, you can't say lacrosse. What? What do you mean? That's, like, that's gotta be one of the most, like, physically demanding sports out there. Dude, you're, like, running up and down a field, whipping a fucking ball around with a net. That's gotta be, like, one of the, like, that's gotta, that's, like, that's, like, one of the most sporty sports out there. That's one of the most sportiest sports. This one looks nice. That's nice. That's one of the most sportiest sports. I had to get an inhaler for that shit. But like, get, hook me up to the oxygen machine on the sidelines, man. <clears throat> I'm from the Midwest. Nobody really plays it here. Hang on. One second. Top lacrosse schools. We got like Syracuse. D-men's lacrosse rankings. 
Duke, Virginia, Johns Hopkins, Georgetown, Penn State, Maryland, Cornell, Michigan, Denver, Yale, Penn, Utah, Army West Point, North Carolina, Rutgers, Princeton, Villanova, Bryant, you. Got a few of those are in the Midwest. In fact, I know a few of them are in the Midwest. All right. Yeah, here. A Z snap in your general direction. You mentioned Michigan. Michigan mentioned, let's fucking go! What do you mean, Michigan? I can barely tell you what lacrosse is. Dude, it ain't me! It's coming from the NCAA website. Alright? It ain't me. I ain't pulling this out of my fucking hiney. I'm fucking reading a website. What's up, Mia? How you doing? What sports did y'all play? I was a big baseball kid. I was a baseball kid. I played, like, up to high school. Nah, you're a liar. Alright. I'm gonna take you to the Diagonal County Slammer, you keep talking like that. I heard you hit people with sticks in lacrosse. No, you don't. I don't think I could support a lacrosse appreciator. Alright, well maybe I don't want you here then. I played tennis, dance? Yeah, dance counts. Junior varsity basketball? Dude, you ain't even on the varsity team. I did fencing? That's kind of cool. Saxophone? Alright, that's a stretch. Goat yoga. Also a stretch. Literally. I played badminton. Oh, I fucking love badminton. Badminton's a good one. Hey, where's the, um... Hey, where's the, um... There you are. What if I got him, like, behind and, like... Like, on the butt cheeks. That's a little, like, menacing. I was five foot five. Give me a break. You were so implying like you're taller now. Oh, I have no sympathy for you as someone who's five foot six. I don't. I, I don't have any sympathy for you. And also. And, and also. Oh fuck, dude! Quit making up words. Taekwondo, and also Taekwondo, and also. Take one do? Take one do. Take one do. I've never heard of that before. Take one do. You pronounce it better than my ant. Okay. Take 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 one do is a kick focused marital marital art that you have to be married to someone. Oh, okay. So, like, you do it with, like, your partner. OMG, not this bit again. There's not a bit. The only bits in this stream should be going into my bank account. Dude, I'm just fucking... I'm sorry. I, I don't know. Not English words. I'm sorry. I only speak English. That sounds awesome. Do you kick each other? I, my ex-wife did that. Dude! Sounds like she'd love Taekwondo, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, you kick your spouse's ass all over the globe. Well, I assume they're kicking your ass too, right? It's really, it's like a consensual ass kicking amongst two lovers. Yeah, that's good. It, I don't fear that my tent will slip into the river. My wife stays with me for Taekwondo. Oh, okay, that's kind of cute. I'm so fucking sick. I'm sorry. I was gonna say something terrible. I am just. Never mind. I'm not. I wanna fuck it. Never mind. I'm not. I, I'm done. I'm not. I, I'm not even. I, I, I'm, not, I'm done. Hey, Muffy. Chat, don't tell her. Muffy kind of cute. Let the beast unleash? No. No, they're not ready. They're not ready. They, you want to shoddy want to be a demon? That's her problem. Uh, looks good to me. Hidden Valley Ranch ice cream cake in Mafranto leaf. Do you finish the same challenge but with fish or you quit that? I quit that because it's stupid. I might go back to it at some point though. It doesn't count, just say it. Go ahead and just say it. No, I'm not going to say it. Guys, you have to understand. 
I'm not under your rule. I'm not under your spell, all right? Hey, Lyman, you want to choose a fucking place that's not directly next to a fucking bug? I better not scare him away because of this. He says chips? No, I'm not going to say it. I'm not at your will where I can just, like, do everything you guys tell me to do, all right? If I don't want to do something, I don't have to do it. The bug is gone. But, like, it's okay, right? It might still be there, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's still there. It's still it's still chirping. It's good. Don't scare the... I'm not scaring the bug, because it fades away, and it's gone. Ow! Ow! Fuck! Why that hurt? I've clapped 100 million times in my life, and have never hurt myself doing it. Why did I do that? Why did you bug- why bug- what bug did you scare last time? That was a Mayama stag, I think, that was just sitting on a tree, and I fucking pole vaulted right next to the tree, scared it away. Before I could even react. Well, I guess I could have reacted before making the stupid decision to do that, even though it wasn't really that stupid, because it's something you do like 100,000 times per save file, and like, it's just kind of something you mindlessly do. I mean, this whole challenge is like, trying to not to like mindlessly scare away a bug doing something that you would normally do like a hundred million times in like a normal playthrough so which is why you have to play it so like carefully and cautiously and it's like fucking annoying but all my challenges are annoying i'm like the guy that does like annoying shit because i like i don't know people like it masochists dag is the jester and we're all monarchs asking for our little jig well no because like the jester would get sent to like the fucking gallows if they didn't listen to them. I cannot listen to you guys, and the worst that you can do is be like, ah, oh, I'm not fucking watching this guy no more. I'm not getting sent to the freaking guillotine because I decide not to do a little dance for you. Also, that's a fucked up way to view streamers, that I'm just like your little jester and not deserving of your, like, support. Alright? Can I just say, if you think that, like, the jester deserves no, like, support... I'm pretty sure, historically, jesters were very well taken care of by monarchs, alright? Actually, I'm pretty sure, like, monarchs had, like, jesters in, like, very high... Like, very, like, high... Like... Uh, like, I guess, regard, I guess you would just say. They held jesters in very high regards. Pretty sure jesters were very well respected. Yeah, they, like, tell a joke and stuff like that, but, like, they people need those kinds of people, you know? You gotta hand it to them. Exactly. They were very respected historically. Yo, I made a really funny tweet one time. It didn't do numbers, and I really feel like it deserved it. It was a... It, I, it was a... Okay. No, it, like, explaining it, it's gonna make it not funny, because I'm like, oh, please, guys, find it funny. No, it, like, it's kind of sad and pathetic. But, like, no, seriously, I made a tweet one time, and I thought it was going to be, like, I thought it was going to do numbers, but my followers are obviously not in tune with my sense of humor. It was, like, somebody asked this guy, fuck, Mary kill, back in the 15th century, and he just said, yes. And it was a picture of King Henry VIII. Because he fucked, he married many times, and he killed after he married. I thought it was pretty funny. I was like, oh, the history buffs are going to love this one. You don't even need to be a history buff to know what that guy was fucking up to. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. And, like, that one, like, I don't know. I don't want to seem like, you know, 50 likes is something to sneeze at. But, like, I was expecting, like, I was kind of hoping for some numbers on that one. I was kind of hoping for some numbers on that one, man. I was a little bit miffed, quite frankly. Where's my last rock? There it is. I was quite miffed, actually. I, I really, I thought that, that I thought that, that was it. I thought that's that's what but that's what's busted me into the mainstream. I thought that was it. Facebook mom meme in the best way possible. I will break your skull. I will actually like take a piece of floss, shove it in one ear, come out the other, and I'll floss your brain, stupid. I'm gonna yoink you. Good joke, Mr. Streamer. Thanks. I, I thought that was pretty good. Along with the, um... You know the boys at the Begging Strips Dog Food Factory be sneaking some samples off the line because I like them. That one's pretty good, too. What would I have to do to let me come over to your island right now? Um, 
It's literally impossible. Sorry. Like, don't take this personally. You're not, like, coming onto my island. But, like, nobody is. So, like, no. Forget it. Good morning, your local monkey. Is Monkey Monday? Show me that monkey. It's funny how many times you've done the tutorial beginning bit, and I've only done it once. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, that is kind of crazy. I'm, like, psychotic. If somebody's, like, looking in on me right now, they, they think I'm crazy. How's it going? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I had strawberry-flavored butter yesterday. Okay. Alright. Acknowledged. So this is four. Fuck! Buffberg. Awesome beach! My weird flex is still playing on my March 20, 2020 save file. Yeah, I still got my original island too. Still got my original island. I just woke up and found out I have tennis in 10 minutes. Right. That's my thinking process, too. Fuck, I just woke up and I gotta do something in 10 minutes. Better go tell a Twitch chat. Yeah. That's my logic, too. That's exactly what goes on in my brain. Or is my favorite number? Okay. Let's, all right, let's do it, then. Because, by golly, now that you said that, I think that this is gonna be the attempt. I think that this is gonna be the one. Let's fucking go. I think that this is it. Now that you said that, it like, instilled me with a sense of motivation that I don't think I had before. Alright, let's fucking do it. Let's go. I, I'm actually, like, I'm fucking hyped this time. I'm fucking ready to go. I'm fucking ready to go. I feel like I'm on drugs now. I feel like I just took, like, a shit ton of drugs. What's the furthest you made it? My last attempt, where I got to the fucking, like, built the shop and, like, fucking built the housing plots, had the ladder. I was cleaning up the fucking islands to try to optimize bug spawning and fucking scared away a freaking tree bug. Annoying. Alright, let's fucking go. Maybe I'll do that. I got, I, I fucking... <clears throat> I'm not gonna say I got, like, halfway, but, like... Not, I mean, not halfway as far as, like, the Critterpedia, but, like, I got a pretty good ways. I got a pretty good ways. Oh, I'm out of here. Ah, oh, that felt so good. Alright. I'm going to pub trivia tonight. G guys, hit me with some trivia questions so I can warm up. Hit me with, like, like genuinely. I want, I want to, like, hear some trivia questions. I want to like I want I want to like be warmed up. There's a picture of, out there of me with Best Buy pre-order bell bag bonus and a middle finger the day it released. Dude, a middle finger? That's the most dreaded finger. Y'all ever hear like this means the middle finger in China? Y'all ever hear that? What's the capital of North Dakota? It's Fargo's too easy. Is it? Is it just Fargo? Are you in the U.S.? Yeah, but that's a shitty trivia question. That was easy. Is it Fargo? What's the highest grossing movie of all time adjusted for inflation? You think I'm gonna say fucking Titanic? Avatar? It's a wonderful life. It's a wonderful life. Mmm, you thought you had me. You thought he's not gonna get It's a Wonderful Life. He's gonna say some shit like... Avatar. Titanic. Nope. Wonderful life. What's the iconic in instrument? A Gone with the Wind. Oh, fuck. You're right, it is Gone with the Wind. I get him confused. Fuck! It is. It's fucking Gone with the Wind. And it is Bismarck, isn't it? Fuck, I'm gonna fail. Dude, I'm terrible. What is regarded as the best movie of all time? Dude, that's insanely subjective. That is not gonna be a trivia question. Which monarch officially made Valentine's Day a holiday in 1537? Was it King Henry VIII? I don't know. I'm trying to think of monarchs, but that's... No, it can't be, right? I don't fucking know. St. Valentine. Oh, right! It was... Oh, it was him. Oh, okay. I'm pretty good then. You should play trivia games to practice a bit. That's actually kind of true. I should play some trivia. But I guess that's kind of what I'm doing by, like, asking you guys. Was that Charlotte? Fuck, it was fucking Gone with the Wind. I'm so mad I didn't get that, because I thought I was so smart. 
fucking but i i think i got a wonderful life because christmas movie whatever i don't care I, I i actually don't care who won the formula one world championship from 2010 to 2013 uh-huh oh i'm gonna get him on that one uh -huh. sebastian vettel what is dr seuss's real name i have no fucking clue i have no fucking clue not a clue Co cop coprostophobia is the fear of what? Poop. Okay, but who won it in ninety eight, ninety nine? Mika Hakkinen. No, like actually, I I don't know. Is it the fear of poop? Fear of constipation. I was pretty close. Okay, I was pretty close. Okay, but like you got you like oh he says poop he thinks he's so funny no no I was pretty close I was pretty close how many boyfriends has Taylor Swift had fuck I twenty five I don't know too many that was actually pretty close I think like context clues like the prefix copra I think means turds right I think that does mean dung. So I'm pretty... That's like what made me think poop. You thought I was just saying poop because I thought it was funny. I'm not. They thought that they could stop a demon. I'm back. Get shorty out of here. She built like a J Electronica verse. No, it was pretty good. What's the number one most popular football team in the US? It's probably the Cowboys. Yeah, because copper light. Exactly. Like the fucking fossil in this game. That's like a fossilized turd. You're right. I think that is how I like knew that. You just connected the wires in my brain. How many teeth does an aardvark have? Uh. Is this one of them trick questions where they like don't have teeth? I'm going to say zero because I think you're tricking me. But I'm going to Google it because I want to know. 20. Oh, that's like a really normal answer. I'm like, oh, you're going to ask, like, how many teeth an aardvark has because it has, like, either a lot or, like, very few. But, like, 20 seems like a really reasonable amount of teeth. What do anteaters eat? Poop. What's the name for the plastic pieces at the end of shoelaces? That's aglets. Oh, Phineas and Ferb, kid. Nope. I did not learn that via Phineas and Ferb. Mm -mm. Phineas and Ferbuary did not teach me that. I, I just knew that. Those are aglets. You know what taught me that? You know what taught me that? Terraria. Terraria taught me that. Terraria taught me that. Oh, my answer said none. Well, now I look stupid. Oh. Well, Google told me 20. When I copy-pasted your comment into Google, it said 20. So, um, okay. I, I guess. I guess we're both wrong, then. Oakley doakley. ba da 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 Yay! Um, I didn't put down my pants and socks. What's the capital of Argentina? Uh, Buenos Aires? I can't think of a single other place in Argentina. I think it was a place, I think it was a San Francisco and it was a Santa Cruz. Whoop. But, whoop. I, I don't think those are the capitals. I'm just gonna guess Buenos Aires. What's the coldest place on Earth? My ass. <laughs> that wasn't funny. Um, no, not your shirt. Not your shirt. I mean, I, it could be your shirt. It's fine. Um, the coldest place on Earth? It's probably, like, some... Like, you want me to say, like, the South Pole, but I know that there's definitely, like, somewhere that's, like, 5,000 feet underground where it gets to, like, minus 1,000 or something like that. I, I just know that there is. Yeah, I guess socks and shoes works. Don't matter. Sure, I'll do him barefoot. What is a metaphobia? Fear of vomiting. I know, because I have it. What's the capital of Kenya? Nairobi. What's the capital of Cuba? Uh, Havana? I don't know what else it could be. Um, okay. Right, got it. Havana, ooh na na. Half of my heart is in Havana, ooh na na. Whoa. How do you know that? Because I don't know. I play a lot of GeoGuessr, and you get Kenya a lot in GeoGuessr, and it's always around Nairobi. What is bibliophobia? Fear of words? I don't know. Eastern Antarctic Plateau. All right, I'll keep that in mind, should that pop up later tonight. 
That far underground should be very high. Yeah, but like, you're not far enough underground to where like the molten layer of like lava below the earth is like warming it up. But you're also like so far away from the sun where like it's not heating it up either. I feel like there's like a middle point in like the crust of the earth where it gets like really fucking cold because the lava doesn't heat it, but the sun doesn't either. You know what I mean? Am I crazy? Like, do I look like a mad scientist right now? Eh, more like the sad scientist. <laughs> Can I get this video to 10,000 likes? Yes, you are correct. Yeah, I, 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 I know. I know. <laughs> I know. Where were fortune cookies invented? The U.S. And we made them seem like they're from China, but they're not. Very American. Even though, like, all the, like, people who work at Chinese restaurants are always very happy to give me fortune cookies. It seems as though that, like, at least... Chinese people living in America seems to have embraced the concept of fortune cookies, because you can't go to a Chinese restaurant without getting them. Who was the first woman to win the Nobel, Nobel Prize? I'm gonna guess Marie Curie. I have no idea. I'm gonna guess Marie Curie, but that's probably not the case at all. What are the names of all the Teletubbies? Oh my god, you're right? Ooh, I'm pretty smart. Um, Poe? I fucking don't know. Tiddlywinks, I think, is one of them. Um, there's Poe, there's Tiddlywinks, there's... I don't fucking know. Inky, Blinky, Winky, and Clyde? No, that's not a fucking Teletubbies. It's the damn ghosts from Pac-Man and Mrs. Pac-Man. And really all the Pac-Man. Alright? Dipsy? There ain't no fucking Dipsy, man. Get the fuck out of here. I was a fucking Teletubby for, like, preschool Halloween. Alright, I was an expert on this shit. I ain't never heard of Dipsy. There is no Tiddlywinks. There is totally a fucking Tiddlywinks, man! Tinky Winky, not Tiddlywinks. Whatever, it's the same thing. Name one of those bones in your ear? I don't have any bones in my ear. I'm built different. There is a Dipsy. No, there's not a Dipsy. Can you name any of the original Mighty Morphing Power Rangers? Yeah, there was Pink Power Ranger, Black Power Ranger, Green Power Ranger, Blue Power Ranger, Red Power Ranger, Yellow Power Ranger. Got some money for Christmas and putting it to good use. Hope you had a good holiday. Brown Power Ranger, Orange Power Ranger. There's a bunch of Power Rangers. Hey, thanks Mixoop for the seven months. I appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Congrats on the money. What causes the most power outages? Probably the wind, if I had to guess. I don't know. I'm trying to think, like, my power outages. In the case of, like, South Africa, it's government mis uh, like government incompetence. But in the case of, like, where I live... Oh, it's squirrels. I guess I can see it. But, like, I think most of my power outages have just been, like, the wind. Uh, okie dokie. Oakley dokley, I might even say. <laughs> I gotta pee. Like, again. Fucking baby bladder over here. Make three nets, shake trees. Right, right, right. Okay, I got it. Uh, I'll be right back. Don't worry. What messed up your third attempt? Being an idiot? I fucking pole vaulted, like, right across the river into a tree where the bug was hanging out on. Green Power Ranger wanted to fight CM Punk in an MMA fight a few years ago. I think the Green Power Ranger. Ain't Punk like 50? How old is that guy? He's 45? Uh, close enough. Whatever, I'll be right back. Y'all like that, like... Y'all like get that fork piss? Where that should be going in like two different directions? That didn't happen to me. Just kind of thought about it. Go pee, dude. Yeah, I did. What's... Ah, uh, fuck off. Anna Tida... An eat a day f an e an eat a day phobia? I don't fucking know. I I'm just gonna Google that one. I don't even have a guess. Fear of ant eaters. Fear that a duck is watching you. All right, come on now. Come on now. You gotta give me ones where like I got a chance to get it right. The fear that a duck is watching me. 
That's not even legit, dude. There's fucking made-up phobias out there. There's fucking made-up phobias out there. Like, you guys don't want to hear it because everyone wants their, like, fears validated. But, like, nobody has... Th that's a word that doesn't need to exist. That's a word that just doesn't need to exist. The fear that a duck is watching you has no right being in, like, the same, like, existence as, like, very legitimate fears and phobias. Alright, arachnophobia does not deserve to be tarnished by the fear of having a duck watching you. Can you pronounce... No. What is the only monosyllabic state? Kentucky? Someone really scared of the thought... Someone really... Someone really was scared of that, though, at one point. I, I don't know, man. It's kind of like a hard one to, like, really... I don't know. Like, it, why a duck specifically, I guess, is what I'm asking, you know? Like, why a duck? Why not, like, a fear like a human is watching you? That could be a legitimate fear. Like, the fear that you're being, like, spied on by someone. That could be a fear and a very, like, legitimate one. I would actually understand that if someone said, like, yeah, I got, like, a fear of, like, people watching me. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I kind of get that. But, like, a duck? What the fuck's a duck gonna do? What's a duck gonna do? Why are you scared of a duck watching you? Kentucky is three syllables. Wait! Okay, wait, I didn't understand what the question was. The only... Okay, so the only state with one syllable... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, now, I didn't understand the question. I just said I just said a state, because I, I, I... Maine! Maine. I just thought of it. Maine. I literally, like, didn't understand the question. And I'm like, oh yeah, mono, silla, one syllable. Okay, yeah, no, I get it now. No, I, I actually understand the question now. If you'd said, like, whatever. If you'd... Whatever. You know what I mean. If you would... Whatever. Main? More like, bang! Haha, <laughs> I don't get it. Can you name the 50 states in alphabetical order? No. That's not a trivia question either. They would never ask you to do that on trivia night. Because that would take like 10 minutes to do. They would never ask you to do that. I mean, I can... Yes, I can. Because I can name all 50 states, and then I would be able to put them in alphabetical order. Because I'm over the age of... 8. So yeah, I could definitely do that. I'm not doing that because that would be really boring. But yeah, you're just going to have to trust me on that one that I could do that. Just sing the song. New Hampshire, New York, Massachusetts, Delaware, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Connecticut, it's easy. Carolina, North and South, Georgia, and Virginia. Then there's little Rhodey too, it's easy like we told you. Bum ba da bum bum. That's all. That's the 13 Colonies song. Y'all didn't know the 13 colonies? Because <clears throat> you didn't know the song. Idiot. 39 more? Uh, 37. <sighs> no, I could name them all. You just, you just gonna have to trust me. I'm an American, okay? I can name every state. I think that's sort of like... I think that... Dude, when I was in North Carolina, there was high school kids who couldn't tell you where any state other than, like, North Carolina, California, and, like, New York is. It's really sad. So I'd say, like, I'm an American. Of course I know all 50 states and, like, where they are. But, like, a lot of people don't, apparently. They can't even name, like... Like, I'm not saying, like, not knowing where Wyoming is, okay? Like, yeah, it looks a lot like Colorado, and it's sort of, like, irrelevant. So, like, I kind of get that one. But, like, if you can't tell me where Texas is, like, genuinely, you didn't, like, pay attention. And that's nothing to take pride in. <laughs> Wyoming isn't real? Change my mind. Oh, it's real. It's real. It's Little America. It's the last Wild West we have. It's little America. Wyoming. It's this whole fucking city dedicated to being a truck stop. It's fucking awesome. One, two, three, four. I need one more bug. One more bug. Earth boring dung beetle. Uh, fucking. Fucking cricket I already got. Um, fucking something. Fucking catch a fish, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. No, I don't need that. France isn't real? Dude, there's probably France people... <laughs> France people? There's probably French people in the stream right now. Like, you don't have to believe them when they say, like, Oh, yeah, France is real. But, like, it's real, I think. I haven't been there. How many bugs are there? 80. Alright, cool. Oh, and then I get a yeller. Classic. 
Classic. I'm a Canada people. There's even a France in Canada, which is kind of crazy. Uh, I don't need you. I don't like you, quite frankly. Now, that was mean. My best friend, who is 25, thinks that there is 51 states, and she's American, so... Would you even... Like, it's pretty hammered into your brain. Even as, like, you don't even need to be American. It's pretty hammered into your brain that there's 50 states. I mean, that's a fuck of a lot easier to remember than 51. It's pretty hammered into your brain from a young age that there's 50 states. I don't know how you mess that up. Please stop saying France. <laughs> it's so funny to not acknowledge French people. I found a creature. Washington, D.C. isn't a state. No, Puerto Rico isn't a state. If either of those two become states, then we'll have 51. It's not like you're like, oh, there's like 30 states, right? Like, they're like one off, which tells me that it's like a deliberate addition to add that like extra one on there and think that it's 51 instead of 50. You know what I mean? It's called Quebec. Yeah, exactly. Free Puerto Rico and Hawaii. Well, free Puerto Rico by making it a state. Free Hawaii by not making it a state. I don't know what to do. Instructions unclear. Mexico isn't real, just a massive taco in the ocean. <laughs> I can't name anything about Mexican culture except tacos! <laughs> Aztec, what's that? Isn't that a Pontiac car? I just had a burning hatred towards my French class because the teacher can't teach. Yeah, but that's not the French's fault. Oh shit, I already donated one. Oopsie. I should have kept that, actually. Should have kept that. I have less expensive bugs that I could have given. How many slices of pizza does an American eat per second? I mean, probably like 0. .0004, if I had to guess. When you average out, like, slices of pizza that I've eaten, divided by seconds that I've lived, it probably comes out to, like, something like that. Like, 0. .0000004. Probably fair, right? I mean, Mexican food is good. Yeah, like, people say, like, I love Mexican food. And, like, don't get me wrong. I haven't experienced, like, the... the I haven't been to Mexico. So, really, can I even say that I've had, like, the good shit? But, like, people say, like, I love Mexican food. And then they, like, be taking, like, some El, El Paso taco seasoning. Putting it on a tortilla. A hard shell tortilla. And then putting some, like, lettuce and Mexican cheese blend on it. And be like, mmm, scrumptious. I love Mexican food. Look, it's good. I'm not saying that's not good. It's, I don't think Mexican food, though, you know? Just because they put a sombrero on the packaging doesn't mean it's Mexican, you know? I have garlic bread. If I make with tomato soup and dip, it's like eating deconstructed pizza. That sounds fucking awesome right now. Stop. I'm actually starting to become hungry again. Remember when I said, like, in the beginning of the stream, like, I feel like I just ate a bunch of concrete and I'm not hungry? I'm kind of hungry again. Well, that's not a taco, that's a sandwich. Don't start with me about the whole fucking taco sandwich, soup cereal. Don't, don't, don't fucking start this shit. The worst part of 2020, like the worst part of 2020, I couldn't think of a worse part of 2020 than this right here, is when people wouldn't shut up about fucking hot dogs being sandwiches. Oh my god, I think that was the worst part about 2020. I think that was the worst part about 2020 was when people wouldn't shut the fuck up about a hot dog being a fucking sandwich. And three years later, we're still talking about this shit. Oh my god, it was old the first day I heard it. Speaking of hot dogs. I don't understand. Hey, thanks Hot Milf for the two months. Appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I don't get it. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 I'm not starting that. Good, you better not start it. I think, finally, the hot dog being a sandwich discourse finally started to slow down after about two and a half strong years of getting on my fucking gooch. I'm glad that we finally seem to have stopped it, and I don't want to start it again. Thanks for the hydrate. I need to cut my nails. I shouldn't be able to do that. How's the run going? Well, I failed, and now I'm 40 minutes into the next one. So, whoopsie. Teehee, I'm so silly. 
ASMR? Yeah, wait, people love that shit, right? People love, like, long nails and, like, going like this, right? You can't even hear this. No, I hate ASMR. Well, why didn't you say so before I started doing it? Maybe spit everywhere. It does sound nice. Like, what if I, like, started, like, giving you, like, a little massage? Start scratching the side of your face with my nails and, like... It's not a true ASMR without quiet talking. Yeah, but like that's really weird, and I don't want to do that. I didn't want to commit to the bit that hard. I didn't. I didn't want to commit to the bit. I I didn't want to commit to the bit where I like start talking like this, and I like you can hear like every piece of saliva moving around my mouth as I talk like this because it's just so uncomfortable. I don't like it very much. Quit it. Oh, hush. If Animal Crossing gets boring, you could always do ASMR. Yeah, it's it'd just be that easy to transition my entire career. Please stop, it's painful. It's not fucking painful, man. Relax. You know what is painful? Drugs and alcohol. Actually kind of soothing. Yeah, grow up. It was nice. Yeah! Did I not, like, sort of, like, caress your eardrums a little bit there? Did I not, like, kind of, like, get you going? My one philosophy professor would be regular teaching, and it would trigger my ASMR so bad, I would be on the brink of sleeping every time I was in her class. That's what a Northern Lion video does to me. Gunk. Nope, my eardrums are bleeding. Okay. But... I don't know why I deserve such scrutiny. What am I placing? Blathers, right. I forgot. I, like, forgot what game I was playing for a second, really. Alright, let's squish some trees. Let's... I think this is probably where I'll keep my grove, so I don't know if I want to squish these. Let's find somewhere squishable. 454. Rats. Hmm. Somewhere... Like... Yeah, let's get these two trees out of here. There we go. ASMR makes me gay. Oh, okay. Interesting. If you're on the bugs, have you finished the fish? No. No, it'd be kind of hard to finish the fish and... 43 minutes. Be kind of hard. Alright, I'm gonna have to... Place down net. Yeah, mail for Joy-Cons and DIY. Yep, 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 yep. I need 15 sticks from those trees. Oh, I didn't shake the trees yet. God damn it, man. I'm completely out of fucking whack here. I gotta time travel backwards. ASMR makes me gay. Dude, I'm just reading a fucking comment I saw. I'm just reading a comment. You guys are acting like I said some, like, weird shit. Reading a comment. How's your niece... <laughs> How's your niece slash nephew slash nibbling? Is that, like, the, um... Is that the non-binary, like, uh, child of my sibling word? My nibbling? Yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, they're good. They're good. You have a fav YouTube channels, Animal Crossing, or gaming? Yeah, I don't watch Animal Crossing YouTubers, but, like, gaming YouTubers, I like, um... I like Northern Lion, I like Jerma, like, all the stream highlights of Jerma. I like, um... Samonella Academy, always a banger. I like, um... What's your favorite Mr. Beast video? I've not seen a single Mr. Beast video. <clears throat> I've not seen a single one. And I take it as a point of pride. I lost my Fortnite virginity recently. 
Wait, did I not get sticks? Did I, like, not pick up the sticks that I shook out of the trees? Huh, interesting. Because I... Okay. Hey, back room. Plunk. I've not seen a single Mr. Beast video. Why do you have a random wrench? It's not random, dude. It's adjustable. And also, they call it a spanner over in the UK. All right? Like, what do you guys call this? Do you guys call this a spanner? Like, if you said, Oi, love, hand me that spanner. What will be the next Animal Crossing Challenge video on YouTube, Dag? Yeah, probably this, man. Probably this very one that I'm filming. Spanner is more fun, though. I agree. A spanner is quite fun to say. I agree. I, I might even start calling it that. Be a little quirky. Be a little quirky with it. Ah. Monkey wrench. That's a monkey wrench? Hmm. Interesting. What do monkeys have to do with it? Hey, spider. I don't think I've caught one of these in any of these challenges. All right. Look at that. Glunk. Have you ever watched a J-Man Curly video? No, you guys are just making up fucking YouTubers now. Stop. You guys are just making up YouTubers. Oh, I do have 15 sticks. What the hell am I doing? I'm so stupid. Uh, me and my silly ass. Wasps furniture spider. Mail for Joy-Cons and DIY. Yup, 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 yup. You guys are just making fucking, ne like, fucking names up for people. No reason. Have you watched Dagnal? People say he's pretty good. Is that what the ops say? I don't trust ops. Ops was talking crazy. Got him in the mouth. You watch any Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom speedruns? Yeah, I have. They're pretty crazy. Alright, not Tears of the Kingdom, though, admittedly. I don't think I've seen Tears of the Kingdom speedruns. Only Breath of the Wild ones. Donate five bugs, sell extra stuff like the fishing rod, buy a net and an axe. Got it. As a mechanic, I call that an adjustable wrench. Yeah, that's probably what I'd call it. Nah, J-Man Curly is a YouTuber. As it turns out, there's probably like one million YouTubers out there doing it right now. There's a million YouTubers who have hit like a notable level of like notoriety to where like, I can't keep up with them all though, you know? I can't keep up with them all. I just, I just can't. There's no way I can keep up with them all. So like, have I heard of my favorite YouTuber? Like your favorite YouTuber? No, probably not. Diagonal is the best streamer. Thanks. What's up, mom? How you doing? Ever watch Flamingo? He plays Roblox. No, I don't watch Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think I lost it there. I, I I actually lost it. I was at the end of my rope. I I I, I apologize. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. I, I actually, like, lost it there for a second. Like, I legitimately was not in control of myself for a second. Holy shit, if I have to hear another person say, Have you seen this guy on Dagnall? Uh, on the YouTube, his name is Dagnall. One more time, I'm gonna actually lose it again. I might, I might, I might actually lose it again. Do you only watch gamer YouTubers, or do you watch other things? No, I, like, I, I watch, like, a lot of things on YouTube about, like, various things that I'm sure most of you guys don't care about, so that's why I don't really talk about it. Like, if I told you guys, like, I watched Slap Shoes video the other day about the worst NASCAR All-Star race of all time, about this 2022 Texas All-Star race, you guys would be like, uh, snore, huh, NASCAR, K-Kona, uh, uh, I, my French brain can't understand NASCAR, oh, ovals, left turn, left turn. You guys literally can't, like, have a mature conversation about anything, so I just choose to, like, not most of the time with you guys. I, I just choose to not, like, not even bother, really. So, that's why I, like, don't talk about my, like, interests or anything, because you guys just, like, diminish it down to, like, like, it's just funny to you guys or something. Hey, thanks, Super YTFA, for the 10 bits. I send you luck. Thank you. You have so little faith in us. No, it's not that I have no... You're acting like I haven't done this before. And you're acting like, you're acting like I haven't, like, done this before and had, and, like, just proven myself right about everything that I just said. You guys, you guys, what do you think I saying this things, okay? It's from experience, alright? It's from experience. 
All right. Let's see. Right. Buy a net and an axe. All right. Got it. What's for sale? No, like, I've made that mistake around, like, talking about my interest to you guys. You guys are like, oh, he's not a human. I can, like, I can make fun of something that he likes, and it, like, doesn't, like, affect him deeply. I can, like, clown on his interests, because it's it's funny, right? He, he doesn't have feelings. I can, I, I'm incapable of having a mature conversation about things that he enjoys. But it's funny, because he's, like, he gets mad. <laughs> All right. Mail for Joy-Cons, buy a net and axe, buy 20 black- Alright, we gotta check if they have flowers that can turn into black, blue, or purple flowers. No, I'm not gonna talk about NASCAR. I'm not even gonna, like, indulge the thought. Uh, Red lilies make black lilies, right? So those will work. White cosmos, nah. Yellow mums. Yeah, white, red, red lilies work, though, right? Make black lilies. Past chat was mean. You are literally part of it. <laughs> All of you are part of it right now. It's not past chat. Let's talk about Animal Crossing. Right, that's what I have to do, is I have to talk about Animal Crossing, because it's the common interest that we all have, right? We're all here for Animal Crossing. We love Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. I love Animal Crossing. Why is Streamer not talking about Animal Crossing? Why is he talking about something other than what he's playing right now? Uh, right, buy five saplings and then make three axes. Got it. Five saplings. Animal Crossing is boring. It is. It, honest to God, this game is boring to talk about. I've been talking about it for, fuck, almost four years now. I've been talking about it for almost four years now. There's nothing more to talk about. There's nothing more to talk about. The game's over. It's done. I see this fucking YouTuber. I see this YouTuber, and every week, every infernal week... I see. Good news for Animal Crossing this week! Two days later, bad news for Animal Crossing this week. Let it go! It's done! It's over! We knew it's over for months and weeks now. It's for two years now we've known it's over. Drop it! Leave it alone. Quit it. I mean, I don't want to tell you what to do. It's like... like it, ugh. And people still watch it. It's weird. I don't get it. No news! Are there any games you want to play for the channel? Yeah, like a lot of things. But like, I don't... I don't know. Um... Yeah, stop. 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 I know. No miles. I don't need to check these yet, though. I don't need to check those yet, though. Make three axes. Okay. Place Blathers' tent on tree. I already did that. Gather iron and wood, don't let axes die. Alright, got it. These are the 10 bits. I got news on a starting new island when I get home. Okay, have fun. If you like pina colada and get- okay. I just read that. Chat, please fill me in what I had to miss because of my stinky therapy. Okay, you guys want to know what I did for the past, like, three hours? Okay, how long have I been streaming? Three hours and three minutes right now. Okay, right. I was in the middle of attempt number three of this challenge, okay? And I got, like, hour, hour and a half into it, and then I scared a bug away, so I had to reset. And that's why I'm on attempt number four now. So that's what happened. And we're trying it again. We're going again. I, I, I mean, why why else would I have restarted this challenge? I must have failed, right? Critical thinking. I gotta go. After I get all the wood from these trees, I gotta go. I have to go. I'm getting too mad. I'm getting too mad. Thrillville. I would like to, like... I would love to be one of those YouTubers who just fucking plays whatever... Whatever. And, like, people love it. I would love to be one of those YouTubers. I don't think I'm talented or smart and funny enough, unfortunately, is the issue. Or just for some reason or another, I haven't had the reach yet. Or the ability to do that. I'd love to do that. I'd love to be able to not feel like that I need to play Animal Crossing for the sake of my career, for the sake of earning my next paycheck. I would love for that. But unfortunately, I haven't really set myself up in a position with which I can do that. Like, I can work on it, but it's not. it's kind of something that takes time, you know? Why can't you be one of those YouTubers? You are defo, talented, funny, and smart enough, bro. Raised eye emoji. 
Yeah, because it's not really that simple is kind of the issue, you know? It's kind of like not really that simple. It's kind of like I would have to start playing other things that I'm actually interested in, recording them and editing them into a way that's very similar to what I do with Animal Crossing, but with just with other games. And then I have to hope that people actually like watching me play that. See, the thing is that I've kind of already screwed myself into being an Animal Crossing YouTuber. People expect Animal Crossing from me. If I upload something that isn't Animal Crossing, it does get less views than if I do something that is Animal Crossing. So it would take like a constant stream of videos that don't get as much views as my Animal Crossing stuff. I hit to my income as a result. <clears throat> until the slight chance that it actually does stick and like people actually do enjoy me playing anything that I play. And then it's all worth it, right? But you kind of have to understand that there's some sacrifices that need to come along the way for me to do that, you know? It's not really as simple as, oh, we'll just start playing whatever you want then, right? No. I just gave you, like, 15 reasons as to why it's not as simple as doing that. Okay? It's not, not that simple. You understand, like, the, the sacrifices that I would have to make to do that. Sacrifices that I'm not wholly comfortable in doing right now. And so, like, that's why I, like, keep playing Animal Crossing, even though I got damn sick of this game, like, three years ago. Like, I still, if I have a goal in mind, as I'm doing right now, I can play it. Would, like, I play Animal Crossing casually, though? No, I wouldn't. Like, I haven't in, like, three plus years played this game casually. Probably since the last time I played this game casually was around the release of the Happy Home Paradise DLC and the 2.0 update. Like, I, like, got on to, like, decorate my little things because it's new and fresh. But, like, I... That's the last time. They played Ring Fit? Nah. nah I, I don't want to, like... No, I don't think so. Yeah, you think that, like, if I play something else, people will be like, Oh, he's funny, and he's funny with Animal Crossing, so surely he'll be funny with this thing. No, people are very shallow and picky with what they like on YouTube. Alright? And I am, too! Don't jump in the fucking water! And I am, too! All right? I'm acting like I don't, like, prefer certain YouTubers that I, like, play certain games. No, I do. Exactly. And that's why it's so fucking hard. Is because, like, people only like certain things, certain games. Like, if I played a game that you guys didn't care for, would you watch me play it? I would probably assume not. Don't lie to me, either. You don't have to. No, fuck the people who are picky. No, it's fine. I'm picky, too. I'm not asking, I'm not saying people should like me no matter what I play. I'm saying that it's really hard to get people to enjoy me no matter what I play. So that's why it's hard. That's why it's hard. You gotta understand something. People are drawn to the game that you play when you're on Twitch and on YouTube in like the gaming spectrum. People are drawn initially to the game that you play. They only stick around, of course, if they like you. But what draws them to you is the game that you play. You know? That's how you all found me, likely. It was from Animal Crossing. You were either browsing the Animal Crossing directory on Twitch, or you found an Animal Crossing YouTube video that caught your eye. And it caught your eye because it's Animal Crossing. And it just so happened to be, I completed the entire museum in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And, well, here, here you are. Here you are. And then, obviously, you must have stuck around because you like something about me. But... It's just that getting you here in the first place is the problem, you know? That's the problem. No, it was black versus red roses. Okay, but you know what I mean. Yes, your company. Yeah, my company. Get out of here, you vile bug. Do I have to catch you? That thing is not going to get far enough away. I will never be comfortable unless I catch you. How did going to yoga turned out? Oh, yeah, like a month ago. It was pretty great. Uh, I haven't gone back since because, um, just, I don't know. Sort of tough to keep up with. Sort of tough to keep up with. Nice regular wood. Nice ratio here. We got 35 hardwood, 28 softwood, a whopping 18 regular wood. That's a great ratio right there. That's awesome. That's great. Alright, but I think I'm out of here after this. Get all the wood that I can, and I'm fucking out of here. We're going to Aruba. Ah, oh, classic NPC. We're going to Aruba. Cheesy vagina! What kept me around was your Twitch tags. Oh, really? Because, like, 
I'm probably going to change those, like, soon. Or, like, Twitch will probably, like, automatically change them for me. Like, they don't stick around. Is that really, like... Is that really, like, why y'all came here? My Twitch tags? Maybe I'll have to invest, like, me more mental energy in making them. I mean, generating them, then. Maybe I will. I think that... Maybe they provide, like, a slight insight into my sense of humor. But, I that's it. I didn't even know what Twitch was until I found you. Really? It's pretty mainstream at this point. I don't think Twitch is not... Like, Twitch ain't just in TV days, no mo. Pretty sure Twitch is, like, pretty mainstream. Fuck, they're broadcasting NFL games on Twitch. They're broadcasting damn NFL football on Twitch. It ain't exactly niche no mo, you know? I ain't exactly niche no more. I came to you because of YouTube. Thanks. Appreciate it. I mean, I assume most of you did, right? Rarely does somebody, I think, find me through Twitch, you know? Because, like... I don't know. I feel like Twitch is just not as good for discoverability as YouTube is. Which, YouTube isn't great either. But I feel like it's better than Twitch is. I feel like Twitch is only good if, like... Like, I never... I don't click, like, the suggested streamers on Twitch because... I don't know, I just don't. For one reason or another, I don't. Like, when I see, like, a recommended video on YouTube, though, of, like, an interesting concept, I guess that's just what it is, is that, like, content on YouTube is just more obvious whether it's something that you'll like or not from the glance, you know? You can't, like, set a custom thumbnail on Twitch. You can't, I mean, you can make, like, catchy titles and stuff, but it doesn't really, like, do a whole lot. Not as much nearly as what, like, a good catchy YouTube video title will do, you know? I think discoverability is just inherently better on YouTube because it just lends itself better to being... I don't know, I, Twitch would need, like, a whole UI overhaul to really, like, make it so that their discoverability is on par with Twitch. Like, they would need to, like, make it so that streamers can have, like, custom thumbnails of what they do in the same way that, like, what appeals you to a YouTube video and stuff like that, you know? I don't know. Just my thoughts, anyway. Um, right. I need to... Plant five saplings on the beach. Plant all my flowers. Right, right, right. I'll do that. Pretty sure I found you through Twitch and then you started doing YouTube bids. Um, yeah, I did do Twitch, like, before YouTube, but I don't know. I think I, I tried doing YouTube about the same time I started doing Twitch. Thanks, Glitter Lemonade. Appreciate it. I never go to Twitch to find new people. I go to Twitch to specifically find a stream. Yeah, I think that's, like, the problem. If you even want to call it a problem. I think it kind of is. But, like, that is sort of the nature of Twitch. Is like, you already know who you like on Twitch, you know? You're not going to Twitch to, like, find new streamers. At least rarely. I don't find myself doing it anymore. I don't go to Twitch to, like, find new streamers playing this game that I like. I go there because I already have some streamers that I like. Who I found through some other method. And they're live, so I'm gonna go watch them, you know? It is a problem, yeah. I mean, I, I, it's not one I can solve, though, so I don't know. I just do, just do my thing, you know? Just do my thing. I found you from Egg Drill on Twitter. No fucking way, did you? Found new people were kind enough to raid me, and then I watched their streams. Yeah, and like, I should raid people more, dude. I don't raid people. Like, I never, like, send you guys somewhere. Because, like, that's, like, networking. I hate networking. I think networking is stupid. <laughs> I think networking is stupid. I hate networking on stream. I hate it. But, like, I guess I'm supposed to do that. I'm supposed to, like, mingle and shit. I'm supposed to, like, raid people and be like, Oh my god, Animal Crossing, yes! I don't fucking care. And I'm not gonna pretend to care. I'm not gonna pretend to care that I, like want to like i don't look i'm just gonna be brutally honest I, i'm not gonna raid somebody and like stick around and watch their stream i'm not gonna like pretend that i like am raiding somebody because i like genuinely want my audience to like go watch them because i think that they'll you'll really enjoy them guys i don't fucking care i think attempts of like networking through streamers is like a hollow way of like trying to boost your own numbers you know I feel like it's such, like, a, a shallow thing to, like, raid somebody. 
because you want to network instead of like actually genuinely want to support them. So I just don't even do it because I, it's not that I don't want to support them. It's just like, I don't have the time and effort to want to support them, you know? Cause when I leave stream, when I go offline, I go like make food or something. I'm not sticking around and watching someone. So I'm not going to send my community over there with the illusion that, oh, I care about you. And I want to like send you my audience. I want to like, yes, I want to support a fellow Animal Crossing streamer. No, I don't care. You can tell, yes, when it's a clout grab. You can tell when I'm raiding somebody because I want them to like send me their viewers too at some point. Ah, I really want to mingle. I want to get some of your guys' over here. Yeah, it may not be optimal to do it the way that I want to do it, you know? But like, at least it feels genuine. At least it feels authentic, you know? At least it feels authentic. That like, all y'all came here because I didn't like, I didn't freaking, what would you call it? I didn't gank you from some other streamer. I fuck it. You you came here for me. I did, you didn't find me through. Well, some of you may, but it wasn't through intentional means, you know. Mmm. Mmm. Plan all. Okay, right. Got it. I know what I gotta do. Yeah, raid for raid. What's a raid? It's when I end my stream, I can raid another streamer and send all my viewers to them. We're raiding them. We're like invading your castle, killing all your dudes. Except it's nice and everyone gets along. Hopefully. Um, yeah. I found you through a Megan Crossing raid. I don't think Megan Crossing's raided me in like three years. I don't think I've even... I don't think I've heard that name in like two years. That was the... Man, they were the shit though. Megan Crossing. That was like the... That was the new Leaf streamer before New Horizons came out. Holy shit. Hey streamer. If I was at TwitchCon and I saw you, would you dap me up? Thanks, man. I wouldn't dap none of y'all up. Okay, I'd dap, like, a select few of you up at TwitchCon. I would dap a few of you up at TwitchCon, all right? I'm not gonna say who I will and won't, like, do, like, a fucking tier list. But, like, I'm not touching you guys, all right? We're not making contact. I'd, I'd dap, like, a couple of you up. Most of you, though, I'm not, I'm not making contact with you. I'm not making skin-to-skin -skin contact with some of you. Absolutely not. Just saying. Awesome, I fucking hate you now. <laughs> Ooh, give me that doctor's mask. Is Monkey Monday? Show me that monkey. It's definitely not because of the Terraria Stars incident. Yeah, I'm like not, like... I didn't say you're on the DN... I didn't say you're on the DND list, do not dap, but like... Nah, uh, I mean, I don't know. Alright, and then... Open up your phone a bunch of times, take a picture, edit command, change design, redeem miles, pay for a set. Got it. Easy. Would you wave back at us? Yeah, I'd give you all a wave. That's a pretty low standard, though. Um, like, okay. To If I was going to dap you up... Ha, he blinked. If I was going to dap you guys up, that implies that we have a level of mutual acquaintance, okay? If I'm dapping you guys up, I have a mutual acquaintance with you guys. How many of you guys do I have a mutual acquaintance with? Like, what's dap? It's like when you go like, you know what I mean? Except it's like two of the same, like, hands. It's not the, it's not one person doing it to themselves. It's like, it's what, it's like when they go like, and they like, you know, like lock hands in some way. And then usually it's like accompanied by like a bro chest bump. Maybe like a hug if it's like really personal. One. Like, how many of y'all am I dapping up? Not many. How many of y'all am I waving to? Probably all of you. I'd wave to all of you. I'd take a picture with you. If you like... If you like ask me, Dagnall, I'm a big fan of your YouTube videos. You want to take a picture? I don't think there's a single person I would say, no, fuck off. There's a couple of you. There's a couple of you. But, like, 98% of you, I'd say, like, yeah, sure. Hover hand? I wouldn't hover hand you because I wouldn't put my arm around you. <laughs> I wouldn't hover hand you because I wouldn't even think of putting my arm around you in the first place. Don't take offense to that, but it's just true. And I would kind of hope that you wouldn't do it to me, either. Ever been to London? Uh, no. I haven't even been outside of my own country. Except for, like, Niagara Falls. 
I'd love to take a pick with you. Thanks. Thanks, Happy Kaispot. Happy holidays, gamers. For the 14 months. I dap you up. If you're a uh, 14 month sub or later, I dap you up. I would dap you up. If you're a 14 month plus subscriber, I'd dap you up. You, you've earned the privilege of getting dapped up. Great. What's your turnip say? Two months? You're not getting dapped up. I'm sorry. Okay, nice. Whoa, yeah, dude. I'll dap y'all up. I don't know how many months I am. You are 16. You're getting a dap. What about VIPs? VIPs, I feel like, get like... A smooch. A big old smooch on the mouth. No, VIPs would get... VIPs would get a dap and like a... Like, hey, how are you doing? Like, I would actually, like, ask, like, hey, how you doing? How you been? Like, I would, like, actually, like, make a conversation with you. That's a, that's a privilege right there. What about the mods? Your mods would probably get the same. I'd probably dap you up and say, like, hey, what's going on? How you been? Like, what, what are you up to? What brings you to, what, what brings you here now? I want to be VIP? Well, you're going to have to work for it. If you want to be my VIP... I should make a song about that. It's really good. Great, I just get a passing glance. Oh my god, you guys think that, like, you're all the main character. You think that because, like, you are, like, in my Twitch chat, you deserve anything more than, like... Like, dude, I'll, like, I'll take a picture. I'll, like, have a conversation. You say, like, you like my shit? Like, my videos and streams and shit? Just pull me over on the side of the road, tell me that? I'll be like, that's fucking awesome. I'll, like, that's pretty cool, man. I'll, like, be friendly toward you, but if you think I'm gonna touch you, get out of here. I'm not a touchy guy. I ain't a touchy guy. Mm -mm. He doesn't even know us, man! <laughs> Fuck! I'm in your stream every day! I give you three hours of my time every day, and you don't even want to tap me up! <laughs> you don't even want to tap me up! I'm lightheaded. I almost passed out doing that. Oh my god, I just almost passed out and like puked at the same time. Thanks, Jazz Rider, for the two months. Appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. Appreciate it. Thank you. Proud mention of the potential DAP list. Yeah? I don't know, there should be like a threshold. I don't know where the threshold is, where I like, I'll dap you all up if I see you, but it's there. It exists somewhere. What's up, Madison, by the way? And Rex Connor. Dude, I think you need water? Yeah, it's actually a good point. You know, we have a redemption for that. Oh wait, you did use it. Whoops. Oh, I have egg on my face. I wish I was a subscriber to Dagnal, but no money. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yes, let's do it. Um, and then I walk out of the tent, and it should be rolled over to five. My house should be built, and we're good, right? Yep, and then, then we'll leave it off there. I'm, I'm going to put a little note here. Left. Off. There we go. Ah, I got ink on my little thingy. What is a bit? Um, I don't know. Send a hundred my way and I'll tell you. Hey, thanks, Carrot, for the two months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing as well. Is it five o'clock? Oh, close. Bits are equivalent to one cent. Yes, it's a Twitch currency. One bit is one cent. If you give me a bit, you give me a cent. Thanks. All right. Time should roll over. Your boss said, fuck out of here. And I forgot I made him do that. Good. Dang, I love your videos. Thanks. Thanks, Anonymous, for... By the, thank you, like, genuinely. Thanks, Anonymous, for the gift sub to Nayasumi. Appreciate it. And Nayasumi, enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. All right, I'm gonna get going um, after this cutscene. And we'll pick up and we'll uh, hopefully... Not fuck up at the same time that we did uh, attempt number three. So we'll see. We will see. Oh, hell, it's raining. I hope you have a good rest. 
I'm, I'm going to pub trivia tonight, so we're gonna... I don't know, no rest for me, man. I gotta stay sharp. One more trivia question, chat. Chat, one more trivia question before I go. One more trivia question. I gotta stay sharp. One more trivia question. No, no bowling. Bowling doesn't resume till the 11th. Because of the holidays. Somebody give it... What's Dagnophobia? No, like a real one. Like a real trivia question. One that, like, actually, like, tests my brain. I need one more trivia question. I gotta stay sharp. I gotta stay sharp. What are the names of the layers of the Earth? You have the crust, you have the mantle, you have the core, you have the, um... Fuck, I feel like I'm missing one. Is that it? Is it... How many are there? What's the capital of Mongolia? Ulaanbaatar. Name the largest, not highest mountain range in the world. Andes. That's it? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Alright. Alright, I'm out of here. There's four layers. Outer crust, inner crust, core mantle. Alright, there you go. What's the tiny piece at the end of a shoelace called? I already got that one. It's an aglet. You're gonna smash this quiz? Yeah, you're right. Step one, smash the quiz. Step two, se never mind. I gotta go. Thanks for being here today. I very much appreciate it. I'm gonna be live again maybe tomorrow. We'll see. 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. GMT, 7 a.m. AEST. I actually don't know if that's when I'll go live at all. I'm just so used to saying it because that used to be my schedule. Sul Sul <laughs> Dag Dag. I'll pick it up tomorrow at 1.15. Fuck. We're going to pick it up tomorrow at 1.16.05.00. Fuck you. We're going to pick it up at tomorrow at 1.16.10.00. We're going to pick it up tomorrow at 1.16.15.00. We're going to pick it up tomorrow at 1.16... I'm not even getting close, dude. What the fuck? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm not even close. I've lost it. I gotta get within two one hundreds and then I'll be happy. Fuck. Two months being resubbed. Let's go. Let's, let's go. Let's have a fun stream today. Yeah, let's fucking go. Yeah, let's fucking go, though, actually. Yeah, thanks, Cloud Sean. Two months. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad free view. Now, can we get some, like, let's fucking go in chat? Like, holy shit, I am not feeling fucking drugged enough for this. All right, attempt number four. Timer's going. We got to talk to old B-Man right here. That's what I call Blathers. I've never called him that. Yeah, let's fucking go. Yeah, dude, one in chat if 2023 was the best year of your life. Type 1 in chat if 2023 was the best year of your life. 5? Does that mean it's like the 5th best year of your life? Actually, that's a better question. Where does 2023 rank in like your year tier list? From 1 to, well, however many years you've been alive. Me? 24? <laughs> It's probably been like 24. Thanks, Snow Eagle, for the 21 months. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad free viewing. 2023 top three for sure. Now, let me ask you something. Is it top three because we got off like two years of being diseased? Or in like life in 2023, like truly started to return to normal? Or are you like, Hope yeah, you're no, like, a good day today. it was like an unbiased three and in which case that's good i'm glad it was a i'm glad that it wasn't just a result of like life seemingly returning to normal for a little bit i had my daughter so that's got to be a one right well unless any other daughters popped out in the other years if it's your first then yeah that's pretty cool all right careful so we got the vaulting pole and shovel recipe now let's go make them I moved into an apartment and got a decent long-term job this year. There you go. Thanks, Black Shroud, for the 25 months. 420? Bro, you're 420 years old? Fuck off. I don't believe it. You must have some, like, insane... You can't be, like, 420 and, like, poor. You must have some, like, insane money from, like, sticking... Like, dude, if you stuck, like, a $1 bill into a Roth IRA back in, like, 1700, which didn't even exist... It's probably like two billion dollars now. Fork over a tier three sub if you're 420. 
Got diagnosed with autism, which is excellent, but also horrific, so swings and roundabouts in it. Well, I think the benefit of the diagnosis is that you can do more, like, you can get more help for it now, though, right? Hi, Dagnall. So, I'm appreciating all the winter break streams. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, thanks for the seven months, Space Princess. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thank you. Appreciate it. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, but with the diagnosis, you're banned from immigrating to some countries like New Zealand. What? What? You're banned... Now, you're banned from immigrating to New Zealand. So if I'm autistic, I cannot move to New Zealand? Why? Are you serious? That seems like some shit. That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right. Are you sure? Like... I wish I knew, but it's true. What do you mean you wish you knew? You said it. And Australia. Not a joke. What the fuck, really? Hey, thanks Anonymous for the gifts of the Coraway. I think I know who that is. But anyway, uh, I won't reveal you. Uh, enjoy Coraway. You're not here, fuck you. I was like, oh, Coraway, enjoy your- You're not fucking here. You're a Minecraft streamer. You're probably streaming. Uh, anyway. Thanks to Anonymous for the gift sub. Gift sub that I didn't get. Are you crying about not getting a gift sub? Well, I'll make you cry. I'll give you something to cry about. You know, be a little moochie Mary. I'll give you something to cry about. I don't know mooching in this stream. No mooch. I thought New Zealand was chill. Damn, that sucks considering their biggest form of tourism is Lord of the Rings, but okay, I guess. Wait, are you saying Lord of the Rings fans are more likely to be autistic? And that's like a big demographic that they're missing out on? Thanks, Irobean, for the 100 bits. I can feel this one in my jowls. Let's fucking go. Isn't that like your teeth? Oh, dude, I had one of those like dreams last night where my fucking teeth fell out. I had one of those fucking dreams where like I was like... Oh my god, that's all my teeth. Good lord. Good heavens, good googly moogly. That's all my teeth. How did those get there? I hate it. I hate those. Worst dreams. I hate those. Apparently they're like, when you're really stressed out. Apparently you get those dreams when you're really stressed out about not getting enough tier 1 subscriptions on your Twitch stream. I, I just really wish that, like, there was some solution to this, you know? I just really wish... Alright, we got vaulting pole, we got shovel. I'm kidding, by the way. Or am I? What's up, Tiny Nightingale? I've been able to watch in a very long time. You've been streaming all the time. I work now, so I wanted to say hi. A favorite streamer all year, and I think you're cool and funny. Dude, usually people only think I'm, like, one of the two. Y'all, you can visit, just not em immigrate. Yeah, no, I understand. Like, I could go there. But I can't live- well, I can, because as far as I'm aware, I don't have autism, but... That's fucked up, though. Yeah, don't boost my ego too much, alright? Somebody needs to call me a shithead to, like, level the playing field. Mm. Nice cup of Joe. Nice cup of Joe. Let's ban the haters today if they show up. There's no- No, I don't think anyone's a hater. I think that there's just, like, a lot of children, you know? And they don't know, like, how to express themselves. <laughs> you suck and least favorite streamer. Haha, <laughs> at mods crush his skull. Haha. <laughs> uh, mods. Tie that person down to a chair and throw them out the window. I guess I can donate my woods. Mods, execute him. I'd like to donate. You've been one of my favorite people to get to know this year, colon three. Thanks. You're pretty cool, too. Mary, thanks for the gifts of the tombs. Appreciate that. And tombs, enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. A stream supporting defenstration. Isn't that shitting? I think that that's taking a poop. Hang on a minute. And, oh, no, that's the act of throwing somebody out of a window. Oh, I didn't know that there was a word for that. 
What? I didn't know there was a word for that. Wow. That's crazy. So I can say, like, mods demonstrate that guy. And they got it. Added to the vocab. I didn't know that. Mods demonstrate that guy. Get him out of here. Cool. Learned a new word today. Yeah, they say you learn something new every day. Especially true if you watch me, because I always teach you guys some good stuff. I mean, you're talking to, like, you're talking to, like, defending pub trivia winner, twitch.tv slash diagonal. Now, you guys do know what you're getting into when you watch this guy, okay? You're like, oh, I'm gonna learn something. I'm finna learn something today. The Cuban link will turn the diamond tester into a pipe bomb. We need... Pretty good tools. We need a tool ring. If you poop out of a window, you are demonstrating your defecation. I think I must have been thinking of de defecation when I said defenstration. I also thought that you were talking about deforestation because I have a website, daggleondeforestation.com, which um, I bought the domain rights for like two years ago when I wanted to make a joke about uh, cutting down a shit ton of trees in one of my videos. I still have it, by the way. Def... Defenestrate. Defen... Defenestrate? Defenestrate? Whatever. Whatever, I'll learn it. Diagonal on D4. Does this still work, right? It should. Yeah, there you go. Still works. Still works. <laughs> D like D claw. Do claw. Do I I don't know. Stop trying. To, okay, just, okay. Nah, I'm getting scrambled. Floral skirt. Oh, did he just give me that? Oh hell yeah. And then cassette player. Well, I'll sell him. Look at that. <laughs> What's so funny? Why are you laughing? What's so funny? By the way, gift sub. Oh, Irobean, thanks for the gift sub. Well, who did it go to? I didn't see. Hi, I'm French. Hi, I'm Dagnal. The hell me, IDK. Enjoy your emotes. Thank you, Irobean. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Sorry, did that, like, freak you guys out when I laughed? It wasn't a real laugh. I've only on YouTube months ago. I was never able to catch a stream before. Hope you're doing great. Thanks for the entertainment. Thanks. I'm glad you can enjoy. I just need some regular wood and I can build the oh, regular wood and iron that I can build the shop. Okay, okay, I'm kinda I'm caught back up to speed now. Alright. And then I need to um I have booger, I 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 booger. Okay, we're good. <clears throughs> um let's go to um well you know we don't need to go to five AM. Agree to shop proposal by net watering can shovel. Okay, let's do that. Dagnal, you are my sleep paralysis demon. That's pretty, like, not terrible, all things considered, right? I'm a nice demon. Like, if I was your sleep paralysis demon... There's a lot... I mean, let's just say, you could do a lot worse than that, you know? You could do a lot worse than that. You know what I mean? Like, you're acting like that's, like, the worst thing ever, but, like, you're trying to make me feel bad. Been training for my new position as manager at my job. I've been watching only VODs for months. Finally done with my training, so glad to be back. Yeah, glad to have you back. I didn't just talk shit about VOD watchers earlier on. No, I like my VOD watchers. I love my VOD watchers. Yeah, yeah, sometimes in some places I go live at like 4 a.m. and they can't watch me, allegedly. Which, you know, I get it. How much iron do I have? Only four? Okay, what can I make? I make the upgraded watering can. Be kind to the VOD watchers. I am kind. I'm a very kind individual, really. I'm actually- I'm really nice once you get to know me. And then upgrade all my axes, I guess. First time I came to one of your streams and asked you, if you ate 20 kids, how many would you throw up? Ah, the memories. Yeah, that's- that's always a great way to start your chat history. That's a great- yeah, I- it's a great way to start your chat history with someone. You're the only streamer who goes live at a normal time where I live. Wait, really? Dude, it's like 12 and the- it's like noon here. 
As, I think this is when, like, most streamers that at least I follow anyway go live. It's like around, like, noon. Because it's a very, like, milk toast time. It's like, this is like the basic bitch hours. Like, I'm not like the... I would never stream, like, at, like, 3 a.m. Because that's ridiculous. I'm sorry. But I also... I don't know. It's a very, like normal time to stream i think i hate inventory management 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 okay i gotta save the clay for the bridge as well all right i'll organize that when i get outside meow ow oh okay good that one didn't crack uh all right let's go here let's put this is all fucked up. If you're gonna put the axes, put them all together. Put here, go. Put our nets over here. Okay. Yep. Good. I would even say some shit like jolly good. There we go. What did you ask? Dude, quit asking me what I. Dude, I, I literally. I told you to drop it. You asked me what I what I asked Santa for, like. Three streams ago, okay? And you haven't stopped asking since. Alright? I'm not gonna tell you, because at this point, it's just purely spite that's fueling me. I will find out. No, you're not. Because if you keep asking me, I'm gonna get really mad. Alright? Alright, so now I gotta... Chop trees and pick up all the wood. Right. We gotta leave a grove of trees. But we gotta uh, shake all the trees first. Make sure there's no bees inside of them before I do. Aw, this map has a heart lake. Yeah, that's so cute. Can I have $5,000 from a rich benefactor in chat? I don't think fruit trees can have them, even without the fruit on them, but whatever. Oh no! We don't want Dag Dag Null. We don't want Dag Dag Null, Null to get mad now, do we? Well, no, I would hope that you wouldn't want to make any person deliberately mad, would you? You wouldn't want to. Like, you guys wouldn't, like, purposely rile me up. You guys, like, wouldn't purposely, like... I don't know. Like, light my britches on... Douse me in gasoline and light my britches on fire just to, like, get a... Get a... Get a rise out of me, would you? You wouldn't want that to happen. Like, if you guys saw me on the street, you wouldn't purposely, like... Take a branding iron to, like, the back of my skull, would you? That'd be, like, kind of fucked up. No, of course not. So why do you do it in the Twitch chat? Why do you do it in the Twitch chat to get a rise out of me? Is it funny? It's not very funny to me. Fruit tree, fruit tree. This is probably where I'll, like, leave my grove of trees. Donating a semester's worth of my college tuition could probably tide you over for the next calendar year. Okay, flex! My tuition was pretty- Oh, wee! That was very close. My tuition was like... Five grand. Which, that sounds like a lot. It's not. American colleges are fucked up, man. What's up, Aardvark Berry? Get out of here. My college tuition was like five grand. You might be like, that's like nothing. What do you think? Or that's like a lot. Five grand is a lot of money. Yeah, it is. But like, that's not a, like a lot as far as American public schools go. Mine was ten times that amount. That's fucking absurd. That's absurd. Mine is about eight times that. A digital wedgie. You are essentially all giving me a digital wedgie when you troll and bully me online. That is actually really true. Just think about your actions before you do them next time. My tuition was before I dropped out. 120000 a semester? What the fuck is wrong with that? I was gonna say, like, what's wrong with you? But that's, like, not even a you issue. But, like... What? What are you doing? That's why I dropped out? Why'd you even go in the first place? Oh my god! It's not like it's it's a secret until you, like, start going to the school. No college is worth that amount of money. Dude, you could get... The thing is, I don't care if it's Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Brown. 
friggin' MIT. I don't give a shit. Nothing is worth getting a four-year degree from a any, like, prestigious level school for $120,000 a semester. That's fucking absurd. That's three times a lifetime in debt. Oh, oh my goodness, googly moogly. No, oh my god, I'm glad you're out of there, but Jesus Christ. My school was like three, like, let me check what it is now. It was cheaper when I went, but my tuition in-state, so there's in-state tuition where if you go into school in that state, it's cheaper than if you go out of state. My in-state tuition is seventy-four sixty-eight. That's more than what it was when I went, though. I don't remember it being even close to that. Out of state, it's twenty-two grand. So if you want to go uh, go from out of state, I don't know why. I guess it's like a incentive for your state to like go to school within your state, um, which I guess is fair. Um, yeah, we're like out of state. You might that must be like. Oh, 120 for three years. Sorry. Jesus Christ. That's a little bit more reasonable. I thought you were doing 120 grand a semester. Jesus, that's... Uh, I was about to, like, puke. Alright, what what grove of trees... Let's, let's dig a hole. I don't have a shovel. I guess I will do this. Let's dig holes next to the 10 trees that we want to keep. Uh, just so I can remember. Also... Gary. I was thinking about getting a cat and naming it Gary. Dude, and community colleges is the way to go. You're just saying $600 a semester. Dude, that's the way to go. Community colleges are the way to go. You know how they say, like, trade schools are the way to go? I don't necessarily believe that's true, because I don't think everyone wants to do a trade that's available by a trade school. So, like, it's not for everyone if you don't want to do a trade. But what is an option for you is community colleges, which are so cheap relative to regular colleges, with an education that is just as good as regular colleges. And you might be like, oh, well, my employer potentially in the future will not respect me if I have a degree from a community college versus a four-year college. No, they won't. They won't give a shit. They won't give a shit. They will not give a fuck. You should totally do community college if it's an option for you. It's, it's, it's the way to go. I think it's like, I don't know if that's just an America thing, but like, I'm sure like other countries also have their equivalent of like community colleges, right? Thanks, Super YFTA, YTFA for the 101. I send you luck. Thanks. And bits. I don't know what's more important though. Alright, that's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven... Eight, thanks for the hydrate. How did it go? One, two, buckle my shoes. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, stay up late. Nine, ten. I always heard big fat hen. How did it, how, what was nine, ten for you guys? I always remember it being big fat hen, but that doesn't make any sense at all, given the context of the rest of the song. You guys never heard that? Fuck out of here. You've told me... No, that you've definitely heard that before. I know you have. I guess that's number 10 right here. 9, 7, 8, lay them straight. 9, 10, do it again. Oh, okay. I always remember hearing Big Fat Hen for some reason. I'm like, that's rude. 1, 2, buckle my shoes. 3, 4, knock the door. 5, 6, pick up sticks. 7, 8, lay them straight. 9, 10, a big fat hen. 11, 12, dig and delve. 13, 14, maids a courting. 15, 16, maids in the kitchen. That doesn't even rhyme. 17, 18, maids in waiting. 19, 20, my plate's empty. What the fuck? That's not even... You, you completely lost the plot at like 10, 11. Or 11, 12. The, the plot completely got lost. What are you talking about? The plot it entirely got fucked up around 10, uh, 11, 12. According to the wiki, there's a wiki? There's a wiki for everything. There's a wiki for people who died on the toilet. So I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. There's a wiki for, like, um, sexually active popes. So I guess maybe we shouldn't be all too surprised. Freddy's coming for you. Freddy, who? 
How many times did you restart? Right around where my nipple is. It says number four. Fred Krueger? Oh, that guy? I ain't scared of him. How many popes were sexually active? Quite a few, actually. Of course, in order to be a pope, you need to be like 143 minimum. So I think these days there's not a whole lot of sexually active popes. I mean, shit, we only get one like every like 20 years. So I don't know. Go look it up. There's a whole Wikipedia article. Give you a hell of a lot better answers than I can. I ain't scared of Freddy because he don't sleep. Actually, dude, I was, like, sleeping like a baby. I told stream earlier. I was like, I woke up, like, 15 minutes before I had to start stream. I was horribly unprepared to start streaming today. But you know what? I pulled myself up by my bootstraps, which is some shit that you guys got to do. You guys do really have to pull yourself up by your bootstraps sometimes. You guys know that? You don't want to hear it. You're like, oh, I don't want to pull myself up by my bootstraps. But you do. You have to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. You entitled millennials, Gen Zers. Because back in my day, I made like $2.50 an hour and I bought a house. So you guys just need to pick yourself up by your bootstraps. And just do what I did back in 1937. I don't own boots? Well, that's your first fucking problem. How do you expect to pull yourself up by your bootstraps when you don't even have boots? I don't own clothes? Sounds like a you problem. Also, uh, I'm so old, I just shit my pants. Please, nurse. Drank man, please! I need to pull up. Daniel in his tidy whiteies just out of frame. Okay, first of all, if I was wearing tidy whiteies, this is my frame. You think I got them buckled up to my nipples? You think I got one of them, like, old geezer tidy whiteies where I put them up, like, over my, like, abdomen? You're fucking crazy. Second of all, I don't wear tidy whiteies. And also, I'm not just in my underwear. I have a whole ass pair of pants on right now. I have a whole ass pair of pants on right now. Yeah, that's fucking right. I'm not one of them people. I'm not him. I will not continue to be him. Fit check? You're wearing your long johns? Dude, I'm wearing, like, the most, like, boring-ass shit. I... Oh. I kicked my chair, and a spring came out. I don't think it should have done that. I kicked my chair as like a joke and I made a spring come out. Well, let's hope that my chair doesn't collapse underneath my asshole at some point during this stream. I'm just kidding. I got you guys. <laughs> I got you. You thought I was about to fall. Wow, <laughs> you look so stupid. Didn't you want one of those freaking expensive chairs anyway? Yeah, you're right. This just gives me more of an excuse to get a Herman Miller. You're right. I gagged. Height check? Okay. Like... Those shells behind me are, like, six feet in the air. You look like a gay little monkey at the Apple Store. Right, I'm gonna log that away. Um, those shells behind me are, like, six feet in the air. And, like, they were, like, up to here for me. Just for, like, a size reference. Do you not know the meme? No, I don't know the meme of a, what is this, gay little monkey at the Apple store. It sounds like a nursery rhyme for, like, Gen Z. AKA 511. No. Gay little monkey at the Apple store is amazing. Oh my fucking god, with all these fucking bugs everywhere. Go away, I'm going to scare one of you. Like, on accident. Don't you run from me. 
The shells are like six feet up. He definitely has done this before. I've done this before. I've showed you guys. All the new Andes who have never like revealed I've never revealed my height. Well, they'll call it fake. But I am like six foot five, okay? I'm sorry. Haters and shambles, they stay picking the corn out of my shit. No, I don't know gay little monkey at the Apple store. Obviously, I'm not in tune with modern society. That's my apologies. Ha ha ha, he does look like a gay little monkey at the Apple store. So what? And so what if I fucking do? It's so good. Okay, send it on Discord then, and I'll be the judge, Judy, and executioner of whether it's funny or not. I will be the sole decider of your, like, level of humor. And only me. No one else. <laughs> I mean, slay, queen. Yes, that's what you guys are supposed to say. When I put that, like, little pose on there, you guys are supposed to say, Ah, slay, queen. <laughs> You're not supposed to leave the stream. I just had a horrible voice crack. You know, my voice doesn't crack a whole lot lately. I think I'm finally, like, uh, getting used to this streaming thing. Or that, or I finally finished puberty at the ripe old age of 27. I think I must have, like, finally finished puberty. Boink. Yes! I caught a walking leaf! Fuck you. That hip was jutting out. You could say the hips don't lie. Would you guys say that, like, my hips don't lie? You finally went through puberty. I mean, I was like a late bloomer. I didn't like, I don't think I like, I don't think I had like a deep voice until I was like 15. I mean, and like, it's not even deep, but you know what I mean? I didn't sound like I was like, hey guys. I don't think I was like that until I was like 15. Hey, thanks Aardvark Berry for the tier one three months in advance. Holy fucking shit. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes for three months. And enjoy your ad for your viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Alright, so I need... I mean, fuck it. I ate the op. I'll just have every kind of wood until I can't pick it up no more. Your milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. I... I don't get it. What's the milkshake? Oh, you know what I'm about to draw. You can't stop it. Yeah, oh, no. Don't draw me. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess I can't stop it. I gotta be very careful. I'm, like, not focusing at all about bugs. I mean, I guess I haven't, like, scared any away, so I guess that's good. But, like, I should be, like, more careful than I'm being right now. I'm, like, being a little too loosey-goosey. Because, I'll be honest with you guys, after I lost the last attempt, last stream, I was, like, really mad. And I don't want to be really mad again. I want to be really happy. I want to be, like... I want to be happy. I want to smile. I don't want to be sad and mad and angry. I want to be happy. You owe me $60,000. Well, you owe the government probably, like, double that, so. This little silliness overdose. Yeah, yeah, I'm just that good. I don't need to pay attention. Fuck boys think I didn't see that earth-boring dung beetle up there. Uh-uh. I did. Does scaring away the owl count? Why don't you ask yourself a question before you type that in Twitch chat? Ask yourself a very simple question that will give you the answer to what you just asked. Is an owl a bug? Is an owl, the avian species a O W L, a bug? Because I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Do you think the government would accept my organs as payment? That's actually a good question. Like. I don't need both of these fuck-ass kidneys, dude. All they do is, like, make stones and shit. So, like, what if I, like, gave one of my kidneys to the government in, like, exchange? Then again, is me getting kidney stones make me ineligible to give my kidneys to someone? Does that make me ineligible to give my kidneys to someone? Thanks, Zane. I appreciate it. Like, because, like, having kidney stones isn't, like, the worst thing. Like, it's not gonna kill you. But, like, would anyone want these fuck-ass kidneys? 
a document stack. I wouldn't want these, to be honest. Like, if I was a pretend, if I needed a kidney, I wouldn't want some guy who gets kidney stones as kidneys, right? Be a little fucked up. But, like, I also like beggars can't be choosers, right? If my kidney would keep you alive but make kidney stones, it'd be like, well, I guess I gotta do what I gotta do, right? Sort of. If it was life versus death, take the stones. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. I'm an organ donor, it says on my ID card. Whoops. It says on my ID card. That being said, like, my organs, at least my kidneys, are not exactly desirable. Aren't kidney stones based on diet? Oh. Do you don't? Oh, don't start this discourse, alright? Kidney stones are based on a lot of factors, mostly genetics. Yes, diet can affect them. But, you know, in the case of diet, it's often recommended that you drink more water. And I don't think I need to tell you guys, I drink a lot of fucking water. Alright? So that sort of, I'm not gonna say entirely eliminates the diet reason, because I hear, like, red meat causes them to. And if you think I'm gonna stop eating red meat, I'll take the stones. No, I think it's just genetics for the most part. Thanks for the hydrate. I, I guess a little bit more can't hurt, right? So it's like cold sores. Yeah, except cold sores times like a hundred in pain. And also they're internal, and also you have to pee them out. Well, so like, yes, but also like, no. In no way are they like cold sores. Flush them out. Happy holiday and new year tag. With diet coke. Thanks for coke. being a chill funny streamer, I can come back to often smiles. Yeah, thanks. Nyx knows a lot. Enjoy your emotes for nine months, and enjoy your emotes, and add free viewing. Appreciate it, thanks. I'm glad you enjoy the streams. Also, frequent UTIs are risk factors. I don't think I've ever had a UTI. I really, I'm not exactly like the person who should be getting kidney stones. I drink a shit ton of water. I have like, uh, I mean, I guess like I do eat, not a lot of red meat, but like I do eat it. I don't know. I think I just got unlucky. Like I asked my family, any of you guys get kidney stones? Like do I, is there like a history of kidney stones? And they all said no. I don't know why I got kidney stones. I must have had some, like, fucked up recessive gene or something like that. Wait, it's New Year's Eve, right? Or am I stupid? Well, you're not right, but you're not stupid either. Have some faith in yourself just because you don't know the day exactly. Well, it might be New Year's Eve for you. Yeah, if you're in, like, um, Australia or, like, Japan or kind of anywhere in Asia, probably. It's probably New Year's Eve for you. Not for me, though. I forgot how many days are in December. Knuckle trick. Alright, if it if you go knuckle, space, knuckle, space, knuckle, space, knuckle, and then that's how you tell the... I'm not stoned. If I was stoned, I wouldn't be able to tell you this. Okay, so you go January, February, March, April. If it's on a knuckle, it has 31 days. If it's in a space between the knuckle, it has 30 or less. So January, February only has 28. March has 31. April has 30. May has 31. June has 30. July, 31. Other hand, August has 31. September has 30. October, 31. November, 30. December, 31. Knuckle trick. Y'all don't know the knuckle trick? It works like a charm if you ever forget. March has 31. I would know that because that's when I was born. I was going to say, like, Halloween. You kind of already know October's got 31. And if there's any important date on the 31st or 30th, you'll kind of know, right? I know the poem. Spit it. What's the poem? I want to know that. I always have to sing the song in my head. Is that the poem? I want to hear it. New Hampshire, New York, Massachusetts, Delaware, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Connecticut, it's easy. Alright, let's get some iron now. I don't think I've hit my rocks yet today. March twinsies. Haha, <laughs> any July bitches in chat? Any July sons of bitches? I also know the poem. So quit saying that you know the poem without telling me the damn poem. The alphabetical state song is better. I don't know the alphabetical state song. I think I could just, like, list all the states eventually. If I, like, tried hard enough. 
30 days have September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31, except February, which has 28, till Leap Year brings it one day more. That sounds like shit. Who wrote that? That sounds like shit. <laughs> that sounds like ass. That doesn't sound like it like it flows and rhymes at all. You didn't write it in a way, and I don't think you can, to be clear. You didn't exactly write it in like a rhythmic way where I can like pick up how it would sound if somebody was actually like saying it, but I don't really know if you were able to. Where's the flow, the soul? I don't know, it's the first time I'm fucking reading it. Help. Okay, good, he was gonna go behind the tree and I couldn't see him. It's a bop, let me try. Yeah, give it a try and like maybe I can pick it up. But like, I don't know like the syllables. I don't know like, like where's the beat? I need like a beat in the background. I'll do the knuckle trick though, thank you very much. I'll do the fucking knuckle trick. I'm not singing a song every time I need to remember that April has 30 days, right? January, February, March, April. Yeah. I'll do the knuckle trick. Have I hit this rock? I think this is the first rock I hit, right? First rock from the sun? I'm gonna give it a try anyway. Oh, okay. 30 days have September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31, except February, till Leap Day brings it. One day more. I, I still don't really pick it up, to be honest with you. I'm still not, like, flowing with it. I need You guys need to link a YouTube video of somebody singing it. And if it's one of them, um, if you guys do it, um, and it's one of them um, Rick rolls, <laughs> them Richard rolls, I'm going to time you out for a long time. You basically got it, though. You're, like, 80%. I still, if that's 80% of what it sounds like, it sounds like shit. I'm just being honest with you. Knuckle Trick stays winning. If I'm being fully honest, I already forgot the Knuckle Trick. It's no use. Duh, it's so easy. Put your two fucking knuckles, put your two hands, this hurts. Put your two hands together like this. Start from left to right, because unless you like speak Arabic, that's how you write. All right. You start on the first fucking knuckle. All right. January, then you go your space in between the knuckle, February, March, April, May, June, July, and then you keep going every time you land on a knuckle, it's 31 days, every time you land in a space between the knuckle, it's 30 days or less. Holy shit. I haven't got the budget? What do you mean you ain't got the budget for the knuckle trick? You only got one hand? Knuckle trick is OG. That's so smart. Yeah. Well, I didn't. I didn't come up with it. Somebody way smarter than me, Galileo Galilei, probably came up with it. He was always known for like, uh, like he's studying months and shit, right? Yeah, that guy. He was. He's always known for like his months and stuff. You're yelling. Yeah. I gotta like stay. I gotta keep the Twitch chat engaged by like raising my voice every once in a while. Y'all think that like people who talk like this all the time. And, like, okay, I'm gonna play Animal Crossing now. Pimp, unfortunately, that's not the game no more, man. 2011, you could do that shit. 2023, you can't do that shit. You gotta, like, you gotta get a little into it. Uh, trust me, like, I don't like it either, but, like, it's kind of the game, you know? That's kind of the game. You changed, man. I don't need all this wood. This is ridiculous. Okay. And now... We're gonna make a crafting table. Gotta make a crafting table. And also upgrade my nets, probably. I am Rosen, though. Okay, he has the advantage of being really fucking good at chess. Alright? I have the advantage of not being good at anything. And so I have to compensate in other ways, alright? And also, like, chess is chill. I mean, Animal Crossing's kind of chill, too. But, like, you know what I mean. Thank you for the wisdom today. I gotta go. See ya. Put Subway Surfer's gameplay on the bottom of the screen. Yeah, I guess I could, like... I mean, there's always ways to spice up the stream, but... Wait, I have a craftable fishing rod. I haven't sold my fishing rod? What the fuck is wrong with me? I must mean that I have a flimsy fishing rod. What the fuck? Why did I never get rid of that? Silly guy. Ain't fishing challenge. 
My first diagonal stream and I'm at work, bro. See, I didn't get loud that time. They actually typed all caps. You're really good at AC and H. Yeah, but, but like, that's like saying that you're like really good at like walking. Like, I don't know. You're really good at walking. You're a really good walker. I don't know. It's sort of like, it's nothing like you really have to take too competitively and seriously though, you know? Like, chess is amazing to watch from somebody who's really good at it. Animal Crossing New Horizons, not really so much, you know? Are you good at walking? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> but, like, I don't want to flex on you guys. But, yeah, kind of. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. I'm a good walker. I always, like... Are you guys, like, fast walkers or slow walkers? Like, when you see someone, like, on the street and they're walking slow, do you, like, naturally walk past them with your rate of walking? Or are you like, ah, I can chill out, I can walk slow. Oh, so fast? Well, I think, like, people who walk fast have, like, anxiety, right? I think people who walk fast, like, have anxiety. So, like, most of you are probably fast walkers, because I know my demographic. I know my demographic. I sp oh, that's right. It's also like a stereotype of gay people to walk fast, right? Isn't that true? Okay, that was not nice. Dude, I'm just uh, speaking facts, man. I speak a hundred languages. I chose to speak facts. Yeah, I'm a fast walker. I am. Like, I always get told, like, slow down. I can't walk that fast. And I'm like, come on. Get a move on. Giddy up. I don't walk slow, but I don't walk fast. No, you're either one or the other. Is a is a black and white world, Russo. Wake up. Alright, we left a grove of trees. Redeem Nook Miles and time travel to September noon. Water flowers if not raining. Okay, it is raining, so we don't need to worry about it. Okay. Alright, I forgot to make a fucking crafting table. I'm a fast walker when I have a destination, but I can be very, very slow. I mean, like, I can, like, chill out, take it back, and walk, like, slow, but if I, my natural pace is quite, quite, quite quick. My natural walking pace is quite quick. Like, when Google says something is, like, a 10-minute walk away, I'll get there in, like, 8, usually, because I think Google assumes that, like, I'm walking, like, the average walking speed, and I'm like, I ain't the average walker. I- I am NOT the average walker. I have an eye booger, don't look at me. I have a fucking eye booger, don't look at me. Don't we all know his SSN? Not only do you guys know my SSN, you know each other's SSN. Cause I'm gonna tell you something, I'm gonna dox you all right now. All of your SSNs are in pie somewhere. All of your SSNs are in pie somewhere. I sadly gnawing on russet potatoes in the rain while pretending I'm in the Irish potato famine. Alright, that's some, like, weird RP, but, um... Yeah. That's, like, some weird RP to RP an event that killed, like, millions of people. I like sadly gnawing on russet potatoes in the rain while pretending I'm in the Irish potato famine. Alright, well, I hope you have a good time here. Strange, but you know, I, I won't judge. Jen is the slowest walker I've ever seen. Sometimes I'll walk faster and slow up like it's a game. I like to toy with like slow walkers, yeah. Like sometimes I'll like walk faster and get like really far ahead of them, and they'll be like, Stop, slow down, and I'll like take it real slow. Just toy with them, like toying with your prey. All right, let's go to let's put the crafting table down somewhere. I like to eat cheese at 2 a.m. like I'm a peasant. You're saying you don't? I think when I eat food, I don't pretend I'm anything other than myself in this moment eating that food. Because that's what makes me happy. I like to smell the roses, man. But you ain't smelling the roses. You're walking down like a busy-ass street, all right? You're smelling the damn ignition fumes. Time travel, September noon. Water flowers if not raining. Okay. Forward three days. Why, did I, why is it forward three days? I don't know exactly, but whatever. Who cares? Just do what the fucking script says.
The roses of the modern world. Fumes. Yeah, like gas and shit. I'm in the UK. I eat like a World War II evacuee. I eat like I'm a World War II evacuee every day. It's just a weird thing to RP, but, you know, whatever. I can't believe I just got noticed by my favorite YouTuber. Dude, I'm like a guy. I'm like a guy. I'm like a dude. I'm just like, you'd see me on the street and you'd be like, wow, what an unremarkable human being. I bet he does not have 175,000 subscribers on YouTube because he's just like a guy. It's raining again. I'm like a dude, man. I ain't nothing. I ain't shit. I ain't special. My shit stinks just like everyone else. My fucking... I go use the toilet sometimes and my fucking piss be coming out like, whoop, two different directions just like everyone else. And I get like really mad because I gotta fucking clean that up now just by doing nothing wrong. Sometimes it just be coming out like... Brrr. It's fucked up, but it happens. What? What do you mean? That happens to everybody. Sit down? No, I'm not sitting down. I don't have the time. Oh, look at that! Wowzers, that was a quick hybrid. Insane hybrid technology. The dastardly sprinkler? Call that shit the fork piss, man. Call that shit the fork piss. Mm, wow, we got two? We got fucking three? Holy shit! Oh the fuck? Dude, send this to fucking Hazel Newt. They're gonna execute me. I got fucking three black flowers on the first day that I could get them. That's fucking insane. Like, okay, I don't even know what to do with three of them. It's ridiculous. The quickest hybrid- oh no, not even close. Not the quickest hybrid. If I wanted to get the quickest hybrid, I could, like, make a route for that, but... It's more just like getting one on the first day and then getting three on the first day that I could get them. Water flowers if not raining. Hit rocks again until all are hit. Redeem miles. Time travel to December at 8 p.m. for the dung beetle and damselfly. Okay. So I guess let's hit my rocks then. Ah, bug. Don't go into the fucking water. Got him. Do you guys remember that raw potatoes and spicy mustard would be good? I should try that soon. No, I don't like raw- Gotta be honest with you guys. You guys like potatoes way more than I do. I always have. You guys always have. I think... I think that, like, potatoes... Like, not raw. Like, nobody really should eat raw potatoes. But, like... Y'all fuck with, like, a baked potato? I kinda don't fuck with, like, a baked potato. I don't really fuck with, like, a baked potato. I like, like, maybe- I like a mashed potato. I like... But, like, a baked potato? I, I don't fuck with a baked potato. I'm not a big baked potato kind of guy. I'm not keen on a baked potato. Seems like everyone loves baked potatoes. I don't. I don't know, maybe I'm weird. You know, like, those really thick, uh, fries, like, home fries? I'm not a big fan of them. I like the skinnier, the, the, the less potato in the fry, the better, in my opinion. That's really cute, giving me one iron at the start, and then nothing else. That was really cute and funny. Too dry? Well, you can, like, wet them up a little bit, but... The Vatican trying to wet me up with silver bullets. You can wet them up a little bit, but yeah, no, like, I, I kind of agree, though. I kind of agree. And I don't like them boiled, either. Like, unless you're, like, boiling them to mash them. I think mashed potatoes are, like, the best form of potato. There's, like, fries and mashed potatoes, and I think that that's, like, kind of all I, like, really enjoy as far as forms of potato. I think that's kind of it. It's just mashed and french fries. Pota okay, potato chips. But, like, I, I, I don't even... Con They're so, like, fucking processed, I barely even consider them potatoes anymore. Wait, did it say it's getting its feet wet because it's raining? Oh, wow. That's kind of crazy. I don't think I ever noticed that before. No, I'm not a big fan of potato salad. I'm not. 
in general, like, salads that aren't, like, lettuce-based, I'm not a big fan of. Like, potato salad, um... Like, mag macaroni salad is a thing. No, I'm not a fan. Fruit salad... I mean, I like fruit. It really would depend on the fruit that you, that's used. Watergate salad. Arr, 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 I was trying to do a Richard Nixon impression, but now he's like... Okay, he's fine. He's not going in the water. He's not going in the water. My Richard Nixon impression turned into genuine panic because I thought he was going to fucking jump into the ocean. Fuck. Jesus, that was crazy. I was gonna be like, arr, arr, I'm not a crook, but it turned in for like, arr, 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 and I like actually almost like lost the challenge, like in that moment. Coleslaw. I like a little slaw. I wouldn't eat it straight up though. Coleslaw as part of like a taco. Ooh, mama, that's good. That's pretty good. Does it going into the water count as scaring it away? I think that that's like one of the most literal definitions of scaring it away, right? It escaped my presence. Not a slaw truther, personally. I, I like slaw. It belongs on things. Remember that, uh... Oh, grasshopper? Migratory locust? No, grasshopper. Look, if it jumped in the water, but it was without my, like, doing, then I would consider that okay. But, whatever. We don't need to worry about it. Oh, it is a migratory locust. Those are pretty uncommon at this point, so I'm really happy I got that. Quite happy I got that. Do you guys remember that tweet Burger King tweeted on International Women's Day that said women belong in the kitchen? You guys remember that? You guys remember that? And then they deleted it, and then they said, No, 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 that's not what we meant. Whoa, that's not what we meant. Dude, it's just unfortunate, because I'm pretty sure they were trying to imply, like, women... I think they were, they were giving away, like, scholarships, right? They were giving away scholarships to, like, culinary colleges for women. They were giving opportunities for women to, like, be more active in the workforce. It was, like, a well-meaning tweet that just was just this horribly, horribly, horribly worded. Thanks to the hydrate. My friend brought me a Luka Doncic plushie because he went to the Mavs game against the Lakers. And I said, Luka's about to drop the most bombs as a white man since Nixon. And he was like 33 that night. <laughs> Should have said Kissinger. Their social media manager definitely got fired for that. Oopsie. I don't know, man. I don't think you fire someone after that. Hot take. I don't think you fire someone after doing that. Their social media manager... Shouldn't have got if they got fired. That's a tragedy because if you make a mistake like that, you don't make that mistake again Being honest with you. You don't make that mistake again. Uh oh, uh oh, please You don't make that mistake again, dude No You don't make that mistake again, dude fucking quit jumping Stop Stop Bro! I mean, like, I don't need it, so, like, I don't really care. But I just don't want it to jump in the water. Am I allowed to ask something kind of political? No. Um. Hi. No. No. <laughs> the outcome was punishment enough. Like, dude, you gonna fire someone after making that mistake? You know they're never making that mistake again. Because they'll never forget making that mistake in the first place. Because that was, like, one of the worst social media blunders of the year. That year. You think they're making that mistake again? Nah, man. You might as well keep them on board and, like, just know for a fact that they're never gonna do something like that again. Alright. Now, we'll go to... December at 8 p.m. for Dung Beetle and Damselfly. Right? When do I get the Firefly? Is that coming up after this? Yeah, okay, that's coming up after this. Hmm, okay. Okie dokie. Got it. 
10 or 12. Let's make it so that it's snowing. So like the 20th and then 8.30 p.m. Hi, I'm really glad you're streaming. Needed some motivation to work on my thesis. <laughs> Fucking go. Get it done. Does anyone else get unreasonably cold before they get a fever? I think when I have a fever, despite my temperature being like 109, I am like cold. So I think that's like a symptom of having a fever. Not that one is coming up. Necessarily, anyway. Yeah, but if they didn't fire them, the internet would go after them. Would they, though? I think the internet mostly found it to be, like, funny, rather than, like, actually, like, truly offensive, because there was, like, well-meaning to the tweet. So, I don't know. If they would have went after the social media manager for that, that would have been a little bit, like... I don't know. I We all know that the internet can be, like, shallow and short-sighted, but... It would have been a little bit, like, fucked up if they went after that, after an honest mistake, you know? The internet is does not take too kindly to people making honest mistakes a lot, you know? Now, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not, like, ignorant enough to believe that half the people who say that, like, Oh, no, I made a mistake! I was accidentally cancelled! No, it was a mistake! No, like, I know that, but, you know, so I, I would hate, personally, to be, like, the, uh, you know, the guy behind a massive, like, online blunder, because I know that the internet would not go easy on me, you know? I know that the internet would not take it easy on me. For an honest to goodness misunderstanding. Nah, I mean. Alright, damselfly and um, maybe a dung beetle. We'll see. Well, absolutely a dung beetle, but maybe a hermit crab is what I was thinking. And also, we gotta hit our rocks again. Broke, get back to the kitchen. Woke, wow, my wife prepared such a nice meal. I love her so much. I will try even harder in the kitchen for them next time because of how good this is. I will praise her for her culinary abilities and tell her that she belongs in the kitchen not as a sexist remark, but rather because she makes such scrumptious food, right? I gotta go. Gotta go to bed at 10 p.m. Or work at 10 p.m. Oh, that's even worse, dude. I work the night shift. That's the worst, dude. My worst shift ever. 7.30 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. In a factory. That was the fucking worst, man. That was the worst. Um, that will, like, melt your brain. That will destroy you. That will kill your will to, like, keep going. Some people swear by it. Not me. We're not meant to be awake from that. We're not meant to be awake and doing work during those hours. What's the furthest you've gotten so far? Attempt number three got to um, when I was, like, deforesting the entire island. We're not there yet, but we probably will be there um, if we don't fuck up this attempt. We'll be there pretty soon. So this attempt might be the one where we get the furthest, but we will see. And people do that for 30 damn years, and they're like, Yep, it's a living. Is it? It's a dying, if you're asking me. How about 4.30 p.m. to 9 a.m.? That's miserable. That's like nurse hours. 4.30 p.m.? You better get like five days a week off. What the fuck? Yeah, that's not living. That's surviving, really. Also, I don't need... I don't need all this fuck-ass stone. Get it out of here. Hey. I completely missed the notification. Hi. Hi. Thanks, my grand plan for the six months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. I think my stream notification... Oh, a warp roach. No, 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 no. Get away from me, vile bug. What are you? Vile... What are you? A cattle? Get away from me. All right, got a warp roach. I don't think we've caught that in any... Oh. <laughs> I don't think we've caught that in any attempt so far, so that's progress. My grand plan from the hit musical based off the Percy Jackson series titled The Lightning Thief. What's going on with Percy Jackson? I'm seeing a lot of Percy Jackson shit. I didn't read them when I was younger, and so I feel like I kind of missed out. I didn't read shit when I was younger because I wasn't able to, like, pay attention. Unless it was school mandated reading, like how many no how many books have I read in my life that weren't like school mandated reading? Not many. It's kind of sad. It's really sad, actually. 
Yeah, it has a TV show now. I think that's what I'm, like, seeing all this shit for, right? First time chat. Please, I don't have money to buy Animal Crossing. Can you gift my card $59? There was a 1 in 59 chance that I didn't just ban your ass. Oops, you lost. I used to love reading, and then school made it so unfun, I'm just now getting back into it. I read Darren Shan's Cirque de Freak. I got another fucking... Wow. All right. Jesus. I got another fucking Black Lily. All right. I read Darren Shan's Cirque de Freak. That was like, oh shit, there's something right there, and I almost scared it away. Darren Shan's Cirque de Freak, which was fucking awesome. That was like 12 books. Those are great. Um, I read, like, some, like, baseball books. Like, there was a series called, like, Blank and Me. Um, it was about, like, old baseball players. So there was, like, Babe and Me, Shoeless Joe and Me. Um, I don't remember any of the other ones. Honus and Me, where this kid would, like, have a baseball card of, like, old baseball players, and he had, like, a power... Where if he, like, held it, it would, like, teleport him back to the time that that baseball player existed. And he would, like, meet all these old baseball players. It was awesome. Marley and me? Okay. Not a baseball player. Not even related to baseball. But a movie I will never watch because, uh, it's too sad. I watched- uh, Marley and me is one of them, like, I'm gonna watch this one time. Be like, ah, that was really sad. And it, like, made me cry and never watch it again. Because, like, while I admit it was, like, really good, I'm not fucking watching that shit again. I, I fully know what's, like, I, I knew what was gonna happen going into it, let's be honest. But, like, I don't want to see that again. Are you fucking kidding me? It's a real tearjerker, yeah. It is, you know, just ignore it if you don't need it. Just ignore it. Just ignore it and it'll go away. Just like your school bullies. Ha! <laughs> huh? I used to get Marley and me and a dog's purpose. And a dog's way home, confused. I don't- I've never even heard of the latter two. Hermit Crab? Nope. I've never seen that movie and I never will. Look, you know the premise, though. You don't really need to. If you really want to watch Marley and Me, do it just to look at Owen Wilson's fucked up nose. Thanks for the hydrate. Maybe don't burp in the vessel with which you drink your water, you fucking moron. What the fuck is wrong with you? Ah, refreshing. Ah, tasty. I heard a mole cricket. Okay, I can find it. First try? You guys think I'm gonna get this mole cricket first try? Hang on, I'm telegraphing. I got my Sennheiser's just cranked up to 100. A little bit to my left. A little bit to my right. I can't tell if it's here or here. It's like I might be standing on it. Nope, to my left. Nope, right here. Nope, to the right. Take it back now, y'all. One hop this time. There we go. That was kind of pathetic. Five attempts to get that? That was really bad. Triangulate. I was trying. Obviously, I failed. <laughs> Wasn't very good. What challenge are you doing? I'm so confused. It's in the title. Catching every bug. If I scare one away, I restart. I didn't triangulate hard enough. I mean, I was only, like, getting bored of, like, doing that, like, halfway through doing it. So, I was like, eh, let's just try to find it. Just dig a bunch of fucking holes. Alright, there's my snowballs. Or one of them, anyway. Usually, the other is never far away from the one. Yeah, it's not too far away. Okay, we can work with that. I'm wondering if, um... <clears throat> I should... Start cutting down all these trees over here while I wait for them to spawn. Might as well, right? I'm gonna have to eventually. Yo, Dag, I've been a big fan ever since I discovered your channel. I wanted to see your streams live, and now here I am. Hi. 
Oh, hang on. Let me check something. You guys are going to maybe like this. Although, I might be teasing you because I don't think that... Um... No, I'm going to have... You guys are going to have to remind me um, in like... Guys, remind me next Thursday. Put a reminder on your phone, okay? Put a reminder on your phone. Next Thursday, remind me to check uh, Facebook. Now, that's very vague. I don't actually have a Facebook, but there's something on Facebook that I think you guys are going to like. But I don't think it will be posted there until Thursday. I don't think it will be posted there until Thursday. So set a reminder on your phone for Thursday. Tell me, check Facebook. I think I, I think I'll have something you guys will like. I think I'll have it'll have something you guys like. That's really ominous. No, you just trust me, bro. Just trust me. What do I get out of it? You'll just have to see, because if I told you, you'd know what the surprise is. You'll know what the surprise is. It's not really a surprise. Put a reminder to remind you? Yes! That is exactly what I said. What a cliffhanger. Well, dude, I can't, like, whatever. You guys, you'll just have to see, all right? You'll just have to wait and see. All right, all these trees are good, right? Do I get a $59 gift card? No, the fuck you do not. Dude, that's so fucked up. I won pub trivia. Oh. I fucking won pub trivia. And I got a $25 gift card to the fucking pub that I won pub trivia at. Is anyone else like me? Like, where that's like a little like... I don't know. Like, hey, thanks for coming by and winning our pub trivia. Make sure to come back and give us more of the money. Make sure to come back and give us the money that you just won. Oh, that's a little fucked up. I was kind of hoping for like a Visa gift card. I'm gonna have to go back and use it. Or sell it to some like cokehead downtown for like 20 bucks. And be like, hey, $20 to get $20 worth of food and drink at this one pub. Ha, ah, you're really funny giving me one iron. It's incredibly unsurprising. Yeah, unsurprising, but still like a little bit upsetting. That I have to go back to that facility with which to actually use my fries. Okay. I don't know. I was a little bit, as the British would say, I was a little bit miffed by that, actually. I was a little miffed by that. That really miffed my muffins. Really fucked my butt. Depends if it's a good place. I mean, it's okay. It's just like, more of the principle of not, I don't know, making it so that you essentially gave out the prize for free, because of course I'm gonna have to like, use that gift card at the same place that gave me that, you know? So it essentially costs them nothing to like, give me $25 gift card. Like, yeah, it is better than not getting anything, but like, still. Just barely. <clears throat> okay, $19 Fortnite card. Who wants it? Why does the attempt say zero? Whoops, why did that do that? I must have switched scenes or something. What's the deadline for the gift card? Oh shit, that's a good question actually. Dude, don't tell me it expires in like a month. Hang on. See. This gift card is only valid at the following blank brewery companies. Owned and operated pubs. Cheers! It doesn't have an expiry date on it, so I could uh, theoretically use it whenever. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I guess it's good forever. No, I, I looked on the back. The fucking front of it just has the name of the brewing company, which I tried to censor, and now I'm just showing you straight up. But the back doesn't have shit. I also just showed you... I don't think my webcam would have been HD enough to show you the actual, like, barcode there. But I sure hope that none of you just scanned that barcode and stole my gift card, essentially. That was not very smart of me, was it? 
I tried one of the challenges you did for myself. It was pretty fun. It was the museum. Did you do it faster than 61 hours? Yeah. Now we all get 25 to the pub. Yeah, unfortunately, though, I think, like... You'd have to live near the pub, though, to really, like, use it. Or at least... I, like, honest to God, if one of you, like, took... It's kind of like gift card cuck, right? Honestly, I wouldn't be too sad if you guys, like, stole this gift card from me because you, like, screenshotted the fucking barcode and, like, used it to, like, buy something online. Like, dude, I'm kind of like, at least someone got some use out of it. That's also kind of like bike cuck energy, though, isn't it? I don't know. I'm currently on hour 623. Oh, wow. Gonna travel there just because. Yeah, stonks, dude. I'm gonna try I'm gonna spend like a hundred dollars to travel to the brewing company to use that $25 gift card that I stole from someone. That's stonks right there. Ooh, careful. Careful, fuck boy. Come on. Alright, good. Got a spider. That was one hit away from scaring that away. Or rather cutting down the tree on top of its ass. Also, I did not see this. Okay. Hey! Snowflakes count as bug spawn slots, so they should count for this challenge. Fuck off. No. Thanks for the 30 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I had people try to tell me that scaring the owl away from on top of the signboard is a bug. And now I got people trying to tell me that a not-living thing is a bug. Ah, uh, I ain't buying it. Mm-mm, fuck out of here. Enjoy your emotes, though, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. My stupid autocorrect wasn't putting what I wanted. What did you want? Oh, Darnell? You can call me Darnell, it's okay. Hi, Dagnall. Hi, Mom. Thanks for the 31 months. Enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. The owl is just chilling. Kurt Angle stare. Hang on, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the guy that goes like... I don't have, like, the bright blue beady eyes that he has in that gif, but it's like... And he does, like, the white people smile. Yeah, it's gif with the J, alright? I say it like how the creator of gifs said that it's fucking pronounced, alright? Because is that not, like, King Jif? Shouldn't we listen to him? I feel stared at, yeah. Good, you should. Shameful. Um. Now just wait for a dung beetle, right? I guess I could, like, start chopping down pretty much everything on the island, but... I just wanted to clear out that little area, just to start. Stop fucking spawning longhorn fucking beetles. It's annoying. Let's go in and out of, like, the museum a few times, see if I can get them to spawn. I watched you on YouTube and stumbled across your video on here. Hi. The WWE champion, the Olympic winner of 1996, the man, the myth, the bald. You know, people think that because WWE is fake, that, like, the wrestlers aren't really good at wrestling. But, yeah, Kurt Angle was a fucking Olympic wrestling champion in 1996. I'm still really concerned of where this came from. I'm still really concerned of where this spring in my chair fell out of when I kicked it. I'm still really scared. Perk angle. I need my perk. I need my perk. One perk is never enough. With a broken freaking neck as well, yeah. What is that guy? Hang on a minute. Is he from, like, Pittsburgh? Yeah, he's from Mount Lebanon. What a guy. I think it came out of your back. Is this a dastardly way to get me to look at my own ass? I don't know. I didn't even know there was springs in this chair. I'm going a few... Oh, that's right. AGDQ in Pittsburgh in a few weeks. Oh! If you'd have told me, or if I, like... I had a friend who applied, and they didn't get in. And I told them, like, if you get to AGDQ, I'll, like, make my way down there. It's only a couple hours from me. I guess I could still try, but, like, it'd be you and, like, no one else that I know. 
is there. Is that moving? I sometimes like fool myself into thinking that these things are moving, but it's not. AGDQ is in PGH? Yep. This year, anyway. I don't think it's going to be like a permanent thing. Wait, where's the snowball? Oh, okay. Yeah, Dean could have been in Pittsburgh, but didn't get accepted. You give me motivation to play AC and H again? I'm sorry. <sighs> Brock Lesnar, too, was a WWE guy and won the UFC championship and was a champ of wrestling in his school. Yeah, I think people think that, like, WWE's fake. The wrestlers must not be very good. No, they are. They are. They do hotel contracts. It's likely it'll be there the next couple of years. That's good. I'd like to. If somebody, like... If I had an advanced enough notice that, like, somebody was going to AGDQ, I might have, like, bought tickets as, like, a visitor or something. Thanks for the hydrate again. This is what I'm saying. I gotta get a hydrate. All you guys use it for is just to make me hydrate after I already did it. To be like, haha, owned. I think this is it. I think this is the last stream with hydrate. It's been like a good two years of having Hydrate as one of my channel point redemptions, but I think, I think that's it. I think, I think this is it. I think we're done. I think people want you to piss a lot. Like, that's also like not very cool. That's also like not very cool. Thank fuck. Dude, I like, it's just, it's annoying because like it's not used as like a genuine means of like checking up on me to make sure that I'm like hydrating. It's just a way of people being like, "Oh, I can like control him." Like I said, like, little like fucking puppet. That's all I am to you people. Or put it on a cool. It is on a cooldown. It's like a 15 minute cooldown. And as soon as it's as soon as it's up, <coughs> fucking someone's like eyeballing it, waiting for it to scroll down to zero. Can I visit your island? No, it's a challenge. Yeah, 15 minutes. Attempt number four? Yeah, it's really hard. And it wasn't going to happen the first time, most likely. And check this beach for hermit crabs, I guess. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of it. Probably the last stream. I, I actually, I quite like my only custom redemption being the first redemption. To be honest with you, I think... The first redemption is one of, like, the most clever things I have. Like, as far as, like, something that's ubiquitously me, you know? I don't think I've seen anyone else with a first redemption. I like it. I think it's fun. Gives 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 people, like, uh, some incentive to, like, be here early. Be like, oh, I got first, you know? It's just fun. I like it. We leave in the Hydrate Channel Point Redemption in 2023. I have one, and all is also 69. Sorry, dang. Oh, did you come up with it yourself, though? I was quite proud of that one. I thought it was the only one. And, like, you make it so that you can only use it once per stream. So there's only one person that can be first. I have a little Aggie. I don't know who that is. But I guess I shouldn't have expected I would be the only one to do that. Oopsie. What the hell? Uh, sure. I guess I could put... I don't need my watering can anymore. I've got fucking four... Like, literally drop it. I don't need it anymore. I have four black lilies. This is ridiculous. Yeah, fuck it. Who cares? Fuck it. I ate the op. One thing's for sure I got from you is enjoy the emotes and ad-free viewing. I know two people now, including you, that have... Uh, uh, um, um, not stolen from me, but maybe were inspired from me. You could say that, like, if I was in the credits of your stream, you'd say, like, I'm the emotes and ad-free viewing guy, maybe. Trademark it and I'll pay royalties? Nah, too much work. I gotta make myself a fucking LLC so that for tax purposes, and I'm like, ah, I don't fucking feel like it. So I just try to get that last little bit of coffee out the, out the thing. You haven't made one yet? No, dude. And I fucking should, because it's be so beneficial to me for tax purposes. And I'm pretty sure it's not that hard to do. But I'm just lazy. And it's paperwork, and I fucking hate paperwork. 
What is up, dude? The fucking dung beetles. Why are they like the most weird thing in the game? Along with fleas. It's so easy. Yeah, I know. 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 And it's so easy to get out of bed at like 10 in the morning. So why do I go back to sleep for like two hours? All right. Yes, on paper, all these things are so easy. That's the thing about mental illness, is it takes a lot of easy things and it makes them, like, fucking difficult because it paralyzes your brain from making it so that you're able to do easy tasks easily, like how quote-unquote normal people do it, okay? Yeah, that's fucking mental illness for you, man. That's just how it is. Administrative adulting is literally the worst part about being an adult. What's up, Stargazer? How are you doing? Like, literally everything is so easy. Life really is just a bunch of, like, easy things put together to the point where it's really hard. But if you, like, digest them in, like, little baby pieces and take one thing at a time, yeah, life can be easy to those of you who have the ment mental capabilities with which to do that, you know? And if you don't do some of those easy things, then they do become not easy. Oh, you didn't pay your taxes, which is really easy on paper anyway, if you have a quote-unquote traditional job, not like what I do. Oh, we're going to make it really hard because now we're going to get the IRS on your ass. That's really hard. Should have done it when it's easy. Taxes is easy? Honestly, if you have a W-2 in America, like a, a regular old W-2... Yeah, it is really easy. It's literally just like you put the information in there. You don't even like fill everything out. You just put in what you like. You, you just like put in like what your W 2s unique code is or, or wherever, and it auto fills everything in there. And then you check everything's right. You write off any deductibles, and then you send it. It literally takes like thirty minutes. It, it's so easy. For the people who like us get fucking ten ninety nine miscellaneous forms because our jobs are so fucked up. Yeah, it gets a little bit harder. It gets a little bit harder. And by a little bit harder, I mean it turns into a whole stressful affair. Try picking up the shell so you can see if it's a crab or not. Yeah, I'm sort of like memorizing where like they are though now at this point. You owe me money. Okay, how much? Figure it out. Do you know how much I owe? Yup. Okay, so what if I get it wrong? Jail? Yeah, in like a very dramatic way, that is kind of like what taxes are like. I hear in other countries, though, they like just, or your, your like employer or the government does just do it for you, which I'm like, shoo, that sounds really nice. Ow. That sounds really nice. Yeah, I wish I could do that. Jail ain't looking too bad right now. Free food, entertainment, a bed for free. Dude, if I was like in Norway... You think that, like, I wouldn't, if I was in, like, a really bad state of my life, you think that I wouldn't, like, go to jail? Like, do something that's, like, a literally, like, a, a victimless crime? If it meant getting to stay in one of those, like, Norwegian jail cells? You think I wouldn't do that? Dude, if you're in, like, Norway and you're, like, really down, like, you, you're just in a really bad part of your life, you think that... I, like, would it not be, like, a legitimate option to be like, okay, I'm gonna, like, commit a crime so that I can go to jail, because those jails are really fucking nice. They're like hotels. Like, would that not be, like, a legitimate option available to you in Norway? This is not me encouraging crime, by the way. It's just mostly a hypothetical, you know? It's just a hypothetical. Like, would it not be, like, an actual incentive if, like, things aren't going so well for you and you're just a little Norwegian boy? Your name, like, Bjorn or some shit like that. Has to be, right? What is we just get arrested and one of those European countries, like, fly to Norway and then, like, do a crime and then go to Norwegian prison? Wouldn't they send you back to America, though? Basically, doesn't matter if you get it wrong, as long as it's not clearly tax avoidant slash evasion. Yeah, any tax professionals in my chat? Like, anyone who can do my taxes for me? <laughs> like, I genuinely would appreciate the help. If you're self-employed, there's no way big government knows what you earn unless you tell us. Well, yeah, I am self-employed, and I'm pretty sure they do, because Twitch, of course, and YouTube, my two sources of income, will definitely report that to the government. So, I don't know what you mean. What's the context behind some of these emotes? Um, 
I don't know. I think all my emotes are like a couple years old now, so like I don't know if they're all as relevant to me, but I don't know. I think the context is pretty obvious to some of them. They're either like me making a fucked up face or like they're spin-offs of like popular Twitch emotes. Some of them are like Animal Crossing inspired and yeah, I should probably like maybe get them changed, but you know, cuz I'm not big on Animal Crossing as much as I used to be. What about Joke Noel? That's a new one? Well, yeah, that's the Joker. That's when I'm, like, saying some, like, deranged, fucked up shit. Which happens a lot, I guess. Because I see that one a lot. I might do an emote overhaul soon. Problem with that is, is that it's a lot of money. If you want to pay an artist to redo all your emotes. That's a... That's a good chunk of change. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a good chunk of change right there. If someone asked me how much money it is to overhaul your entire selection of like 20-something emotes, I'd say, I don't know, Buster, but it's a good chunk of change. Depends on the artists, but it's, it's, it's a good bit of money. Good bit of money. I am going to lose my mind. Where's dung beetles? Like, I might as well do something while I'm here, right? And like, chop down trees. Do something while I wait for them to spawn. Chop down all the trees that I can access, which is everything on the first level. Ridiculous. Get an emote called Adnal? No, I already don't like when people bitch about ads, so why would I encourage it? I already hate it when people complain about ads, because I have no control over them whatsoever. Why would I want to encourage that further? It'd be around six to seven hundred bucks, I reckon. Uh, I don't, I wasn't thinking that much, but it would definitely be a few hundred. It would definitely be a few hundred. It depends on the artist. If the artist commissioned me, or if I commissioned the artist and they gave me a six to seven hundred dollar quote, I think I would probably like shop around a little bit more. <laughs> But, like, that is, like, I'm not saying that they don't deserve that money. I'm just saying I think I could find a little bit cheaper than that for just as good quality. Maybe 400 I was thinking, like, that would be, like, on the upper end of what I would expect to pay. It would be, like, 400 But, I don't know. Artists should charge whatever they think they're worth. And if someone thinks that they're worth six to 700 bucks, go for it. The, the market will determine whether or not someone will want to pay you that much, but if that's what you think you're worth, go for it. Absolutely. Somebody will. Probably. Maybe it would incentivize people with ads to sub. Probably not. No, it wouldn't incentivize them to do shit. It would incentivize them to complain more. Thanks to the hydrate. I don't think dung beetles can spawn on the same snowball twice. I haven't even gotten to spawn, spawn on either snowball once. If I had gotten them to spawn on either snowball once, I wouldn't be worried about it, because I only need to catch one. You teach us facts and don't get kind replies, and that's wrong. I teach you guys facts? What have I taught you guys? Is there a genuine thing that I've ever taught you guys? Like, have you guys learned anything important in your life from me? Like, have I taught you guys anything? I don't- it's not really my goal, but if that is a side effect of something that I've done, then that's pretty cool, right? Wasps are little sluts. I don't think I taught you that. The Texas and Chile flags are similar. They are. Um, the only difference is that the uh, blue tricolor side on Texas goes all the way down the side, as opposed to Chile, where it only goes halfway down the side. Because, remember it like this, everything's bigger in Texas, including our uh, blue parts of our flag. Everything's bigger in Texas. Overall knowledge I experienced from diagonal streams is a net loss. Hey, what do you mean? No, you can't say that. You telling me I make you stupider? Bro, I ain't Jupiter. 
You're not saying I genuinely make you stupider, right? Right? No. No, I don't. I make you smarter. I'm like that channel, smarter every day. Right? I knew nearly nothing about taxes until I started watching you. Now I know some stuff. Well, too bad it's not Scottish taxes, because I wish I could help you out more there. Whenever beetles move, you can walk? I never knew that at the time. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good Animal Crossing tip. But, like, I teach you guys any real-life stuff, like, stuff that's applicable to real life. I teach you guys, like, any, um, I taught you guys the knuckle trick, right? You guys like the knuckle trick? You guys love the knuckle trick, right? Everyone loves the knuckle trick. Now you'll never know how many days are- you'll always know how many days are in each month, right? You taught us sarcasm? I'm not sarcastic. I hear a mole cricket. I don't care. I learned the knuckle trick. I learned a lot of British slang. Yeah, there you go. Like, having a stroke. Or, um, touching cloth, right? Bloke? Well, everyone knows bloke, right? Taking the piss, right? Like, if I'm just joshing with my, with my blokes, I'm taking the piss, right? Yeah. I'm just taking the old piss. I'll probably use the knuckle trick with kids I tutor. Yeah, there you go. Spread my knowledge everywhere. Alright. I have, um, something not registered, right? Oh, oh, okay, apparently not. Alright, cool. I'm probably gonna need more axes. Taught me fleas are little bitches, and they, they're way too hard to get. Yeah, but we already knew that. Dung beetles are proven to be the fucking problem now. Right, that's good. Alright, be careful before you, um, pole vault over anywhere, because I don't think anything could be on a tree right now, or not much anyway. So, I think it's all good, but just want to make sure. You taught people the towel wrap. Yeah, that's true. I did teach people the towel wrap. And I think that that's valuable, right? Then again, I feel like people who want to use the towel wrap would have already known, though, right? Did you pray today? No. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. August, my birthday month. September, yeah. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, December. It's easy. Sad I missed your streams recently. I love all the YouTube content. I've even shared it with my sister, and she's a fan. She plays a lot of AC and H plus Stardew. Oh, thanks. People, y'all tell, like, your friends about me. Y'all tell your friends about me. Or your, like, family. You tell your friends and family about me. Like, is that, has you, have you, like, made anyone in your family, like, a fan of me? I told my sister about you? Okay, and? My husband knows about you. Okay, I did, and they did not care. Okay, kind of like a hit to my ego a little. Started playing AC and H for the first time yesterday. Hello, everyone. Hi. I hope you enjoy AC and H. I introduce you to my spouse, and he thinks you're hilarious. Yeah, see, that's what I want to hear. I want to hear, oh, I introduced you to, like, my great Grammy. And she, the last thing she saw before she perished on her deathbed was one of your streams. That's what I wanted to hear. That's what I wanted to fucking hear. Yeah. Feed my ego. Don't make me feel bad. Thanks, Lenore, for the two months. Enjoy your emotes, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I see your name, and I think Bill from King of the Hill. <laughs> Lenore. Dung? Okay. Dung? Okay. Last thing Mima saw before she went to heaven. I mean, that's the last thing you guys would want to see, right? You don't want to see your boy, right? I think I would. 
I think my dulcet tones would be the perfect guide to heaven. You guys ain't going to heaven, let's be honest. You guys ain't going to heaven. Who the fuck am I kidding? Help. I guess I will... Have I funded the shop yet? Let's go to the next day. And I guess try then to look for dung beetles. Get the rocks refreshed. Get iron. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to see you in hell, brother. Dude, I'm going to hell. I'm a good kid. I'm nice. I'm nice. I'm nice and I'm good. I ain't going to hell. Why would I go to hell? What, do I, what would I have done to go to hell? Like, genuinely. Tell me something I would have done to go to hell. Mm-mm. Not me. Alright. Go to the next thing. I'm so sad Dagnum will go to heaven even though he doesn't deserve it. Yeah, that's probably like comment of 2023. That was probably comment of 2023. Number one. I gotta do like a tier list. If I could like, uh, next year, I gotta do a thing where like, I like screenshot the best comments. Like January 1st, 2023, I start doing it. Where I screenshot the best like Twitch chats. But then you guys are going to try way too hard to, like, be funny. And it's not going to be funny at all. So, like, I'll, like, I won't, like, tell you guys when I do it. I'll just, like, clip them when I see them. Like, the funniest Twitch chats of 2023 or 2024. And at the end of 2024, I'll put them all together and we'll do, like, a little tier list. It would be, like, a little scrapbook, right? Yeah, it's sort of, like, fostering an environment of people who are, like, telling me to, like, kill myself or something. But... Whatever. I mean, I'll I'll be able to sniff out genuine, like, funny comments and ones who are just trying to, like, be funny. I think I do a pretty good job of that. Nah, we're naturally funny. Yeah. My comment about of the eating kids was the best. Dude, you can't say your own comment was the best. Why do people think it's some pog move to get banned? I don't know. Well, I guess it's in the same way that, like, people go around, like, trolling Twitch streams. Like, telling people to, like, do terrible things. I think they just, like, keep it as, like, a point of pride of, like, how many channels they've been banned from. Like, I don't know. I guess. My ass thought that Black Lily in the corner was a scorpion. Now, if anything was going to spawn right now, as far as creepy crawlies, it would be a tarantula. But I do, it's actually a good reminder, like, I should not carry around my net in case I get sneak attacked by a tarantula. It is a good reminder. Also, uh, citrus longhorn beetles can spawn here. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm not going to get rid of every stump because there's still stump beetles that I need. But you know what? I'm not fucking taking the chance. You're not really supposed to dig up all the stumps, but I'm going to do it because I'm not taking the chance that I, like, crawl in on, like, a fucking jewel beetle, scare it away. I'm not doing it. I'm not taking the chance. My comments made it into several of your YouTube thumbnails, so I'm good. Several? Maybe like a couple. Take a chance on me. What was the song that ABBA sang for Eurovision? It wasn't that one. Was it... Was it Dancing Queen? Like three of them? Oh, I thought it was just one. Fingers crossed for hermit crap. Oh, Waterloo! Yeah, that one, okay. Wasn't it Waterloo? I guess. I don't even know what that means. What the fuck is Waterloo? Sounded like a toilet. I heard my grandma fall down the stairs. Alright, well, I'm gonna give you, like... How long do you think that that will take you to, like... Resolve like 48 minutes seems good. You should probably go like take care of that I would hate to have like have you in like my twitch stream while something as traumatic as that happened That'll probably be like a 48 minute like uh, That'll probably take like about 48 minutes to like resolve. So why don't you go like take a seat and go help her out? Like dude, I'm just doing your grandma a favor 
by timing you out for 48 minutes. Like, if your grandma fell down the stairs and the first thing that you feel inclined to do is type that your grandma fell down the stairs, you should... Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. You should probably go, like, help. So, like, get out of my stream for 48 minutes. Go take care of your grandma. Seems fair, right? Take some time to help Gma. Exactly. This is in a fucking awkward spot. You really couldn't have been in, like, a fucking worse spot. You know that? Wait, if he puts that in the cliff... Oh, he's got to do a little... What are you doing? What are you doing? What is my blood doing? What is my blood waffling about? I I don't even, like... I don't have an angle for this. I don't have an angle for this. And try to get him from the back. <laughs> Careful. Alright, good. That was nerve-wracking, but we got it. Alright, so we're done with this time frame, except I still have to hit my rocks, so I think I'm gonna do that. I was also digging up all the stumps, which would probably be smart, right? To continue doing. Yeah, kind of sick with it, though. Yeah, he kind of fucky with it. Gma is summoning demons again. I roll. Joke, by the way. Yeah, no, I figured. No, I, like, I don't know why people feel... I don't, I don't actually know if their grandma fell down the stairs, but you know, I'm not taking the chance. I'm not taking the chance that grandma actually did fall down the stairs. I don't care. I'm not taking the chance. I'm not going to be held liable because I didn't time that user out to go help their grandma. I don't want to hear it. I'm going to do doing my job. Bro was being weird champ. Probably just waffling. That's such a fucking twitch. Dude, tell like a caveman that sentence and they're going to like, their head, fucking head is going to explode. Bro was being weird champ. Probably just waffling. Dude, tell that to somebody in fucking 1980 and their head will explode. Tell that to somebody in 1980, their fucking, like, head's gonna explode. They're gonna think that we're fucking strange. That would send a Victorian child into a coma just by saying that. Gronk would probably understand. Dude, Gronk's probably busy bashing two rocks together, man. Gronk's probably busy gnashing two rocks together. And, like, gets, like... Actually gnawing on, like, some bison foot or something like that. Probably trying to look strong for Gronkino over there. The mere sight of me would instantly kill a Victorian child? Do you think that, like, if I went back to 1980, do you think I could blend in, guys? Like, I'd have to make a conscious effort to blend in, but do you guys think I could do it? No, I think so. I just joined, is this even possible? Well, I'm three hours into it, and I ain't fucked it yet, so... Obviously... Kind of? I think I could adjust. I could adjust to being like a 1980s... Dude, I'm not kidding when I say, you'd need a mullet? I could do that. i need a mullet? What I wouldn't be able to do as far as 80s fashion would go is grow a giant mustache. Hopefully a mullet will just do. I mean, you could be clean-shaven. Clean-shaven's fine in all instances, right? There's never a time period where, like, clean-shaven was weird, right? But, like, I think that I would not be defenstrated, all right? Defenestrate? Whatever. I think that, like, the best time... Like, the time period where I think I would, like, do the best as I am now would be like the late 80s, early 90s. I think that that's like a time period that I would most want to be like who I am now. I think 2023 kind of sucks to be like a 27-year-old guy. I think that like... Oh, hell. I think that like... um. 
being like a 27 year old guy in like 1987 would be pretty sick. 2023? I don't know. I could realistically have been a homeowner. Yeah. You'd be dead by... But, well, yeah, but lifespan was shorter back in the day, so you'd be dead by 40. Bro, you think people in 1987 died at 40? You think people in 1980... The oldest living woman who got to 122, I think, died in 93. What are you talking about? Like, maybe like a couple years younger, but not that much worse. Good God, man. What are you thinking? I thought we were talking about 1880. Even 1880, it wasn't 40. We have to go back to, like, 8. Alright, well, we're good, right? Now we just gotta hit our rocks. Take a chance on me. Yeah, I just gotta hit rocks now. I'm not saying, like, all of you guys would, like, do better in, like, 1987. No, I know. A lot of things have changed since 1987 for the better. That makes 2023 a much more livable place for a lot of people of various lifestyles. But for me personally, I think, like, 87, that's around, the, like, the right time to be 27. I kind of wish I was born in 1960. Part of me, anyway. Part of me likes all the technology and shit that we get these days. But, I don't know, man. Ever learned anything from a picture of Dorian Gray would actually love to be a man in 1890? I don't know. Depends on where in 1890. Because 1890, like, New York City is a fuck of a lot different than 1890, like, San Francisco. Oh, jeez. Another great day of living in San Francisco in 1905. I sure would hate to have an earthquake devastate my entire city and cause it to go back like 20 years in sociological economical development. I don't know what I just said. Yeah, maybe like England high society, but definitely not like San Francisco. Like, you can make, like, I see a meme on YouTube a lot. That's like, uh, it's where Squidward is like, Oh boy, it sure is a nice day here in New York City on September 11th, 2001 at 8.54 a.m. And then it's a picture of a Boeing 737 and it's got Spongebob's face on it. And it says, hi Squidward. I don't know why I'm getting a lot of those recommended to me on YouTube, but I am. I don't know why, but I am. They obviously think I'm tar I'm their target audience. 80s, 90s live music plus concerts went hard? Yeah, that's because you didn't have to smell them. Millennial humor? Is that millennial humor, dude? That's extremely Gen Z humor. That's extremely Gen Z humor. I don't think that's millennial humor. I feel like that's extremely some shit that, like, Gen Z would love. That's the shit I laugh at, yeah. What's up, Margo? I love the one where Squidward is driving and Spongebob crashes into him saying, Hi, Squidward. There's gotta be, like, a compilation of them out there, right? At this point. I've seen, like, a hundred of them. It actually, some of them taught me, like, historical events that I didn't even know existed. I don't remember one, but mm, probably has anyway. Hey, iron. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get progressively higher with every iron I get. Oh. Okay. Millennials still think 9/11 is tragic. They're not joking like that. Okay. Like, you kind of, like, maybe I'm a millennial. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm kind of being a millennial. Maybe I'm kind of being exactly the person that you said. But, like, it kind of was. But, like, if you think that that doesn't make it so that people can joke about it, you're sorely mistaken. People were joking about that the day it happened. Some people, anyway. One of the most fascinating things, whoa. One of the most fascinating things on the internet was this old forum that was, like, alive when 9-11 happened. And it was, like, people's, like, live, raw reactions on, like, a forum of 9-11 as it was developing. It's literally, like, unironically, one of the most fascinating pieces 
of like internet history that we have, I think anyway. Alright, now the next day. Until we get 30 iron. As a member of Gen Z, I think it's funny how obsessed people are with it. That's because you guys didn't live through it, you know? It's always easier to joke about things that you didn't live through, right? It's always easier to joke about that stuff. And I don't remember it myself, but... I mean, I lived through it, like, technically. I think that if you didn't go through the traumatic experience of living through it and remembering it, it's, yeah, a lot easier to joke about. Shop time, almost. Hopefully I can get enough iron today. What was the longest one of these challenges has gone? Have we hit the four hour mark of any of these? I think this is about the furthest I've gotten. Except I think... It may not be the furthest time-wise. Or like... Through actually the progression of the game. But we're getting there. Don't goof it. I'm trying not to. I'm taking... Like, every time I fuck up, I make sure not to do that same fuck up the next time. Eventually, I'll learn every fuck up I can make, and then I'll know not to do that. No, this isn't the furthest, because we've gotten the shop built in... We've gotten the shop built and the plots placed down in one of my attempts, I remember. Because it was not long after I made the ladder that I fucked up my last attempt, because I was up on my upper, upper levels of the cliffs, and I ended up scaring something away, I remember. So I've definitely gotten further than this in the last attempt. <clears throat> what challenge are you doing? The title of the stream. Oi, that's a shit challenge. Ha <laughs> Good one. Good one. Rock. 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 Yo, what's y'all's go-to rock, paper, scissors? What y'all's go-to rock, paper, scissors? Like, what do you start with? I'm not going to tell you guys in case we ever find ourselves in a duel. Oh, gun? Oh, you're that person that, like, ha didn't get enough attention as a child, and so you say gun instead of rock, paper, scissors, and you go like, ha, gun, I instantly win. Okay. To the people who have felt a the touch of a woman in chat, what do you start with? Rock, paper, or scissors? Certified scissors starter. Okay. I'm learning a lot of, like... If I'm ever in, like, a duel of rock, paper, scissors with you guys, I'll make sure to remember all these. I'll make sure to remember all these. Oh, have I gotten a moth yet? Like, you guys are kind of giving away your secrets. Any good rock, paper, scissors player would never tell you what they start with. The most common starter is scissors. Okay, I'll remember that. You guys are kind of giving away all your secrets, but... Okay. In a battle of wits, I can, uh, I'll use this against you. That looks sus. I don't think this is a shell. Yep. Knew it. Got him. You don't know that they're honest answers, though. Oh, trying to outwit me. Hmm? Okay. I also know how good of liars you guys are, and it's not very... Hey, Jellygish, thanks for the 11 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thank you. Appreciate it. Rock, paper, or scissors. Okay, I'm thinking... Um, okay, I have one in mind. And I promise I won't... Okay, whatever you guys... Whatever the poll ends up being, I'm not going to look at the results as it's like being voted on. Okay? I'm thinking of one right now. Rock, paper, scissors. I'm thinking of one right now. And I promise I will not change the answer, depending on what the poll ends up being. Let's essentially do a virtual game of rock, paper, scissors, okay? Whatever the poll ends up being is chat's vote for rock, paper, or scissors. And I, I, I currently have one in my brain. I currently have one in my brain. And I promise I will not change it, depending on what the results of it are. So, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. However long there is left on the timer. I promise I won't change. It's, tr it's a trust-based system. You're asking us to trust you. Yes, I am. Because I'm a trustworthy individual. Okay? Uh, now give me all the fucking iron. Yes, I'm a, tr I'm a trustworthy individual. Like, if you ask me to, like, pet-sit your cat, which you would do because you trust me, you'd be like, my cat's in good hands. 
That's my that's my dog. That's my homie G. That's Dagnall. I know he's got my cat covered. Mm-hmm. If no one else got me, I know Dagnall got me. Can I get an Amen? That's not sus. -j. Oh man. I wanted a little bit more iron. Oh well. Would you agree to be at the back and call would you agree to be at the back and call of my guinea pigs? Should I ask you to pet sit? I don't really have much experience taking care of guinea pigs, but I could give it my best shot. I think you could trust me to at least like try my hardest, right? Surely. Alrighty then, just so I don't get yelled at, I will catch this. Amen! Maybe I'd let you watch my dog, but not my niece. I, first of all, would not agree to babysit, like your niece. Second of all, that was not the example I gave. I said your cat, not your niece. I don't know why you're jumping to that conclusion that I would watch your niece. Poll is real close right now. If it ends in a tie, then I think that, like, we draw because you can't choose two things. You can't choose two things. I, I I got it. I know in my head what I'm doing. Alright, here we go. Oh, it's a tie, man! It was a tie between rock and scissors. Oh, man. If one more person were to have voted... Well, you know what? I was thinking of rock. So if one more person would have voted scissors, I would have beat you. But even if one more person voted rock, it still would have just been a tie. So either of your options, best case scenario for you guys, would have been a tie. Apparently, paper lovers in shambles. Wow. Not many people chose paper. Huh. I would vote rock, though. Well, it would have tied then. It would have tied then. Alright, put that down. Also, sell my shit, please. I almost picked rock instead of scissor. Paper voters, please! I need to po up! I chose paper. Well, you would have beat me. I was thinking rock. And I'm not, again, I'm not just... Okay, I gotta stop, because now you guys are gonna think that I, w I did change. I didn't. I was thinking rock from the start. Because I am a rock starter. When I go rock, paper, scissors, my first instinct, if I do not know anything about the person, is rock. I'll go rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock. Ah, drank man, please. Um, what's a good place to put this? Probably on top of a shit ton of stumps, right? Not on top of my hybrids, though. Maybe like... Got here, Muffy. Ain't you late for your job at Spencer's? Yeah, let's go like... This is such an awkward spot, though. All these spots are a little Ako Taco, though. Yeah, maybe like right here. Squash two stumps. Can I fit, can I fit this here? Yeah. Good. This is the spot. So glad we're a shoot community. Oh, you guys don't say rock, paper, scissors, shoot? What do you say? All right. Gather iron, get dung beetle and damselfly, get 30 iron, time travel, get stuff to rat, excel extra shit, buy three nets, two axes, and five medicine. Uh, I do need a couple more axes, to be honest. I don't think I need more nets, though. I think four nets is probably enough. For now, anyway. I say rock, paper, scissors and go on scissors. Dude, you're entirely, you're at an entire disadvantage to everyone who says something in between rock, paper, scissors, and they say something in between. You're showing your hand after you say scissors, but they're still saying shoot, and they got like a one second advantage with which to go rock after they show, after you fucking went scissors, because you didn't say shoot at the end. It's like you don't even care. It's like you don't even care. Diagonal. Yeah, that's me. I want to... Can I buy something from you? What's for sale? I probably need, like, two more axes, if I had to guess. 
Who won? I wasn't paying attention. It was a draw because you guys voted... You guys tied between rock and scissors. So it was a damn tie. Bye-bye, Dag and Chat. Happy New Year for tomorrow. Well, tomorrow is just the eve, right? Tomorrow is just the eve. But I guess. I was thinking about streaming, like, the actual turning over to the new year. But then I thought about it, and I'm like, hmm. I really don't fancy the idea of streaming at midnight. I really don't fancy the idea of streaming at midnight. So, I doubt you'll get that for me. I doubt you will get that for me. I'm sorry. I'll probably stream on New Year's Eve, but I will not stream, like, the actual midnight, probably. I'm just saying. Not my... Not likely. I wanna go sleepy! No, I ain't sleeping at, at midnight. Who am I kidding? Unless you're Australian, it's New Year's Eve today. Well, if you are Australian, it's New Year's Eve today. If you're me... No, I think you have it backwards. Unless I'm reading it backwards, which is entirely possible. It's New Year's Eve Eve. It's the hydro. Mm. Yeah, also, I don't think that would be a good stream time for most of you. All right, now we go to June at 7 p.m. for a centipede and firefly. And let's make sure we go the year forward so that the shop gets built. 6, 7 p.m. firefly. Year forward. For firefly and centipede, which we already got. Upgrade nets at DIY table we already did. Drop extra stuff for log stakes and make a bridge. Right. We will have to do that. Okay. What's up, Hector? How's the challenge going? Still, still kicking. Still going. Doing all right. I was about to trauma dump. Go for it. As one of the local Australians, it is in fact New Year's Eve, except that it's 6.15 a.m. Well, Australia is fucking huge. I think it has like three time zones, right? So depending on where in Australia, I'd have thought that like... Because Australia, okay, when I was on the West Coast, it was really freaky, because I know, oh, time zones, bat chest, it's so, like, such, a, like, a generic thing to be like, wow, this dude's been alive for 27 years and time zones still freak him out. But, like, it's weird, because when I was on the West Coast, somebody in New Zealand would only be like, Dag. happy close to nine. Thanks for making my year better. Thanks. Appreciate that. Thanks for the year. Enjoy your emotes, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I thought that was a fucking scorpion in the bottom right there. I thought that was a fucking scorpion in the bottom right. It's the fucking Black Lily. SHUT UP! SHUT UP! When I was on the West Coast, New Zealand would only be like four hours behind me, but like the next day, it freaked me out. I'd be like, good god, you're getting too close, man. It'd be like six in the afternoon where I lived, and it'd be like noon in New Zealand. I'm like, dude, you're like fucking, you're getting like a little too close there. Dude, don't talk to Tom Nook like that. I need him to shut the fuck up or I'm gonna twist his giant tanuki nuts. I'll be honest and sound like an idiot. I never realized how big Australia was until a couple of months back. It's fucking huge. It's like damn near the size of the United States. Is it bigger? It's fucking huge. Okay, dude, it's like lore. It's like Tanuki lore that they have giant nuts. Big dog, big nuts. Okie dokie. We gotta be very, very careful. Because now we're in a time of the year where, like, there's a lot of bugs. Like that. It was very easy to be scared away. Boom. Okay. Okay. Dag is right, don't shit on him on Japanese mythology. Yeah, I'm really he's making it sound like I'm really proficient in Japanese mythology. I'm not. I just know Tanukis have big balls. And Kappas um, suck the souls of victims out of their asshole. That's also true. Kappas, like, suck the souls out of people's assholes, I think, as well. I'm so vigilant right now. My... Freaking blood pressure is so high. I'm getting preeclampsia, dude. Sounds like a good time. 
Okay, I mean, I won't judge your lifestyle. Wow, cute! It's true! You're acting like I'm the one who made it. I'm acting like I just made this shit up. Nah, it's all true. You know, when you're not... I'm so nervous about, like, a scorpion. When you're not actively catching something, put your net away. I can't believe I didn't see a catchable firefly either. I'm fucking... I'm stressed. I forgot how st stressful this is. Does my stress get properly conveyed? Like, are you guys stressed out too? Fuck you. I don't want to talk to you. If I was getting my soul sucked out of my body, that would be the way I'd choose. Not like out of your nose? I eat Orpal. Am I Orpal right now? Am I? No, I'm not. Does a tarantula or scorpion stinging you count as scaring them away? Yep. I put it in the rules that that definitely counts. Because you had a chance to catch it, and you didn't, and it got away. So, by, I think, the definition of the challenge that I just made up, uh, yeah, I think that that counts. And tarantulas and scorpions will chase you down if you have your net out. And you're like, get too close to them. So, that's why I'm like, walking real slow. I don't even know if they can spawn right now, but... I mean, I know that, like, tiger beetles, as we've seen, can spawn. There's, like, a lot of shit that can spawn right now. I don't want to catch you unless I know that I can, and I can. All right, good. Got the firefly. Oh, you hey, that should not be stressing me out. All right, and now we get to help out Tom Nook. The absolute honor and privilege to help out Mr. Nook. Hey, we got three new bugs while we were at it, too. Can a villager scare off a bug when they run around? They can, but I wouldn't count that as me scaring it off. So, um, I will, like, if we don't see, if, if the bug getting scared away is not in our control, I don't count it. Basically, if the bug was not scared away through any influence of mine, it's okay. That's my rule. Cockroaches? What, in your house? That's just, no, you can't, you can't catch them. No. You guys are looking for fail conditions that aren't even fail conditions. That's great! Did you get your hair cut recently? Yeah, a couple weeks ago. Nookie Pookie. Don't call him that. Don't call him that. I had one of those little golf putt-putt things right there, by the way. I had one of those as a kid. Of course! You get the flea yet? No, it's not really time to get the flea quite yet, but... When it is, I'm sure that that will be just a, a lovely little time. I'm sure that that will just be a lovely little time. Um, okay, I think I can help him. Do I have clay on me? Or have I dropped on my clay? Shut up. Yeah, I do, okay. It's my birthday. Happy birthday, bootlegged doll. Hopefully you're a real one now. What should I do? That was not a fart, by the way. I ran my, like... Hang on. You don't even hear it. What the fuck am I justifying it for you? It was like my foot... What? Whatever. And if I did fart, like, that's my right to do so. Everyone does it. Been some trolls, huh? No. What are you talking about? Dude, I fucking made a fart noise, and I know that one of you guys would probably hear it and be like, Oh, nice fart, Fart Andy, Farting Frederick over here. I know you guys would probably say some shit like that, and so I'm trying to beat the farting allegations before they even crop up by saying, No, that was me doing some shit with my foot, and... It wasn't me farting at all, okay? I'm trying to beat the fart allegations. I'm biting the fart bubbles in the bath, all right? Crop like dust? I've done that before, though, where I, like, crop dust like an elevator before someone gets in there. And it's kind of like, once they get sealed off from the closing of the doors, they can never confront you about it ever again. Likely, they'll never see you ever again if you're in, like, a public place, right? Which is sort of like... I don't know, I gain a lot of, like, pride and power out of that. 
Like, you ever do that? You ever, like, drop a mean one in an elevator being like, ah, oh, well, it's just me in the elevator. And then you get out of the elevator and someone comes in and they gotta reap the rewards of your gas. Do you feel, like, proud or shameful when you do that? Are you, like, a, a proud crop duster or are you, like, a, oh, man, I kind of feel bad for that person. Oh, no, shame? Really? I don't know, man. If I never see, like, if I, I wouldn't do that in, like, my apartment building, but if I did that in, like, public and I, like, have a good understanding that I'll probably never see that person again, I'm like, I don't really care. I don't really care. Gotta be honest with you. I don't care that you broke your arm. There's not really a great place for a bridge. So I guess I will just put it here. I feel shame, but after this conversation, I think I need to look at the situation differently. Maybe shameful if you are probably if you are going to see that person again. No shame if you never see that person again. Like if it's in a public environment, in a place that you'll likely never visit again. But if it's in my apartment complex, like dude, you can't you don't do crimes like where you live, right? That's just irresponsible, right? Okie dokie. Log stakes make bridge. Water flowers, we don't need to. Okie dokie. And then we put all the plots down, right? Put all the plots down. I started looking for my laptop. Like, I'm not watching a stream on it right now. I actually, I did that the other day. I was like, on, I was literally had the phone in my hand. And I'm like, fuck, where's my phone? Yeah, don't shit where you eat. Yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah, that's right. It's elbow, not arm, silly goof. Oh, whatever, man. I don't care. Does this look like the face of someone who cares? That was probably a disgusting face. That was probably fucking foul. Will this be posted on Extra Diagonal YouTube? Yeah, say hi to the Extra Diagonal viewers, everyone. Shoutouts to the real homie G's watching on the second channel. This is probably like part two of the video, for goodness sakes. I mean, we've probably done this for like 12 hours now, and the maximum YouTube video length is 12 hours. I don't know. I feel like, anyway. If not, it's towards the end of part one. Hi, second channel. Uh, you should join me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash diagonal. Catch the real thing next time. Yeah, that's right. I cross-promote. <laughs> Alright. Good place to dunk all these housing plots. Um... Boy, they, uh, well, I, I'm good to, like, pole vault over here, right? There's no bugs that I'm gonna land on if I do that. Pole vaulting makes me fucking nervous. Pole vaulting makes me really fucking nervous. Can I squimmy a house in here? Wow. Hey, you could not get a tighter fit there. Good googly moogly, you could not get a tighter fit in there. They really squimmied that. Holy shit. I don't know if that's like the best place for it, but I kind of just wanted to see if it would fit, and it would. Yeah, it's going great. I want to get the ladder recipe. Get the ladder recipe, and then... Maybe let's go to, like, winter, where, like, no bugs exist, and then cut down, like, all the trees remaining on my island. Might be a good idea. It's sort of going off the script, but I think it might be a good idea to do so. But, I don't know, maybe. I didn't even know you had a second channel. Do I not make it obvious? I think I do. I try to, anyway, but maybe that's telling me I don't do a good enough job promoting it. Walking south seems a lot scarier than walking north. Oh, it's very much so. Because when you're walking north, you can see things a good bit before you actually, like, get close enough to scare them away. Walking south, it's a lot different because it's hard to see something that you're, like, walking down on versus walking up on. Because, like, it, like hands into the camera and by the time like you get close enough to like see it you're basically close enough to like scare it away all right but we got the ladder recipe 
We've got the DIY table just over here, I think. Let's make a ladder. And then... This is where we failed the last time. Um, was when I... This is where we failed the last time. Was when I made the ladder, went up to my upper cliffs, and like cut down all the trees up there. This is where I failed last time. So it's 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 you know this is a great opportunity to teach you guys about a little British slang. You guys ready for this? It's squeaky bum time. Guys, chat. It's squeaky bum time. It's time. It's it's like a nervous time in the challenge. It's squeaky bum time. You guys know squeaky bum time? It's true, that is a phrase. Yeah, the British always be saying that it's squeaky bum time. Say it all the time. Worst British phrase? What do you mean? That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, you taught me that. Good. And if it's very tense, it's super squeaky bum time. Super squeaky bum time! Super weenie hut juniors! Is it like clenching your ass? I used to think that that's what it was, but apparently it's a situation that makes a viewer very nervous to where they're sweating and they're like, ass is sweating. And like, you know, when something gets wet, it like squeaks. So like, <coughs> that's the squeaking of your ass cheeks together because they're all wet and sweaty. I think that that's the interpretation of it anyway. All right. Time travel to August, Sunday, 9 a.m. To get turnips. Right. But, like, do I do it in August or do I do it in December where, like, virtually no bugs spawn? I feel like I feel like just to, like, cut down all the trees, it'd be safer to do it in December. And then I'll go to August, 9 a.m. Sunday to buy turnips. Just to cut down all the trees, though, I will do it in December. Because it's a safer time to do it. I literally never heard of that as a Brit. You've taught me a lot of British slang and I am British. Good! I'm glad that even the British I can teach something to. You guys have taught me a lot. I hope that I can teach you guys some things too. There's some American... Um, there's some American phrases. Um, I'm thinking of one in particular, but it's not very nice. It's for when um, it's raining, but it's sunny out. And in the South, they have a word for that. Or they have a phrase for that, rather. Typically in the South. Yeah, and you say you didn't teach us anything. Yeah, we all, always say some shit like, Hey, I'm walking here. Yeah, that, that one's called the devil's beating his wife. Is when it's raining, but it's sunny out. A lot less cheery and chipper than squeaky bum time, I must say. That's, that's a lot less cheery than squeaky bum time. Squeaky bum time invokes like a happy reaction out of me. That one just kind of makes me a little sad. That's an American phrase. I'm sure there's like not bad ones. Like, let me look up here and I'll tell you how many of these I even knew. American phrases. Phrases and sayings. Piece of cake. Ballpark figure. Dude. Break a leg, behind the eight ball, for the birds, rocket science, chill, take a rain check. Bro, these are not American. What? A piece of cake, it's not rocket science, shoot the breeze, break a leg, ballpark figure, for the birds, behind the eight ball, Monday morning quarterback? What? Don't cry over spilt milk. Put up your dukes. Table an item. Jump on the bandwagon. Plead the fifth. Go Dutch. Ride slash riding shotgun. What? Those aren't American. They're a little American. All right, I only haven't heard of one of those, and that's Monday morning quarterback. Which apparently means... This does not mean that the person is an American football player on Monday mornings. It actually refers to a person who likes to make second guesses on decisions and actions. It was initially used in the 1930s to refer to football fans who like to go over the strategies of a football game shown on the weekend. Oh, I didn't. That's the only one of those that I didn't know. It was Monday. <laughs> Morning quarterback. 